right, guys, we got to pretend to like each other now. Three, two, one. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm sure we've got like, a few seconds. What up with this? Oh, hey, everyone. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome to happy, happy fun time. We all love each other oh, here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Please never. <laughs> <laughs> never do it again. <laughs> Um, but yes, people are we, are we pretending like we like each other right now? I'm oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, we're no, already no, no, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say it while they're watching. Oh, okay, sorry, it's... sorry. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna <laughs> okay. say as well, I, we've got, there's a couple of memes prepared, the, the 3D meme is done, uh, guys, by the way, the, the one I was telling you about. Um, the 3D meme? Yeah, oh. the 3D EFAP meme is completed, and uh, the guy who made it has even given me links to check out the models that he made in the thing, so it'll be cool to, uh, <laughs> to, to fuck around with that. But again, I was thinking we're gonna have plenty to talk about, and these guys are like veterans of talking about things, so we don't actually... I, I figure it's gonna be too difficult to explain all the history of the memes, and we'll probably save memes for when we've got a guest who's like... Anyone from the Great British Podcast who's like, you know, more insane than we are, or uh, like Jay. <laughs> So they totally understand. Because I always felt bad looking back that Jay Longboat watched somebody with us and she would, have, she would have just been like, what the fuck is any of this? <laughs> yeah, I think I was like wheezing about to die and she was like, uh, take a breath. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Um, uh, I wonder how many people are like, what the fuck is Jeremy's uh, avatar? Take... What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, we'll settle see. this. Is, is that an elephant or is it a turtle? <laughs> I think it's an elephant and I think Rags is dumb. Oof. Big I can talk. Claims. I can talk. I talk all the time. I'm talking is damn thing you've ever heard. It, he's not going to understand what you mean by that, Rags. I know what you mean, you literal piece of shit, but he's not going to know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> that flew right over Wolf's head. I don't well, know. Maybe, what... <laughs> well, maybe if Wolf wasn't so dumb, he'd get it. What am I not getting? Okay, so. Do you know when someone, well, like, this is just for Wolf, you know when someone says you're, like, blind, deaf, and dumb? Have you heard that phrase? Yeah. Like, blind means you can't see, obviously. Deaf means yeah, you can't I, hear. Yeah, I know what blind, I know what all three of them mean, yeah. Do you? What, no, you don't. Yes. What, what are you? <laughs> then I don't know why you're, now what, we're confused. What blind, deaf, and dumb means? Yes, I know the okay, definition. Okay, wait, wait, what does dumb mean? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week. For okay, because now, because I mean, you can use it in two different ways, can't you? Okay, <gasps> wait, wait. Go through the two different ways. Go for it. Well, dumb meaning like unintelligent, and dumb mm -hmm. meaning like kind of slow. No, <laughs> no, he lied. I would like Wolf to refer lied. everybody back to what Wolf said. I know what they mean. We got memes in the making. What is that? Not what they mean. Google no, it. It's not Google dumb. Uh, okay. In fairness, I don't blame Hold you for on. not knowing Which this, you probably by the way. often do. Dumb. Temporary, no, temporarily unable or willing to speak. Really? That's what it means? <laughs> Best intro ever. <laughs> Wolf letting what dumb means. We run a high-quality production here. What the fuck? I have smaller. literally so, never heard dumb used in that context yeah, before. To, oh, that's because maybe you're deaf. To that's finish never heard it. what I was trying to say, so it was like, yeah, blind, deaf, and dumb Does means deaf can't see, can't mean? hear, can't speak. Does deaf not mean that you can't hear? That is what it means. What? So yes. what the fuck? Okay. God damn it. I'm confused <laughs> now. It's like my whole world's falling apart now that I don't realize what dumb actually meant. I'm not saying you have to be a doctor or anything. Yeah. Took just you saying. literally, uh, and, and it's just blown your entire world, Wolf. I just want yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Got it. Do you know? I, I'm pretty well, sure I learned that. Well, it that. can be used in like a hundred different ways. So, I'm pretty sure so I learned that. Better, I feel better. better. Get a definition I correct. Feel, I feel better about Wolf calling me out now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Someone in the chat said, "Galaxy Brain Wolf." <laughs> Galaxy Brain Wolf. <laughs> um. Yeah, I learned that from Troy. I remember asking my dad what dumb meant because uh, they use it in a context in there that couldn't mean that he's stupid. I was like, what does it mean? He was like, oh, it's like when you can't talk or whatever. It's like a medical term. And I was like, oh, right, wow. The, the movie, Troy? Or... Yeah. Uh, oh. I think No, I but my friend problem. from down the street. <laughs> Troy. <laughs> Troy. Well, I didn't know if he meant something else that I wasn't we aware know of. No, you don't know what words mean. We've established this. Oh, shut the fuck up. You didn't know what uh, <laughs> tactile meant. Yes, I did. That's why I was confused by it. 
That's <laughs> why it confused Wolf, me. None of us knew what he meant by that. <laughs> it's like, I understand this word, but the way he's using it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't make sense, which is why it was confusing. Oh, wow. Born Troy, Troy came out 15 tactile. years ago, guys. Really? You know what else came out 15 oh, years ago? I haven't ago? seen that Halo 2. <laughs> that is... yeah, I'm curious. What is, your, what is your opinions on Troy? Because I love Troy. Oh, I yeah, like I, it. Dude, Troy has probably one of the best like dual it's scenes. Seen... Yes, that, that Achilles fight scene versus with the... Hector is fucking yeah. great. Hey Wolf, like did I you know that? Hey that Wolf, did you know ago. that duel has multiple meanings? <laughs> Leave the poor it can mean like alone. a one-on-one -on -one fight, but it can also mean like two things. Like no, that's duel. a different word. Duel and duel. There's no, they're homophones. D -U -E -L and D -U -A -L. Yeah, they're, they're homophones. <laughs> they're homophobes. How could you say that, Rags? They're homophobes. homophobes. Yeah, they're Homopho homophobes. They're homophobic. Wait, what? The words are homophobic. <laughs> if you have dual, if you have dual gay men who are having sex, then that's a homophobe. Why would you say that, dual gay men? Isn't that the difference because there's two of them? Dual and duel. Isn't that the difference? Yes, you have dual gay men. Oh, you're saying because I spoke it that I could have been either of those. The bed is dual wielding two gay men who are having sex. So that means the word is a homophobe. In fairness, Rolf, we can't say anything. He's been English teaching is the us a lot. Really is really wielding it, though? Yeah, it's carrying them. But what if the bed breaks? Well, what if your hand breaks and you're carrying something? <laughs> what what happens then? <laughs> but what if your hand breaks while you're trying to lift something, the thing you're trying to lift is probably going to fall. Probably. What happens to the gay man on the broken bed? They fall. I mean, now, listen, as I've got a lot of experience being a gay man on a broken bed because I broke the bed because I'm just that much of a fucking animal. So I'll tell you all about it. What happens is you fall in the middle because the bed breaks in the middle. Every single goddamn What if you're time. not in the middle, though? Oh, I'm oh. always in the middle when I can be. What about when you can't be? Well, I mean, yeah, well, but I'm not. So if the bed it's breaks closed. and you're on the side, you're on, you fall. That depends. Sometimes the bed breaks this way, and everyone tilts forward, and sometimes okay, the well, bed it, breaks if, on the side, and you roll off the side. If you're fucking on one side of the bed, the other side isn't going to fuck, like, magically break. Well, that's not necessarily true. You don't know where the weak spots of the bed are. Well, in that case, just lying on it would have the same amount of- oh, no, never mind. No, Those that's not true at all, know. virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've never. I've, I, I understand. Maybe you've never broken any beds in your lifetime with your 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 gay romances, but I can guarantee, goddamn, to you that when you're just laying there, hmm, not much is happening. In that case, I'm not even interested. Um. By the way, okay. Just if you ever were curious about how in just retarded our, our podcast is, yeah, there you go. That was a crash I, I would course. Just, Mahler, Mahler uh, I am literally shaking right now. <laughs> it's not, triggered our guests already. It, it, you can't put EFAP in a box. It's not It's not boxable. Um, you can't put a gay man in a box either. You can try. We cannot be contained. <laughs> um, but yeah, what I should just may as well now is, uh, hello chat, uh, with EFAP29 and our, our guests on this wonderful episode is, uh, I guess, uh, Geeks and Gamers slash... Yeah, well, you guess For you their see. first and last appearance on Eve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, how do you do, sir? I'm doing really good. Uh, I feel right at home uh, with this discussion. Uh, these are the things I can't say on my channel or uh, everybody else. Your fellow, fellow so. bedbreaker. Oh, we, so. <laughs> we we legit like uh, we know we're pushing the limits. Like <laughs> we're, we're gonna get booted off YouTube eventually. <laughs> no, but it's, no, because uh, that it's, would be homophobic of uh, YouTube. That's true. That's true. True. Yeah, yeah YouTube gas you mask ban phobic. us. Yeah. Well, uh, like I said, I mean, gay Twitter is already trying to get me banned. So um, this this episode will uh, either help or hurt. Either mm -hmm. way, if I, if I can get banned from Twitter, it will be a great day. <laughs> for me it's a trophy, um, because like i hate twitter mm -hmm. i hate it yeah finally but, be productive uh, this is there's a guy i know who literally considers his uh blue check marks he got it really early on he considers it now like a blight on his profile he's like i don't want it anymore <laughs> it's like oh be no i don't i don't want one either i don't i mean at this point having having a check mark on twitter it's just like it i would feel obligated to have to go to trump's twitter just to respond to him just because I'd have a check mark, because that's all it is—is is check marks trying to get more followers by responding to Trump. 
Um, I just can't, st- I don't want one. If they try to offer me one, I'm going to be like um, the Barstool Sports founder, uh, Dave Portnoy. He's got about almost a million followers and every Barstool account has a check mark except for his personal one. And he literally told Twitter to shove it up their ass. He didn't want it. <laughs> so um, that's how I'm going to, if they ever offer me one, I don't want it. Uh, and and on our second guest as a, as a combo is uh, is Jeff from World Class Bullshit. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. It's been a while since we've talked, Molly. It has. Wolf, so. what, what did we? What was the plan? We were going to talk about something else, right? We, did we talk about Solo? Did that happen? I feel like we did. Yeah, I, I messaged you on New Year's Eve. I was messaging all the people that we uh, worked with over on the channel at uh right around new year's eve at midnight and uh you and i agreed that we'd get together in april so maybe we'll still oh yeah we'll, oh, we're yeah. gonna get together after the avengers and talk about right that. right i'll definitely want to talk about that because like you know solo i mean most people don't even remember it exists anymore so it's fine okay. every once in a while i get remind it remember i mm. there we go <laughs> <laughs> that's a coherent thought right there but yeah it, you know episode solo nine still have all that solo crap like episode by nine, nine might come and go, and we're still only talking about the last Jedi just because of how it broke everything. And rightly so, it's a piece of shit. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, it's good to have you guys here. We're it's like a combo of sort of 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 different podcasts, right? You guys uh, run the the High Council together, sort of, mm-hmm. right? I'm I'm vaguely aware of all of these blaze things. It, my dudes. No, it's not the not like that, rag. Jesus. <laughs> I don't even know if it's legal for them. You get them in trouble. God. Well, our initials are THC, so it works out oh. quite nicely. You got your license for your smoking license. <laughs> Change that to literally anything, and then it applies in Britain. Bad, huh? Fun place to live right now. We've just made a joke of. <laughs> like, yeah. We just had that discussion last night. We did a uh, hot fuzz commentary for the Patreon, oh, and man. I said how oh, I used to want to go there for the longest time, but all this new uh, political stuff in the UK. I'll just stay away for a while until it blows over. Yeah, once we get whatever the hell's going on with Brexit or but it's uh, neither here nor there. Um, well, it's there for us. Yeah, I know. You're I don't even. I, I used it as a phrase, rags. I wasn't. It's here for you, but God it's there for damn us. Damn it! So, uh, uh, so it's actually wrong. It's it's not just neither here or there. It's both here and there. Maybe that's what I said, and you misheard me. How about that? I don't think it's I did. It's there for we everyone that's the in the correct country. I think to we live can in. rewind the tape. Everyone knows dog hearing is 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 faulty at best. Is super acute, much like my face. It's a cute face. <laughs> you like you're like a wordsmith today, aren't you? I'm, I'm sorry if that's the <laughs> angle I'm taking, but we're going there. Um, Andre so the wordsmith. There are Listen, things. There is the math. It all adds up. There is something to address. Uh, I don't know. Wolf, calm, calm yourself down. This isn't even about Jay, by the way. Okay. This is just something that... Oh, be nice. Be nice, all right. So in the last podcast, this, uh-huh. this, this is something we can discuss. All right, so calm down. Last podcast, it was complained about that you gave uh-huh. up a spoiler about Game of Thrones. That being... I, I feel like it's... That Jon Snow died? <laughs> <laughs> that that happened like five years ago. Get now, over it. Now, see, so the see, you're supposed to let the calm, calm way of doing. They're very sensitive <laughs> about this. So I was gonna say, like, this is a spoiler from May of 2016. He comes back to life three episodes later. It's okay, everyone. <laughs> so the other problem is a friend of mine was like, he told me that people were very upset about it, and that I was like, that's a spoiler of 2016. He was like, no, it's not. And I was like, I'll check the episodes. And he's like, no, 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 no. It's this 2009 spoiler, because it came out in the book then. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, okay. Um, and so the, the, hypocr- the, the hypocrisy they pointed out, apparently, was that we complained that there's a lot of channels that'll put huge spoilers for, like, brand new games or films in thumbnails and titles to give people to click stuff. And so it's like, how can you complain about that? Yeah, fuck while, those people. While giving away spoilers. And, and I was going to say, I think the... The comparison we probably we were probably talking about stuff that's released like within the week yeah like within the week um i know when like far cry new dawn came out there was a channel video game sophistry and they they're run by a bunch of sjw so I, I keep track of them so that when they say something retarded i'm on it um but they are like a little bitty channel and sometimes they'll get really big videos because all they do is essentially take the cut scenes of new games and just put them on youtube and they'll say this is what happens in this cut scene and the spoil whether you even click on the video it's a spoiler it's right there it's like this character dies this character yeah. comes back you do this task i remember and like um it- 
Force Disgusting. Awakens, when that came out, the second it was out, like people were spamming Han Solo dies everywhere all over the internet. It was like a <laughs> meme to spoil it. Mm -hmm. Um and so I saw someone with a bumper sticker saying Han Solo dies, and that's how I found out before I started. <laughs> <laughs> like like I, I was literally driving to work and I saw that and I was like, fuck. You gotta be kidding me. I was literally I was streaming on Twitch. I was going to see it the day it came out, and some guy came in and said Han Solo dies. I was like, okay. Thanks. Like, <laughs> Did you not see that one coming, though? No, no, that's the thing. I thought he was going to die anyway, but when you get told it, that means there's no chance it's not happening. So you're just like, oh, okay. Definitely happening. When IMDB existed, well, when it had forums, somebody posted uh, screenshots of, like, a bootleg or something of him getting stabbed on that catwalk. So uh -huh. I had that confirmed early on. Still had my damn tickets. I but. mean, it's mostly it's the fact that it exists as a film. It makes it basically confirms his death. You're like, oh, he's not going to be in it unless he's killed off, right? That's probably it. But, uh, That's Harrison Ford. But yeah, and so I wonder, as comparison, it's like, Game of Th that came out in 2015, so is it spoiler territory if we talk about Han Solo being dead? And I'm like, what's the limit here? Because if... Because <laughs> people were suggesting that we say, okay, spoilers, you know, mute, and we're going to talk about blah blah blah, or to put it in post, like in the description, like, spoils. I always blah, blah, felt blah. like, yeah, I always felt like spoilers, like, if you are on the internet watching an, a movie or an entertainment-based uh, show or listening to an entertainment podcast, if the film or show has been out for, say, East, I don't think you can worry about spoilers. You're not that invested if you haven't watched it after a year. Well, the unfortunate thing is, them. apparently this guy was, like, a couple of episodes away from the spoiler. Ah. He just happened to be watching this, <laughs> like, okay. Oh. In my defense, I got it spoiled for me before I saw it, so now I it want too, all actually. the rest of you to get it spoiled too. So I did too. So maybe I'm a heartless only... fucker, and I just like, hey, it got spoiled for me. I knew it was happening before it happened. I didn't get to experience it. Just like the um, movie, the only one that he did was that was actually good. Well, the first one, uh, Six Sense. I, I that entire movie got spoiled for me. I never got to experience it uh, for what it but was. I, so I but I also knew the outcome to Fight Club, and I still loved it. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yeah. Um. I we always uh, spoil. Well, we don't really spoil it. We tell you a whole movie in a review, and we go, "All right, well, this is the point where we spoil it." And if you stay around, well, it's your own fault. So, well, it, yeah, just say it only takes a moment to say spoiler territory from here on out. Click away if you don't want spoilers. But like, are we gonna? Do, the problem is like, if we're bounce, bounce, bouncing between examples or references, we're not gonna be like, okay, spoilers for this. I'm gonna say this. Spoilers for this. I'm yeah. gonna say this. So. So if we, yeah, we can talk about like the classics and I, I doubt if we say Rosebud's the sled, everyone's <laughs> going to get really fucking pissed off. And, mm, well, it's the what same, that's right. All the ones we just referenced, they're all like classic spoilers. And there could be someone like, wait, I, I was halfway through the Sixth Sense and you guys happened to fucking say that shit. You're like, oh, sorry. Well, I we thought the actually... Sixth Sense was so fucking predictable. I knew what the twist was going to be like before the halfway Maybe point you have movie. a Sixth Sense. Maybe that's what it means. I mean, I like the movie. It's just like I was like halfway, th less than halfway through, and I was like, "He's dead, isn't he?" Wolf, did you know that sense is like a homophone for sense? By the way, everyone, <laughs> Bruce Willis is dead in the sixth sense. Oh, the whole shit. movie. <laughs> and so I was gonna say, what's the Dumbledore cutoff point? Dies if Gandalf comes back to life in the second movie. <gasps> I actually haven't seen those movies, Lord of the Rings. So. What? what? Jesus! Oh my yeah, God! Do I need already, to? Yeah. Do Are I need to scream kidding? at somebody else again? Hold on. Oh, I, had, look, I, went, okay. I went to Oh my goodness. Jen, <laughs> I, I'm like I the cannot biggest express. Lord of the Rings fanboy in the history of anything, so I find well, it sinful that you haven't watched oh those my films. Goodness. Well, I'm a sinner, but and they sent me the extended editions on Blu-ray, so uh -huh. when I get back from Star Wars Celebration, I'm going to sit down and watch them. So Good. Exactly. You should only watch the extended editions because oh they're the word goodness. taking the fans' word on it. I want to see it. Rags, I just all the guy who said it's okay that people haven't seen things. Come on. It's okay, like on a like morally, but like socially, <laughs> it's not acceptable. <laughs> Never once have I run into anybody that says, "Oh, let's talk about Lord of the Rings anymore." So really, anymore? Better. But fuck, they are hell. phenomenal. Yeah, because so. they assume that everybody has seen it, seen it, and talked <laughs> about it today. <laughs> wow. I, Man, I, you're, I, you're, I you're in for some watch. fun. I the literally watch all three of those films like several times a month and have for like the past 10 years. Yeah, but you're insane. They're though. the peak of movie making. They are the peak of, of, of filmmaking for a trilogy. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah. So you're going to love it, Jeff. They, they, you they know, are I, I love Star Wars, movie. but Lord of the Rings smashes it for a uh, consistency. I'd say, yeah, I think, I think objectively those movies are damn near perfect. I mean, you know, they're. I'm going to hear an argument yeah, from Wolf on that. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's an easy lead in. Uh, so Jay put out on Twitter the other day. He's got he's someone we're trying to get to watch Lord of the Rings. He he hasn't seen movies really. He's seen like three, maybe four, three and a half. This this um, fucking piece of shit. He watches the first <laughs> Lord of the Rings movie and then he doesn't watch the sequels. And it's like what? <sighs> it's like my brain like broke when I heard. It that. would be like watching Empire and just stopping. Like th that's the level of cliffhanger you get at the end of the Fellowship. So. It's really oh, odd. Like Fellowship has a better cliffhanger. Oh, you know that broke has multiple meanings. We should not do this right now, <laughs> Rex. <laughs> so, um, so J Jay put out a tweet saying, uh, "Just completed a trilogy of films that Elijah Wood stars in," <laughs> and uh, and obviously people were like, "Oh, cool!" Lord of the Rings. He was like, "Spy Kids," and then he put, "I'm not oh, joking." <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen those either. You don't have to see that. I, I haven't. I haven't <laughs> seen those. Uh, don't I haven't, watch those. I haven't, I haven't seen those. So, so uh, I, I figured that maybe Jay should stay away from Wolf for a few days, weeks, years. Yeah. He not. He Jay, will die. Jay. Jay. He will watch this, by the way. He said he was interested. Uh, so uh, I think you, just just pretend he's listening and give him a message on. No, I, I'm analyzing the chat I know his fucking profile picture. Oh I'll no, he's asleep right him. now. He said he's gonna watch it later. I'll, hey, we're gonna be on here for like 11 hours. I'll find him. <laughs> the second he pops up, he'll be like, There you are, you little fucker. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> um, Just watching the chat the whole time, waiting for it. <laughs> you'll get there one day. And it'll Run be Run J. Wolf has the high ground. So, and so it, certainly before we, we jump into the video we want to cover, there's going to be two movies that are, are worth mentioning, right? And uh, one of them came out recently. Good old, good old MCU. We'll, we'll jump into that in a second. But um, <gasps> I figure, any, anyone want any of this? That movie about the, the, the guy who controls fish? Anyone want to talk about that? <laughs> yeah. what, why, would we, oh, why would we need to talk uh, about that? Crocodile <laughs> Hunter. Crocodile Man. <laughs> Did you just... What did you just say, Rex? Crocodile Hunter. Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter. Yeah, what did you say about what did you say about our Lord and Savior Steve Irwin? I didn't actually say anything about him. Didn't, I haven't mentioned really any of his attributes. <laughs> I didn't you, mention you, any of his skills, talents, or attributes yet. You 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 better not be fucking on my on my boy Steve Irwin. It's gonna no, be tough to I mean, come after Rags for grammar or anything. He's uh He's a very careful man, Wolf. You've got to wait no. for it to be your opportunity. I enjoyed watching Steve Irwin Crocodile Hunter. <laughs> Wolf just yeah, reading the... your sentences very slowly, like, "Yep, that's okay, that's okay." <laughs> okay. He hasn't said anything yet. <laughs> okay. So, um, I've seen Waterman. Have you seen Waterman, Rags? Aquahomo? No, no, no. <laughs> I can't say that anymore. It's against the no, law. Homo. It means man. Not to be confused with the Greek, <laughs> which is same. Which is why we have like homophone. Um. Or but the Latin so, weir, which also means so like, movie, but that's one of your old What did everyone think of that that movie? Did everyone hate it? I loved Aquaman. I loved it. Uh, I'm sure everyone saw that on Wolf's channel. <laughs> <laughs> did you manage to see Wolf's video? He does. He does throw about ten thousand uh, criticisms of that movie. Yes, I did. Uh, I didn't see the whole video, but I mean, I saw like um, so. <clears throat> I. I was uh, I was on Twitter and uh, Anna, that Star Wars girl who watches you guys all the time, she's a big fan, and she sends Hello. me a link to um to this, his video, and I didn't know it was was him. She just said, "Hey, uh, you you need to check this out," and I was like, "All right, I'll check it out soon." She goes, "You're not gonna like it," but I agree <laughs> with him, and uh, <laughs> and I was like, "All right, you know," and. I just figured it's one of these YouTubers that's got like 200 subscribers that are, you know, calling me every name. Well, one, one would think, but <laughs> yeah. it turns out he's actually kind of popular. So I clicked on it and I'm like, fuck, I really don't want to deal with Wolf and Mahler. What the <laughs> fuck? Shit. So I watch it and I'm like, I'm the literally the first thing you see when you click on his video. <laughs> there I am. I love Aquaman. Yeah. Like, Damn it, man. <laughs> so um, I watched it. I think I watched about the first 10, 12 minutes of it, and I really don't want to fight with these guys, but uh, I've got to respond. i got to respond because this is what I do, and we'll just have to see what happens. And uh, so I made my my very sarcastic asshole response, and uh, you know, Wolf uh, responded in the same fashion, which I appreciated. So now we're good, you know. But uh, yeah, you 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 clicked on it pretty quick. You're like, damn, that was quicker than I thought. And then um, 
then you sent me a long email and I was like, God damn, his emails are just as long as his videos. Shit. And, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, ultimately what it comes out with Aquaman is it's expectations for me. Um, I fucking hate man of steel and I hate Batman v Superman. Mm. Um, and I wanted to love man of steel. Man of steel was like, I'm a big Christopher Nolan fan, so uh, they fooled me with like putting Christopher Nolan's name all over the marketing. I'm like, shit, yeah, this is gonna be Superman's Dark Knight movie, you know. And oh, so I didn't even Man know he was involved with it. That movie is the reason that movie uh, exists because uh, what's his name? I always forget his name. The guy that uh, wrote uh, the Dark Knight with him also did Blade Three. What's his name? <gasps> Goyer, um, right? David S. Goyer. Goyer, yes, yeah, Go yeah. So Goyer. Uh, came to Nolan with the idea on the Dark Knight Rises set, and Nolan took it to Warner Brothers, and of course they'll do anything Nolan says. So Nolan's the reason, man, still actually got greenlit, and then um, he was involved with Cavill and bringing Snyder on and everything. So I went into Man of Steel just thinking this was going to be the Superman movie that I've always wanted, and of course I love Superman. I love the, the Reeve Superman movies, but Man of Steel, it took me like three or four times for me to convince myself that it was a shit movie, and it's not really as bad of a movie as it's a bad Superman movie. I think if you look at it from the perspective of being an alien coming to Earth and trying to find his way, it's not a bad movie. It's a fucking terrible Superman movie. Though. Like like Coneheads? Ah, that's a classic <laughs> right there. You know, I wouldn't expect Rags to reference Coneheads. I like that. Um, yeah, if there's anything I know, it's the shape of heads. Uh, All I remember from Man of Steel was uh, I saw it with my friends, and they came out saying, you know what, that fucking, when he broke Zod's neck, that was, they just, the, apparently that lost them, that moment in the film. And I'm not a Superman fan hugely, so I, I, I remember not understanding it then, and I still don't know. What is the take for Man of Steel as a whole? I haven't seen it since, since it came out, which is what, like 2000, like, 2000. Yeah, 2013, so. yeah. Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, world. yeah, generally speaking from what I, I hear a lot of people that say I never liked Superman until I saw Man of Steel. I'm like, well, good, because it's not a fucking Superman movie. Um, yeah. So a lot of people are like Superman was always boring. I couldn't relate to him. He was always overpowered, uh, yada, 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 until I saw Man of Steel and he became relatable. Why? Because he watched his fucking dad die? Like, it's not Superman. Doesn't, about he, that, you know? doesn't he, like, choose not to save him to protect his identity? Yeah, yeah his dad just, like, waves him off yeah, in a tornado. It's, it's, like, it's like the opposite so of relatable. Yeah. He, he, like, he doesn't save his dad so he can save his dog who's dead in the next scene anyway. It's like, oh, great. Spoilers. Wow, you've and, ruined uh, 2000. Oh, who, who cares? Okay, so here's the thing. The Superman's dog's dad goes wolf. to save the dog, and the dog dies anyway, and so does the dad, and then it shows, like, a different dog to add insult to injury, and it's like, wow, imagine if you just saved your dad so you won't have to deal with another dog instead. I so really don't remember that film. Reboots. They're trying to tell the homage yeah. to these characters in a new, refreshing way, and it just never works. Isn't, isn't Henry out, by the way? He's not doing Superman anymore. It's not confirmed, uh, but again, I don't think they know anything about what they're doing at DC right now. Um, mm. It's just a, it's a very – like one day Ben Affleck is directing, writing, and producing the Batman. The next day he's uh, – oh, I'm just going to star in it. The next day he's in Alcoholics Anonymous. Then he's back on Batman, and then he's going to divorce. Wait, wait, wait. If he's in so, Alcoholics Anonymous, that kind of defeats the purpose of being in Alcoholics Anonymous. If we're all like, oh, yeah, he was in that. He was <laughs> in that, like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> but to get it back to like so then i i hated man of steel i hated batman v superman um and i ended up uh I, while I think Suicide Squad is an objectively terrible film, uh, there were parts of it that I found to be enjoyable at least. Uh, and then I loved Wonder Woman. And so going into Aquaman, I just had really low expectations for a DCEU movie. I don't think Aquaman's a great movie by any means, but I enjoyed it with all of its flaws. Um, and so that's kind of where I stand on it. I had fun with it, uh, but I was laughing at a lot of it. <laughs> like, yeah, it didn't take itself overly serious. Which is what I liked about That's it. Fun to fuck an ugly bitch too, but you know. <laughs> what, what's what's up? I have to ask. Why would you take a laser rifle and convert it into a helmet that shoots where you look? <laughs> like, so if he was on my was team, I would be like, dude, can you put it. Stop back? looking at me! <laughs> Fucking hell! Stop! Don't look at me! <laughs> Whenever he talks to people, he has to look up because he's like, yeah, I won't hit you, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody sent a super chat that is perfectly. Uh, Julio says, uh, to comment on your take on Man of Steel, Mueller, Zack Snyder took as much creative uh, care for Superman's character as Ryan Johnson did Luke Skywalker. I'd say Ryan Johnson did worse, but it's uh, they're in the same neighborhood. I, I don't know if I'd go that far. Ryan Johnson destroyed Luke Skywalker, not only in that movie, but his legacy. Superman can bounce back. Luke Skywalker, 
Yeah, yeah Superman can Maybe have Adam a reboot Rabbit. of sorts, I suppose. Probably well, reboot me. Luke Skywalker at this point because he's he is Mark Hamill. Like it'd be weird. Oh, we tried it with uh, Han Solo, and that didn't work. <sighs> I did watch a little bit of Solo finally, and it's very boring. Very very See, boring. It's not time. Like, it's not just, it you just hate men. Yeah, it's it's uh, not as it's it's not as offensive as the Last Jedi or anything, but it's just boring as fuck. Like that's our standard for Disney movies. These days, <laughs> yeah. Is how offensive it was to the characters. Well, like, do you guys find this like I find with our sort of fan base? Typically, Rogue One is looked at much kindly, much more kindly than than any of the other three. Oh, um, very much so. Easily. What do you think the reason is for that? Because it, well, it's I, close enough I, to the old Star Wars, and it doesn't. Uh, disrespect or retell uh basically it's not a reboot like uh, i was the force awakens and it's not bad like the last jedi it's i think if there was something different that came before and after it we might even look at that one differently but because of what is surrounding it i think we look at it much kinder i think it's literally just because the last half hour was genuinely <laughs> great and everything else about it is like utterly forgettable man did i love, love uh, small guerrero Watching Vader oh. slash down a series of, of Rebels was just glorious. I actually, glorious. I like that I part, think... but my favorite part was the space battle, because it looked, you know, like a new hope, which was going to take place two days later, so... Yeah, uh, I, you know, I was very part. much like, I, I don't know, I, I got a feeling of like, oh, that's so cool, when they had all the old pilots uh, in oh. the actual ships. That might be my favorite part of that whole movie. Because it's, like, oh. a lot of people would be like, oh, that's pandering, and I'd be like, it's what would be happening... These people would be there. Just like Vader Hearing would be Princess there. Leia. Um, she, I remember I her looking her like, she looked kind of like porcelain in that movie. Well, that's weird. just the cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's your eyes that work, Lassie, think... not everything else. Yeah, uh, it's easy. Uh, Rogue One is easily the uh, the the best received film of yeah. the of the Disney movies. Um, but I think that uh, the Force Awakens initially was easily the, the the most beloved. But the Last Jedi, there was people that didn't like the Force Awakens from the beginning. Jeff is one of them. Um, mm. You know, obviously, I I've been a defender of that movie until the Last Jedi happened. And like I told you guys, like the Last Jedi, for the people that still defended the Force Awakens, the Last Jedi. It exposed how how many problems there were within the Force Awakens, and now the people that now don't care about it anymore because the Last Jedi uh, showed how flawed of a movie it was, and so because of that, now people look back at Rogue One in isolation and go, "Yeah, that's easily the best Disney Star Wars movie." I think it's you the, know, the and nostalgia I, high I didn't like Rogue too. One that much. Like a, a lot of people, Definitely. like th people talking about the Millennium Falcon moment in Force Awakens. Like when I was going through that for my videos. Everybody just says it's just good. It's just great. It's just amazing. It's just so well. It's just so well paced. Just so perfect. The way they do it, it's just so good. And you're like, why? Why is it just because it's the Millennium Falcon? And they're like, oh no, no, no. It's because like the reveal is perfect. Why? Be because you because you hate women. <laughs> the Millennium, oh, <laughs> the Millennium <laughs> Falcon. What do you mean? For years. Sorry for years after watching that movie instantly i had these feelings like you do in all your videos and i just had to spend like two and a half years of people around me gushing about a really terrible movie that a lot of people thankfully have you know, waken up to well, this is the thing i think the uh, nostalgia for star wars is incredibly powerful because like not even the mcu can generate that kind of thing really it's like the most you get is like iron man nostalgia from 2008 which isn't that far we're talking like <laughs> People watching this shit when they were like five years old plus, all the way up to thirties and forties now, being like, "That's that's the one that I love." And then, you, and then, and then you, you go, "Wait, wait, wait, wait a minute! I need to think about this for a second. Like the dangly keys thing, you know? And yeah, you know, props to you for seeing right through it because I certainly didn't. I was just enjoying the spectacle for what it was, which I'm pretty sure was exactly what JJ was trying to do. Um, but could it have been well written too? I think so. You could have could all have. of your you could have all your dangly keys moments while also you know <laughs> not fucking everything up. I think if you like a new hope like I do, a lot of it was transparent, and maybe that's why I was you know so aware of it, maybe hyper aware. But uh, well, a lot hmm. of people's in initial takes involved the fact that it was a repeat. But the thing that I was just like, it's it's not just a repeat. They just they poorly copy it. They don't just copy it. It's not like it's a if it was a direct copy, it probably would have been better because uh, it would have been more coherent. But there's so much about the film that just, you know, you're just confused. Like, um, 
Just the fact that you just think about the Kylo's Star Destroyer is just hanging out outside of Jakku the entire time the Millennium Falcon is being chased, working on its, uh, we call it compressor. Han arrives, they deal with the Wrath Toss. Like, what's Kylo's Star Destroyer doing this whole time? It's waiting. And that's the thing, like in the old ones, the second Hanging they lift the off boys. from Tatooine, the, the Star Destroyers are chasing them. It's like, oh, because the Empire actually, like, was competent. I don't know. Seems to be uh, the only conclusion. Well, he, Tars, what about the big... Tars up? Oh my god, such a terrible scene. <sighs> well, my big complaint was like, okay, so Return of the Jedi was the perfect ending for this. It just everything was result to a degree. I mean, Vader ended, Luke became a Jedi, Han and Leia got their shit worked out, and then you had thirty-five years of well, not thirty-five, thirty-two years of you know expanded universe books and all this stuff. It was Star Wars was in a good place, but this instantly retconned a lot of that which you know pissed off a lot of people but it also built up a lot of questions that they never answer like the part that pisses me off that i make fun of almost in every video is uh when maz kanada has luke, has luke skywalker's lightsaber she's like that's a story for another time what it's like <laughs> winks that you can just you know walk off on you kind of have to acknowledge that or like where's the empire how'd they get back you know i know they're the first order but like all these things were brought up and then as a fan, like Jeremy and I and you guys can all see that it was just brought back to mirror the old ones to get you to feel a certain way to buy it. And uh, yeah, it worked, I guess, for uh, a lot, like the general public, I guess. But it's just, uh, like I said, I feel like the veil got lifted. Or was it, do you just think that The Last Jedi was just too bad to be able to bank on the same sort of uh, benefits that The Force Awakens got in terms of people not really noticing the cracks? Like, it was just too uh, awfully written? Because so many people came out of the cinema just like, that was fucking terrible. Uh, that was, it, it, I think it's both, honestly. Well, I mean... Because I think a lot of... Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, I, I think that the, the, a lot of us, myself included, uh, were, were really banking on The Last Jedi justifying a lot of the unanswered questions or plot holes in The Force Awakens. Why is Rey so good at everything? You know, yada, yada, yada. Um, and when that didn't happen, it was kind of like, Jeff had already come to grips. People like Jeff walked out of the Force Awakens that shit movie, you know. Where I, someone like me, and a lot of people, there were a lot of people like me, like, oh, the Force Awakens is so great, and this Star Wars is back, and then we go and watch the Last Jedi. Somebody like Jeff initially is like, the Last Jedi is shit. Me, I'm just like, okay, okay, okay. This is a good movie. This is this is a good movie. There's no way they made a Star Wars movie that's this bad. You know, I like this movie. It just it it took time for me to kind of really accept it. Not only is the Last Jedi shit. The Force Awakens irrelevant now. Like it's completely fucked two movies. I suppose it's... and the effects of the Return of the Jedi. It's fucked. It's fucked forty years of movies and Episode Nine. I don't even care about Episode Nine. Like it's, it, it, it's such it was, yeah a huge problem. The Last Jedi is a massive problem. So I, I think that there was just a there was a there was different layers for different people and how they were uh, perceiving it. I think some people initially um, the, the, the people that were against the force awakens walked in and walked out and go, yeah, that was terrible. Other people went through the, the phases like I did, you know, like, God damn, you know, like Mahler, you said you kind of enjoyed TFA at first, but then you kind of really came to grips with it. Right. It was, uh, I never gave it a critical eye. Uh, honestly, I let it pass. Cause I was such a, as a really uh, sort of doughy Star Wars fan at heart, where I just let everything slide. TLJ broke the scale. It was like, how fuck it? I, I think, um, Wolf, I think you feel the same way on this sort of, but like TLJ made me realize how much I care about Luke Skywalker, where I previously didn't actually know consciously how much I adore yeah. that character. Because I, I would always be like, oh, I like Star Wars. I love Luke Skywalker, but... The Last Jedi kind of put it into perspective how much I cared about Star Wars and Luke Skywalker because I was like betrayed by watching that film. And yeah, like TLJ, you know, it shits on the originals, definitely. It, it contradicts itself. So, like, fans of the movie alone will still have trouble with it. Fans of the OT will have trouble with it. But I think it probably, one of the biggest nails in it was probably that it, it counters TFA as well, which is something that maybe a slot right now wouldn't necessarily care to consider a huge flaw in the grand scheme of things because the OT damage is much worse. But all the people who love the TFA are like, huh? Well, shit. Yeah, you know, and it's, so it's, it's creating enemies left, right, and center, which is quite quite a feat. So, you know, well done, lost man. Everybody. Go ahead. Take pleasure in that, that it's ruined Star Wars in a certain way? 
That makes you part the, of the, uh, the fandom menace. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I was gonna say as well. Do you, uh, you guys are not happy currently with with guys. the MCU or uh, uh, Captain Marvel, right? It, but there was a was there a prediction that it wouldn't do very well, but it's sort of like it's blown that out from what uh, I've heard. It, not on any of our channels. Yeah, I completely, completely yeah, misrepresented. I don't think it was ever gonna do bad, especially if you go to the movie theater and you don't have a well, fucking like, choice what movie you're gonna see. I don't uh, know this for sure, but the only film I know from the MCU specifically that's actually managed to not make its money back is like, was it The Incredible Hulk? I don't even think that was a failure. I think it made its money. I'll, I'll look it up. I Thanks. think The Incredible Hulk made its money. I think it. I think it made a small profit. Uh, I don't, Edward Norton was removed because he's a uh, difficult. He's one of the most difficult actors in history to work with, uh, yeah. from from all accounts. Um, but as far as the uh, the Captain Marvel stuff, uh, I consistently said that it will open strong. It's an MCU movie. It's it it's coming off of Infinity War because Captain Marvel is mentioned at the end of Infinity War and it's leading us into Endgame. It will open strong. There's no doubt about it. I said the high, the lowest it would do was 85 million, but I said I can see, I'll probably be around 100 120 million. Now I did say I hope it fails and I it d deserves to fail because the identity politics uh marketing and all the stuff Brie Larson is saying, but it's a Marvel movie, and the general public doesn't listen to all this shit that we talk about. You know, they just see Marvel, they see you know Nick Fury, and they want to go see is the it, movie. So, is it just her that, or is there anything else uh, that you sort of? Because I was just gonna say, like, is it the fault of all the people involved if one stupid actress says a bunch of nonsense sort of thing? Yeah, well, I'm not anti MCU. Uh, I'm I'm just anti Captain Marvel and um, uh, Brie Larson. I'm the only so. One that and I'm the only one that got stuck seeing it, so I have even more problems than Jeremy Oh, oh I, I saw it too, though. <laughs> <laughs> what did you I was just saying from, uh, uh, you know, the fandom menace over here, this uh, corner of it. Yeah, that movie, I, was, I wasn't even bothered. I was pissed off what Brie Larson said because it kind of just splits the fan base, and we just went through this with Star Wars. Yeah, and then it's Kevin unnecessary. Kevin kind of reaffirms it, and that's another problem I had too because they kept pushing Captain Marvel's the future. She's the most powerful. She's this, she's that. I'm like... Uh, character wise no one gives a shit about her let us get through this next one then introduce her and then make her you know whatever but oh yeah dude she should turn up at the problem. end of end game when everything's over she should be like i'm here and <laughs> be like all right like, fine. who are you like, well, all right here are the keys we're out yeah <laughs> you, you look after the what's left i think what jeremy and i always harp on too is like the long game of the mcu if you sour fans now you're gonna not be able to have another 10 years and 21 movies if you keep going this route because we know these identity politics don't play uh, indefinitely they're representative of the time the movie's made and when they market it but then you look back and you know it's like bad haircuts or bad clothing you're kind of like ooh, what were we thinking and that's how i feel captain marvel will be remembered that's because i uh, never get a haircut and i uh, don't wear clothes well perfect <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was, I was gonna say you gave it a five out of ten was it five out of ten it's it's not the worst thing ever i think if i said oh it's a two out of ten i'd be you know lying to just to like rile up the <laughs> audience but it's it's a shit it's the worst mcu flick uh i can't the moment it finished i was like that's at most a four and after excruciating script writing to break this film down and all of its issues i'm like i'm like i think i think it's fair to be like a two or three at this point and uh again this isn't something i just came up with like because i'm angry or anything else i actually was just it was just like such a meh film but uh for consistency's sake man the the world building the characters the the actual plot if you follow what the the villains and heroes are all trying to do and the methods in which they do it it's um it's looking dreadful in terms of like i don't think there's a worse mcu film for an actual structure of a of a narrative and it has nothing to do with the fact that, like all this shit's going on i literally like i was actually hoping it would be a well written film so i could at least just say that but uh no hope on that front like, um, mm. did you notice how the big twist in the film where the, the, the does, who, does anyone care about spoilers for this? I don't think, um, for, wait for Captain not Marvel. Not one bit. All right, chat. We are Darth going to Vader spoil... dies at the end of the third movie. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to spoil Captain Marvel. So if you really are invested in the story of Brie Gorgonzola or whatever, then tune, tune out and go watch my videos and we'll let you know what's done. <laughs> The so dog now, and I am legend dies. Yeah, yeah Sean Bean dies. In, in everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Um, we find out that the, the baddies of the movie are actually the goodies about two-thirds of the way through. And uh, I, I guess this question is just for Jeff, but uh, did you find it odd that they'd been trying to kill Captain Marvel up to that point in several scenes, and then they tell her, yeah, we just, we needed you so we could find the engine. And, it, and it's like, why were you trying to murder her? <laughs> like, if, if you needed to just talk to her? Well, I, if I could go on, make two points. First off, in terms of the actual film, I agree with you. I felt that it was stupid, it made no sense, and it kind of, the structure of the movie just kind of fell in on itself. But my bigger problem is, I don't know if you guys are into the Marvel comics like I've been. Historically, the Skrulls, who were there since the beginning, they were in the second issue of Fantastic Four, were always these evil, shape-shifting uh, aliens that caused a lot of problems. Wait, and I know ones from the, uh, the ones from the, the older comics? They've been around since 1960. Two wow. or sixty-one, depending on whenever the second oh. book was published. All right, there so you're are... talking. Oh, so you're talking about the Elder Scrolls? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 We're back on Duel and Duel. What are those homophones? Right? Homophones. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the thing is, it also ruins like the MCU going forward because that was one of the great storylines that they could tell in the Marvel Comics uh, cinematic universe. You know, Secret Invasion. When Elektra died in the comic, she turned out to be a scroll. Then there was this whole thing where, who's a scroll? You'll find out. It kind of mirrored the whole Red Scare of the 1950s here in America with who's a communist and who's not. Oh. It was a really well written story. And a lot of people, now that uh, Iron Man and Cap and Thor and all these actors are going to leave, you're thinking, well, what can I, you know, sink my teeth into? And you're thinking, well, that's going to be one of them. This is going to be one of them. And not only does Captain Marvel come out as a bad film that doesn't hold up it kind of ruins the future of the mcu and the possibilities because they'll have to backtrack from that feel-good piece of shit to come back and try to you know bring some integrity and intensity to the scrolls yeah the uh the the, the damage that like it seems it's, i remember from the film i was like this seems like the kind of thing they could tell over a trilogy of films like the scroll versus the kree and all the effects and stuff. And uh, Fringy, a guy who's, uh, who's regularly on uh, EFAP, he, before Captain Marvel came out, he was telling me about how the Skrull and the Kree work, and he was like, uh, who do you think, out of all the characters that are currently established in the MCU, are going to be a Skrull? And I was like, I don't know, we, it was just a bit of speculation, how things would work, what it would mean if certain people were or weren't, and how much sense it would make. And he, like, he comes home from watching it, and he was like, fucking nobody was. <laughs> it's like, what, why did they waste it? They could have done, uh. I was like, yeah, well... That sounds about right. Like, they, they, just, they're trying to be safe, like trying to seal it all off while also being like, "Yeah, we could do more with it, maybe. My my problem is like, you know, as a fan of this stuff, I mean, even admittedly, some of these MCU flicks that aren't the greatest, I still am okay with mm -hmm. more kind of looking at a kind eye at them. Uh, you know, overall, I've been really happy. And I mean, part of it with uh, the end game for me is like, it's an end of an era. Maybe I'm ready to move on. But Captain Marvel only exacerbated that and made it, like guaranteed that I'm ready to move on because before I'm like, ah, if they do some cool stuff, you know, I'll stick around because there was an era in the books where like a lot of the Avengers left the team and you were left with a real odd, like Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch team and people still read the comic and then eventually Cap and Iron Man came back. But in the movies, we'll never get that. And, you know, you're not starting strong Marvel from a business standpoint. You got to build up like you did before. I know brand recognition is great, but we're going on about the last Jedi two years after it came out and it damaged star wars anything oh, yeah. can damage a big brand if it's terrible uh and and where, where i'm i'm sorry marlon go ahead oh uh, well uh go ahead if you want to add on because i'm going to move on to a slightly different captain marvel thing okay well yeah and what i was going to say is when it comes down to like i'm a i'm a fairly decent mcu fan um i've had my ups and downs but infinity war pulled me back into the mcu like i didn't expect anything to so i've never been higher on the mcu so all of this Captain Marvel stuff has really taken away from my excitement to take us to Endgame, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And so that's where I'm at with it. And so that's why I'm so frustrated with it, because it's such a – this was a strategically placed film. This was placed where it's placed, released when it's released, at the time in between these two movies to make it as successful as possible. Yeah, to generate and, as much goodwill, be like, look – Look, yeah. she's right there among Infinity War and Endgame, the two biggest movies of the MCU. She's there. She's cool too. It's like, uh, yeah. And so that's that's my problem with it. Is is my and I do think Infinity War is is an all timer, man. I love Infinity War. And and again, I was really kind of I was going through a fatigue of sorts with the MCU prior to Infinity War, and it just got me so motivated. And now I'm so frustrated with just Captain Marvel, not the MCU, but. 
Well, uh, like, forward, uh, there's some people who like said, like, voice. oh, people are overblowing how overpowered she is. Do you guys, like, are you aware that the movie portrays her as... She has the ability to travel at the speed of light. Yeah, I've heard all the spoilers of it. Like, and, it's... And... That's not something, like, that... That ability, That's kind of a big fucking deal. It's a big yeah. fucking deal. <laughs> you could do. Yeah. I, was, I was like, do you understand the fucking things she could do if she could travel and survive at the speed of light? Like that's. Uh, I know people be like, oh, superheroes. Why are you taking it so seriously? It's like I don't know, man. Cap, yes, Iron but Man, how like, super? There's the, the fact that Iron Man suits would actually like take damage and degrade over this course of fights. Like, is at least to the sign to the audience that he has limitations. You don't. It's not just like a perfect soup throughout the entire thing. We actually get like a sense of like, oh yeah, he's actually potentially going to lose out eventually, run out of resources, which isn't accentuated more so than with Thanos when he gets himself stabbed with his own suit. The idea that um, she can, like, I shouldn't be asking these questions, but I'm like, is she still carbon based? Does she still like require energy? Like, I don't. You bleed? Like, I don't. I don't oh, get it. Those are legitimate concerns because uh, we've all seen Christopher Reeve Superman. The first one, directed by Richard Donner, he had this mantra, verisimilitude. I think it means like, you know, it's fantasy, but you treat it realistically. And Marvel had done that. Like you brought up Iron Man suit. Remember, he ran out of energy at the end of the first one because he had the wrong core. There are certain things that keep you. And it's also, it helps with drama because if your hero is never in any kind of danger, that's why we complain about Ray. It's not because of her vagina. It's because she's never in any danger and she comes out on top no matter what. I've never seen her vagina, so I can't comment on that. <laughs> I don't want to see it either, but also, she did play a cadaver. They ain't all winners, folks. For, uh, for, for the sake of checks, I, I, I didn't know this until I was actually like uh, looked over it with, with Fringy, but you know the, the Jeff, again, is the only person who's going to know this. So at the end of the film where they get into that ship and they leave in search for other scrolls and they they just zoom off because obviously it's got the light speed engine technology in it. The quad jet? Yeah. Uh, she travels alongside it. There's no way she had enough time to get into it. There's no, like, fucking... She literally goes, like, Wheem! like a, a split second later, they both fire off. And there's two, there's two little trails as well in the sky. So she's traveling oh, she with them, her. which means... She's traveling at the speed of light. <laughs> Assuming that's what light speed engines do, I don't know. The, the film never says that they call it that for any other reason, right? Like, it must be... Which I find odd, yeah. by the way. Why would that be faster than what they currently travel with? You know, those those jump points? Why would, Wouldn't that be faster than the speed of light? The I believe so, because... that mo Here's one thing I don't think a lot of people are taking into consideration with Captain Marvel much like the last two Star Wars movies in the main line, they take place over such a short, uh, excuse me, such a short period of time that it causes like odd inconsistencies because it's like, they say how many hours it takes Jude Law to get to Earth. Right. All, and all these things just happen in like one day and it almost feels too crammed in and you can't really buy into, you know, any theories or uh, world building. It's all just over one short period of time. It reminds me of the fucking fuel shit in TLJ because now I'm asking myself like 22 hours. So, the scrolls already traveled that distance, which means they can travel pretty fucking fast at a pretty long distances. So why do they need the light speed engine? Can't they just use whatever they're using anyway? Why is the Tesseract with, uh, what's her name, Annette Benning? I mean, there's so many questions. And like today, I just saw a meme over on our Facebook page. This movie actually retcons Nick Fury's eye completely because if you watch, I think it's Winter Soldier, he shows a picture of himself, old and bald, with both eyeballs, so no scratch either. So there's just more problems that this movie creates than it does uh, bring goodwill or excitement for Endgame. This is why my big problem with identity politics is because they – you go back to The Force Awakens. The initial idea was to put a diverse cast, not to tell a good story, to put a diverse cast. And when you start out, storytelling is taking a back seat. You know, you heard J.J. Abrams talk about it. Well, we want this world to look like our world. No, the fuck we don't. Nobody wants a goddamn 7-Eleven on the corner. I was going to so say, did you see the cantina in uh, New Hope? <laughs> it wasn't exactly like... Exactly. And so, you know, you heard them say these things. So with Captain Marvel, it's clear that they're focused on putting a female superhero, which, again, nobody has a problem with with that in isolation but you are basing this on gender and not storytelling and once you do that the storytelling is going to suffer and so their focus is to you know represent uh the, the woman and and get the woman to get respect because she's been so held down and this is breaking barriers even though wonder woman only came out like two years ago um you know they they have revisionist history 
a yeah, far Alita better film. Almost in parallel with Captain Marvel too, and a lot of people really liked Alita. Yeah, uh, Alita is fantastic. I don't know if you guys have seen Uh-oh. it. But it is <laughs> great. It's now a Disney film, Jeremy. So keep that in yeah. mind. Uh, that's true. Hey Wolf, that's what true. do you think of Alita: Battle Angel? Oh, do we want to go into it now? You could, you could, if you guys want fight. to. It's up fight. to you guys. Fight, fight, um, fight. Well, I, I made quite a few people. Have you made mad a video on saying, this. Have no. you made a video on this? Okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on the manga to come in because I want to make a video specifically about Alita's world building because I thought it was fucking awful. So, <sighs> yeah, I thought it had some of the worst world building I've seen in a sci-fi film in recent years. It's. Wolf it's has bad. pissed off people in our chat several times with this. <laughs> yes, and, and here's here's the great thing is like people got mad at me for it, so I was like, fine, I'll go watch it again and see if I didn't pay attention because people were saying that I literally didn't pay attention to the movie. So I went back, and only one of the like fifty questions I had was actually answered, and it was only revealed in a single like four word sentence. And I, I hadn't seen the movie in a month, so I think I get a little bit of credit for that one at least. But <laughs> anyway, I asked people the questions that I had after watching the second one, and the only responses I've had are admissions that the movie doesn't explain it or really bullshit um, answers that aren't ever given in the film or my personal favorite, it doesn't matter or that it would take three hours to explain it anyway, which I think is a really shitty excuse. So oh, you are you are gonna are you you are gonna make a video on this? Yes, but I'm waiting. I want to read the manga first, and the manga's taking fucking forever to get here. I ordered it oh. like a month ago, and it's not coming till like April 9th. You or ordered so. from Japan? Japan's far, no, far I or- away. I, I ordered it from Amazon. Because there was like the Amazon same... is far, far away too. Yeah, dude. Come and on. I live right up the street from an Amazon uh, hub. I get everything the same day. Well, well yeah, no, I know. I think it's because, um, because the the pack I ordered is the entire series in a single package. Oh, um, okay. And it came out like coinciding with the movie. So I think what happened is a lot of people bought it immediately, and they didn't make enough copies. So. And to clarify, still... world building is the biggest problem you had, right? You were okay with, uh, yeah. I mean, the, se- the second, yeah. I mean, visuals. I mean, I don't really care because it's superficial. The music, That's character was, development. Yeah. I liked Doctor Ito, and that was really it. Doctor Ito. Well, I mean, I, I've seen Alita once, um, and I had no z- desire to see it until everybody and their brother kept telling me to go see it. Well, here, I, here's I, the I, thing: I, I, I went into it thinking it was going to be good because. I really like the YouTuber ER. I don't know if you know who. He said Nicolin R. Yeah. 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 He said it was good. And I was like, well, I generally agree with a lot of the things he says. So I was actually walking into it kind of excited. But a lot of the moments that were supposed to be dramatic, I found myself laughing at. And that's because your characters I heartless. really didn't like. Although the second I mean, time I actually found myself liking Dr. Ito a lot, which I wasn't expecting would like to see it again and uh i I would have a discussion with you after you uh make your video after i get to watch it and if i see it again i'll I'll have a discussion because i world building was not a problem for me and world building is a problem for me in a lot of movies uh but i would like to watch it with that perspective in mind to to to, but i like seen it the one time so um, i i I came out of it kind of like mad and at it because i was like people really think this is a good movie but as I thought about it more, I was like, there's a glimmer. It's more of a disappointment because there's a lot there that they could have made a really good movie out of. But I feel like it could have benefited from like 45 extra minutes. I love how to like really I had a it. similar reaction with Captain Marvel when I was like, people thought this was mediocre? It's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> like, like J- Jeff, have you seen anybody say Captain Marvel is great? On Facebook, so, I have outside of, but never outside in of the person. Captain Marvel bots. <laughs> like I've not seen well, anyone I, defend that position. I've seen people say I like talk- it's okay, it's okay. I counsel. You know, we all are connected to you know geek culture in, in a sense in, in the online community. We all kind of like you know Wolf is like okay, I I heard everybody saying that Alita was great, so I went and saw it, and I don't understand why people are saying this. We all get the the vibe. We all get the the temperature of the room. No fucking body is praising. There's no excitement, generally speaking, about Captain Marvel. 
Yeah, no, it's yeah, already this a movie's dud. made eight hundred and twelve million dollars. The There's nobody have, talking about this movie. The concern I have with my video, I'm like, I better get this done quicker because like people are gonna forget it exists soon. <laughs> You're right <laughs> about that? that. You're right think, about that. I think you have a week. That's your window, and then I think Captain Marvel's dead. Oh well, I, I'm not sure I can get it. Like, so I'm trying to. It's... I don't know, man. I put out a Fallout video months after people said it was a dead topic, and I think people will always be reminded. I think. If you do a if you do critique on it and it's long enough, people will see that and go, "Oh yeah, I've heard it was bad, but clearly it's not." There's a lot of stuff I don't know, and I want to find out why. Yeah, <laughs> well, there's some weird stuff going on with Captain Marvel videos. Oh yeah, I'll tell absolutely. you that right now. There's um, some shenanigans. Well, um, and on my personal channel, even I got um, I made a video about the the New Zealand shooting the the night it happened because of the whole PewDiePie thing, you know, where they were trying to. There was people on Twitter. You know, it's like, oh, it's PewDiePie's fault. He's, you know, spreading alt-right toxicity. And so I made a video. I didn't talk about the shooting specifically as much as I was talking about the reaction and how people are trying to blame PewDiePie. Um, on my personal channel, which uh, only when I – I think I had like 9,000 subs when I uploaded it. I don't post a lot there. The video had like over 50,000 views in a few hours. And all of a sudden, I get an email notification. YouTube said, I uh, violated community standards with my metadata. I'm like, I, I have no idea. what It's the same metadata I have on everything. I had the correct tags and on my website. Um, they took it down and said, you can re-upload it when you correct the problem. What's the fucking problem? I don't know. what You're not telling what the problem is. Anna, that Star Wars girl just had a Captain Marvel video um, set to private that she couldn't unlock because of metadata. They, they, she, they, they said she violated metadata. I don't know what this means. I, I know, and so it's really kind of weird some of the decisions that they're making right now with uh, Captain Marvel. My views have tanked in the last three or four days. We 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 had like six million views in the last thirty days on Geeks and Gamers, and now uh, and that's that's about averaging about two hundred thousand views a day. Uh, I'm lucky if I can get fifty thousand views right now in a day because it's just weird, man. So it froze my channel essentially. My subscriber count was going. I'd probably get a thousand subscribers every other day, maybe maybe have a thousand a day. But all of a sudden, we hit 107 and change, and then we stopped, and then we went down and we went up, and now we're slightly moving up again. But I also applied to get my channel verified, like you did, Jeremy, and uh, that's when I kind of ran into an issue. So I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but but it, it's not just me; it's you. It's Nerd Rodic who doesn't even make yeah, anything. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it, it's a yeah. YouTube issue. I don't think we're being targeted. I think the topic is, and I think that's why people talk about it. Maybe Disney thinks well. As long as they're talking about it, people will go see it. But, you know, this topic, I hate to use the phrase toxic, but it's like just nasty, the stuff that goes on with this movie. And that's why we critique it the way we do. And it's we're lucky that it's a shit movie on top of it. It's not like it's this great piece of art that we're trying to tear down because of something. Not only is it a bad film, but the culture surrounding it is just terrible. It's crazy. So Wolf, I mean, uh, Mahler, uh, either hurry and get that video out <laughs> or, um, you know, don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, way. fuck, dude, I've, 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 what is it, nearly five hours into a, a two out of six pop breakdown of a movie that came out in 2015 that everybody is yeah. like, everyone knows Force Awakens is bad. And I'm like, well, no, <laughs> don't ever give up on those because I listen to those when I draw the comic. I love the long form stuff, so. Yeah, I, I watched it all. I'm having a wink. <laughs> Did you guys hear about what happened to Midnight's Edge on their Captain Marvel deal? No, what's that? No. They were live streaming. Uh, uh, I think it was a non spoiler review of uh, Captain Marvel. In the middle of the live stream, it got taken down and they got a strike on their channel. For what? Dude, and uh, they, they appealed the it and got the strike. The Estonian government. That's who struck them down. The Estonian government? That's a made up country. I have screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'll read you the exact do, 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 in a minute. Just like North Dakota okay. is a made up state. Well, no, that's North East Dakota. That's what some people call Canada. <laughs> I, I will say, say and if, and if, if Midnight Edge always, runs into always, trouble, oh. okay, someone, someone take Midnight, <laughs> someone gonna if, Midnight Edge run, if, if a channel like Midnight's Edge runs into trouble, who isn't? They don't stir up any shit. They're just a matter of fact channel like boom this is what we know this is what we don't know they don't make up anything they don't cause any problems if they're running into issues i think the problem is something else not their content so it was it was kind of scary yeah really i mean it's um 
there's just so vague. I will say, and just just to be fair, I mean, I've had my issues that YouTube has directly helped me out with at the same time, but it still doesn't change the frustration YouTube level. YouTube is so that, fickle. That's the oh, thing. yeah. You don't know if they're I mean, going to help you one day or just shit down your throat the next. I know. And they went out of their way to help me when I had my problem because my entire month's ad revenue got stolen from me. Um, I got caught up in a stupid phishing scam, uh, scam and uh, they took everything, every penny. Hey, Wolf, and, phishing is a homophone. Uh, YouTube. <laughs> full circle, man. Full circle. Um, yeah, but you YouTube, told me YouTube, happened. Yeah, because uh, I was I was on the set of Star Wars Theories Vader fan film when when I got the email and uh, I just I had so much going on I just um, I wasn't thinking clearly and I, I responded to I clicked the link that I shouldn't have and anyway long story short YouTube went out of their way to help me and they got everything back and and got it uh, put back in my account and so um, but goddamn though they can it's one day they're like it's just hard to figure out what type of service you're going to get from well, it's like when so. you call into like support for a big company is like you're purely at the whims of just whoever it happens to be at the other end of the line and whether or not they give a shit about you yeah like maybe yeah. you'll get a nice person maybe you'll get an indian who knows <laughs> yep <laughs> wow rags <laughs> maybe it'll be a nice person or an indian yeah <laughs> <laughs> i like that you had to no, oh, no, no, crazy. no, just to clear it. No, I mean dots, just not feathers. Imp what? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> hey, hey, Jeff, do you remember when you had the street with me, Razor Fist, and uh, uh, the guy who ran the toy channel? I didn't get to know him very well. But, Retroplasting. Um, do you remember, I think it was a joke from Razor Fist that got, like, all of us in trouble on Twitter, because they were like, uh, it was some joke about, um... I think it was like Kelly Marie Tran, something to do with her. And it was just like, we got major outrage. People be like, how could you laugh at such a racist joke? It's like, <sighs> like, we go through that regularly funny. on EFAP. Next question. <laughs> yeah, but that's... You know, that, that kind of pissed me off. I felt bad for Retro Blasting because he was the most professional about all of it. And that kind of killed our uh, professional working relationship because he had been on the channel one other time. And it was one of my favorite things I've ever done. But he got so much flack from his community that... I just was like, you know what, man? I don't want to cause you any problems. We just won't work together anymore. And, yeah. you know, I've I've since talked to Razor Fist and stuff, I believe. And he's cool. But it was such a, an innocent awesome. joke, too. Yeah, no, that's, that's the thing. Like, anything goes on EFAP pretty much. Because once you draw some kind of, like, you're not allowed to joke about X, uh, the community will start to evolve to the point where everything starts to become impossible to joke about. And then... You will go yeah, hang yeah, out on another stream where it's allowed, and you laugh along. It's like you're just gonna get yourself in so much trouble. We don't want to build up a community that will turn on us the second we say something that they deem inappropriate. Yeah, you know, we don't want to. We don't want a Destiny's community. We don't want one of these feminist communities. We don't want to have to constantly straddle the right line of what's acceptable to say. And yet we will keep pushing that line. <laughs> yeah, boy. It comes up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was gonna say I mean, we, we've we've actually passed an hour, so I was gonna we should probably get get to this video to make sure we're actually um we're doing something today. Is it, everybody's in this this watch together, right? I guess I should uh, give a small intro for the for the people of the chat. This is a video called uh, Star Wars: The Fandom Menace, and awesome. I was sent it a while ago, and I figured like I've been waiting for the right sort of guests to cover it with because um pretty much. You you guys uh you guys own that sort of moniker right the fandom menace, yeah. So proud of it. I was uh, they they took me down yesterday, so I don't know if you guys saw I got exposed, so I'm no longer involved. <laughs> You're not alone. So. No, no, no. <laughs> you just uh you, you got your fandom menace card taken away. But yeah, I don't know if this is a coincidence or not. Like I don't know if this person named this video after that sort of collective or if it was just you know he's just calling it that because it's a clever name sort of thing. Like instead of fandom, fandom. um. But it's definitely a criticism of like the sort of toxicity that surrounds Star Wars as a whole. So I don't know for sure that this is going to be a terrible video, but it'll be interesting to talk about and we'll be able to uh, jump into any sort of topics because I think it's safe to assume that all five of us are not exactly pleased with The Last Jedi or Star Wars right now. Not, not pleased. Could have been better. Yeah, could have been, been better. Could have been better. I'm going, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. I love that movie. <laughs> to the season. I, yeah, it, was, it was pretty good. Maybe this guy will change our mind. Anyway, here goes. This will be fun. Oh, and of course, for those who are new to watch together, you can change the volume for yourself 
uh, in the bottom okay. right. Yes, it won't affect the anyone left, else's. The bottom left, the you see Mahler. What's this is really cool? So that's the left there at the bottom right. Um, you could pause it if you hold up your hands. Right, I can't because I got paused. But if you can hold up your you can hold up your hands and you can put your pointy finger and then your thumbs out and the mm -hmm. one that makes an L is your left hand. Pause is a homophone. So you know that one's left. That's true. Pause is a homophone. I'm glad we've made progress today. On words. You can twist your right hand to make an L too. Yeah, but why would you do that? That would be ableist. <laughs> Don't know what to expect from this, honestly. Star Wars? I Ooh, hate it already. <laughs> <laughs> That's you guys, by the way. Hooray! Yeah. We it. I get it. It's ruined. Where can we go from here? There's no hope. Has anybody who asks this question Shut up. thought that they could be the root of the problem? I'm assuming we could all come to the same what? conclusion. No. This video is a call to arms for all the decent and mentally sound Star Wars all right. fans. For those call to arms, my brothers. We need to fight it's against the meanies on the internet. What do you mean? He says Chris Stuckman is one of the sane ones. All right. One of the... The, the, the man who has no opinion on anything is one of the sane ones. Good to know. Thanks. <laughs> Tear this video down right now. If you agree with this guy, you're a sane person. If you don't, you're an asshole. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's the whole 40 minute video. I'm glad nice I came. Made simple. Movie, and for those who didn't, but still have a sense of humanity. For those that may sense have of humanity. Humanity. <laughs> sense, hey, an... sense of sense humanity. Sense of humanity as you show a black man? How dare you? <laughs> are you saying that black men are not humans? I like. I'm glad Fringy's a frog, or else I would have serious problems. Like the I hate everything <sighs> is like you know budged it with the rational ones. Yeah, the rational I hate everything. Do you know yeah. what's funny? Uh, me and Jay watched I Hate Everything's video on why he hates superhero movies, right? And at one point he goes on this like small tangent ranting about how he's like, I should be allowed to criticize these movies without you like assuming that I'm taking your feelings away. And, he, and he's like, um, you're not going to change my mind on whether or not these superhero movies are terrible because what I did was come to a conclusion that wasn't mindless. And I was just like, oh my god, this oh, is from wow. like three Holy years fuck. ago? And I was like, if this I Hate Everything met the I Hate Everything from his TLJ video, those two would not get along with each other. Once you start a That's conversation look, off with, you cannot bad. possibly change my mind. My <laughs> mind is made up, I am set, and there is no way for you to change your mind. He's like, why have a discussion with you ever? I mean, look at, his, look at his anthem review where he just said, in my opinion, every other sentence. He's just so, I don't know, I hate everything. Ah, Such a weenie. Everything. Alex, oh, you lost your balls. Get him back. I was going to say, it, it felt like I was listening to like a, a non-defanged Alex from three years ago. Like the guy was like, I'm gonna fucking rip into this thing because it's this. Instead of like, if you remember in his TLJ video, he actually says uh, he feels like he's he's contributed to the problem of film criticism. Like the I mean, if you look at his Destiny video, like his very first Destiny video, and compare it to anything he's made in the past year, it's like a different person. Yeah, it's like a different person. Sorry, I hate everything. <laughs> we totally sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sorry. Your content sucks now. And if you're Go back content, to what made you good in the first place. If your content was better, it would. But I don't know about you guys, uh, uh, Jerry and Jeff, but we sort of have this thing on EFAB. We were like, TLJ was like a big litmus test. Like a lot of reviewers were were basically like they were if they put out a video arguing that uh, TLJ was extremely well written. Any movie before that, they could do it and they'd mostly be fine, even if the movie was terrible. But with TLJ, it was like they were getting called out. They would be like, well, what about this? And then they'd be like, huh? You know, Exposed. Uh, we, we called them shills in a lot of our uh, videos, Jeremy. But that's kind of like a litmus test for us, too. If you're bought and paid for, I can tell, you know, you're afraid of criticism if you blindly love this movie in many regards. Oh, I, I, uh, I, hey, I can tell you point. Turn up the volume for the video. They can hear Hold it up in the, the chat. Volume. Yeah, oh, I saw a few uh, of those there. comments. Um, I can tell you point blank. Um, I had a good relationship with uh, Lucasfilm. Uh, I got I went on a personal tour of Lucasfilm, everything, and um, then I shit all over the Last Jedi, unfriended, unfollowed, um, and just basically treated like Candyman. Uh, by Lucasfilm, so you you have to stay off? in their good graces. <laughs> um, but you have to stay in their good graces and so you got people out there that'll shill for them and and, and will just do anything they can to stay within the good graces so they can get those press passes and 
uh, get the Star Wars oh. celebration passes, all yeah, that that's stuff. Success to a lot Thanks. of people. Oh yeah. Thanks, uh, multi multi mystic for reminding me. I'm supposed to ask you guys, what are your bets for the uh? So for episode nine, which I'm assuming both of you are gonna go gonna go see. Are you? Yeah, you gonna the channel like I did Captain Marvel. Yeah, sort of just. Watch the funeral for Star Wars, sort of thing. Masking like, your misogyny the behind eulogy. the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so on on EFAT, we got a running sort of bet that got started. I think I think it was the Shinobi episode that this got started. Funnily enough, because uh, Cynic Snacks was one of the first people who actually uh, gave a vote. So, uh, which do you think will be either like the most poorly written or most inconsistently written character of Episode Nine? Now. Before you say anything, you're not allowed to vote for Lando or Kylo because we all know that those two are going to be top tier choices because Kylo makes no sense constantly, it's like one of the most strongest choices. And uh, Lando, it's it's probably safe to assume Lando will be ruined. Like uh, he'll be white in the next movie. Yeah, you know why not? Um, actually, they wouldn't do that. They'd make him female or whatever. <laughs> like it wouldn't be. They wouldn't make him white. Rags, come on. Yeah, yeah. that's too evil. Yeah. That's evil right there. That's evil. So, uh, out of the, I mean, you can vote for whoever you want, but the top voted things right now are Finn and Poe for like characters that'll just be most inconsistent. But obviously, you can go for literally anybody. As far I think the logic with people not voting for Luke is that he's basically been destroyed. So it's like I don't even. But you can whatever yeah. justification you want. Which character do you think is going to be the most like fucked up or inconsistent? I think if you look at it, I mean, out out of the choice, uh, Finn. What they did with Finn in The Force Awakens and how they were setting him up and then what they did with him in The Last Jedi, um, it's just so weird. And I feel like J.J. is going to take it back to what they were doing in The Force Awakens, but that almost applies to everything that I feel J.J. is going to do. I think that the whole trilogy is going to be inconsistent in, in such a on such a massive level, but in terms of specific characters, I feel like Finn is going to be heavily focused on a lot in Episode Nine. Um, and I feel like that's going to make his whole arc the most inconsistent. Uh, I'm going to go with Poe, but I do want to say Finn had the potential to be the most interesting of the entire trilogy. Yep. They would have, you know, not made of a joke. But I'll go with Poe Dameron because the new Star Wars trilogy needs the, um, you know, the the, uh, the mirrored image of Han, Luke, and Leia. So they tried that with Ray, Finn, and Poe. All of them suck. To make Poe something that the boys can uh you know glom onto because he was so lame in the uh, second one you know he was okay in the first one kind of there just existed but he got basically cucked out by was it admiral holdo and then mm -hmm. didn't really do anything at the end he did some cool slide and that's it i say in this one they try to make him an interest or an actual character that's my guess he'll be the most inconsistent because they'll try I'm not saying he's gonna be great but they'll mm -hmm. try harder to make him more masculine in the traditional sense you're gonna have a poe Mm -hmm. And uh, Jeremy, you're going for Finn, right? Oh, Jer Jeremy Poe. Jeremy is Finn, and Jeff is Poe. Excellent. Uh, I was going to say I'm voting for Finn, and uh, Jeff, you're with uh, Alex Vox's CJ and Southpaw. So you, they're the two top voted ones right now, is Finn and Poe. Seems everybody's pretty sure they're going to be the ones that are fucked up. And I just I look at it and I'm like, is it because of the fact that everyone else is already ruined and Ray will be perfect? There's, there's no chance Ray will be inconsistent. <laughs> well, I voted for Hux. True, and I uh, the logic right is that uh, you went from X in Force Awakens to Y in TLJ, so now they have to choose between X or Y, and no matter what they so do, this, the more you talk about this, the more it just, <laughs> oh my god, it's such a disaster, man. God damn. But yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's good that I did that, and now we will uh, we'll kick on with the video to make sure it's just a. Uh... Oh yippee! <laughs> Assuming we can all come to the same conclusion, no. This video is a call to arms <laughs> for all the decent and mentally sound ah, Star mentally. Wars fans. For those who right, liked the movie, such and for conviction those who didn't, but still have He does say for those who didn't like it, but um, have a sense of humanity. For those that, <laughs> that have a sense of humanity, and you have to wonder, like, are we included in that? We're probably not. Are we? We probably <laughs> we, we probably did make the cut. No. May have differing views, but can all come to an agreement on the fact that the actions of a specific set of our community. A horrid part of our fan base have no justifiable right they to have, act out as a horrid. What? Yeah, they a have horrid a... part of the fan base. Finish your sentence, bro. He sounds very, very. God, stable. he sounds like TRO when he fucked up that sentence in that video and got like every other word wrong. I am. Um, do you guys love it? And I'm not saying that's exactly what he just said here, but do you guys love it when people say that 
your emotional reaction to a piece of content is wrong. As in, like, you're but, overreacting, or you're, you're, you're too angry, or you're too blah blah blah. It's no, just like, you're overreacting in the way that I don't, the, the direction that I don't like. Yeah, overreact in the way that I like. Like, say you love it, that's okay. Say you adore it, you worship it, that's all good. But if you hate it, oof. Ooh, that's not, mm, that's You realize this is for kids and you hate it, right? I love that argument yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah, it's a, ki it's a kid's movie, but we're going to obsess over sexual relationships uh, and do our fan fiction with Poe and Finn uh, making out. But it's for kids, for kids. Well, remember, uh, you're just... allowed to love it, right? But you're not allowed to hate it because it's for kids. Right, right. It's so like, you're, so you're allowed you... to have the emotional reaction we deem is appropriate. It's like, I, what, has anyone ever said you shouldn't love Star Wars, it's for kids? It's like, how weird would that... you just be like, what? All I hear is you shouldn't criticize it because it's for kids. It doesn't hold up to any standards. What? Yeah, we, we only give our kids crap. It's just some of my favorite movies are designed specifically for children, so I, I, I'd be like... Toy Story? I mean, Toy Story? Grand Adventure? No. <laughs> Wally is, is not something that is poorly written. Like <laughs> Treasure Planet. Um, Iron Giant. I like that movie. Incredibles. Atlantis. And it's like Atlantis. once you've named enough, I love Atlantis. Once you've named enough, these the people who were making the argument would be like, "Oh yeah, there are some really well written kids stuff." <laughs> You'd be like, "Yes, <laughs> yes, there is." Get this Jared Leto looking motherfucker off the screen. An agreement it looks like a Luke Skywalker action. That the figure. actions of a specific set of our community, people still buy this, a horrid part of our fan base, horrid. have no justifiable right to act out as they have. One of the okay. messages that has always been an underlying tone of the Star Wars series, for me at least is there that no matter how different you look or sound, we are all a member of this one universe. Whether you like Last oh, Jedi- is message of Star Wars? Um, I'd say I've never- I've watched Star Wars for 26 years. I've never once had that thought. Yeah, that's, uh, no. That's the thing. That's why themes are so just low bar. You can yeah, make yeah, themes yeah. out of anything. You can connect anything. You should be like, oh, Star Wars is always about no matter where you're from, we're all a part of the same thing. It'd be like, uh... Um, what movie did you just watch? I don't think that they they glorify that the dark side members are like. That was a theme of Steve Irwin. <laughs> like, like, they're, they're just slightly different, but they're all welcome into our family. But like, not necessarily. I think you have to switch before you can come over to the cool. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it, the family themes, I totally get. But being like, it's like an all inclusive, happy, everybody's great sort of thing. I just be like, I don't think. Mm. Are the huts portrayed in a way that's anything other than evil? <laughs> like, that yeah. acceptance, Connor. <laughs> We don't accept the uh, the slug people. Ugh. They're not beach body ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that if this guy responded. He's like, "Well, we don't accept those guys, obviously. Is, Everyone else, though." Is that no matter how different you look or sound, we are all a member of this one universe. Whether you like Last Jedi or you weren't a fan of it, doesn't matter. We're all part of this fan base. <laughs> like it or it's up a fan. to us to root out the <laughs> hatred, though. <laughs> the infection of a root out the hatred. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. If you liked it, or you weren't a fan, <laughs> it's like a fucking religion. Jesus, we have to root out the hatred. I'm sure the... that was an accident in his script, but the implication of that sentence, like, uh, it's just funny. They hate Jesus. We have to root them out of society. Like it's, yeah, it's like if you if you like the i'm trying to yeah you get the point jedi look or if you, you like the jews or you're not a big fan of them maybe we should just root them out of society <laughs> aren't a fan of it doesn't matter we're all part of this fan base it's up to us to oh, root out us the people hatred. who hate it the infection of oh. a once great fandom has to be cured infection <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. it's literally oh like God. a fucking crusade call man <laughs> the we, muslims in our goddamn holy land community. that is I can't even express how stupid of a quote that is. We have to retake Jerusalem, man. Hey man it's a it's a call for peace, right? To quell the, the infection. infection and reach peace. I always say that, like, as a sports fan, these people would never survive being in sports. Fans. They would oh hit God. you with their plastic oh lights. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just unbelievable that they think that this is toxic or dangerous. It's like, go to, go to a fucking football game. People and just you... don't like your shit movie. So, so yeah, I mean, my God, man. The fact that it comes the, down to that the, is so the, awkward. The whole chat is saying Day Jesus. Is fault. <laughs> <laughs> All crusades are If just. you're with me on this journey of reclaiming a peaceful fandom full of different but equally as beautiful opinions. Equally <laughs> as beautiful opinions? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
as long as they line up with yours, right, pal? Oh, absolutely. As long as they are of these equally beautiful opinions, as long as they're positive and I approve of them. Remember the prequels? <laughs> that was the, that was very divisive. No, it was okay Still to hate is. them. That's how people usually justify this shit. They'll be like, "Yeah, but they were bad." Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, so oh. It's just... Why are all the idiots looking, think... like this fucking movie? Like they're Disney drones. Like, can you actually name one intelligent person on the planet that's actually unironically a Last Jedi fan? Well, it's strange because my dad likes it. My dad loves the Last Jedi. Is your dad smart? <laughs> oh, he's really smart. That's the thing. He's just he he just sees movies a different way. I guess it's weird. Honestly, like I could see casual viewers totally liking it. Like I, if, yeah, I feel he's... like if my parents saw the Last Jedi, which they haven't even seen it, they, they, my dad would be like, "Oh, that's 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 uh, the Skywalker." I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> Logan Sky Runner. And then if I was like, Skywalker. "Why is he on that island, Dad?" He'd be like, "I, I don't know." Oh, I don't know, maybe he's on a pee break. You know how people get when they're old. Dad, why is he giving up on everything? Oh, I don't <laughs> Someone in the chat old. said my sister's boyfriend loves TLJ. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that their wife's boyfriend really likes TLJ, I can tell you that much. Oh, so. yeah. yeah. Wonderful film. Then enjoy what this video has to offer. If not... If you're part of the toxic brood that has recently <laughs> the reared the toxic us. brood like from it's the I WWE, like guys, enjoy <laughs> the video or you're toxic. <laughs> like, cool. Jeff, who all is doing the brood? Uh, oh God, it's Christian and Gangrel. So we're the brood. I like it. Yeah, well, it, it was brood, good man. knowing you guys. We're gonna be sent to jail for being part of the toxic brood soon. <laughs> the toxic brood. I have literally. It's like it's fucking Starcraft. You couldn't or something. make that shit up. Like that just sounds Bad like the more dumbest toxic thing. Broods. That sounds like the dumbest thing I might have ever heard somebody call me. I mean, I mean, but, but instantly it sets the tone of the video. It's the instantly toxic. right off the bat. Either you basically you like this film, or you're part of the toxic brood and you have to be excised from the community, like the tumorous <laughs> cancer you are. Toxic milk. <laughs> no. I just love. I'm already. He's already given me two great quotes for next April Fools. I'm like, chill out. We got a whole year of this before we can make into the script. Ugly face. Then I hope you stay and maybe learn that you can have a different opinion without being some sort of hate monger. Oh fucking hell! Hate this monger, is a there ironic. it is. Hate There's is some it? irony. Jesus. For the hate it? mongers of the toxic brood <laughs> nation. Oh. Jeez, I want that on a t-shirt. The hate, hate mongers, mongers are the toxic. Brood. Brood. Oh, uh, yeah, they're a really sweet uh, death metal band. Yeah, oh, hate mongers so are the toxic brood. Yeah, they're great. I saw them live. And, uh, I'm, 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 I'm embracing. I'm embracing the brood. Uh, the embrace the brood. brood. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm embrace the brood. Let's are own it. We're, we're with the five the founders of the toxic brood. <laughs> Last video defending Star Wars: The Last Jedi. I used the term fans. Referring to yeah. the ones who put down those who have different opinions. Oh, so we're not true oh, fans, I'm, right? I'm glad that you are the arbiter of what a true fan is. Thank yeah, you, thank Mr. You, Scotsman. <laughs> the ones who claim to be true Star Wars fans and say to others, You're not a true Star Wars fan if you didn't hate The Last Jedi. Are you okay. Saying okay. Exactly that you, have you obvious. guys ever said that to anyone? You're not a true Never fan? No, this. no. in Never this is discussion this. we always have. It's I say this all the time. Okay. It's okay to like a bad movie. Just acknowledge yeah. it. That's it. Unless it's the last like, <laughs> I, I, I still get, I still get eggs thrown at me in public for liking Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I'm one of but the seven should. people on the planet um, that likes this movie. It's not a good movie. It's a horrible film. So I think they equate that it. to uh, you're not letting us have our opinion or whatever. Oh, wait, Jeremy, uh, no, I'm, exactly. Mortal Kombat. I'm, yeah. I'm guilty of that. They're both. Uh, Man, they're they're just it's 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 total nostalgia for me. Um, like I said, with with the uh, Mortal Kombat three, um, and uh, Annihilation. But the point is, uh, nobody in the fandom of menace, nobody period that has you know become prominent uh, in the uh, you know resistance or whatever you want to call it of the Last Jedi and Disney Star Wars has said that you can't like the movie. Nobody has said that. Nobody has a problem. I have it's people a, on my team that like this movie from geeksandgamers.com. There are people that like it. It doesn't even make sense as a, a statement. Problem. You can't, I can't. Why haven't you excised them? From like, your, what can uh, I even do? Your... Cast a spell that prevents you from feeling that? Like, no, no. you cannot like it.
<laughs> it's people that need their opinion, uh, you know, just they need validated. their opinion validated by other people. Yes. And, and when they can't have their opinion validated, they need, you're immediately a racist, a sexist, a misogynist, toxic. Um, and you, even though none of that is ever true, like, you know, you, you can't assume people's politics because they have an opinion on a movie, but that's what these people do. So, um, by the way, it is good to be uh, on here with my fellow racist, sexist man babies. Uh, so I'm white power, honored. White power, honored, yeah. yeah. White power, yeah. Too. Both white power. White power. <laughs> white, white, power. power. white power. The South shall rise. You read the newspaper like, yeah, white power, white power. Yeah, white power. <laughs> Hitler. Yes, the South shall rise again. <laughs> the North shall rise. Uh, the South. Sorry. Make Germany great again. Yes. But yeah, the whole. Right, let's do it. The whole true fan thing as well. It's like. No true Scotsman. Like, does anyone really do that? I don't know. I've always assumed it was just ironically saying it, like you're not a true fan. I've always just... said this. I, I, I acknowledge that the prequels, especially the first two, have some some major problems. I enjoy the prequels. I enjoy the stories of the prequels. Um, I fought with prequel haters a, a lot. Like, I fought with these people for years for because I would defend the prequels from the story standpoint. When I argued with prequel haters we're Star Wars fans. When I argue with people that defend The Last Jedi, they don't seem to be Star Wars fans. They seem to be people that are invested in this because of the identity politics. That's what it comes off to me. I, 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 have, I have argued with these people so much on both sides, the prequel haters and The Last Jedi and the sequel trilogy defenders. And when I bring up points, it's just like they don't really seem to understand anything about Star Wars and why The Last Jedi is such a problem and how it impacted Return of the Jedi, how it didn't capitalize off of anything that The Force Awakens built up, how it's set Episode Nine up to be a complete failure. They don't seem to understand it at all. They only seem to want to call us the same names we all get called. And when you start – when your defense to a movie is that someone is a racist and – like seriously, where are these racists and the sexists that these people keep claiming? Like – well, it's Where not even an argument yeah. against it. It's well, like, all five people. of them are in this call. Yeah, we literally started the toxic brood, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, just sure, I'm, I'm just, part of the toxic I'm, brood. Given, I hate women, I hate minorities, whatever. But tell me what's wrong with the film. You it might doesn't have, matter what I am. You might be giving them more credit for the, like, their uh, sort of requirements. Like, they're, I've, I've already heard it. Like, they, they get to the point where um, I was watching a Captain Marvel review that was relatively positive, but still didn't like it. And one of their opening things was, like, <laughs> if you... If you find these reviews with guys saying like, I'm not sexist, I just don't, he's like, ignore that, they're gonna be sexist. I was like, oh. Wow. <laughs> like, All that's right. that's the criteria. You just need to say you're not sexist. <laughs> you're sexist, so you're done. Another movie that, that I like that a lot of people don't, and I'm fully self-aware enough to understand, and it's X-Men Origins Wolverine. I enjoy the movie. I don't like Deadpool. I've never liked Deadpool as a character. He annoys the fuck out of me, and his fans annoy the fuck out of me. Um, so Deadpool is horrible in that film in terms of being portrayed as Deadpool. And so I understand why Deadpool fans hate the portrayal of Deadpool in that movie. Mm -hmm. It doesn't bother me because I don't give a shit about Deadpool. But that's having self-awareness, which is what a lot of these people seem to lack. So you can like The Last Jedi. You can like the portrayal of Luke Skywalker. Betrayal of Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Someone said, and can we rename EFAP to the Toxic Brood? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I will be here every week T -T if you do me. that. <laughs> <laughs> Need tattoos, Jeremy. All uh, right, I let's... got a couple of I, – I, there's always a few closet X-Men Origin Wolverine fans when I make that comment on the internet, and I appreciate you. Well, I, I was oh, I'm say not one of them. There's going to be somebody in the chat who would openly say, like, yeah, I like The Last Jedi. I did. But they like these channels to, I don't know, maybe – Try and talk about all of the, the things about it that maybe don't work. There's going to be somebody in chat who liked it. And now someone's probably going to say they liked it just for the meme. But you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. right. Really that. Statistically, it's going to happen. But uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's kick on. I want to hear more about the toxic brood. Be true Star Wars fans <laughs> and say to others, You're not a true Star Wars fan if you didn't hate The Last Jedi. It's yeah, a disgrace to this theory. It's the fact man. is, this franchise is on the brink of collapse because the people who love it are tearing it down with every fiber of their being. Oh my god, what the yeah, fuck? <laughs> Good lord. Uh, <laughs> we just didn't support this movie. It's it's a failure, not because of the quality of the film, I'm but curious. because people didn't like the quality of the film. What does he mean, the brink of collapse? 
wasn't. It was just fine up until, to me, 2015, and now it's in the toilet. Well, yeah, you guys ruined it. You guys killed it. No, I'm a, you know, I'm a hate monger of the toxic brood. Yeah, I'm like, proud of that. I, I just, <laughs> I'm curious, because, you know, as long as Disney are making money out of them, which, by the way, Episode Nine is going to make money. There's no way it won't. Duh. So, no one's ever, no one's ever denied that these movies won't make money, but when, yeah. what is it, $750 million less between The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, there's a disconnect. That's oh, a pretty big, uh, that's a huge difference. I'm pretty sure and it's, my prediction would be okay. nine will make less than both uh, TLJ and TFA, but I can't know for sure. So if you look you, at the if you look at the like if you go to the TFA and the the second week drop coming off that record opening weekend, uh, it, it had a hell of a good second week. It was like a 39 percent drop, which is outstanding. You look at the second week drop on The Last Jedi because everybody went to The Last Jedi because a lot of people enjoyed Force Awakens to go see The Last Jedi. Huge opening weekend, 60, I think, 9% drop in week two. Close and that seven. right there, yeah, that right there showed you. You're like, oh shit. You know, people um, really like, of course, it, it, that 1.3 million, a billion is very distorted because what did it make? 600 million the first weekend, you know, between, you know, worldwide. So, um, but if you start looking at how far it dropped, on week two, comparatively speaking to um, the Force Awakens, I mean, it dropped big time, big time. The, uh, the the my assumption is like you know, like Predator and Alien and a couple of other franchises, they're like puppeted corpses of a franchise at this point. You see these embarrassing films that come out, and you're just like, oh, there it is again, humiliated again. Oh well, people don't get as angry about that because they've been dead for so long now. But like, yeah, I feel like Star Wars will get there well before the movies stop getting made. Like Disney will run this thing into a, a very deep grave before it's, they stop releasing movies. Or one point I always like to make too is that Star Wars means a lot to people that grew up with it because back then that was the biggest thing. You had never seen anything like that. And then even for somebody like me who grew up with it in the 90s, there was still really nothing like it. You had other big effects movies. But nowadays, uh, even a lot of these other know. franchises are, you know, the generation Star Wars. So I think just younger people aren't going to go turn out as much, but Disney's made an effort with the help of a lot of these like shitty news outlets to push away the people that are going to keep going. It's the exact opposite of our, our friend in the video. I just, does he think you guys have the power to kill Star Wars permanently? Like, these people do. I fucking when, when Solo, when Solo, um, when Solo failed, I got blamed for the boycott that I never called for. Damn it. Yeah, dude, me too. I, Jeremy, oh, they, if we, have, oh, yeah. if we have this power, we need to hold it hostage and make a billion dollars. Disney <laughs> pass a billion dollars and will go away. You got the money, you'll have no problem. A billion dollars and the taxes. Like, I think I you have the power you... to sway an influence and stuff. Like, I think we all do. It's just that. To kill Star Wars, to actually break it, like, I don't think anyone could do that, because there's the casual audiences who have no idea we exist, you know? Geeks like, and gamers, who are they? Yeah. Punch out. It's like I everybody. I that every week. Punch out geeks. <laughs> gamers? Yeah, like, I don't know, I, I, I'm gonna say it, I know this is controversial, but I think this man might be hyperbolic. I think he may be saying things well, that are a little oh, bit ridiculous. That's that's my take. You don't say. They they love to chant. They love to move the goalposts. So so when when Solo failed, they they like oh the, the, the Jeremy uh, this is the geeks and gamers calling for the boycott. I'm like I never called for a boycott. Like Brian Young wrote articles about me, uh, it called saying that I led the boycott. So then I made a video where I showed video evidence of me saying point blank. I'm not going to see Solo, but I support you if you want to go see Solo, and I support you if you don't want to go see it. I support you doing whatever the fuck you want to do with your own money. I can't tell you what to do with your money. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. And then he changed the article. He edited the article without acknowledging it. Brian Young does. I'm sure you guys well, know who Brian Young is, why, right? Why acknowledge that? You know, that's just it gets in the way. So exactly, it's exactly. So the message so, is secondary to we that. believe me. We know about that all too <laughs> wow. well. Me rags the wolf. Oof. Oh yes. <laughs> and then, Ooh. and then. Uh, so of course, I've dealt with the being blamed for the solo boycott all that time. And um, <laughs> then when Captain Marvel was a success, then they were like, "See, Jeremy, you're not as powerful as you say." <laughs> like. I never fucking said okay. I was powerful. You Here stupid bastards said I was. So, yeah, they constantly change the rules. Well, that's, uh, that, I've heard it said more often that we're like, you know, we're, we're not relevant. Go away. You're not going to do anything. <laughs> I, I hear yeah, that more yeah. than I've ever heard that 
these people actually think we're going to destroy the entire front okay okay well yeah they they simultaneously need people like us to be extremely influential and we're going to ruin your opinion and we're going to deny you all of your joy and we have so much power and influence but at the same time we're a bunch of basement dwelling nerds that you shouldn't care about and we don't have any power whatsoever both of those things need to be true simultaneously for their narrative to work so anyway <laughs> Let's kick off with this beautiful People video. People who love it are tearing it down with every fiber of their being. People have That's lost shit. what this movie was originally meant to be. Hope. The only <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. Describing oh, TLJ as hope. Hope. Oh, Do you know I, you can't I, hate a bad movie if the theme is hope. Oh. A story that ends with the idea of hope, it's kind of, it's kind of ruined if that was the same story that plummeted everybody to the point of desperation. There's 20 like, people on a ship now, but have hope. Yeah, that's, it's, it's like, oh yeah, but they're all they're all gonna win. It's like you you were the movie that put them all in this position of trying to reach hope. It's like like fucking Bible's like, don't worry, Jesus is coming back. <sighs> Does anybody? Yeah, there's gonna be people out there who think that TLJ is a good representation of hope. I just it's just funny to me because everything. I is, hope the next one isn't as bad. Everything is <laughs> destroyed, and killed. <laughs> it's like hope, guys. You're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hope is an excuse for doing nothing. Oh, jeez. People have lost what this movie was originally meant to be. Hope. The only hope <laughs> that exists in this fan base anymore comes from hoping that another fan doesn't ridicule you or berate you verbally. What? Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait what, what's no. this video? Do you have so, any self-awareness? So, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I, I just want to break this down here. So The Last Jedi represents the hope that you won't be berated by somebody else in the fan base. <laughs> From a video you that's a, so you literally video. doing that. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Have you guys ever right. seen how criticism works? Oh my All god. Alright, kiddo. Have you guys ever had anything worse happen leave. to you than someone calling you a mean name for liking a movie? Is there anything... It's a first world problem, dude. Oh, uh, I was circumcised. I don't know. Like I said, it all comes back <laughs> to lack of self-awareness right here. It's really what it comes down to. Lack of self-awareness, that sounds about right. We, 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 get a, we encounter that quite a bit. <laughs> Another fan doesn't ridicule you or berate you verbally because oh, you liked God. the movie, and they didn't. There is a very toxic side to this community, a side that escapes they're being not even addressed sane. because I wonder how many times we're going to hear toxic. I think we should keep a count yeah, of how many so like, I don't know how many times we've heard it. We've heard it at least three or four times. I mean, yeah. We can, at least three or four times. I can get a toxic counter running. Yeah, uh, I think we need a toxic <laughs> counter. Yeah, well, you're talking. What are we? What are we guessing toxic. that he's done it so far? Like three? That's say three, okay. three or four. Yeah. So I think toxic is uh, going to be a good count. We'll go with four. Um. All right. Enough. That you have the right. You deserve your own opinion. <laughs> you have the right. <laughs> Man, you deserve I, I, your I, own I, opinion. I forgot about that part is. of the Constitution. I think it was like the seventy <laughs> seventh Amendment. Where it was like, <laughs> by the way, you have the right to like the Last Jedi, <laughs> saith John Adams. <laughs> John Adams. Was Thank you, founding fathers. The other, the so other, far ahead. The other founding fa smart. fathers are like, why did you good. write that? And he's like, trust me, just trust me. It'll be important one day. This will not come to fruition in our lifetimes, George, but I promise you that one day will be true. <laughs> it's like a crystal ball. He's like, I have seen the future. <laughs> I have seen the future of this can nation. That be, can, be, can that be part of the lore that John Adams had a <laughs> Here and he John Adams was pressure. a spider. Oh my God! <laughs> John Adams was a spider. <laughs> uh, Geeks and King, Jeremy and Jeff won't know that. Reference. Oh yeah. Do, whenever you hear something from us that makes no sense at all, all it means is a reference to some stupid shit that's happened before. So don't panic. It's fine. Like, like, I told, like, like, like I told you, uh, Anna, she listens to you like all the time. She told me she says sometimes they have inside jokes, so you're probably not going to get some of them. Oh my so. God, oh my God, Beowin, if you're in the chat, hear me out. John, John Adam, a spider with John Adam's head. That's the wig. Please, Just the wig we have to have him writing on the. <laughs> yes, a spider with the head of John Adams writing on the Constitution that you are allowed to like the last Jedi. <laughs> What happened to the first Jedi? Uh, I hope Beowens in the chat. <laughs> guys like, uh, jo John, what's a Jedi? And he's like, shh. <laughs> it all will become clear after so, we are. If you didn't enjoy this movie, I can't stress enough that you have the right. 
You deserve your own opinion. He's so aggressive. Yeah, you no. Have like, okay, it's too, thanks, man. It's like a parody, right? Like, <laughs> you can't, it's like this can't be real. Like, you, you, that is your prerogative, and I have no qualms with yourself or your views. The problem no lies. <laughs> you know, fuck I have that. no qualms with those. I haven't made a note of it yet. You have the right to like the Lost Jedi. That's something I will <laughs> definitely say. At some point, that's beautiful. It is guaranteed in the Constitution. <laughs> you have the right to like You it. walk up to somebody, he's like, You can't yeah. like it. The police officer's like, Excuse me, sir. You can't say that. Reviews. The problem lies in the extremist, extremist fanboys and fangirls who decide that because their fantasy experience was ruined, they have the right <laughs> to terrorize. <laughs> what? Can we uh, terrorize? <laughs> Got it, got the it, got hyperbole it. continues. The hyperbole uh, meter just it takes it to another level. <laughs> Can we get an Allahu Akbar for this? Gotta play that Asian? again. Make sure, make sure the audience did it. Girls who decide that because their fantasy experience was ruined, they have the right to terrorize directors, actors, <laughs> and supporting fan base. Mike, there's no Ter evidence to support that Kelly Marie Tran was. Uh, attacked or whatever they claim to have. There's no evidence to support this, and every time you ask for evidence, they point to the article where she blames Hollywood. Yeah, the worst uh, one's that they even really read it. One. Well, this is the thing. I actually, uh, when I first heard it, I took it 100% truth, and I was like, it means nothing. Everyone yeah, gets loads of crap sure online. There's some people out there. I mean, just the, the size and scope of a fandom this size. Like, yeah, sure. I'm Just law of averages will eventually catch up to you, but that's true with every audience. Like, why even bother? They, the, the other day, the other day, I was uh, scrolling through a Twitter thread where they were uh, uh, they were making fun of me, these people that hate me, and they, uh, you know, if, when I have my hat off, everybody says I have a big forehead, so they were drawing tic tac toe on my forehead. And I was like, this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh, I didn't so, even I keep my big ass fucking brain. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so now they've made a parody account, tic tac toe forehead Jeremy, and I'm like, this is great. If you're on the <laughs> internet, so you get shit talked about you. It is that it's just. It's obvious, and if, if only if you want to play the victim card, which a lot of these people love to play the victim card, everybody gets fucked with on the internet, period, point blank, no discussion. The internet is not – it doesn't um, – it doesn't – it's, it's not racist. It's not sexist. It doesn't discriminate against anything particular. Everybody gets fucked with. Everybody. You're not special yeah. because you have a vagina. Hey, man, Sorry. If you have a vagina and you're hated, that's – like, come on. That's something. That's never happened. That's your ticket to the UN Respect. right there. <laughs> Respect. Respect, whammon. Um, Respect. My question to these radical and toxic fans radical. is this. <laughs> who the hell are you? What makes you hey, so damn You don't even know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't even know who we are? That's, a, that's yeah. another toxic counter. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. You, gotta, you guys oh, gotta yeah. remind I, me of that shit, because I'm gonna yeah. forget. <laughs> that you think that any of these people have to heed to your deluded demands and proclamations. What no, demands? De deluded demands. <laughs> Wait, deluded demands and proclamations. I don't think you know what that means, Mr. What Vero. are our demands? We don't demand anything. Deluded demands? What do you mean by that? Proclamations they think that too. it's a deluded demand to, like, demand a well-written movie? Is that too much? It's, it's, uh... I guess yeah. it's too much nowadays. I love proclamations as well. Like what? Proclamations. <laughs> Proclamation. Hear ye, hear ye. We're definitely yeah. There's, there's a running narrative with the uh, John Adams stuff here. Like. <laughs> Whatsoever <laughs> director of the Star Wars franchise make it in his production. I have so much less respect for John Adams now. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I thought he was a man of good taste, of good storytelling. I, but, you know. I, so did I, but I guess John Adams is just, he really likes The Last Jedi. Yeah, what can you do? <laughs> He's not a true fan. Nobody honestly <laughs> cares about your extremely fragile sense of reality. <laughs> You reside <laughs> in an entire reality? video on it. <laughs> fragile sense of reality. Do you know what, what the word hypocritical means? I mean, he's he's saying a lot of things like that. <laughs> just trying to follow the narrative here. It's like we're, he's in his room alone. A lot of proclamation. Yeah, that'll that'll get him. That'll stick with him. That's a good line. Mom, I did a good line. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, "No taxation without opinionation." <laughs> <laughs>
All right, let, okay, okay, I'm gonna roll him back a little bit, see if we can follow this. Proclamations. Nobody honestly cares about your extremely fragile sense of reality. You reside in a severely right, narcissistic bubble. I've noticed how pathetic these videos and tweets actually look. <laughs> Some of those were uh, actually positive really? about The Last Jedi, if I remember. Or oh, at least... um... Go back, I think my video was in that last one. <laughs> reside look, in got... a severely narcissistic bubble. Oh. <laughs> So we got. I'm not, sure, okay. I'm not sure who the top one was. We got Marvel. Angry Joe, a uh, Hunk Marvel again. I've noticed Hunk Marvel. <laughs> Star Wars. There I am at the bottom. Why is yeah! Oh yeah, you got it in there. Nice dude. You made it. You made it to the big leagues. Oh, you hey, did it. Misanthropony got it there, Wolf, but I didn't. <laughs> Misanthropony can get fucked. Look, she's wah, 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 me, 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 me. I, 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 I. Oof. Is that a she? Three, ta three targets down. We know, and this is the thing, now we know who it's he's talking man. about. It's a black man. Guys, it's people who didn't like the movie. They're the ones that need to be old. <laughs> Remember, they're the infection. It's all about you and your overdramatic reactions to a movie. So take your extreme unwarranted anger and you spill it on some innocent person's Instagram feed or Twitter <laughs> account, all because you can. Nothing holds you back from unleashing your rage on some innocent person. Why is this the narrative? <laughs> okay. We're... Okay, mom. We are the toxic brood, after all. Is everyone that didn't buy Rose Tico merchandise right. lumped into this? I think so. The, the millions have failed. Anyone who didn't love The, the Last Jedi shit. is kind of lumped into this. Harassment. The character, the character was bad, man. I'm sorry. What? The character was, was really Rose shit. Tico was incredible. She was incredibly terrible. Yeah, that's what I meant. But, you know. I got him. <laughs> For the record. <laughs> awesome. I just want to say, just, just so you know, I'm not toxic. I don't hate women. Asian porn. And, Anybody uh, who all, says all that the probably porn. <laughs> yeah, and all the, por all the porn that I like uh, has a female lead in it, by the way. Because oh. I'm all about, you know, so I'm all about women representation in porn. Just want to get that out of the My way. My favorite movie is all Asians. There's no non-Asians in it. You're porn movie or... No, no, my legit favorite movie oh, ever, okay. Masquerade, is a South uh, sure. Korean film. It's uh, well, only my... Asians. No English, no white people, no white men. It's all Asians who don't speak English. Well, my favorite movie is The Lord of the Rings, and there's black people in it. They're orcs. <laughs> <laughs> what are the Urukai then? Uh, they're black, black too. They're black. <laughs> it's like super black. Super black. <laughs> <laughs> they pulled them straight out of the ground. Hey, they almost won. A wise man once said. <laughs> They were so preoccupied. So I want to what's, draw what's some attention here to the location <laughs> of an apostrophe. They were so <laughs> preoccupied with whether he spelled weather wrong. Didn't apostrophe. Didn't look at yeah. Look at the didn't. <laughs> they didn't apostrophe. <laughs> oh my god! That's the inverse of what they did with. <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, because did apostrophe ain't. <laughs> <laughs> like I know there's an air comma in here somewhere. It's, it's, it's very, it's very toxic. It's very toxic for us to point these things out. By the way, this uh, is very this is bullying, is what. The oh yeah, disclaimer: <laughs> leave this man alone who made this video. If anything, post a very kind comment on his video. Yes, he cause... clearly has enough problems in his life already. Do not add to them. <laughs> just do not pile on, please. And yeah, like, I'm not even joking here. Just say like, I disagree yes, with this video. Do don't go any further than that because they'll just use it as fuel. We learn yeah. from Shinobi, okay? We learn. I wish that was the that should be the meme. Just I disagree with this video. That should be your comment. A thousand of those. And then Rhino no, milk. don't do that because then Shinobi would still lose his mind over it. <laughs> you'd be upset. You'd be like, Rhino milk is this racism? I don't understand. <laughs> no, no, I'm it's lactose not. intolerant. Oh, yeah. Shinobi. So I want to also the fucking the he, so he's like, oh, people will harass people because they're just angry about a movie, and he's using this quote. It's like they're preoccupied with whether or not. They, they 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 can so they don't think about whether or not they should. It's like I don't think this is applicable. Like uh, what they were doing in Jurassic Park is like this is revolutionary technology. Push 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 push. While you're comparing that to I am oh. angry. I'm going to oh send a message. God. Oh my god, you're gonna find this really interesting. <gasps> whether he did, I'm positive he didn't mean to actually say this. 
but weather in the way that it's spelt, if you type it into Google, the first result is a castrated ram. <laughs> <laughs> they were so preoccupied with castrated rams. <laughs> They're hotter when you take the balls off. I'm changing the quote to that. I'm gonna put <laughs> rams. <laughs> he accidentally did that. Uh Oh, Never I let wonder... it be said that EFAP was not educational. Absolutely, we learned so much. Didn't We're infotainment at its finest. How do you put the apostrophe after the T, man? <laughs> As people who know how long it takes to edit videos and all the going back and looking at what you do, it's like, typos? Really? Get this Come shit. On. You like that? A Jurassic Park quote? Oh yeah, that That's reminds me. Awesome. Awesome. I Park hate movie. the new Jurassic World oh, movie. God. Oh, Jesus. You hate the new Jurassic Well, listen here, Buster. You said, listen here, bus, and then, <laughs> like, cut out. Hello? Hello? Uh-oh. Is the internet down for me? I hear you. You're oh. toxic and awful. When when none of the four people respond, I get concerned. <laughs> like, hello? <laughs> okay, anyway, we'll kick on. What? Fallen Kingdom. It was shit. I hate it so much. I need to write on J.A. So Bayona's Twitter or Colin Trevorrow's Instagram what? about how they're so- He's making a comparison. He, he, did, he did not like the new Jurassic World, therefore he's no, no, not no. gonna- Oh, wait, what? But somebody's Twitter? What did he say? <clears throat> oh, he's gonna go- So he's saying, I hate the new Jurassic World, and so I'm gonna go on their respective Twitter and Instagrams and rant at them, and he, he's trying to say that, like, that's- you know, something a crazy person would do. No, 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 I know that. I was saying, but what? Who, whose Twitter in particular did he say? Because it sounds like uh, he made some serious gaps on whoever's Twitter. J.A. Okay. Bayona is the director, and then Colin Trevorrow or Trevorrow okay. is okay. Uh, the writer. J.A. Bayona. J.A. Bayona. J.A. Bayona. J.A. Bayona. Bayona. I didn't know how to pronounce it. The worthless who need to kill themselves for being such pieces of shit! Do you see how ridiculous yeah, that's, that sounds? I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I, that is yeah, ridiculous. Pretty ridiculous. Nobody has nobody has done that. <laughs> it's like point us to the video you found of someone saying I'm gonna fucking kill the cast and crew of TLJ. <laughs> like what you might wanna Yeah. When it's put in the context of something that you're not deeply enthralled with, I hope you understand how insane how psychopathic this sounds. How is this I don't think anybody needed that comparison yeah. to understand. And nobody in their right minds thinks that these people are normal or defends the things that they did. I mean, this is, it's just, it's typical. Take something that the fringe outside might do if your audience gets large enough and use that to push your narrative that this is a commonplace thing and use that to demonize everybody. Well, they Laziness. continue to do this with this. Do you, you guys remember the, this Dis, down, what is it, down with Disney's treatment of Star Wars? Do you guys re recall that? It continues to get referenced to this day. Um, it continues. All the big articles reference it. So it was down with Disney's treatment of uh, Star Wars. It was some account that was created on Facebook and Twitter. It had about 85 likes and whatsoever in the comments. Um, and it was Ooh. always making these... Basically, it was um, it was it seemed like someone was creating an account to opposition. talk like... Right. And... So that, those account, that account that had 85 likes or 100 likes and maybe like 50 followers on Twitter, they continue to reference that account to this day of the account that organized the, uh, the Last Jedi hate on Rotten Tomatoes. And I'm like, that account was – it had no support whatsoever, you know, and, and they just continue to reference that account and, and give it credibility. And now the account has been removed, by the way, off social media, but this is what uh, they do. like Rape Day. <laughs> Oh fuck! They're not gonna get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite game, though. It's not as good as Gay it's, World. It's not a game for me. It's a lifestyle. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, no, yeah. It's uh, the the. This is, I was just reading chat. There, someone said like, I feel like this guy would unironically do the things he's talking about. Yes, it's, it's like he seems he to does be seem a little unhinged. Yeah. Like I've not, I don't think I've seen anybody who's this. Like other than the guy in that in the car, I forget the name of the guy. You know the one that was going fucking millennials. Like <laughs> that, was, that was fantastic. Like if anyone took that and was like, "See, he's a psycho," I'd be like, "Ah, oh, no, he's just having fun." Like Jesus, not everything. 
comes down to like that. Why Does anybody ever kill it's somebody because they, they didn't like a movie? Has that happened? Um, sure like it's out never there, if, if out it's there never somewhere. If you look Trump, hard enough on yeah. the fringes of some group, I mean, if there's a million people who are fans of Star Wars, I'm sure somewhere out there, if you look hard enough, you'll find some crazy person who takes it too far. But hey, that's enough. One person, one crazy person out there is enough to paint the whole group as something. Return of the fucking Jedi. <laughs> Return of the fucking Jedi. Oh, that was that was good shit. This is what comes to mind when you don't like a movie. This type of shit is one step away from following your waitress down a dark alley, clutching a knife because she gave you a salad fork for your what? steak. Wait, what? Sorry. How do you respond what to that? What did he just say? So yeah, he your said, mental gymnastics involved in this is unreal. Can he, we rewind that? I, I must, yeah, he, he, we, I must have get a replay. It's this. This is some next level With, shit. I hope you understand how insane, how psychopathic Help this sounds. How is this what comes to mind when you don't like a movie? This type of shit is one step away from following your waitress down a dark alley, clutching a knife because she gave you a salad fork for your steak. And you might think See, so when he says that in a conversation, you 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 get up from your chair, wide eyed, and start slowly moving away because you're like, oh, okay. Oh, you're one of those people. Yeah, man, <laughs> yeah. You know what? Dislike it. Like you're like, yeah. You should take them down. I'm gonna go. Uh, I yeah, agree. Maybe. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back in just a second. Stay right here. Please Don't move. stay Don't... here. Right Don't follow here. me, please. I will be right back. Just you wait, Mr. Buster. <laughs> yeah, we, we need that stop it, get some help clip right stop now. Stop it. Get some help. But yeah, like, wow, he jumps to chasing a waitress down an alleyway with a knife. Got that from saying mean things to people on social media. I literally have to poo, so y'all carry on. I'll be back in a moment. One step away, Rags. One step away from... It's more chase, than that. Chasing that waitress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chasing that waitress. I'm gonna fucking shit down her throat. Oh god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think she preferred to just die <laughs> for the invite. <laughs> like, like you go to stab her. She's like, "It's okay to hate the last Jedi." You're like, oh, "Okay, you know what? <laughs> I can recover from this." We're good now. We're good. This dude is dumber than Lee. This this is weird shit. You know what I mean? Like. Have you guys encountered stuff like very... this that often? He's... All the time. Yeah, All yeah, I time. mean, especially on Twitter. This My is God, normal. on Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter constantly. Um, but I I enjoy it. Um, that's why I don't block people on Twitter. Uh, I do mute people after I use them and make videos based off their stupidity. Um, I just I treat them like hookers, basically. Um, I just kind of use them, abuse them, and mm -hmm. I'm done with them. And so, um, but so yeah, I mean, I get so much... I'm not saying that the internet said it, so I'm just confirming it. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the crazy, crazy mental gymnastics is what I've always said that they go through to try and their own mind of what we are because we don't like a movie that they seem to think that we have to like and that we have offended them because we've told them your movie's not good. It's okay if you like your movie, but it's still not good. I've got what? submissions for the John Adams spider already. Really? <laughs> yeah. I know Beowens, uh he said that we probably won't get the drawing until the next episode. Oh, well, that'll be like that. that'll be the the fucking pro the, the opener. Yeah. These uh these are something else. <laughs> They're just funny. Um oh, I can't wait. So this is uh, I'll drop them in the um the Discord chat so you guys can see the same as um uh, so this is the first one. <laughs> <laughs> it will make sense later. So <laughs> <just> <laughs> right, right, like, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> this one's like kind of awesome in a way, like the the style. You can like the last. <laughs> I love how it's got the wig. <laughs> A wig, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got like a classic Photoshop style one then. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> all, men, all men are endowed by their creed. 
the unalienable right to like the last <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh how fucking oh, stupid and wonderful at the same time <laughs> so uh anyway is it, you here rags i i am here Excellent. i have returned <sighs> everything went well did you see the spider memes <laughs> Follow uh no i was focused on uh, <laughs> you got to see the spider check out the memes. chat you'll see him <laughs> I mean, the, the hey, pretty good. I w it will make sense later, George. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the second one. Oh, I like the last. All of it are endowed by the creator with the an an inalienable right to like the last chapter. <laughs> 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 I like the little quill on his thing. Oh, okay. Um, following your waitress down a dark alley, clutching a knife. Oh, oh yeah, that's crazy. She gave you a so salad hard. fork for oh, your yeah. steak. And you might think that's an extreme comparison. It's not. <laughs> oh, terrorist. Oh, my oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. The chat did Step not hear aside. it. The chat didn't hear it yet. Hang on. It's gotta... nothing but harassment. In my last. Oh, shit. It kicked forward. Fuck. Sorry. Cause... Step aside, Bin Laden. Some new terrorists are in town. <laughs> they've got to... It's they've... Carl. They've got to hear this. I think this. that's an extreme comparison. It's not. These people are verbal terrorists. And it needs. <laughs> so, there you go. They've heard it now. Like. <laughs> That's, uh, that's, that's, there's no way that... Just when you thought, just when you thought he couldn't go any further with the craziness, he go, he goes crazier. Oh. Verbal terrorist. Yeah. It's Can like I... a rap name. Like, I'm the verbal terrorist, you there know? There ain't no breaks <laughs> on this crazy train to what the fuckville. <laughs> you, uh, it doesn't take much to earn yourself the title of verbal terror. You just gotta dislike the last Jedi, huh? Yeah. Wow. That's an embarrassment. Oh. Ow. Verbal terrorists of the what, what brood? Isn't it the brood? The toxic brood. <laughs> the toxic brood. Isn't it like the verbal terrorists of the toxic brood? God, this. You gotta, you gotta make notes on that one, Mahler. <laughs> oh, verbal verbal terrorists. Terrorists. This guy's giving me Metallica, way too much material. We got a new song name for you. Because <laughs> uh, yeah, just in case you don't know, right? So like, we've been running EFAP now. I think it's six months as of recently, and um. I make an April Fool's video where I basically just pretend to be all the people we cover mixed into one personality, and I create quotes based on all the things we come across over the year, so... You know, April 1st is gonna be funny, but like, I'm already... We're up to like five consistent sentences already from this guy. That'll just... They're gonna be in next year's April Fool's, and people will be like, Where the fuck did you get this nonsense from? What the fuck's a verbal terrorist? They'll be like, Someone said that. Somebody actually said that. Maybe you should just re-upload this... <laughs> ...needs to be stopped. It's nothing but harassment. In my last Jedi Defense video, I mentioned that the harassment was a bit much against Kelly Marie Tran, who plays Rose. A while ago, she deleted her Instagram posts. I, along with many others, have come to the conclusion that the assholes who harassed her went too far and drove Nate, her. How did you arrive at this? Yeah, I was gonna say. What evidence do you have to support that? We would love. Oh, God for said you to so. Show us. You know, I, I've seen so many people say that she was harassed, and I have yet to see one bit of harassment on any of her, like posts or whatever. I, it's just yeah, it's it's that unfortunate moment of. It happened, it happened, it happened, it happened. Everyone's saying, you just go, why do we know that? So can you show and me, like, a screenshot or something? Nope. It's just silent. You idiots like... aren't even, these idiots That's aren't even smart enough to fake some screenshots at what? this point. Like, they haven't even tried that. <laughs> <They're loving laughs> they've they've already that. done it with Vic Mignogna, they can do it to defend <laughs> Kelly Marie Tran, too. You don't love the way he framed it. He's like, we came to the conclusion. It's like, because you didn't have... Like, proof? <laughs> like, he's just concluded? It's like, okay, that's... I have conclusive proof. He's like, no, you just... I just concluded based off of, you know, stuff, things. God, what a verbal Crazy terrorist. <sighs> off Instagram. Again, if you hate the character, I could give two shits if you do. So you do care. You do. No, so... But so you're making a video about it if yeah, you So you care. couldn't give two shits. Yeah, Rags, right, you, you must mean. get annoyed by that one. That's... that's... Fucking hell, it's like, okay... Small rant. It's like when people say, um, <laughs> it, people do it wrong all the time. It, it's really similar to this when they say, I couldn't care less or I could care less, right? One of those is correct, right? <laughs> if you say, I could care less, it means you care. You mean to say, you couldn't care less, right? Which means you do not care. It's not possible for you to care any less because you don't care. So if you're trying to say that, 
please don't say I could care less because that means you do care. I Dude, could care less about my parents. We're talking about a guy who <laughs> un unintentionally put castrated ram balls. <laughs> listen, listen, baby steps, think... wolf. Baby steps. <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> oh, he's right. We should... how's, that for, how's that for verbal terrorism? Oh, for yeah. you. Fucking go get him. I didn't right. consent to Thank having you. to look up the definition of weather and finding out what it really meant. That's true. He's a he is a terrorist of some form. I could give two shits Bibbly. if you do, but leave the actor alone. Seriously, there's no need to waste your time commenting on their Instagram. Or By the way, just an obvious p. I know we said this on EFAP before, but like, the people who go after, like, legitimately go after these people heavily, hard, just because they hate the movie. You telling them not to because it's mean? Not they will shit. not care. They're they're not gonna give a flying fuck whether or not some rando like you said. I was like, oh, this guy, this guy said I was toxic and evil, and that I should stop. Oh, I guess I better I mean, stop. You're them. telling them simultaneously that they're destroying the like Star Wars as a whole. When I'm sure they'd actually argue that's something they'd want at this point. <laughs> so you're, <laughs> so you're, you're actually encouraging them. Someone's people in the chat are saying, "Leave Brittany alone." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Jesus Christ, I know people who don't know what that video is. Oh yeah, that's really? yeah, that's some old internet stuff, isn't it? Like you got, oh man, when do you remember when South Park like parodied all of the most popular YouTube like viral videos? Yeah, man, that's old. Around too. the same time, Weezer made that music video. <laughs> Someone even said he sounds like the Hellbender narration. <laughs> <laughs> that Lee Britney alone dude's kind of famous now, isn't he? I, mean, I was so shocked to find out that was a dude. Huh. Didn't oh. Chocolate Rain guy make a Let's Play channel at one point? Or Twitch oh, he stream? Made a, he made a Dr. Pepper commercial. <gasps> I just one he had like a Twitch stream and he was... Someone in chat's gonna know about this. I remember because I was on Twitch and when people were like, Chocolate Rain guy's back and he's got a Twitch channel. He was like, actually did really well from what I remember. I don't know if he's still going though. The internet's weird. Don't he's harass people, the... guys. It's me. ...on Twitter and insulting them to the point of leaving social media. Quite recently, though, she spoke out against the harassment. And her fellow actors, including Mark Hamill... Go ahead and show what she said. Speaking of Go Mark ahead. Hamill, believe it or not, he got a lot of shit, too. Here's why. He has why? often stated that he has issues with Luke's character. Mm -hmm. Even now, it's a little hard for him to accept. And thanks to these videos that are taken oh, out of little. context... Taking him out of context. I oh, fucking love they it when they say a, that. They ain't taking him out of context. You have a, a consistent Explain. whole take of him explaining in detail his issue. Then you go, well, it's out of context. <laughs> that that whole conversation. Skywalker. Is if, you, if you just Call rewind the clip by an additional yeah. two seconds, he says, everything I'm about to say mm -hmm. is false. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go, oh, oh, there you go. I love how the actual movie is one of the videos he's citing. Oh, yeah. That's one of the, the film. That's false Shout information the film right there, guys. Too. I'm trusted. <gasps> I like film gob. Next, people figured that he hated the movie. And when he publicly stated that he regrets being critical about it, the Toxic fans thought of him as a sellout and claimed that Disney paid off Hamlet. <laughs> this toxic, this toxic. tragic There's narrative, another count. dude. There's another count. Well, who are these people? The, the, what, you're one of them, Rags. What the f*** do you mean? Toxic. I, I... The count, Mahler. On the Toxic. Three. They're all Toxic. It's just... I'm saying I on existed. the counter. Oh shit, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you didn't pick I feel up like, I feel like I probably missed out on a few. People are going to have to tell us how many toxics there really were, because I've completely forgotten about the counter at this point. <laughs> saying he regrets voicing it, so did Chaz. Like, yeah. So, it's not that he, like, pulls it back. He's like, I shouldn't have said it. All right, chat, whenever they say, whenever this dude says toxic and we forget about it, just spam toxic until we remember to do it. <laughs> yeah, toxic milk and then like a bell. <laughs> just, we know this. Toxic, <laughs> toxic milk bell, that'll work. <laughs> Hamill to say something positive. That's just retarded. If he was paid to shut up about his negative thoughts. Say the R word? Oh my god. Yeah, that's offensive. That's, very oh, that's, toxic. that's a very, that's very, very toxic. toxic and offensive. I'm, yeah, I am toxic. shaking right oh, now. Yeah. Um, you guys, what R word did he really use? He said, he said the retard re word. Re re the retard, retard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. He, he did did he just call people the retard? I done synced it. I synced it. Yeah, dude. Guys, 
guys, I got to leave the stream. I can't take this. This is a lot of toxicity <laughs> right now. I, I've got I understand. to. I understand. I understand. Yeah, I I need to go. I need to go and uh, watch some Hillary Clinton videos to 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 get replenished. So. <laughs> Uh, oh, are you gonna survive the night? Does somebody need to watch you? Um, yeah, they, they mentioned it in chat, so I figured I should probably bring it up. You guys, I'm assuming, uh, have seen that Mark Hamill posted a picture of him and Harrison Ford hugging, and he said, "Yeah, I covered the, that." What a reunion could have been. That it's like, oh, TLJ fans must be so upset that he did that. Yeah, they'd be like, "Hey, oh, shut yeah. the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Don't fuck do that. Make our movie look like fucking shit." I, I love the picture of the two on the bench and they're just smiling and they just look so happy to finally be done with Star Wars. I kind of want, like, can a family member of theirs just get a fucking mobile, have them act out a scene as if they saw each other? Fuck it, you know? It's like, I know. at this yeah. point, I'll take anything. <laughs> <Like Disney. laughs> make it fun. Like yeah, that. I did. He he did. He was catching hell from from the the TLJ defenders when when that picture was posted. Cause I I I, uh, I covered that. I made a video on it. Did you, Jeff? I was uh deep in Captain Marvel. Okay, so um that's yeah, but she... that was uh yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, <laughs> deep in Captain Marvel, were you? Oh, <laughs> I regret everything I've ever said. Did you hear about like <laughs> honestly? I already saw that there were videos for this. That's all I'm talking about. Uh, but the there was a potential butt double for her. What the <laughs> heard about she, that? Yeah, she she heard got a flat that. butt. Like I was yeah, like, sure, they would never I'm sure do everybody's that. Right? Seen, I'm sure everybody's seen the Tom Holland meme with her. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> Tom that. Holland like, got a nice butt. Video on <laughs> that. He got a good butt. Um, he's got that spider butt. Spider. <laughs> he's got a he's got a he's got a thorax on him. I'll tell you what. Change. We got more, uh, <laughs> more submissions for the fucking. <laughs> oh dear. This this John Adams spider thing is <laughs> thing is working out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so oh. I'll, this first one, um, is not actually the John Adams thing, but it's still. If you think it's an extreme comparison, I love TLJ. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Jason in the background? Jason. <laughs> Jason. I follow you into your dreams. Then you got uh, <laughs> this shit, man. I love these uh, these little cartoons. John, what are you doing? <laughs> Trust me, George. This might not be important now, but I've seen things. <laughs> <laughs> I love, these little I love the milk I love the cute ones, yeah. <laughs> I love these adorable ones. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so wholesome. These are the kinds of memes that butter my bread. I love that so many people wanted to make this one. This retarded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who, um, who was the actor who played, um, um, John Adams in the TV series years ago. It was Ben um, Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. Right? Paul Giamatti. Yeah, I was. Expect I, I hope. I hope someone, if you're making one, if <laughs> if you put Paul Giamatti on a spider body, this will this will tickle my teats in ways that I don't know if you'll be able. Just, to understand. Just a helpful reminder. <laughs> We're the horrible toxic fans who encourage like death upon people. <laughs> what if what if we what if we got Paul Giamatti from the Amazing Spider-Man 2's head on there? How about oh, that? God. I was gonna say that. Or he's bald. <laughs> <laughs> I here yeah. decree that future <laughs> generations have permission from the U.S. Constitution to like the Last Jedi, and if they didn't, they are therefore guilty of perpetrating the hate mo hate mongery <laughs> of the toxic of the brood. Toxic brood. <laughs> <laughs> A toxic brood, you say, John? Oh my God, this is turning into the next Kylo Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Shit in the first place. I'll be honest, when I first heard Mark Hamill say, I told Ryan, I fundamentally disagree with And the second time and the third time. <laughs> the fucking, I'm not even time. kidding, there's like 20 different takes of him ripping into what they, they did with Luke. It's the idea that it's some kind of random thought and we're framing it wrong, it's like, come on. About I love character. this interviewer just smiling at him like, oh, that sounds really Probably because this is she's That's never nice experienced someone promoting a movie and actually slamming it at the same time. <laughs> she'd probably be like, look at, uh... this, look at this still frame of Mark. He looks like he lost his mind. Does not compute. 
well, there's that there's that famous one, isn't there, where it's like him and Ryan Johnson and Mark just looks soulless, like he's been killed. Yeah. <laughs> and it's really yeah, sad. We, we can't give what we can't give the fans what they want. We've got to tell our own that story. That was a big, big concern. But when I saw the film, I didn't see well, it the way he did. I thought it was interesting how they handled Luke. But I saw where uh -oh, he was coming. Oh, that's toxic. From. Pretty toxic, my dude. You better walk you know that what? shit back. It was interesting how they destroyed him entirely. That's something that could pique your interest. Yeah, yeah I was interested. From it's time for the Jedi. They weathered Luke to end. Why? Also, he'd often speak his opinions on Trump, and he's pretty I much against it. What does that have to do with Boy, anything? What? Yeah, like, <laughs> I was about to answer. <laughs> there it is. There okay. it is. Okay. I don't care. About, I literally do not care two shits. Oh wait, was there a toxic? Did I miss that? Uh, pro there's probably was. Yeah. I didn't hear if it. everyone's ringing the bell, I'm gonna have to do yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the toxic milk bell. Let's, I'm sorry, where did that come from? I'm rolling that back a bit. The end. Why? Also, he'd often speak his opinions on Trump, and he's pretty much against him. I remember a time when okay. he disagreed with someone. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I'm curious, I'm assuming he's gonna pay that off somehow. Earned your man bad. He just disagreed. Now it's a little rougher than that. He'd probably be someone in Jabba's palace, that's for sure. But all the assholes in the comment section are like, You just earned You're yourself an unfollow. Palace. Get out of politics. Yeah, if you could stop being political, that'd be cool. Well, I mean, you so know, this... do with anything? It happens to uh, everybody. Like, I'm curious what the point of this is, even. Yeah, I'm but, not it, it, They always sure. have to bring Trump into this, no matter what. Yeah, we got our Trump quota for the video. We we talked about Donald Trump in this Star Wars yep. video. We yep. did it, guys. We got him. <laughs> so we're just put lab and lab applause, guys. This is why I made videos in the past, which uh, people have uh, recently gotten mad and uh, complained about it. But uh, I think I made a video or um, a few months ago where I said uh, Donald Trump will make Star Wars great again. And oh my hmm. God, they were so mad. And I only did it to piss them off. Because I'm like, I know this is going to piss you guys off. But yeah, this is a classic example. There's really no reason to bring Trump into this at all. Well, do you guys do you guys know about the Quentin Reviews one? The famous one? Huh. Where he's reviewing mm. Logan Paul's movie, and then he just randomly goes on a one-minute Trump rant? Out of nowhere, he's just like, that Here's that I fucking hate Trump, just randomly, out of nowhere. <laughs> it's like, wait, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't know about that. Mark, stick to acting. You're good at that. Politics, not so much. Stay out of politics. And I'm sure there was a lot of comments saying, Mark, you're so on point with what you just said. Yeah, Mark, I don't you're 100% get... right. Mark, I'd love to yeah, hear more of your opinions on politics. Understand. Well, say, since he's, since he's in the business of screen sharing, why, why don't we get some of those screen shares of Kelly Marie Tran being uh, uh, harassed on it? Oh, that's right. They don't exist. Sorry. I'm sorry. We had enough time to get these screen caps, <laughs> but those screen exactly. caps, we ran out of data on our RAM plan i mean i'm sure we're about to find out the relevance of this right surely yeah it's it's all gonna come you together you sound like a fool guess what no one cares you can complain all you'd like but he's your president can you please oh my stop god talking what about does this politics? have to do with I love this video you, man, but all. please stop it's annoying oh my god stop dividing america okay we get it <laughs> like, like literally what does all this have to do with stuff? how many screenshots is he going to share looking at the good he's done and then maybe just maybe we can make america great Dear Mark, maybe instead of worrying no. about Trump, you should oh my focus God. all that dark energy on invigorating the dying Star Wars franchise. Good luck with your shitty- <laughs> That's what Blue Dragon just said. Shows no proof for one thing, but can take time to show proof for something unrelated to the movie. It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, okay. It's like, alright, I guess. Uh, Character arc. <laughs> fuck off. Honestly, there's really no point oh, of typing so comments to telling what's Mark the point? Hamill to What was the point of that? What was the point of this? What was the point of, was the, point of the Trump it's rant? It's his opinion. <laughs> It's his Instagram, and he can post whatever hey, he wants. Pause it real quick. So doesn't this just invalidate his entire video? Because if he'll go to those lengths to defend Mark Hamill's opinions, the people that don't like The Last Jedi, there we go. Isn't that the same argument he's trying to... Well, the problem is the way he's framing it. Well, no, because it. we're part of the toxic... Yeah, he, he's, fruit, he's so like, he's fruit. lumped us in. Like, Amazing Lucas was one of the examples he's throwing in with the people who, like, verbally harass cast and crew. We just get, we just all get lumped in. So if you said to him, "I thought I wasn't allowed to like the last Jedi," he'd be like, "No, that's fine." It's when you you harass them, and you'd be like, "I I don't do that." And he's like, "Well, when, then I'm not referring to." I'm gonna be very disappointed if I'm not featured in this video. I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm very disappointed.
Yeah, I feel like we won't make the point. The pointed jealous. Same thing happened to Daisy Ridley. Before she left social media, she posted a video recording a protest march against gun violence. Man, she doesn't even close her mouth in professional. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if you don't agree mouths. with celebrities and their opinions on politics that much, what? don't follow them and don't waste your time commenting what against them. What does this them. matter? I'm, I'm, still like, <laughs> I'm still so but confused. The writer and director of The Last Jedi, Ryan Johnson, or as the haters like to call him, Really Johnson. <laughs> <sighs> called round head like, Johnson. Brown head, yeah. I like how much it bothers him when he was like, I couldn't give two sheds. Like, apparently... Apparently, you sound invested in this. ...of his comment section, because they were going to be spam-fucked with comments like, The last shit I sucks! You're a shitty director and writer, you does, does he think the reverse doesn't happen? Where people go, The last Jedi is amazing, you're just a shitty critic. There's, there's annoying <sighs> people everywhere, turns out. You ruined Star Wars! Oh, and he also received death threats. This was his. I like when people yell in their videos. Anybody here not received a death threat? Oh, I get. Yeah, I received every other day. Video. Every other day. All the fucking time. Wait, where's where's the video made about us? That's like leave him alone. <laughs> yeah. the, the, video. <laughs> the toxic brood's coming for us. His first big budget blockbuster. He did the best he could with it. He made Looper. <laughs> he made Looper. <laughs> he could do with it. What a bullshit argument. Dude, it's, it's funny do. though wow. because it's like, oh it's god, that was his draft. best. First draft. It was the best he could have done, guys. There was nothing the he best. could have done. He couldn't have just he couldn't have just not used his first draft. You, you just go like Ryan, why didn't why didn't you do a second? He goes, I'm sorry, what? A, a second what? Like what, what is that? And you're like, you know when like, you, you take like the draft. A draft. And, yeah, the first draft. He's like, that's not how movies are made. And you're like, oh. All right. Oh, okay. Movie trigger you this much. It's just ridiculous Triggered. how much effort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all the words, Jeremy. We trigger, boys. Uh, uh, Jeff. What? What? I can't hear. I can't Hello? hear anybody. Oh, we can hear you. Hello? You you cut out, Jeff, for, for me. <gasps> Hello. Poor low. Yeah, Jeff's cutting out. Yeah, for me, buddy. You... I don't hear Jeff at all. You hear me now? Blue. Chat. You now. Rip yeah, Jeff. We can hear you. Rip we Jeff. Can hear you. Rip Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic milk bell, Jeff. <laughs> I'm here. He's, yeah, can yeah you we got us? you. Yeah. Can Ooh, he... Ray. Apparently Wait. he can't hear us, but I'm we can hear him now. This is, this, is, this is weird. You guys perfectly. Oh, it seems like it's slightly delayed. Um, you, you asked, say something to Jeremy. We missed. Something happened. All I said is this guy's hitting every buzzword. Oh, now he's hitting. Uh, yes, yes. yes, he is. Yes, he is. And then he's getting himself mad, <laughs> which is great. Yeah, this is quite the. He doesn't even need us. He doesn't even need the toxic fandom. Fandom menace. Mm, Someone said good. toxic brew down. <laughs> The fans would put into harassing an actor or filmmaker out of pure fans. hatred. Grow the fuck up, all of you. I, I, oh, oh boy, <laughs> with the anger. Yeah, the the three people out there who did this. Yeah, grow my body. Up sure. You you can't tell us <laughs> to grow up when you're making a video like this. This video is rather juvenile. How dare you, sir? He's entitled to his opinion. John Adams said so. And the same thing <laughs> happened years ago. When the prequels came out, and years later, George Lucas sold Lucasfilm to Disney because of the backlash against the prequels. Is that why? I'm not or is a fan it because of the he just wanted that sweet, sweet money. I mean, I'm sure there's an element that he just didn't want to have to deal with like the crap anymore. I'm pretty sure he said publicly that like he didn't want to make any more Star Wars. Movies. Didn't he say something like, uh, "Why would you make movies when people just hate you for it or something?" Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. he said that. Um, well, but I'm sure good movies. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's like... I'm... <sighs> The idea that it's like, oh, he's, he's through hatred, the, these horrible things, it's like, I don't think that there's a director that doesn't, especially in the age of social media. You just can't be any kind of public figure and not get hate. To the point where people bring it up, I'm like, yeah, that's just, it's part of the territory, man. That's just, there's nothing you can do about that. It's a fool's errand. We live in. Pretend you can also, yeah, a couple people are saying that. apparently he donated most of the money he got as well. Is that true? Hooray! Mm -hmm. Yeah, he donated. Hooray. He donated. He donated almost all of it to uh, uh, school and charity. Good, oh. George. 
Good on you, and I'm George. not a fan of Hayden Christensen's acting in Attack of the Clones, or Jake Lloyd's in The Phantom Menace, but they didn't deserve to be harassed the way they were. It wasn't- Why did he show that picture as if- <laughs> Why would- yeah, like, why would you show what? that? <laughs> do you know how old I was at the time that movie came out? I didn't have anything to do with that. I was like- I don't think I don't many, even know. There wasn't- what is he suggesting? When did that come out? Like, 99? 99? Yeah. Okay, so I was literally two years old at that point. Thanks. I guess I'm part of the toxic brood from a real early well, age. You were a seedling <laughs> at that point. I was just cooking in the womb to be in the toxic brood. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Two-year-old me really cared. It wasn't their fault their acting was terrible in those movies. It was because of George Lucas's poor direction given to both actors. Uh, you can't know that for sure. I would Wait, happily yeah. say it's both of them, rather than... Like, Wait, to, to yeah, be like, it's not the he, fact they're acting he just criticized, bad. Didn't, didn't he just criticize George Lucas now? Guys, <gasps> oh, a filmmaker. Hate, Is he trying hate. to join was... the toxic brood? He's trying to get into the brood. <laughs> <trying> to... <laughs> be the Are brood. Pull... Come on. on. Brood. Like the little, like, little pamphlet to come in. It's like, how many women have you chased down an alleyway? And you're like, uh... We're the just, nice because of you. <laughs> just the three. And you're like, three, that's great, that's it. Three, that's great, that's a good, we got jackets. You're and in as for the actor who played Jar Jar, an actor who contemplated suicide after the constant Jar Jar Notice it was backlash. the SJWs did that. It makes me feel like a, he's very young when he, like, loses his shit randomly and is too close to his microphone. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, Call of Duty is terrible it's now. And this is where he's lacking the context because it doesn't fit his narrative. Uh, it was the media that he blamed his near suicide on. If you go and read what he said... But that's clearly not one of your strong points. So, but it was the media that he said that that pushed him to that point because of the media's portrayal of him and constantly talking about him, lighting it. So, but I mean, yeah, narratives, and you know. I think most, if not, like, I'm talking like ninety percent of the audience of the Phantom Menace never even knew the the actor that was Jar Jar Binks. They were I just, had no clue. I, I, I didn't. But yeah, I knew I nothing about knew the he actor. He showed up in episode two. Like I just, yeah, this so. is just such a not this. Make a point. <laughs> it wasn't his fault he played an annoying, Points are hard, though. grating, useless, um, and completely unnecessary. Stop harassing the actor by <laughs> saying these things. <laughs> Trying to get it. He's, he's, he's making this play for the brood. He really wants he's in. Every character. It was George Lucas's fault for writing and including Jar Jar in The Phantom Menace. Honestly, George Lucas has ruined Star Wars before Disney saved it. Disney saved it. No, Disney, what? Sa no, wait, what? Disney saved it. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Disney saved it. Oh, oh boy. This is where we are. Standards. What, 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 uh. But he's, he's saying that you will ruin Star Wars, but that now George Lucas ruined... What the fuck? I mean, have you ever seen his, like, motivation more bare than that? It's like, Disney saved Star Wars, guys. You're like, oh... Oh, oh, did they? <laughs> but let's talk about the woman who so many fans actually believe is the one ruining Star Wars. He's asserting that they're not fans? He hasn't Obviously, actually said why they're not fans. He's doing the Scotsman he shit hasn't... every time Yeah, he, is, he hasn't actually said why they're not fans. Oh, she got oh, her boy. own intro, too. Wow, this cunt. Kathleen can <laughs> better be part of this. The target I better be fucking part of this. Last Jedi haters. The head yeah, of a million views. and the producer of the first you, two Jeff. entries in the new trilogy and the soon to be <laughs> titled Episode 9. Along with these spin-offs. Quite a number, right? Oh, more is better. To the more is better. Again, did anybody did anybody go and see The Force Awakens? Did anybody in the entire world go, "Hey, uh, hey everybody. Hey, uh I'm really, I'm really excited uh, to go see that new Star Wars movie because I hear Kathleen Kennedy produced it. No yeah, fucking no, body no, said shit. that. Not I, one fucking person said that. I had literally Real never scene. even heard of Kathleen Kennedy until after The Last Jedi. <laughs> yeah, because people were looking out. to find out what went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, was it you? And she's like, I, yeah, I, I, I had a lot of... Like, isn't she the one that approved the script? Yeah. She was the one that was like, Ryan, your first draft? Okay. It's brilliant. Ooh. Go back and watch the director in the Jedi, that documentary. She's basically kissing his ass the entire production. Yeah, well, you know, stop harassing you, you toxic brood. Fans <sighs> of Star Wars. She's the forceful hand of the dagger that has been driven into the hearts of their favorite franchise. There's been many calls from fans for her to step down. Many claim that she has no idea she what doesn't. she's doing, that she has no love for what she's doing. 
Yeah, clearly. Yes, she does. He has no fucking vision whatsoever. Doing I like the, lacks, like, these statements. He's hit his head. He's like, these are so fucking ridiculous. And we're just sitting here like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's vision, and she's turning this franchise yes. into an yes. SJW. Yes, 100%. Yes. <laughs> Give me a fucking All right, I Now, guess let's put aside the hypocrisy of praising The Force Awakens and bashing her for The Last Jedi. Done that. Uh, I'm bashing done that. her for both. I was gonna say, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's not even, bad. It's not even both invalid to do that, to be, yeah. like, to celebrate one of the other. They're not the same film, so... Yeah, no one says Hitler was terrible because he was on board with the Autobahn. I, I... Who said Hitler was terrible? <laughs> I was uh, waiting true, for that. Yeah. Well, there, like, there so... are some... There's a fringe minority out there. <laughs> Who think, and this is, I'm not saying this, but they're saying this, that. Oh, Hitler toxic. Was, toxic yeah, Wait. yeah. There, there's a toxic fan base out there. Did he actually say again, toxic? I, Apparently, I see a yeah. toxic bell in there. We can't trust every toxic bell. Someone <laughs> must have. Did anyone hear it? If nobody heard it, then. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I was too busy thinking about uh, <laughs> too busy thinking about the Fuhrer. And we told them to put in the Did toxic bell, and then we're like, "Well, we, we can't trust, trust the toxic bell." <laughs> no, if everybody was rigging the toxic bell, we'd know. And that okay. she produced this amazing movie just as much as the one you <laughs> amazing. Movie. It's not amazing, buddy. He keeps sorry, letting wrote, his bias bad. slip. Like he's, if he's trying to make the argument, you shouldn't be mean to people over whether or not you liked the movie. But he keeps consistently going like this amazing movie. How they saved Star. You're like, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> like we could I've got some bad strings. news for you. Are you Crash. sitting down? <laughs> she also produced Rogue One. And the only reason Solo bombed is because the asshat haters decided to throw their lackluster boycott. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's amazing, okay. their lackluster boycott. And but it if failed it as a result. Yeah, but if yeah. it worked, then it's not you, very lackluster. Yeah, it's you can't, good. yeah, you can't dismiss the effort of the boycott by saying it didn't have an effect by at the same time saying that's the only reason it failed. God Isn't it, it like the first Star Wars movie to ever fail, too? Absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. It's like so I perfect. said earlier, remember I said that simultaneously these enemy groups have to be both incredibly powerful and incredibly weak simultaneously? <laughs> This is exactly, and then he says this. It's like, fuck, it's, it's like these people go off of scripts and you know exactly what they're going to say before they say it. I'm going to make it oh, funnier beautiful. for my quote. I'll say the project only effectively failed because of the ineffective boycott. <laughs> <laughs> there are many people who like to use the argument that Kathleen Kennedy promised to protect the characters that we love. The main thing is to protect these characters. And she, she brutally <laughs> murdered them in this sleep. <laughs> Make sure that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them. No! Oh, <laughs> oh my oh, god! Shit. Can't believe she's yeah, awful. That. Look at her, she looks like a corpse. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is, she's just that being is toxic, around. So. She's just got um, Disney juice flowing through her that keeps her animated. <laughs> maybe that's like the, maybe that's the reason why there's like some weird amorphous bulge in her neck right there. No, it's because <laughs> she's like that bad guy from that Hellblade movie. He's Hellblade like, movie? Yeah, but, uh, oh, Hellboy, Hellboy. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. you perfect the, record. The, guy, the, the assassin guy. Oh, you're talking about uh, the, the German knife-wielding dude, Yeah, right? yeah, he's got, like, the, the, the weird juice. That, yeah, the sand stuff. That's <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> she has to like, power it up like clockwork. <laughs> <laughs> she has to wind herself up. <laughs> <laughs> she goes to sleep in a pod. I will take care of your characters. You're like, no, you won't. <laughs> your characters will be no more. That's a very comforting statement. Then the characters we grew up with started dying, and the fans <laughs> flipped. <laughs> the fans. Fans. He's like, he's like, she said like she would take care of old. them, and then he's they like died. A <laughs> Call of Duty stream. It just, uh, he just unironically declares that she, like, is going to take care of them and that they're all killed. <laughs> it's like... Uh, he's making our points for us. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we don't have to do much work here. So that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them. <laughs> in chat, take care, God as in kill. <laughs> That's a very comforting statement. Then the characters wow. we grew up with I'm sure it was meant to comfort him as they flipped shit <laughs> before Listen, they did what they did. Do you understand that there is no way we could possibly expect to see Luke... Han and Leia last for countless decades. A Greek. That's, That's not, not what we wanted. Oh, what? Not, what? what? Do you think that we wanted like a 95-year-old Mark Hamill? <laughs> yeah, dude. 
I'll get you Darth Vader 3. Ooh, I, <laughs> back in my day, we would have just shot the stormtroopers. Look, it's like... I, I, I'm not expecting much. I'm just expecting that we will dig up Carrie Fisher's corpse out of the grave and just put strings on her and strings just put on her. her on the set. Yeah. The, um, Hello, how do Bernie's. you do, fellow life Bernie's. people? My so, fellow mortals? I, I want episode nine to be weakened at Leia's, and they just prance. <laughs> <carry them. laughs> they just pump cocaine into her veins. <laughs> 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 the, the, the cocaine brings her back to life. <laughs> Maybe that's well, my next comic. Um, <laughs> I, uh, it's like one of my favorite tropes with the defending the Lost Jedi, where they they take a a criticism and then they reverse it to the the nth degree. So you're like, maybe Leia shouldn't have blown out into space while surviving. Like, oh, maybe that should have happened. And they go, oh, you want it to be that she's not even in the film? Oh, you're you, like, you don't think I should own an AR-15? What do you want? Everyone to have nuclear bombs in their backyard? <laughs> you're just like, I don't, I don't know why you've drawn that from what I said. <laughs> Someone said weekend at all they're on. <laughs> like the Breakfast first, at Leia's. The first movie we have uh, Han back, he's dead. Luke, dead. You know, uh, Leia gets uh, resurrected by the fo whatever. You're just like, maybe, maybe don't do that. And they're like, well, you want him in for a million movies. You're like, I didn't realize those were the two options, but fuck it, I'll take the the, the latter in that case. I'll take the I'll take the or million. You, yeah. You remember the stories about Michael Arndt's original script, right? About Episode Seven. Do you remember that? Uh, which, Michael what? Arndt actually wrote uh, before JJ came on. He was writing the script, and uh, the criticism from uh, Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm was that Luke. This is exactly what the criticism was: Luke Skywalker was taking too much attention away from the new characters. Who cares so, about the new characters? Yeah, yeah. Shit. yeah. Exactly. So, so, so the yeah, like. Shit. <laughs> shocking, shocking revelation there, Kathleen. P fucking Luke Skywalker is the most important person in Star Wars. Shocking revelation that people would actually not respond to uh, unknown characters. Instead, you know, Luke Skywalker, Skywalker was commanding too much attention. So that's why they had him um, rewrite everything to push Luke into the background. Yeah, that's Kathleen, how. Remember, it, it, remember that time when we had a whole trilogy about how the main character was born? Remember that? It's it's. A lot of people accept it casually. They're like, yeah, the new trilogy couldn't have been about Luke, Han, and Leia. You need to make space for the new. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Well, you know, because we've had a trilogy about them. It's like, so? So? It's like, you realize the MCU has like seven movies with Iron Man now? How <laughs> many James Bond movies have there been, Mahler? 24. I... So we can have more Han, Luke, and Leia. And it's like, why not have another trilogy for them, progressing them all as characters, and then the following trilogy is a sort of passing the torch thing with these new characters that maybe were introduced very in minor ways in the trilogy that... Like, I don't, it's, I don't it's know exactly why this like accepted. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai did it perfectly. Have you, got, have you guys seen Cobra Kai? I haven't, no. Watch it. Fantastic. And it's, um, it is perfectly done, and, and a lot of the reason that so many people were drawn to it was because they looked at it and said, this is how Star Wars should have been done, because it, it starts out with the legacy characters from Karate Kid, and it tells you the story from what they've been doing for the past 30 years, and then it slowly starts to, after they've reestablished those legacy characters, once the story progresses, then it starts slowly bringing the new characters into the fold. And you start caring about those new characters, and by the end of it, it's kind of you know it's kind of like what it should. What a certain Star Wars should have done. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And like if 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 they would have done this the right way, if they would have introdu reintroduced Luke Han and Leia, and, and given us you know context to what's been going on in the last thirty years, and not shit all over these characters, by the time we get to Episode Nine, we would all be invested in these new characters. Because you would have been making us care about them through your storytelling. But unfortunately, criticizing means you're part of the uh, toxic brood. So we'll make t-shirts and sell them and make money off your stupidity. Hooray. So. You should wear those to celebration, <laughs> Jeremy. The toxic brood. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get... The brood I'm has of the toxic brood. <laughs> it does, it does, you need, like, like rock symbol hands on either side of it, right? Like, as just to, <laughs> yeah, just to own it. Like, no, you guys are supposed brood. to... I hate it. <laughs> Great grandchildren idolizing a scientifically preserved Mark Hamill, slicing down stormtroopers as that's, Luke Skywalker, yep, that's what we the man who never that's, dies. I, that's what we like, want. It really bothered yep. me when both Rags Wolf and everyone I've ever met requested that. I was like, guys, come on. 
<laughs> it's a little over the top, don't yeah. you think? And it's so weird how everybody wants that who didn't like The Last Jedi. It's just so strange. Yeah. It's a never-ending uh, suggestion, I hear. The never-ending story. Yeah. The never-ending so Hamill. Exasperated that I <laughs> the never-ending Hamill. My hair is growing on my fucking head. Her promise is not for the lives of our heroes. It's for their integrity. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we heard you the first time. Oh and it was God. dumb back then, too. <laughs> oh, dude. He's well. doing a Bob Shitman to me. <laughs> Wee boob. Sure, man. Yeah, the okay. fact that the heroes we love Maybe wouldn't Bob. be turned into polar opposites of what we've grown to adore. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. All our heroes have held their flaws, their quirks, their personalities, and their heroism. They all no. held the same the way that pride he wasn't and truth. Literally, there. no. The way that he didn't actually go there. Very heroic. What is now this video evolving into anyway? Now it's like a defense of the know, Last I Jedi, I guess. I don't even know what the point is. He's all over the place. Well, he, how can you be all over the place and at the same time nowhere at all? <laughs> Simultaneously. <laughs> it's talent. It's like he's everywhere, but he's nowhere at a all. A transparent, thin liquid. This ends up being, if, if, this, if this ends up being a troll, like, uh, I don't know if you saw or heard about Logan Paul's new upload. Have you heard about that? No. About the flat earth thing? No, what's that? No. He actually trolled all the flat earthers. Uh, oh, okay. And it's actually great. I'm not a fan of Logan Paul, but if this guy ends up trying to uh, convince us that he wants to be part of the fandom menace, I will be so happy. <laughs> so, if, if he's maybe like trolling us, that's, that's troll. my only hope. That's my only hope for him at this point. If not, he's uh, he's got problems. Sona. Han was still the smarky, smart mouth flyboy. Leia, the strong and driven leader. And Luke, the flawed and wavering soul who... <laughs> I love it. It's so surface level. You may as well just be like, flawed. like Luke, oh. he held his lightsaber. Han, he was like, he, you know, snarky to some people. Leia, she looked at the camera. They're the same. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at the camera in the new films too. Same character. Yeah, I said it in my part too. It's like, look, Luke, Luke is wearing clothes. He's always done that. You can't deny that. Always I remember when he wore clothes. heroic in... path at the end. What more do you want? A good movie? <laughs> what more yeah, do you want? a good movie. Yeah, I agree. A lot. These characters deserve their spot in our Hall of Heroes we keep in our minds. But because you're too busy finding Fine. the yeah, flaws... Yeah, we're going out of our way. Oh, this... I really want this video to be a parody now. The fact that he's just like, he's gone so far to the other end. It's like, you're looking <laughs> for flaws. Like, oh... Oh, they're not just blatant, blatant and in our face. Are we here? All right. For the... The just right conversation, Wolf, where it was like, finally get him to the point where he can't deny a flaw in the film, and then he just goes, Yeah. Yeah. I was all fine with it. Like, yes, but okay. there are flaws there, right? It's like, you're just looking for them. Oh, just right. Go back to making good videos again. I'm right, because I have some of your older videos. But because you're too busy finding the flaws, you miss the achievements. You lock them out of your hearts and refuse to suffer. Lock them out of your hearts. <laughs> I noticed that too. Oh. Celebrate who they were and what they've done because you're so focused on the missed opportunity. Oh, that's a Photoshop uh, yeah. nightmare. Opportunity of what they could have done. They've done enough. They or saved die. the galaxy <laughs> countless times and now it's their time to enjoy their place in the history books. So acknowledge their heroics, cherish their lessons. And always remember. What? I think Disney tarnished their legacy. But yeah, whatever, that was, we're just a, wait. We're just not. We're just observing the things that other people did. We're not. Uh, what we're time not are you guys that. on? Because I think I'm probably behind you. What twelve fourteen? Yeah, I'm on twelve thirteen. If um, thirteen. If any one of you guys can drag it back to like twelve oh five, it should knock us all back into sync. Twelve five. Yeah, just drag it back and then hit play. It should be fine. Oh. It took me up to twelve eighteen. <laughs> yeah, now I'm at twelve nineteen. I'm just not. I'm See, can't believe Kennedy's face. Some harpy on the screen. Oh. Like they're heroic. Uh, interesting. Is everyone Thank at twelve o five now? One of those things in the wish okay, now. We're at twelve o five now. All right. Cherish their lessons, and always remember the journeys you took with them. But don't tarnish their memories with hate and prejudice. <laughs> Jesus. It's not what any of our heroes would have wanted. <laughs> it's like a B movie. Oh my god, this is like the inverse of that that 
petition to like save Justice League by seeing it six times in theaters. <laughs> yeah. It's like the heroes were there for us, so we have to be there for them. It's like no. It's like a these characters right? wouldn't want you to do this. It's like no, I picture the Luke Skywalker of the OT just like in a glass box screaming, it's like please <laughs> save me. So as for the remarks about her position, her ability, and her vision, I'm gonna read you a list of movies that she's been a part oh, of. God. Oh Raiders my god, of the Lost god. damn it. She, it she was always the pisses me off. She was the she, coffee holder for Steven Spielberg, who actually made the movie. <sighs> I really hate this argument. This. I really hate this argument so bad. What she made now doesn't suck, because things that they were associated with in some it's... capacity in the past weren't terrible. Like, this is oh, the okay. fundamental issue, even if he was right, and she was solely responsible for those movies, no one else was accredited. Uh, that doesn't mean she doesn't can't matter. do bad in the future. Yeah. Nothing to do with The Last Jedi. Get through the Back to the Future part. All right, also, you can do research here, but right. don't Poltergeist, E.T., e. The Extraterrestrial, yeah, Gremlins, e. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, The Color Purple, oh. Back to the Future, The Goonies, An American Tale, The Land Before Time, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Back to the Future Part 2, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Arachnophobia, Gremlins 2, You gotta the mention Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Back to Skull. the Future Part 3, <laughs> Hook, An American Tale, Fifel Goes West, Cape Fear, Schindler's List, Schindler's we're back, list? a dinosaur story. <laughs> Speaking of dinosaurs, Jurassic Schindler. Schindler? <laughs> My god, learn how to speak. How much you want to bet he doesn't mention Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? That's wrong, think. You can't I, I don't, I don't right. know what's worse, if he doesn't mention it or if he does. <laughs> <laughs> That's <don't>... very true. <laughs> uh, we got, there's a whole selection of things that have to be shown. Oh boy. The, like I said, man, I know I said it already, but the John, a John Adams spider shit, I just... People are really <laughs> latched onto this. <laughs> There's a take. I'm putting this one on first. You guys are going to love this one. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is number one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they cropped it so the shoulders are exactly alike. <laughs> uh, More, please. Oh, boy. I love it. <laughs> are you to Jeremy? Yes, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've never seen that movie, by the way. It makes a Spider-Man 2. So. Get the, uh, for you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> there he is, says Paul Giamatti. <laughs> and, then, and then this, which... Fucking hell. <laughs> we are... We... We the toxic... <laughs> of half the castrated rat. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite play. It's my favorite pub. It's the castrated ram. It's great. <laughs> the bingo night. Just the we the people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now it's just Paul Giamatti. <laughs> <laughs> I love we the, the. We the need to get the spider. We need yeah. to get the spider from uh, Wild Wild West with Paul Giamatti's head on it now. <laughs> so we need <laughs> the forces female shit as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will take care of your too. favorite character. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no. No. Oh no. 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 Let her just let her die. In peace. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. It's incredibly well made. So quick as well. Those those meme artists, man. Jurassic Park, The Flintstones, Balto, The Indian in the Cupboard, Congo, The Bridges of Madison County, Twister, The Best of Roger Rabbit, The Lost World, yeah. Jurassic Park, Ooh. Sixth Sense, Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park 3, that's not I, Artificial Intelligence. Is he oh my just God, listing what? like her entire IMDb at this point? Wait, 
What if, if she was does, in- What if he does list Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Wait, okay. he might. He might. He, he might, might, might be getting the. Uh oh. Oh jeez. He, he He'll be coming up because this is 05. Yeah. Oh, no. Munich. War of the Worlds. The Curious Case of Benjamin. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I have no self awareness. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, she Stop. made Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> <laughs> not a point of endearment. Executive oh. producer of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. <laughs> but to slap that baby on your resume. Oh my god. <sighs> Reading IMDb Jones without any context to what these oh! are. Oh no! 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 <laughs> no! Oh my god. How did he put this in his what video you, and what think this point? was a good idea? <laughs> Oh, this dear. is refuting. This is refuting your own point. Why did she? Why did he zoom in? Him. I hurt for him <laughs> right now. No, You're wait a minute. That doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. No, he wait. Doesn't it. wait get what? It. What's his name again? Wait, wait a minute, Matt. <laughs> oh my God! It, it retarded me into hiccups. Retarded <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh my goodness, what a failure to... The, like, uh, uh, he's he's what perfectly... What is the purpose of him in onto this one? Does, is he about to say something? Oh, he might like, be making unfair. a joke, I'd imagine. But I was just gonna say, Maybe. like, he's perfectly shown the roadmap of, like, it just slowly rots into failure. <laughs> Jones, in the yeah. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. The Last Airbender. The Adventures of Tintin, Warhorse, Lincoln. He's got some self-awareness, guys. The BFG. Um, no, now, much, after but... hearing that list, were there any bad movies? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some bad ones. But I'm a huge fan of Jurassic Lincoln's Park. Lincoln's bad? Did... Uh, I, I only saw the ones. I don't no. remember uh, much. I was... I never... No, I was... Off. I, was I was... I haven't heard that it was bad. Never saw Lincoln? No, haven't seen it. I was born on right. Lincoln's birthday. And Lincoln went to different high schools. Together. Growing up. Yes. Did Lincoln have anything to say about the rights of liking the TLJ, or...? I'm um, thinking some memes are gonna come our way. score and 20 years ago! That's my Lincoln voice! <laughs> you tried, <laughs> that's what's important. I don't the know fact why! That the Lost World was a mediocre sequel, and 3 was comparable to a trash heap, urge me to hate her? Not in the least. We didn't know she did no, any no, of no, those man. films. We hate her because of the things that she has said and done. We don't hate her because of her professional work on other films to whatever degree you want to try and associate with her. I love that he's not even sure how much influence she has on these films. He's like, those are good ones, but those are bad ones too. Hmm. <laughs> I heard of Kath the first time I ever heard of Kathleen Kennedy was in twenty twelve when, when she was appointed, you know, head of Lucasfilm. I'd never heard of her prior to that. And most most people have never heard of her prior no, to that. Yeah, yeah sadly. She's on all the Indiana Jones documentaries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at that weird face she's got there. Look at her nose, how it's like all... How long, how long until they're digging okay. her up out of a catacomb? I'm, I'm just, belongs you know. in the museum. If she's on clock, She belongs already. in a museum! <laughs> Up to your She's got that weird, abnormally small mouth for her face. A nose that's very... We, we all both, know. Just because she's a woman, you would never make fun of the appearance of a man. Look, look, I'm just saying, if you put three quote or three parentheses around each side of her nose, you get, you get an answer to all of this. I don't understand. The racialist. No one is entitled to a oh, flop. Does he do the racials? Nobody is perfect. Mm -hmm. Just a message for those who hated The Last Jedi. You think this woman ruined your childhood? Yes. Listen oh, to this man, list she again. Her damned hardest. This I mean, okay, wait. Like, <laughs> is his point? She created some of the. She was involved with some of the greatest films of your childhood, so how could you say she ruined it? It's like. Because she, she did. It's like. Uh, you, could, you could give someone an ice cream and knock it out of their hand. If my dad. Um, let's say, let's say I'm, you know, 14, 15 years old. My dad comes home drunk, um, uh, stabs my mom, uh, rapes her, slaps me, and I run away. How can you say that my dad ruined my life when he was responsible <laughs> for my childhood? <laughs> you know, it's a great argument. This woman is your childhood. Definitely I back not. Kathleen Kennedy. I support her. 
Because I could only hope to achieve what she has. Yes, not with this work. Oh, he's a little emotional <laughs> outburst, man. Yeah. Man, I, I would, like, be suicidal if I achieved what she has in the past decade. I mean, if you're going to attach emotion into your video, like, when it's every four seconds, it kind of loses. It makes you seem more unstable than passionate. And, like, to the point where it's clipping audio, you're like, uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's All like, right. this isn't good. Does this dude even know what she actually did on all those movies? No. He Ooh. wrote it, but I don't know if he knows what those mean. She's, yeah. Her name is on it, so she did good. She's the producer. She has literally nothing to do with it. Well. Congratulations. It, it'll depend, but I imagine that uh, she's not the reason the great films were great. I, that's my assumption, you know? Put it out there. I would put money on it. She has quite the kill-death ratio when it comes to movies. I would also would like to point out something. Colin okay. Trevorrow. The asshat who wrote and directed this soft reboot <laughs> made wow, this piece so of funny. anus. Come on, David Fincher had a better second film okay. than you did, and wrote the terrible script for this complete dumpster right. fire. Okay. Was okay. previously okay. slated to direct episode nine. I'll and take thanks it. Thanks to Kathleen I'll take Kennedy. It. I'll fucking take he, it. He, I mean, did he call him an asshat? That's pretty toxic behavior yeah, by calling a director. A yeah, director, just, well, just because he made a movie you didn't like, you yeah. called him a toxic name. That's yeah, very, very, that's um, very offensive. Part of the I, toxic rude, no, aren't yeah, you now, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> that's a free pass, dude. You don't even need to call that. Story. He no longer is. And I couldn't have been more happier with this decision. She knew more what happier. she was doing. More happier. Wow. <laughs> more Wait, happier. Okay. Whoa, he's like. Is he actually making the point that she knew that hiring him would be a bad decision? And... He knew what she was doing when she fired Colin. Otherwise, uh, uh, he would have ruined uh, Star no, Wars. He just would have like put the final bullet in it. Yeah, he would have. Oh, yeah. So we can't we can't talk about something that someone did and be critical of it. But he can but he tell can. you the future. He can assume that someone was going to ruin Star Wars, therefore calling him names. Okay. It's, it's okay when Jeremy. he does it. Yeah, I was say, this this all comes down to Kathleen. Do it, hey. it doesn't count. Is this Mike Zero like doing this video? Mike Zero from the future? <laughs> I'm just curious. I don't know right, if you guys know that running joke with us, but we have, we have a running joke with Mike Zero. <laughs> on his uh, he future Star ruined. Wars content. Oh, mm -hmm. no, we don't do jokes on this podcast. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. We, we sorry for my toxicity. Yes, I'm sorry for, sorry for my patriarchy. Stop Try bringing your serious. black toxicity to this <laughs> wonderful <laughs> to this wonderful Christian podcast. <laughs> on Star Wars. Probably would have written in a little clone girl and have her release a bunch of rat tars. Why the fuck not? I'll take it. I just I just find it so funny that he's like, you know, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, that's dumb, but Lost Jedi, masterpiece. Yeah, like that's it. dumb, and you can make fun of the people involved with its creation, but oh, not Star Wars. You can't fucking do that. You talk to terrible, horrible he, man, baby, awful I people. I mean, he's, he's acting like Jurassic World 2 didn't get any hate in comparison, but it's like, I don't, I have not met one person that actually unironically likes Jurassic World 2. Yeah, that movie's pretty Maybe. bad. Like, it's, it's awful. It's awful. And sad, too, because, like, man, do I love Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's like, that's another one yeah, of those I, series is just the cult. Yeah. Jurassic World 1 was not good, but I, I, I found enough to enjoy from nostalgia purposes. But two was awful. Yeah, because yeah, because I like I think Jurassic World one kind of sucks, but Fallen Kingdom was special. I was blown away. We need to watch more videos trying to defend that thing. We, we yeah, we've been given. <laughs> no. Have you got a list of them? There's like three people want us to check out. Um, oh, please tell me none of them are from Shinobi. No, but one of them I believe. <laughs> Thank isn't, God. Isn't one of them like where it's like the the the, the biblical elements of Fallen Kingdom? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I thought the Bible, like, kind of contradicts the whole dinosaur thing. No. <laughs> it depends on what crazy people you talk to. Some people say there's dinosaurs in the Bible. I'm like, fuck it, why not? Why not? <laughs> living things. There's also a god in the Bible, why the fuck not? Get the fuck out of here. I had to. Oh, so it wasn't enough that he made the joke. Now he had to like. Yeah. Now he's got to. Now he's got to double down on it. Jeez. It wasn't that right, funny, right, and now you're right, actually like. like yeah. Thanks. We we got it. We got it. Jurassic World 2's bad. We all agree. I'm curious. Why did he zoom into Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom, but not for Star Wars? If you know what I mean, he's gotten rid of the black bars. Why is he showing in. a terrible scene from Star Wars movies if he's trying to defend Star Wars? 
Well, no, but he's so what he's doing is he's he's consistently telling us how I hated Jurassic World too. I don't talk about it. I don't talk shit about it. Yet here's this asshat Colin Trevorrow that made Jurassic World too, but I don't continue to talk bad about it. And then also, he continues to talk fun. bad about it. Yeah. It, God also in damn. This, uh, <laughs> this video I'm making, we're going to keep mocking him over and over. Exactly. That's, that's the healthy thing to do. It's the toxic thing would be to do that, it's but huge more. Huge hypocrite. Um, but yeah, do you know what I mean though? He zoomed into Fallen Kingdom for no reason. They show at different aspect ratios? No, it's definitely... And you just download the clips? Because I had to... I made my video on this terrible... Oh, movie. yeah, you wouldn't know. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, don't know maybe he's he trying that. to crop off the... Uh, somebody watermarked it like... Um, oh, that could, gonna, it. that could be it. That could be it. Space or... Or it was like this to begin with and he got it from like a YouTube video. Maybe. Maybe. Probably, that's my guess. <laughs> no, zoom in on the face, I guess. Now he's off right, to strike that's funny. When you zoom in on faces, face. that's funny. Also, for the record, I like that he's saying like he's gonna strike the final nail. It's like Jurassic World is making shit tons of money. I'm pretty sure that not only will he make the third one and it'll make a shit ton of money, but they'll probably keep going. Like Jurassic Universe, Jurassic <laughs> Galaxy, <laughs> Jurassic Mars, Jurassic Cosmos, T Rex versus aliens. It's, it'll be great. What if the raptors guys. like become sentient and then we're living with the raptors and it's all like Mass Effect but with it's gonna raptors. be like um that movie that Whoopi Goldberg did um oh god Theodore Rex oh, yeah god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jurassic no. World for Theodore Rex <laughs> <laughs> it's a the Jurassic Park movies and the world movie they're, they're it's all a prequel to Theodore Rex. <laughs> Oh my god. There was intense lore that we had to get out of the way for us. We just need to make sure that we get Whoopi Goldberg back again. <laughs> Episode 9. Since he did a good job with The Force Awakens. If this doesn't show she's trying to save our childhood franchise, I don't know what will. Not sure oh, what happened. Man. I don't oh, know, you could start geez. with like not systematically destroying all of the legacy characters. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't, know. I, I don't feel too good about Lando being like robot sexual now. I, 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 think don't, I don't think that really fine. saves my child. Do you remember the scene that they cut in the OT guys where he was like coming on to C3PO? Fucking the robot. Like <laughs> coming on them like actually coming on to? Yes. <laughs> yes. It was my a, word. It was Master a... Calrissian. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's gonna feel so good. Please get your big black penis off of my chest. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad enough when Chewbacca does it. <laughs> oh god! She was like, no. "Shut the fuck up, dude!" Like, the fuck we don't, we don't need to bring Chewbacca into this. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! No, no, don't say I that. Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, in terms of their vision for Solo, that as a result of their departure, gave us Ron Howard's vision, or seventy percent of it. But at least Solo didn't turn out like Justice League. Um. Congratulations, Solo didn't turn out like one of the worst movies ever. I That's such an I... endearing point. Set that bar high. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't, that's what I mean, there's so many ways to respond to this. I mean, like, is that something to be proud of? Like, okay. Justice League actually made more money than Solo. Did it really? <laughs> well, it made, well, it made, <laughs> made money. I was, yeah, was going to say, Solo, it certainly cause... profited more. Yeah, it, it, so I think Justice League made like 600 million, which is terrible for justice oh my, league but oh my god solo made what like 400 million oh <sighs> so you're telling me that petition actually worked <laughs> <laughs> hey man they needed us okay these heroes i can imagine them going to that film six times is like all the the ticket you know people at the front of the movie theater like oh back oh again god. frank you're like yep yeah. what number are you on three <laughs> ways to go frank yeah, see you later. Uh, as long as they're not bored remember. right I still remember when the group in front of me left and I was all alone in that <laughs> terrible movie. Oh, Jesus. It's worse. Yeah, you're right. So it was 400 million for Solo and 600 million for Justice League. So. It's all Kathleen know. Kennedy's awesome reshoots. I, I love this guy singing her praises so hardcore. Wow, you really are. A completely I, this is kind of mess. a new one for me. Speaking of Solo. Yeah, it sucked. A music. Solo. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the 
boycott that worked. As I've mentioned before, Solo, a Star Wars story, has flopped thanks to all the butthurt, toxic, blast <laughs> and ideas. nothing to do with the film. <laughs> uh, nothing to do with the film's quality at no. all. There's not countless reasons why they never should have made that movie to begin with, Rex. It's all because of the toxic... What was it, Brood? <laughs> what have we learned here? We've learned that Jurassic World 2 is a disaster, it's a terrible movie, and the people involved with oh, it toxic. deserve to be fired. Toxic. Oh shit! Toxic. Yeah, yeah, he did. And uh, but but anything Star Wars related and Kathleen Kennedy. Wait, didn't Kathleen Kennedy did was Kathleen Kennedy a producer on um Jurassic World? Hmm. I, mean, I know Frank Marshall was because obviously, but I don't know if she's on that. But anyway, he, the point is, uh, I doubt she was because of her role at Lucasfilm. Now he probably would have had trouble bringing that one up. He'd be like, Ugh. Exactly. probably make a joke out of it or whatever. <laughs> oh man, this guy, he's all over the place. No, so, yeah, yes, she didn't. She wasn't involved in that, unfortunately. Would have been funny. Would have been good. <sighs> Decided to boycott the movie because they hate Disney Star Wars and what they've done to the franchise. These haters weren't willing to give this movie we a chance. We saw it. It was shit. For those who think it's Lucas Lucasfilm's yeah. fall in Disney. I gave Disney money I gave to this see this terrible chats. movie. I've seen this movie twice. It was, so. it was terrible. <laughs> I gave <laughs> Deadpool 2 the money to watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Just gave it to Disney in advance. Just, Speaking of which, Deadpool 2, good movie. It's like, yeah, defend Solo now. Go for it, man. It's your video. Tell us how Fucking... Solo is a great film. Defend you Solo. Flopped that Solo flopped by releasing the movie in May as opposed to December. What? Uh, you mean Look like... at how many other big blockbuster Wait, movies came hold out hold on. Did, you... Did he really just say that it flopped because it was released in May instead of December? Well, that, that, was one of, that was one of the excuses for everybody that, of the release date because obviously release dates have always been um, strategic for Star Wars movies because you have to release Star Wars movies on specific dates for them to be successful. Yeah, We've all known have. this. But Infinity War released in May and that was pretty successful. Deadpool 2 was successful. A lot of Every other Star Wars movie before. Yeah, but there were no minute. boycotts for Infinity War. Is he about to make hey, that part guys, of his point? Guys, guys, you're 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 forgetting. You're forgetting Geeks and Gamers channel with approximately around forty thousand subs at the time of Solo releasing had a massive boycott on my videos. We had at least twenty thousand views. So clearly, we had a massive impact. Yeah, a every report, single though. one of those people. People were going to cinemas <laughs> saying, "I will not be seeing the film because of Geeks and Gamers," and then they gave them a, a little link to your channel. It was widely it's reported. Fact. It's it's fact. I mean, I even think I even think that was the day that uh, CNN decided to be honest and report about Geeks and Gamers. I mean, it's, it was an amazing accomplishment for us. And so, um, I just want to thank all Proud of my of family, you. friends, and relatives <laughs> for uh, supporting uh, the effort that we did take down a a multi million dollar film with my channel uh, that couldn't even pull fucking thirty thousand views at the time. <laughs> so. Did it, man. It's greatness. Fucking did it. Yeah. You're, You're a in weapon. The big leagues now. I'm here talking to Mahler. Yeah, like, that's why. To... This is why this is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're all we're all together, man. we we all took down solo. Did it. Toxic awesome brood, man. Look at how many other big blockbuster movies. Toxic grows. The brood grows. Okay. And now look at the ones coming out in December. Sure, Infinity War came out at the end of April, but it was out. Selena for a didn't while. come out in December. <laughs> that came I, out. I, I love how he has to be like. <sighs> Like, yeah, Fine. sure. Aquaman made a billion dollars. Around, Fine. December. The Avengers movie came out. I know. Oh, it's a big movie. Uh, that doesn't really disprove my point. <laughs> like, uh... Star Wars isn't big, so it makes sense. <laughs> Why does the Avengers logo start before May? Uh... It was out, I think, April 26th. Yeah, I think that's his point. It started oh, okay. late April, <laughs> so it doesn't really count. Except it does. And Solo came out near the end of the month. So I don't see any reason why most fans didn't go... You know what? I'll go what solo. Good. But Rampage came out around April too. Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't talk about that fucking movie. And the people who have seen it, a whole lot of them enjoyed it and mm -hmm. thought yeah. it was the best Star yeah. Wars. And what what is his problem with the non white not white male leading the movie? Was that his problem? Well, look, I think there was, was an albino gorilla, so uh. Did you just, just make the point it's the best Star Wars flick in a while when did. the last one came out six months prior? Which, which uh, yeah, oh. that happened to be like one of his favorites. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, I guess he said that some people said that, so. On April 2. Yeah. That yeah, was so don't... nice. We don't talk about that fucking movie. And the people who have seen it, a whole lot I of them enjoyed most it. People have forgotten thought it was the best Star Wars happened. flick in a while. And since I'm on the subject of the film itself, 
Let me tell you what I thought of it. Are you really? Okay. Okay. It was okay, fun. Right. I had fun watching it. It was fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> it reminds me of Captain Marvel, where it's like, oh, so was it great? And they're like, eh, mm, uh, it was a movie. We all know, we all know what I had fun watching it means. It means it's not good. <laughs> it means it wasn't good. But I enjoyed it, but I'm not yeah. going to admit that it's a bad movie. Yeah. Because it was fun. It's exactly like Mahler. You said earlier you had fun with um, you know, Aquaman, but you admit it's bad, you know, because it's you know, fun with but but this guy is not the type that's going to say this is an objectively bad movie. He's just gonna say I had a lot of fun. He with can't. It. He cannot say. He can't admit that this film was bad because Ruins if it does, everything. then it all comes crashing down. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Does anyone remember Solo existed before this video reminded us of? <laughs> oh, no, I forgot the film existed. Dang it. But they played it too damn safe. A lot more than played it too Reagan. safe. Why? Uh, I'm, I'm what? sorry. Did you did you forget about the part where Lando is <laughs> robosexual? Where they had an S U J W droid. Like I don't I don't uh, think that was a safe choice. She had a buzzsaw come out of her crotch and then saw open a gate. I'm sorry, <laughs> they had a super this. emotional death scene for her that I actually. Like laughed in the laughed cinema, and I was like, "Shit, I should shut the fuck up." <laughs> Some people in the cinema are taking this seriously. Uh, I, I left. Well, I left. what my favorite shit about that was when I reviewed it, people were like, "Mo, didn't you get that was supposed to be funny? It's a parody scene." And I was like, "Oh god." Yeah, I still like, don't. I thought she was a parody character too. That's but how yeah, bad I, it I, is I, that people think it's parody. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I still don't think Mueller and I can quite. I don't understand I'm... that. I don't, I don't get know. that par the parody angle. I heard people say that, and obviously, I didn't see the movie until I really wasn't going to see the movie. And then, um, someone sent me a copy of it. That one of our viewers said, "I really want your thoughts on it," so I, I watched it. But I really yeah, your like. I was doing hate you. <laughs> well, I was doing a live stream, uh, and I had heard most of the stuff on it, but um, someone informed me about the L three three seven and and how the effect of the Millennium Falcon, you know, oh, God, in the end. Yeah. And I, you sh you saw like you saw all of the happiness in my life go away with, during Ooh. that live stream when they told me I'm like wait what the fuck they did that they ruined the you, spaceship they like, killed are you the spaceship kidding me? yeah and, and everybody on the stream they're like we killed Jeremy we killed him he's dead I'm like you, I am dead inside right now I didn't know this you would have um, thought that a spaceship being an inanimate object that isn't a character couldn't possibly be ruined but they found a way found to a ruin way. the spaceship they fucking did it. Like, how do you away. do that? How do you ruin a spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this spaceship Fuck. ferried space juice to the space holocaust. It's, it is, an act, it, Solo is objectively boring. It's fucking boring. <laughs> like, it's so goddamn boring. Like, it doesn't even, it doesn't even have enough meat on the bone to anger me. It's just fucking boring. You telling me you didn't it's, cheer when Darth Maul pulled out his Double lightsaber. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was I was already dead. That was such that an awkward point. moment though, because you could tell that even even Amelia Clark in that scene was like, "You gonna you gonna put it away?" Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why do you have that out? You're not actually here. <laughs> she just like puts her hand on it, like it doesn't work, dude. It's just <laughs> an hologram. I don't understand. What's up with Disney Star Wars having people pull lightsabers out that aren't actually there and present in <laughs> Luke Sky or Jake Jake from you know the Last Jedi? So it's. Just... God the running one idea. Depressing me. I'm getting depressed all over again. <laughs> I, I, feel sad. I feel sad that that was Sam Witwer's first Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. And Ray Park actually came back for it, and it's just like, oh. You deserved better. And Solo also relies heavily on fan service to please the audience. It wasn't as bad as Jurassic World <laughs> Fallen Kingdom. Oh, damn, yeah. dude. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't the metric. Trick. That's the metric. Not as bad as these awful things. <laughs> is he gonna talk about the movie he said he doesn't constantly bitch about? Like he said earlier, he's like, I don't constantly bitch about it, I hate it. And now he's done nothing but constantly bitch about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. <laughs> <sighs> Pretty distracting at times. I had some issues with this movie, so I'll just get the negatives out of the way. And I'll be going into spoiler territory as well, so skip to this just point. Just turn it off. So guys, solo lives. Warning. Solo, solo <laughs> lives because he's in the, the other original. ones. Yeah. Spoiler: Chewbacca, Chewbacca and Solo yeah. live. Lando not even, lives. We're not even halfway through this video, by the way. Just fucking so hell. <laughs>
<laughs> Amelia Clark just, uh, very wait, unfortunately also lives. So he's about to criticize and spoil Solo for seven minutes? Eight minutes, nearly. Oh, Lord. Ugh. What is this video? If this is a Last Jedi video, and he's about Solo. Like, try and think about this. You picked this. it, man. You, that's the thing, I didn't know. The title is Star Wars The Fandom Menace. I don't think that he title is suitable. About, he's talked about nothing of the fandom menace, really, except for gen, except for like being general and calling it toxics, toxic fanboys. Let's let's <sighs> see if we can. Yeah, someone's they're suggesting skipping the solo section. We'll see how it starts. We might skip it. Any spoilers. You've been warned. In the beginning of the movie, Han and walks out. This, this, this is Elder Scrolls. This is Elder Scrolls. He walks out to be reminded of that horror game. Han says, Please don't remind Han, us of this. Han, Han, have you heard of the high elves? Who are you people? Oh, it's the scene where he gets his name, which uh, is yeah, like 99% yes. of humanity thought this was incredibly stupid. Oh. I dare say it's insane it. because remember when we watched the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean and we were like, oh my god, that movie first. And they do the, the same thing. Reconning his name, yeah. Yep. Why do people As feel like we need an explanation for somebody's last name? <laughs> We just assume his parents like, gave it to him, and that was a perfectly fine explanation. Like, no, honestly, bitch. no. It's like, no, we, we need to make it some staple of your character. It's like, it's, it's his last name. Who cares? I just, it... Th Stop. Thanks. Like, that's another thing that you couldn't possibly think they could ruin. And then they were like, let's ruin <laughs> his last name. And it's like, how did you do that? It's just impressive. It always is. Thought in his mind. Hmm. Han... Solo. You cannot expect me to believe that Han was given that kick-ass name from an Imperial. That name is basically a symbol of the Empire now. And what's worse, that given last name will be passed down to like his son. sounds like he's part of the toxic fandom. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm so confused. So, he <sighs> would right, actually maintain that the failure of Solo has nothing to do with his writing, despite criticizing the shit out of his writing now? It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Who turns to the dark side? It's ironic. I'm sure Kylo has a better idea as to how that name would have been given to Han. They could have at least built it up a little more dramatically. Like, huh, no family, huh? Let's see what kind of options we have. Oh uh, yes, here we go. Han clanless. Han abandoned. Han sad boy. <laughs> Han single player. Who's this guy? We should watch this. <laughs> yeah. Han over explanation. Han Snow. And then my dad is like, Listen, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Have you ever seen that one? You never seen that one, Mauler? I don't think channel? so, no. Yeah. Oh, dude, you gotta watch his Bane video. It's as good as The Dark Knight Rises. Take that. So you not good. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And then the officer would be like, Whoa, nice. That is way better than anything I came up with. You will be known as Han Solo now and forever. God, I should have made this movie. There's a scene where Beckett, Han, and Chewie, and the rest of the crew are stealing a monorail car full of coaxium, an explosive substance, for a job. On the job, <laughs> there are trains. The Thirty minutes they use into trains. the film, and with only and they've established that the, like pretty much any craft can even go in atmosphere now. Like Rogue One said, the Star Destroyers can go in atmosphere. So why would they have trains? I don't know. Only five to ten minutes of screen time, mind you. Two characters that kind of grew on me. Val and Rio. Oh, did they grow on died <laughs> Like immediately? <laughs> How'd they grow on you? They were in the movie. I f I'm so I'm confused. Favreau? I'm so confused. I feel like it's just because of John Favreau's voice that people probably liked Rio. I didn't even know that was his name. I didn't know either. It's, it's so Mexicans? weird. Like, I'm like, I did see this film, right? <laughs> it's like, I fucking forgot the shit out of it. The fever My dream. question is, why so early? Val had a pretty cool personality. Mm, what? Rio what? was an okay what? comedic relief, and his voice by John Favreau. There you go. John yeah, I wish he was around Favreau. for the rest of the they movie because he was somewhat entertaining, and the rest of the movie wasn't. He would have provided mm. entertainment in an otherwise unentertaining movie. <laughs> Interesting <sighs> characters who essentially died just to get replaced by Kira, Lando, and GJW Droid over here. Oh, so he th he thinks the droid is what? the Justice what? Warrior too. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, that makes sense. Previous criticism off, out of my but all right. Which leads me to my next complaint. L three three seven. He started out. Did she? I'm sorry, whose team is this guy on? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> His team fucking. Oh, I don't even. Or red letter media is what he is. Just picture him uh. on like a small island shouting at everyone. <laughs> <laughs>
protesting. <laughs> we see her protesting at a robotic cage fighting ring where droids are forced to kill each other against their will. And I'm thinking, a droids rights activist? That's actually pretty interesting. No, it's not. But they had to shove her character trait down our throats. Especially in the scene when she's talking to Lando. Lando says, you need anything? And all three goes, equal rights? Uh... And then, in the movie. Don't do this if you make videos. Don't do the thing where you get loud. Yeah, like... And it's your microphone. Just never do it. If you think if you think that it's ever a good idea to do that, you're wrong. It's not like there's ways to be quote unquote like loud without breaching the fucking sound barrier. Like it's there's like, acting and you can you can reduce it and you can st stay away from your microphone a little bit. Like there's just so many things you can do. You just she died. You yeah. can turn it down and post. Kind of felt bad. That's another thing you could fucking do. Bad about it. And later on, they download her brain into the Falcon since she has the best navigational yeah. system in the galaxy. Uh, okay. And the scene that pissed me off the most is what a lot of people who saw the movie loved the most. Did anyone love this? Darth Maul. He's back. Again. Okay, I might end up being in the minority, but. Sounds like you're really toxic. <laughs> Why can't you just like it? I was just Why can't you just like it? Why are you trying to pick apart? Well, how come you're trying to find the flaws in these movies? Yeah, he's ignoring <laughs> the the achievements this movie had. It had exactly. You what know... about the themes? Yeah, like it told us the heroic Han Solo story, and I think that we should appreciate that. Han, which is a crime syndicate in this universe. Why is yeah. Darth Maul running a crime syndicate? Ah, oh, they're just it's looking for problems, fucking, dude. Fucking badass. Yeah, so cool. And you're just ignoring how cool it is. Doesn't he have Fucking... better things to do? Well, the new no. season of Clone Wars is coming out, so they might explain that. They're gonna have to now! And I was quite- Oh my god. Fucking oh, yell, about that. Fucking yell, Jesus Christ. All right, with dismissive. Dryden Voss alone. He was a pretty decent villain. Even He's though right. he doesn't mm. do a lot in this movie. This scene was a, requires people things, to watch sort of. Clone Wars and Rebels to know that he's alive. Because a lot of people who haven't seen either show were confused beyond measure when this scene happened. Wait, didn't he die in Phantom Menace? If I'm being nope. honest, Maul should have just stayed dead. He was basically brought back to life only to die again. Better yet, if Lucas actually gave a shit, Maul should have been kept as the Vader of the prequel trilogy, next to Palpatine, instead of what shitting out What is this video about? I don't- I, it, it, guys, what's happening? I- it's, it's, This is about as inconsistent as the sequel trilogy right now. He can't- he can't um, even- Now he's hating on the prequels? Oh gosh, this guy hates every Star Wars- Oh Jesus like, Christ, what a toxic- Where, where are fan. we? Oh. Like, where- how did we get here? Like, can we go- <laughs> What? I'm some disposable I'm villains. And I believe that Maul's death in The Phantom Menace was far more disappointing than Snoke's. Okay. Because look how awesome right. he was in this movie. Aside from one scene, he barely spoke a word and had a threatening presence. <laughs> what is happening? The key, right the, 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 Darth Maul is more... The, the, the key is, at least, Darth Maul was awesome. <laughs> I mean, so. I'm speechless. But, I don't know what to say. So. Like, yeah, Darth Maul's cooler than Snoke. Okay, what does this have to do what with What does that Solo? have to do with the fandom with... menace and... <laughs> The Last Jedi hates it. Oh. A silent but doozy, Sith. Mauler. <laughs> and we see him owning Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. Uh-huh. Then he gets killed like a bitch. <laughs> Maul had every advantage to kill Obi. Yeah, I guess Obi-Wan was really good. I've seen this just fan yeah. service. As he's contacting you know, like Jedi trial, man. Yeah. What is she wearing? It's stylish. What is... No, no, no. Stylish. What is that? Plastic bag? It's like a... <laughs> is it like a... What a strange outfit. She can't actually button that up because it would go up to, like, her eyebrows. Well, if you remember this, <laughs> that outfit Leia's wearing in the TLJ. It would just TLJ. cover up her whole fucking face. You remember the, anyone here, like, the, the what Leia's wearing in TLJ where it goes up to, like, her nose? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, oh, the, great. Yeah, so apparently that's pro probably what she's wearing there. That's this new style. It goes up to your, your nose. Hologram. It's like a specialty winter Hologram, thing, though. mind you. He oh, ignites wow. his lightsaber in front of her. The movie suggests it's to intimidate, but... He's a hologram. It's not like he's physically there. Where this would make... Does he think you can't do this to the t like TLJ? I, I don't know. I'm... Well, you can, but that Luke makes... Luke wasn't there on Crete. 
just, I find it weird that he's like, picking apart this movie, while simultaneously maintaining that picking apart TLJ is to ignore its achievements. Yeah, like, okay. I just, and, and picking apart this movie when he claimed that the only reason it failed was because of the boycott. But then he's tearing apart the flaws <laughs> of the movie. Why it's so bad. It's like, uh, oh. <laughs> Makes sense. It's most likely to be like, here's a lightsaber because it wouldn't be a Star Wars movie without it, right? I pretty much don't like okay. this cameo at all, and it was my yeah, main that. complaint of Solo. Those are my negatives. Yeah, Holy that was shit. bad. <laughs> now, let's talk about the good stuff. The music was great. Han Solo's theme in this movie was pretty oh, cool and adventurous. Been... It was pretty cool and adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Just okay. like Han himself. John Williams wrote the theme for Han, as well as orchestrating his own track exclusively for the album. Yeah, but now it's tied to Han Solo the film, and yeah, I don't want to listen to it. Which is unfortunate. But I thought John Powell did okay. a pretty good job with the score as well. Just play random clips, okay. <laughs> sure, that's cool. These, yeah. All right, it kind of, it sounds kind of like the last one, but all right. You could have told me that that track is from Force Awakens, and I'd have been like, yep, yeah, I remember yeah, that sure. one. <laughs> Another thing I enjoyed. Three years into his Imperial career, that was, that was what about an interesting crew... three years to. No, fuck that. We don't need to see now, it. He was in the Imperial Army for three years, and apparently he was not changed in any way from that. All nope. Right. Exactly the same. Good old snarky exactly Han. the same. Yeah. Who dress up as Nothing troops to, him. to steal a holler for their job. Han catches on and threatens to snitch, but is sold out by Beckett. Troops throw him into a pit to feed him to the Beast, who turns out to be Chewbacca! Han, of course, What do you mean, of course? <laughs> what, is... <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, of course, he knows how to speak Wookiee? ...how to speak Wookiee and convinces him to help escape. Is that was an interesting introduction to their... Wookie? Then you can! It's like, that easy! Someone's putting all caps, Wolf is muted! It's like, I, that's his choice, I can't mute him. Ah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I would unmute him if I could, guys. It's up to him. Wolf is clearly gone for a poo-poo. That's what it is. Friendship, and it didn't feel forced. And Chewbacca was actually a main character in this movie, as opposed to being a... Why is everyone posting Ws? Is it... Does everyone think I can actually wolf. save Wolf? I can't do anything, guys. <laughs> wolf is Wolf fapping. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. He's like, yeah, L3, fucking yeah. Famous, robots, yeah, fucking droid yeah, rights. Wolf will be right happy to know they can extremely about, about the fact that he's got the mute symbol on <laughs> side character no that's really just really part of his that. avatar or is it that they're just, yeah. they're just desperate to focus on anything but this guy's weird mini <laughs> review of solo <laughs> we're reviewing right the solo there. film now guys no the seat we're doing it we're doing it we're doing it yeah. nobody's in the seat that i ain't taking from Okay. Lando Calrissian was, oh, was pretty he? much the show stealer. No, in no, no, we're gonna skip ahead. Memory, mm -hmm. for fuck's sake. But this is just juvenile and retarded. Second off. Whoa! <laughs> oh, you oh, the oh, oh, R word again! You can't say Man. that, dude. That Not cool, is... bro. You can't say that. Get down, Miss Obama. I don't know if that you guys heard so that uncool. meme, but it's fantastic. Just I seem to get down, Miss Obama. Yeah, this is a strange video, honestly. This. It really is. Like we can't. Like, Have you, if you really? Go ahead. He needs to <laughs> get, get down, Miss Obama. Have you seen that one? No. What is that? Everybody and you a link to that. Movie. You'll laugh your ass off. Anyway, go ahead. I took us. You off really topic. think you can remake the Last Jedi and put in the same amount of time and effort into the story, effects, production design, and everything else? Honestly, yes, sure. I really do, you know, do you think that Ryan Johnson's the only person who could? <laughs> like, really? He does. <laughs> I'm so sorry that you think that. Yeah, I want to see like, you try. Right, Third off, you want to throw away Carrie Fisher's last performance as Leia. Are yeah, you seriously not all that? What? Not relevant. What an not appeal relevant. to, what even is that? Fuck to emotion. Also, stop this yelling. If this guy was a lawyer, he would be the worst. It's like, you want to you wanna use- Yeah, he might have <laughs> murdered that family and burned their house down. But would you want to devalue his previous 30 years of life by making him spend the rest of it in prison? That sounds like Bill Cosby's lawyer, sort of thing. <laughs> but he made the funny jokes about the Jello pudding! Yeah, he doesn't deserve to go to jail. That heartless. You want this well-executed and emotional <laughs> scene. Oh, I, I guess what actually uh, was. You want this singular <laughs> scene that people actually enjoyed to be gone. <laughs> like, I'd exchange like, it um, for several good ones. Uh, 
Yeah, it was the always like one of the two good ones in the film. Oh, ever some people are wondering how much I skipped. I just skipped to I think he said twenty seven minutes is when he stopped talking about solo and I was getting I think you went like three I think it was like three minutes is all you skipped. Yeah, like I just it was killing me listening to oh, him man, review solo. So long. <laughs> to be removed. <laughs> I held out hope for so long, but I like to think that he's making this argument because he's like, come on, guys, even the people who hate this movie must like this. These are the people you like, right? They're hanging out with each other. You like that, right? Right? The, these are the, the ones you like? Like, uh-huh. He's trying, and he's failing. I See, we put a black character in the movie. You like black people, right? <laughs> no one's ever really gone. Captain Marvel's a woman. Sorry, but you like women, right? started this pointless campaign, fuck you. And I think you did. <laughs> this is the whole campaign of why you hate this movie. And to those who supported it, fuck you too. Fourth off, this remake will never happen because J.J. Abrams well, already no, it's because wrote Carrie the story Fisher's for dead. Um, yeah. I guess that's the subject he's on right now, is whether or not they would remake episode 8. Go for it. I don't... Yeah, I, don't, I, I agree with him. I don't think it'll ever happen, but that's not... Oh, like, no. I, I, I don't have the same reasoning as him. I think it's more than possible. They're just never going to do it. Nine. And the movie is being filmed as we speak. A remake would... Oh, continuity. now continuity oh. matters. Okay. <laughs> now he censors himself, too. He's inconsistent. Yeah, that is strange. We've seen that before, though. Where people oh, were yeah. sometimes it was sometimes tonals. Tonal censored himself. Yeah, it was tonal. Yeah, he censored himself sometimes, but other times he's just like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> just he don't said... think this guy was smart enough to make that into a joke, but. And Disney wouldn't just destroy Ryan Johnson's work like that. All that hard work put into the movie. I guess the EU doesn't count as hard work. It was nope, not at all. <laughs> like... mm -hmm. Come on, dude. <laughs> wouldn't be put to waste just to replace it. And fifth off. If you're willing to make a campaign to raise $200 million to remake The Last Jedi, why not do the exact same thing to help make an old Republic movie? Or the damn no, Kenobi movie? No, because we think you'll fuck that up. That's <laughs> the point. That's the whole point. We think you will fuck everything up. We want to do it ourselves. Also, the old Republic movie, isn't the old, is the old Republic still canon? Yeah, what is what isn't? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. But uh, I mean, the rumor is is Benioff and Weiss are uh, making Old Republic movies. Uh, that's going to be their their movies. So mm -hmm. it will become Disney canon pretty soon. Please don't fuck it up. Please you don't all won't fuck shut it up, up about. Yeah, yeah. Didn't think about that one, did you? Hell, why not raise money to create a surefire cure for oh, disease? You, you selfish fuck. He, see, he is yelling, and then he cut himself. Off. At the very end, because really that's funny, funny when you do that. Yeah, that's really funny when you do. That. I saw that in a video that someone else did, and I thought it was kind of funny. So now, if I do it every two fucking minutes, hey man, it'll be f hilarious. When you can't make normal jokes, just shout and then cut it's yourself. It's not even off. a joke. There's not even like a setup or a payoff. It doesn't hearken to anything. It doesn't call back to a oh, hearken. It doesn't pay, call <laughs> back to anything. It doesn't. It's 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 not even. What's the joke? I love that this petition exists, by the way. This this video is a joke. He's just upset. Actually, a petition made for George Lucas to take the helm of directing a Star Wars movie I'll once again. I'll sign it, sure. Yeah. What the fuck? I'll not? do it. Sign it. Okay. Yeah. No. I'll take it. I'll take it, man. He's gonna have a section? Oh, he's gonna, this is gonna be about the prequels, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Just go. testing my patience. Special effects are just a tool, a means of telling a story. People have a tendency to confuse. Why would you put this in this themselves. video? This hurts uh, your point. Nothing. A special to do effect with without a story is a pretty boring point thing. Was. Honestly, if you guys were referring to this guy, I'd definitely let him direct the Star Wars movie again. I'll take current but not Lucas. this guy. Do you really want this guy to come back to directing Star Wars movies? There's no way he would have done worse than Ryan Johnson. I'm sorry. Yeah, in a fucking heartbeat. I don't Absolutely. think he would have the the heart due to Luke what Ryan did. <laughs> I think George would be no. He'd be like, no, I can't do that. My perfect scenario is it would have been his story directed by someone like J.J. Abrams without. So J.J. would have no story input, but he would be directing George Lucas's his, story. Yeah, that way, story, George, writing, yeah, George, right? JJ's George, player, yeah. and George has no directorial input with the actors and the lines and the dialogue and how it's delivered. That would have been my perfect scenario. That's your perfect scenario. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if George Lucas's story di directed by someone like J.J. who is good with actors. 
you can question JJ's creative choices, but he has good. He's good with directing actors. I'd go with, I'd go with um, some other director. I'm trying to think of a modern equivalent, so I don't sound like an asshole. But JJ Abrams. I mean, you got to think JJ has no creativity involved because the story has been done by George Lucas, and that was the problem with the prequels. Was the the story wasn't the problem? The execution of the story was the problem, and George is not a great director. I think we all agree at that with that. I agree that he's not a great well he's not he's not he's not I a horrible he director. Directed, he directed the first Star Wars movie, which is my favorite one. So mm. right. but he also directed, you know, the Phantom Menace and Attack of the Clone. Well the interesting thing is I don't think that I have a problem as long as Ryan Johnson's not allowed to touch the script, I don't mind his direction. I actually think he had some decent visuals in TLJ as well as uh well, I don't know how much it's worth the fact that he gets along with everybody. Uh, Except the fans. Well, I, I meant I meant cast and crew, not 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 the fans at all. The perfect combo is like it's pretty tough to call, right? You'd have to really think through yeah, all the people who most Some people are work. saying, and some some people are saying Nolan. Nolan would never walk into someone else's story and direct their story. That's not how Nolan, Nolan operates. He would have to have all creative control. Um, but I mean, you can talk about someone like uh, Denny Villeneuve. Oh, you know? Blade Runner two guy. I mean, uh, he did um, Arrival and um, a few other really well received movies. What do you movies. think about Arrival? Always muted. Uh, <laughs> we don't know where Wolf. Wolf's done with the video. He can't, can't take it anymore. Wolf died. <laughs> don't blame him. He's taking a nap. <laughs> yes, a big poop. He's taking a big poop. He must be uh, stuck in sideways or something. Just for like the that. Russo brothers, that could be interesting. Just to see what they do. It could be. Um, I mean. They handle a lot of the Marvel characters better than when they appear in their own films. So, Ooh, ah, ah, ah. one who made unnecessary edits to the original trilogy, the guy who made the painfully mediocre yet enjoyable prequel trilogy, the trilogy that you backlash him for, thus causing him to don't sell yell, the rights. Don't yell! Don't yell! Calm down, Sue. <laughs> Please don't okay. do it. Don't do it. Don't yell. Don't Is he using backlash properly? You backlashed him. Uh, I'm like whiplash. This guy reminds me of when PewDiePie does the nice guy th uh, Reddit threads where the nice guy is always talking about how much he respects the girl and, you know, makes these playful jokes. And suddenly he finds out the girl has a boyfriend. All of a sudden he starts screaming at her, you know, well, you don't have to be so mean about it. Yeah, you, you know? whore. <laughs> yeah. So this is how he reminds me. Like he just <laughs> starts building up to it. And he screams. So. Yeah. Like, you know, he's probably not even talking to the right people here. Like a lot of people who backlashed him over if that's even the phrasing uh him over the prequels a lot of those people loved the sequels a lot of people who loved the prequels hate the sequels a lot of people who loved the ot hate the prequels and the sequels like there's a whole there's loads of different what you could call factions i don't know look at it it's the disney the guy who wrote the story for this <laughs> the fuck is that i don't know what, I don't know. Is. what is this I've never heard of this. What is it? animated? What is this movie? About fairies? What is this movie? Is this like a Barbie thing or? Look, he wrote the story for it. That's okay. I the respect for what? For... I... <laughs> this video is so epic. weird, dude. Epic. Chat. What a it, chat. Saying it was epic. What is What's epic? Animated movie. I never Range saw Magic it, is so. the name of the movie, I guess, but. Uh... Oh, is it strange? No, they're saying Epic is the name of it. It's epic? called Epic? Hold up, let me epic was the that. Epic, or, is, well, let's see, Anna says it's Dark epic Magic. Epic Movie. Well, there's uh, a movie called Epic it? Movie. Um, Epic Movie. Called Epic. There's, no, there's a movie called Epic. No, there's Epic, epic Movie. No, he's not talking about that. <laughs> oh, I found it. It's a 2013 film. Uh, epic 2013. It's hard to Google, which is a problem. Uh, it's a yeah, it's a 2013 movie. Um, it uh, uh, 65 on the tomato meter, 65 percent liked it, so it was okay, I guess. I'm trying to okay, easy way to do it. He said George Lucas wrote whatever this crazy movie was, right? That's what he's saying. Uh, screenplay, the by... story. If we just check George Lucas's IMDb for a writer, it was directed by Chris Wedge. Okay, Epic doesn't come up. What about uh? uh George Lucas. Oh, Strange Magic. Yeah, he wrote the story for Strange George Magic. George doesn't. 
in 2015? Why Wait, he... was this Strange Magic? What what film is this that he's showing? I've, Strange Magic is the one he was showing. Okay, I'll put it's it in not chat epic. and in uh, Discord. So this, this is apparently Strange the movie. Magic. Wait, is this the song from Electric Light Orchestra? I'm I'm getting that's messages. A really good song. I'm getting messages from Anna now. She's telling me that George made that for his daughters. Oh, that makes some Just, sense then. Yeah, so they changed, but they changed everything about it. I guess. Uh, Seventeen percent. Um, on the for critics and 52 percent of audiences liked it so apparently not very good it's not epic it is uh <laughs> is it Str strange magic yeah, is strange magic yeah. Luca? i've never heard of that but okay box office about, 10 million yeah. dollars uh oh he, he wrote it about fairies and it's about his daughters well you've know. never heard of this the tagline is everyone deserves to be loved <laughs> Sounds like something Rose Tika would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So he wrote he wrote that, which means he's not allowed to write anything from now on. Just so you guys know. All right. Um, Kathleen Kennedy, though, she was uh, she helped make um, Avatar: The Last Airbender. So that's, that's okay true. though, because yeah. you have to scream when you say it for it to make sense. Oh, right. Avatar: The Last Airbender. There you go. <laughs> She's yeah. a whammon, so it's okay. I didn't Right, well, that kind of took us off on a path that we were <laughs> going down. <laughs> we tried to Google and the film that this. he was showing. Why? Oh, why would you do that? Nope. Why? Everyone, just keep your eye on the fucking volume control, guys, and you'll be fine. But Just, if you look away, it actually gets quieter. If you close your eyes and look away and think of the queen or something. I don't know. Ah, stop. my God! Yeah, no. I'm, pu I'm pulling my volume right down. <laughs> no, ah, stop! <laughs> ah! Why? Is that Keemstar? Yeah, that was. But thank God, I'll I'll put the volume back up now. Really worth it for the joke guy who made this video. Yeah, that was hilarious. That definitely wasn't obnoxious to the whole audience. That was very funny, and I can't wait for more. <laughs> and changed the way films are made forever, and so did the following two films. But what he's done to the originals years it later is huge downright it wasn't that unforgivable. Okay, what the fuck does this have to do dude, with the fucking like, video? Okay. It didn't yeah. ruin the... He said the prequels did damage to the OT. It's like, um... Did you see the sequel films? Like, with... <laughs> Adding unnecessary and godawful CGI. Pal. Replacing original dialogue with new dialogue. Yeah, lucky you don't taste very good. You're lucky you don't taste very good. You were lucky to get out of there. Really changed the Editing. fucking movie. Yeah, I was gonna say like this is this is. Yeah. It, it was really ruined. important that the he proved those points. Ruined. Yeah, this file argument. What are we talking about now? We're talking about. We're talking about um, how. We're talking about Arrival. George oh, Lucas should not be brought back. <laughs> Because he made a movie we thought was epic, but turned out to be strange magic. But it looked Man. like um, a sh it looked like a, a deleted scene from Shrek. We didn't know what was going on. So. Oh, so that's why strange magic's in the chat. Yeah, sorry, I went to go get a pizza. Wow. Why does it bring us any? Time? It's always pizza with you. Well, look, no, I gotta get it, it, if, if, I, if I gotta listen to this retard for the rest of the night, I gotta do it well. The only problem is, these fucking people didn't cut, they only cut the pizza part, but they didn't cut the crust. Well, you, you know what, that's not gonna be, that's not a fucking hour, issue, you can't even cut the fucking that's not crust. an issue if you make your own. Yeah, wolf. That would take significantly longer, though. We're not even your real name. Pizza in half. Now I'm hungry. Yeah. Thanks, wolf. Yeah. You're welcome. Now I'm hungry, too. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> I got, I gotta get some fucking chips. They didn't even cut all the chips are in triangles. What the fuck? <laughs> and making sure old carbon copies of the original films never get remastered. All because he wanted to do what he couldn't do back in Which the was? 70s and 80s. It's a complete disrespect to all the hard work that was put in. It's a complete disrespect. Hey, remember that time <laughs> that George Lucas made a horrible, shameless ripoff of The Lord of the Rings? I remember that time. What strange magic? You trying no. to say? No, it was called um. Fuck, what was that called? Aragon. No. Well, that's a rip off. Hell's of no. <laughs> Willow. Willow. Yeah, that was it. It was a total rip off of the Lord of the Rings. It's because he he George Lucas. Fun fact: tried to get the rights to make a Lord of the Rings trilogy, but he couldn't get him, so he made what? Willow out of, out of spite. Willow? Yeah, he was supposed <laughs> Willow to... out of spite. 
Willow. Yeah, he made Willow because he was too untalented to actually make the Lord of the Rings. Willow George Lucas. Yeah. Can you imagine how shit? Can you imagine how shit the Lord of the Rings films would have been if George Lucas made them? How dare you? Imagine Ryan Johnson hey, made no, them. No, it's got a, it's got a midget in it. Oh God, that would have been even worse. <laughs> To see the, uh, the original, the, the, the politically correct term is uh, little. It's got people. Warwick just, Davis you know, in it. We've had a lot of toxicity on this uh, mm -hmm. this stream because of the video we're watching, because of all the R words being dropped. So we have to clean it up around here, guys. Right? You mean it like had rape? Val Kilmer. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it had Val Kilmer and Warwick <laughs> Davis in it, man. You've never you know, seen you, the, you don't know what Willow is? No. Oh. It was kind Great. of popular in the late '80s, early '90s. I had a cereal bowl of it. <laughs> dude i once saw this fucking video from this dumb piece of shit on youtube who was like oh yeah the lord of the rings is a ripoff of willow and it's like no the, the lord of the rings is based off of a book that came out like 30 years before willow you dumb cunt how, how the fuck did someone that i f did someone really make a video like that well <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, no no i'm not even fucking kidding like i actually saw a video where someone called willow like no, called the Lord of the Rings a ripoff of Willow when Willow literally ripped off the Lord of the Rings. Eat your pizza. I am of all three <laughs> films. Now I really Lord want to talk earrings. about the young ghost Anakin bit because people actually accept the change in Return of the Jedi. Most people are pretty pissed version. about it actually. Yeah, we actually don't yeah. like it at all. I bet, I, 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 what is happening? <laughs> like yeah, okay, fine. What, what is I've this? Seen, like, I've seen literally guy, nobody uh, defend yeah. that decision. This guy, this guy has done pretty much ninety-five percent of his video has done nothing but justify everything yeah. we say. <laughs> He's like arguing <laughs> for us. <laughs> like, my yes, God, thank you. <laughs> literally, the only good change that George Lucas did to the originals was the ending song in Return of the Jedi. Oh, it is! It is so much. It's a good one. one. I know. Yeah, like, that, that's the one where it's like. That's actually a good decision, George. I don't know yeah. what the fuck happened to you with all the other decisions, but yeah. but the, yes, um, we stand on that one. Yeah, oh, I love, this. Is I this, love is that. It's love such it. a good song. This whole thing is in favor of saying that he should not be the one that remakes Star Wars if it was remade. Like that was, that's what I, this I whole so. portion is for, no, right? Oh my god! No, no, don't let George Lucas make anything anymore. Well, I mean, just let him. It, I'll take it over. I was going to say, I'll yeah, I would take it. I would absolutely. Oh, yeah, take well. It. Yeah, I'll, I'll take shit over dog shit, sure, but... <laughs> wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, wait, 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 whoa, 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 strange whoa. comparison. What are, you, um, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that George Lucas isn't really a good movie maker unless somebody else is there to keep him in check. You missed the part where I said that I would have liked to have someone like, a, like J.J. That can, that can direct actors to have George's sequel trilogy outline. JJ directs it, has no creative input. George has no directorial input. That's how I would have liked it. Well, yeah, I mean, look, George has some good ideas now and again. It's mostly that he's got some insane ideas. Like, you know, you know, like Han Solo was supposed to be some weird green alien originally. Yeah, that's a horrible idea. How but dare you? It could have been incredible. No, couldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if you really look at like a lot of George's movies, like he made that, I think it was called Red Tails or something. Oh, you know yeah. That movie? That yeah. <laughs> yeah, that movie was bad. And then there was Strange Magic. Then there's the prequels. Like he's just not very good, but the original trilogy exists. And we're like, well, he's kind of, he's good. And like, not really. The people who kept him in line on the original trilogy made him appear good. It was Gary Kurtzman and a lack of technology in many ways, because they couldn't do some of the more asinine yeah. shit he wanted. Well, once fucking <laughs> they George... couldn't do the stupid shit, so they had to cut yeah. it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Once and George gonna was shown like he's going to be 10 feet tall, and he's going to glow green, and his eyes are like spaghetti. They couldn't, they couldn't do the wampa because of the special effects, and not knowing what it looked like kind of worked out better. Yeah, I mean, that's like... In, in fairness to the wampa, that's not... In fairness to the Wampa, because <laughs> we're very concerned about the Wampas who's Wampa now rights, dude. his feelings. Hey, I got how come the Wampa the didn't show up in the new trilogy? I want to know what happened to the Wampa over these thirty years, being That's, disabled and all. I, we don't know for sure whether or not the limb regrows, so I feel like we may have had a chance. Well, yeah, I mean, he had it on ice, so maybe if he got That's it to true. like a doctor or something, 
They could have retested it. They, I mean, it was already cauterized. I, that's true. These are things people don't realize. Like, the, the really important elements of the original trilogy that George could have fixed, but he chose not to. He chose not to tell us what happened to that Wampa. Um, Hashtag movie. Wampa rights. The now. unaltered version. The version before Lucas added that god awful. No! Yeah, no one likes that either. Okay. Yeah, That's no fucking that. terrible. It's horrible because that scene was perfect oh. and he fucked with it. I don't <laughs> like, think this guy knows like, that there are multiple cuts of these special editions too. I like, feel like you know, he would have found that out from someone else. You know what's sad you is like did research? You, you can't get the good song at the end of Return of the Jedi with I don't even know we're there. This. Yeah, it's, it's not like, true. Oh, damn it! He he's brought, the bal he's brought balance to wait, the wait, original when, when soundtrack. When did the when did the when did the new song come in? Uh, Ninety-seven. You can if you watch the ninety-seven really? special edition, you can get the uh, celebration song and a lack of no. <laughs> a lack of no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That, that, that's cool because I thought no, that, no. I thought those both came in at the same time. Awesome. I can go search eBay. And spend six hundred dollars on that edition. <laughs> or if you want, if you, there's a website where you can download all the cuts of Star Wars, it's called like OriginalTrilogy.com. So yeah, but I really like to have the physical thing. Okay, well you got to so, get it on yeah, videotape yeah. or laser. Um, yeah, burn it once yeah. you download it. And, and, oh, shit. You're right; it's not on DVD, is it? But as a as a gamer, do you have that same mentality with video games? I I hate physical gaming. I, hate um, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, digital gaming. I I prefer oh, to have physical there you copies. Go. Well. I used to, but then I got into Steam. For me, I, I really want to have the physical CD for my music and the physical Blu-ray for my movies, but I don't feel quite the same way with video games anymore. I used to, but ever since I started getting into PC gaming, I just haven't cared as much. I just, yeah, this, the sheer amount of space they would take up. Like, for me, I, having the physical edition of something is, like, special. But like, but if, if I do a buy... Game, a good game that I love, then I want a special edition, but for most games, it's like... It's always oh, there sure. for me. Like, yeah, I, I got um I got a physical edition of Ori in the Blind Forest, and I literally own like five copies of that game. It's great. And um <laughs> if I if I buy something on console, I will get the physical edition, but if it's on PC, I don't really care that much. I don't know where oh, I and, put and that's all the these thing. games of mine. I'm, if I had I'm more of a yeah, I'm a console gamer, so I just prefer and I, I don't I don't use Steam, so um that's why I guess, because I, I definitely like my uh my physical copies. So but I, I hear you. Yeah, I had to it's get very a convenient. copy of Spyro yeah. just for Wait, the. Let me go to me. let me go to my Steam library and see like how many games I have. I don't even know. It's so many. How how do you find out? Is there a place that counts them all? Uh, I did not know that content or yeah, like if I went through my my library of games right now, if I had a physical copy of them all, I that's a lot of space. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, I, I am a con I am a console peasant, and I am proud of it. I'm man, proud of it. You're talking to someone that literally has 377 books behind me, and then racks and racks of movies and CDs all across my room. But so you're I'm nude, perfect. though. Yeah, but I have people over. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I can't argue that. I don't have friends, I'm sorry. Nice but... Lord of the Rings collection. Nerd. <laughs> Nerd. I bet you read those books. <laughs> I do I read those even... books. I bet you know how to read. I'm so Nerd. excited. I got the fucking complete Sherlock Holmes edition books today. Can't wait to read those. I like the one where he does cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> does he actually? The cocaine problem. Anakin Skywalker redeemed himself by throwing Sidious down that chasm, saving his son chasm? and the entire galaxy as a result, and became a Jedi again. Hence, Return of the Jedi. And at the end of the movie, we see Anakin as a Force ghost, and he looks the same age he did when he died and redeemed himself. No, but this. apparently we in the all fucking version, know this. we see young Anakin. What does this have to do with anything? I just yes, this well, was not nothing. a good ch change. Oh, Implying did you last skip over the solo part? We Luke kind would be of did. Like, Who the fuck are you? <laughs> That's cool. That is kind of funny Luke that Luke would be like, would be like "Oh, sorry, have we met?" And he's like, <laughs> "Like, I'm, I'm your dad. Your dad. <laughs> like, you're younger than me." <laughs> ah, weird, isn't it? He was a Jedi. Yeah, you've seen the, the how it should have ended, right? The how it should have ended. I have not seen that. Oh, Doing the you need kind to watch of joke that. Like that oh, yes, yes. Or he you, turned you into Darth Vader. I'll send you a link to it. And he never got redeemed. What the fuck? This makes no sense. 
First Why are off, you trying to find all the flaws and the problems in this film instead of? He's trying to prove George Lucas triumphs. should be kept away from Star Wars. That's what this is all about. Oh, made okay, of. okay. To insult to what we're the trying film to prove that Anakin's Kathleen Kennedy should be kept movie. away from Star Wars, but that's a bad thing. Insult to the original thing. actor and to the title of the movie. In fact, this change really ruins the title. It's called Return of the Jedi because they for couldn't a reason. Call it Revenge Checking of the Jedi. Off. The only reason <laughs> why this change happened was to keep in continuity oh. with Revenge of the Sith. Because remember. He, that, that's not that. he killed younglings and this change only happened because lucas wanted to make episode three the darkest one in the whole trilogy and it ended up being too dark when you had vader kill what a group of jedi what? Dark. i died pg-13 dude i'm i'm pro child murder <laughs> <laughs> uh, this video th this fucking movie was like a love letter to me ah <sighs> Rags just sitting fucking, there like, I really like this fucking... heroic moment where he, <laughs> <laughs> he defends the, the clones from the evil oh my... Jedi younglings. <laughs> Mahler, didn't you tell us about like the kid that's right in the front here? Like he went on some Reddit thread and was like, hi, I'm the kid from... Uh, <laughs> Did, yeah. This happen? Yeah, Did this Eddie, happen? Yeah, Eddie said that his friends would always say like go up to him and be like there's too many of them what are we going to do <laughs> yeah, i mean for hey for for the short period of time he had in the film he did it okay the way he did it he did it okay yeah, yeah. children oh I'm, I'm sorry younglings so yeah i thought the change we was all terrible. think that I should probably tell no. you my opinions on the prequels oh. themselves. Jesus yeah, Christ. The Phantom Menace. Oh, not the Jesus, worst of the it. three. I'm, what I'm is sorry. This, what, is this what? about the Phantom Menace? So, sorry, can we, can we do a recap? It started out with, like, don't be a, a dick. Like or dislike a thing. Don't harass people. Leave Kelly Marie Tran and Ryan Johnson alone. Just because you don't like a movie, it's not that bad. Because it just, like, it just melds into a whole bunch of things, into a solo no, review. Whoa, 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 Bob, that about sums up this movie, or this film, or like, this I, video I, production. I vaguely followed whoa, 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 whoa. it for a decent chunk of time, and then it just became... And then it went off to Never Never Land, and then it's just, we're going here, we're going there, second start of the right, and straight on to morning, and then bam, we're talking about a review for the prequels. I just love that he's like, I should probably review the prequels, and we're like, no. Now that I've got you. <laughs> no. You know my thoughts so on the I'll Star Wars prequels. Phantom Menace. Not the worst of the three, honestly. Really? I guess he's going to say Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones is the in, worst. Honestly. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. I was, I, for some reason, I thought he was going to say Revenge of the Sith, and I was just like, but it's don't. a pretty boring prequel. I don't no, know. I feel like episode one is the worst of it's, the three. For me, it's close between one and two. I really need to it, think it, about it. Hayden, Hayden's acting is is what takes two down to the, the worst level for me. It's so bad. I mean, it's Why? so bad. Oh, my God. I love, that part. I love that part in the second one where Hayden's like, oh, yeah, it's perfectly fine if Nazis, like, do everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where he's like, and, people should agree, and if they don't, they will be forced to. You're like, w wh what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then Padme looks at him like, what? and he's just like, ah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like George. There's not much subtlety. Really <laughs> isn't supposed to be this boring. Even the crawl was boring. Turmoil has engulfed the Galactic Republic. The Texas Letter media made that joke, buddy. Star systems I'm already is boring. in dispute. <laughs> the oh my god, he's like, what the? He's my god, Mahler, Mahler, Bayowin finished Spider Adams. <gasps> Jesus. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go let my dogs out, I'll be right back. Alright. <laughs> and now we know who lent the... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the Baja men did that song, where are they now? <laughs> uh, alive, I hope? <laughs> alive? <laughs> well, <laughs> the best that's I can say, man. Yeah, I don't... Alright, give me a sec. Should we wait for, uh... Jeremy to get back before we show this. Yes, of course. He's been he's stuck with us this long. Yeah, he deserves the Bayowin memes. Bayowin. Top tier Bayouin. memories. Ooh. Top tier memory Bayowin. Punches cat. Blessed Bayowin. Chat, chat hashtag blessed Bayowin. Blessed Bayowin. <laughs> oh, I want to show it already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what? Well, well, you know what? I'll show the other ones first. Oh, there's others? Well, there's other things. <laughs> so...
Got this one. <laughs> What's that? You told me to take. I meant to take care of him, not fucking take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> A classic. Wolf will appreciate this one. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And then, Jesus, I, I know this. Uh, You guys see the Wild Wild West? Or I guess it's called Wild Wild West. Yeah. Oh, That's... man. Oh, wow. That's wow. Well done. <laughs> oh, boy. Jesus Christ. Man, I forget about that movie all the time. And then people remind me of it. I'm like, oh, yeah, that that happened, didn't it? Dude, I saw it in theaters as a kid. Ugh. <laughs> I remember liking it when I was super young because it was dumb as fuck. They have remember that machine that they they like wear a neck brace and it fires a disc that tries to chop their heads off. If they get <laughs> two out of the uh, what was it the realm of whatever the uh, the boundary? Yeah, that was just a uh, movie. Yeah, like I'm I'm tempted to be like maybe I should never see that again. <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> well, we're ready when you are. Um, oh right, okay, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, we'll show, we'll make sure Jeremy sees it once he comes back. But here is the uh, okay. the masterpiece. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Just me, George. I have foreseen it. <laughs> <laughs> What did I miss? Did I, did I just see? Did I just? You got some new art. For you did I just see? Um, <laughs> right now. <laughs> we the. Oh people. my god! Hate mongers of the toxic. <laughs> <laughs> so the narrative Lesson here Bailin. is is, is Spider. Uh, <laughs> he, he saw the future through his um his crystal ball. He saw his the rise of the here. hate mongers. It makes sense. <laughs> thou, ha thou hast the right to enjoy the last Jedi. I love the fucking Shakespearean. <laughs> That's how everyone talked back then, right? Yep. It's just pure law. Blessed Bayouin. I love you, Thank Bayouin. Thank you, Bayouin. It was beautiful. Um. How far yeah, did we get the... to the prequel reviews? Did we get through the prequel reviews yet? Uh, we... Waited for you. You got, yeah, you can't oh. experience this without you, dude. I'm already Wait, fucking it. bored. Damn it, I was hoping to get <laughs> through it. I think he's, he's playing like an audio commentary of him and his friends. Is that what's happening? Then I heard the taxation of trade routes. I'm like, well, no. And the CGI was hmm. just as insufferable as Jar Jar Binks. Didn't really hate Big Lloyd as Anakin. Besides, there are worse child actors out there. I did Wait, like is the that what from Equilibrium? No, no. that was, uh, what, what that was, that, wasn't that, that, that a that time? Oh no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We don't get to talk about our Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh Spall. no! No, not that one. No. Brie Larson no. has already determined that none of us uh, are allowed to talk about A Wrinkle in Time. Oh shit! Yeah. So. But I want to sing that movie's praises. My favorite part was <laughs> when was when that one chick turned into a giant flying celery monster and flew them over the mountains where Ura and the other chick with the weird dress could. Talk to them about Space Oprah things. saved them all. Also, Michael <laughs> Pena was in that movie, and I feel really sad. Michael Pena, you're you're better than this. Stop it. <laughs> that movie Get wasn't meant there. for you, Wolf. You racist. Michael Pena, someone save him. Yeah, weird that he just shat on a child actor, and he's like, guys, wow. stop being mean. It's like, okay. Seems really hateful of you, buddy. Yeah, very toxic. Duel at the end of the movie, but still. <laughs> Attack of the well, Clones. 5. 5 it was complete 10. ass. The only interesting part of this movie was Obi-Wan's side quest. But the love story takes up most of this movie, and it was complete... My crazy. god, her, her hair looks like a fucking roly-poly. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful, how dare you. I mean, holy shit, they feed each other bland and terrible dialogue. I love the water. I don't like sand. Look at it. It looks like a I love, It's what we're meant for each other. I love what water. You don't like sand. Yeah. We're meant for each other. Oh, it works. It's beautiful. How do you feel about fire? Is. Average. <gasps> Me too. And that's that's how they fell in love. Explain my feelings. I truly deeply love 
are we reviewing these movies? <laughs> <laughs> the chemistry is nowhere near as strong as Han and Leia in Empire. Everyone agrees. In Anakin, okay. dear literally, God. literally everybody agrees. What the oh, <laughs> oh, look at that. Fuck. Oh, he's gonna take something, dude. That's the look of a serial killer, bro. <laughs> this swiggity swooty, I'm coming for that booty. <laughs> I mean, uh -huh. Why did he make Anakin such a creep? Even the lines he says are creepy. I want to come on her face when she sleeps, Obi-Wan. Oh shit, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be addressing Obi-Wan? <laughs> it's very strange that you address me when you don't think I'm here. It's very strange how you, you know you go to tangents as if I'm not here, Anakin. Padme, <laughs> just being around her again is. Have you spoken to the crones? I remember you in my dreams. I don't understand what's happening. Yes, the dialogue in the prequel suck. Anakin, this is what I wear. This, I this is what I wear to blend into crowds, Anakin. Someone's arguing said she... points that nobody's making. <laughs> Someone said she gave Anakin a salad fork. Don't get it. <laughs> so he the, choked her on remember this, the, the salad? The dude who comes by the waitress with a knife because she gave him a salad oh, fork. Oh fuck, for a he's steak. gonna kill it. <laughs> dude, how Lucas thought this was a good love story. And the opening crawl was still boring! Doing the oh, he did it again. Thanks out. for the ear rape. I'm gonna throw away my pizza box now. Okay. You <laughs> ate a, uh, You ate an entire pizza? It was a small! It's only four still, pieces still, in there. Still jealous. Yeah. Wait, you paid to in have there? them deliver a <laughs> single small pizza? That delivery cost right. is tax. I, hold on, I didn't deliver. No. I drove Rex, he said there was four pizzas the in store. there. <laughs> You drove? Yes. Why did you? You could have just made something and then put the thing on speakers. Well, I wanted fucking pizza. <laughs> and, a doc and a Dr. Pepper. Oh, speaking of which, no joke. I went to a corner store to get a Dr. Pepper. Yeah, how much weight did you gain there? A dollar forty-nine. That's the currency. <laughs> what? What's happening? Anyway, you know, you know that fucking that YouTube <laughs> story that's come out recently. The um, mom beat her kids. What? The mom that like beat her kids very recently. It's oh like yeah, fantastic I just, I just, something I just, or other. Oh my hero. Patient about that. Yeah, yeah, that was on like the news on the TV. There, Clark hmm. lady was looking at it like she wanted to kill herself. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that's your opinion. The former queen of Naboo is returning yeah. to the Galactic Senate to vote on the critical issue of creating an army. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude! Revenge of the Sith. It was okay. I kind of have a soft spot for this one. It definitely improved on a lot of things. The CG, the acting, the pacing time, for the buddy. most part. And the crawl was finally not boring! Let's see, All right. let's see the crawl. It okay. describes Excellent. action! Jesus Christ, I'm skipping over his retarded commentary with his friends. No question, but... It's kind of ironic considering what we're doing. It's not a great movie. <laughs> definitely has You're its moments, skip though. Skip this bullshit. I'm not gonna put down the fans of the prequels. You are uh -oh. what, what you already <laughs> Okay. This whole Mr. argument Toxic. is that we shouldn't let George Lucas near Star Wars because of the prequels, but I'm not gonna put the fans of the prequels down. <laughs> okay. All right. If you like these movies, that's cool. These movies aren't the worst I've ever seen, honestly. But they're pretty bad. There are things about these movies that I enjoy. The fights, the music, the fucking awesome music. <laughs> Have yes, you hit anything in this? It's like what? reviews sound like they're from like 10 years ago. Uh, like, yep. I just don't know what is. it a review point. from 10 years ago or a Chris Stuckman review from yesterday? <gasps> I gave up on that fucking guy. <laughs> I gave up on fucking that guy. <laughs> Lives not too far from I'm about me. To, so. I, I'm about to give up on this video because I don't know what this guy's trying to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just so mentally, I'm just waiting to hear his, uh, his closing. This is a terrible thing. I'm thing. featured in his in his you, uh, the ending. Where he's like, guys These have, are the toxic YouTubers. I, how would you guys have named this video with what we've seen in it so far? <laughs> I have something Star to get off my chest. Or... Part one. Like Star Wars dash stuff. Yeah. Star Wars stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Things and stuff. Star Wars edition. The rambling, uh, the rambling, and of course, the, uh, the meme. Quality. I can't even think of something funny. The meme quality. Okay, I'll give you that. That's a good. Oh, point. he said it. He finally said it! Oh! You look like, uh, the 
tragedy. Really, a compilation of them celebrating that they say why, the memes. Why is this things? relevant? To return to directing again. He's made it clear that he doesn't want to. You could have just said that. You didn't have to have everything about oh, okay. prequels. <laughs> you guys do not deserve. In order to understand George Lucas and his motivations, you need to hear my review of the prequels. Here we go, episode. Man, at least it was less painful than the solo part because that was seven minutes or more. I oh, can't fucking remember. hell, that was. Oh Jeez. my god, did you guys see the. the? I think it might have been a YTP of this interview where George Lucas is like uh, talking to this dude and he's like, You've won Oscars, right? And George. No. No. And then there's sad music that plays and he's like, I was a good dad. It's like, Oh no, George. Oh. <laughs> oh. To be honest. George Lucas is out of his element. He's not the same George Lucas he was before he made Whoa, the prequels. Look at his hair. And this franchise oh, yeah, man. is better off in the hands of people who put passion no. No. No, 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 no. and effort into making these new movies and people who know what they're doing. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> I was originally going to save the topic about George Lucas for last. But... Oh, you should. What's happening now? Hashtag Clone Wars saved. Quite recently, it was announced that the 12 new episodes of the Clone Wars what are soon to come out. What does this have to do with... Years after its cancellation. Again, Star Wars dash stuff. Pretty exciting, uh... Williams. Now, to be fair, I have never seen the show in its entirety. What? <laughs> you are an incredible narrator. Okay, What's the point then? of this? I've never seen it. <laughs> Today, we're talking about Clone Wars. It's the same day. I've Fuck. not seen this, but <laughs> I'm glad this is happening. I think it's very important to all of you know how I feel about the football <laughs> series. Of course, pilot movie was complete ass. Plus, I've never really followed television shows like that when I was a kid. Um... So when the show aired on Cartoon Network, I was quite unsure on whether or not I should watch or marathon it. I stumbled upon clips from various episodes on YouTube, and it looks pretty interesting. Seems like the oh, show okay. got better. That's as basically a review, review right there. I'm blown away. This is the uh, such a hilarious video. Progressed. A lot of heavy and dark stuff. <laughs> you know? Troops our developed. Every time I kill someone, I put a <laughs> marker on my face. Troops, heads getting decapitated. Ahsoka leaving the Jedi Order, which was pretty sad. Really wanted to get into it and fully watch the show, but I thought. Look at how many episodes for my there are. Service. But to be honest, after seeing this trailer, I might watch all the previous seasons, including this new one. All right then. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to hear that, my dude. I wish you the best. It's Maybe tough. the more time you spend watching videos, the less time you'll spend making videos. Also, chat are very upset with that spoiler. I'm sorry, we did. We had no idea that what was coming. Uh, Wait, what spoiler? I'm guessing. I guess a soccer about, about Soka, yeah. that I order. Yeah. Who I guess cares? That's... They do. Oh, chat does. <laughs> chat cares. Isn't that a decade ago? Well, I refuse ago? to see Rebels. <laughs> it doesn't yeah, fair matter, enough. okay? Yeah, fair enough. It looks like shit. I mean, look at these spaghetti lightsabers. It just doesn't look appealing to me. Oh my saw god. Bits and pieces of that show. That is like some ugly ass animation. Wars to see if the, well, the show lighting is worth and shading is... or not. Yeah, Awful. check out Resistance. They go even worse. <laughs> Oh yeah, nope. it looks terrible. Yeah, I, I did not like the animation for Rebels. It um, yeah, it was it, it Rebels. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, but I, I didn't like the animation for the Clone Wars when before I started watching it, and then it gets progressively better. And I love the Clone Wars, and and I enjoyed Rebels, but the, <gasps> the animation for Rebels still bothers me. And mm -hmm. I've haven't seen Resistance, and I won't watch Resistance. Oh my God, they can't even get the animation right with Disney. Except for the Ahsoka and Vader battle, that scene looked pretty. You're getting more story. You might want if if they're upset about spoilers, you God. might want to bump this past. This. Those lightsabers I think are. Like I think it's too late. Spaghetti noodles. Yeah. Look now, there's a big spoiler in Rebels that that can that can be. Darth Maul dies. Obi Wan <laughs> looks just like a rhubarb pie, just hanging and sweet. Just whoever in chat is worried about us, but just go blah 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 until you don't recognize anything on screen. Okay, good. But nothing else beyond that. <laughs> I prefer Rebels, this cares? over Rebels. The first yes. is good. All right. I like Force Unleashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Force Unleashed is awesome. Again, yeah, Star Wars stuff. Issues, but, yeah. Video is very meandering. <laughs> Can we get yeah. a review of Star Wars of Force Unleashed? And here is my <laughs> club review of Wuthering Heights. <laughs> Hashtag Clone Wars saved topic. Okay. Because almost everyone who hates the new Star Wars suddenly shit their pants when this trailer came out. What fuck the Force mean? Awakens oh. and the Last Jedi and fuck Disney. They what? fucked everything mad because people were happy. I'm confused. What the What's fuck? happening now? Yeah. Oh jeez. Uh, 
never mind. We like you now. You're good. Oh, Can't wait to no, see the no, show. No, 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 I don't, no, I don't no. think that's we what We were happened. excited about the return of Clone Wars, but that doesn't change how shitty Disney Star Wars has been up to yeah, this Besides, point. didn't they already have, like, the script written for the final oh. season? So, I mean, that's it. And do you know why the Clone Wars was canceled? Why was the no. Clone Wars canceled? Because it was too violent, according to Disney. So, <gasps> yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's yep. public knowledge. So this guy thinks, oh, it's going to be the same shit that I kind of watched a couple of times because I'm not really a Star <laughs> Wars fan. same shit that I never <laughs> watched. <laughs> oh. What is his argument? I don't like – I'm very interested to see where he's going with this because oh, now he's not. mad because the and people course, that were complaining are happy. Of course, so I there see are those that are hating on the show already. Shitting on Disney and blaming Disney for canceling the show in the first place. They did. You do realize... Is this the same <laughs> argument as before? It's like, it's like they, they knock the ice cream out of your hand and replace it. You're like, I'm still kind of annoyed at you for doing the whole knocking it out of my hand thing. Yeah, I mean, a company can both simultaneously make good stuff and bad stuff. No, no, it's one or the other. Look at the MCU. All good movies. Uh, <laughs> that's what everyone GCEU, says, right? GCEU, all good movies. <laughs> That Aquaman, I tell you, horror. All oh, phenomenal yeah. movies. That Clone the Wars saves is a response to hashtag Save the Clone Wars, right? Disney brought it back. You should be glad they brought back your. Be thankful Wait, to your corporate masters on. that they hold gave on. He you. Was just, he was just mad at people for liking it that it was back, and now he's like, be <laughs> that, happy that it's be back. Thankful. <laughs> what do you oh want my from God. me? God, we can't <laughs> win. You cannot win with these people. Thank what does that mean? Your corporate from, uh, masters with the. Uh, with what's his name and the girl from that movie, uh, the the Ryan Gosling <laughs> dude, where he's like, "What do you want?" Talking oh, about yeah. the woman, you know, like, <laughs> "What what do you want?" <laughs> yeah, notebook. <laughs> Your beloved show, but of course, all you haters out there are going, "Oh, Disney's Whoa. going to ruin this." Kind of haters, you're just hating. Stop oh my hating. God, haters. he's all over the map. <laughs> Why would they <laughs> think that just because they ruined these other movies, they would also? I'm sorry. Why would they it. think that? Where the hey, fuck is my Force Unleashed pieces. review, dude? Where's my Force Unleashed review? <laughs> yeah, I want to review the didn't. Force Unleashed. What's the title crawl of the Force Unleashed like? <laughs> Save it? You just cancelled it and now you're putting it back on TV! Oh my god. For years, you've all begged Disney and Lucasfilm time and time again to bring the show back. It, they did? And now that they are bringing it back, <laughs> you guys are already judging the show before you've seen it? <gasps> You're you judging judge, it, you, you haven't judge watched Colin it. Trevorrow. You judged, you judged Colin Trevorrow's Star Wars when it didn't even happen. Yes. Like, it hadn't even, he said, well, if Colin Trevorrow would have made it, this is what would have happened. And consider like, all the guy. comments he's made on the Clone Wars while admitting he's seen a handful of episodes. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I, Come on. And this Dave Filoni, the man who was responsible for the first few seasons of Clone Wars, is going to be a part of it as well. Duh. That should get you guys excited, right? Then again, he did make Rebels, but I won't be quick to judge like all it. these haters are. That's the case with- He's better than the haters guy. All Star K Wars K media. Has he seen Rebels? Which brings me- No, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Me to resistance. I I'm waiting for my review of Rebels. Oh, I God. want my review of The Force Unleashed, oh, no. and Rebels, Rebels, and the seven episodes, and the seven episodes of The Clone Wars that you've seen. We We're skipping ahead, dude. We're getting a review of Rebels. Resistance. No, not Resistance. Not the this Disney one. Disney Channel show. Oh, that I oh, uh, came out recently. Can you imagine what it's like to be an <gasps> oh, oh, animation? Oh, that shit is so awesome. Oh, look at that. Oh. No, stop it. Looks it harmless. Looks harmless. <laughs> it looks harmless. It looks like shit. Look at his nose. <laughs> look at the lighting and the, their faces and the. His the nose writing. looks like a fucking testicle growing <laughs> out of his face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Commander Sack. <laughs> <laughs> Leader of the resistance. Sack oh, spelt like Z A K. They call him, I'm part of the resistance because friction is my specialty. <laughs> <laughs> but so many of you hate it on the trailer. It looks like shit. So, oh Stop. my god. Oh my it looks god. awful. Oh. Look at it. <laughs> Wait a minute. How did this happen? Buddy. Lucasfilm is smarter than this. <laughs> <laughs> this deal what? is getting worse all the time. <laughs> Oh, it's fucking prequel memes. He's like, you guys are big haters. Angry comments and all. Ow! Jesus. It's a show. Oh. Wait, why? Oh, wait he's about second. to roll out the kids' argument. Wait a second. Whoa. If it's a show made for children, then it's why okay is the show debuting on things. Sunday night at 10 p.m. <laughs> if it's for children, you fucking idiot? 
Also, the why show is he for children that were debuting on Sunday, 10 p.m. Why is he? Uh, why is he getting so upset about people getting so upset about a kids thing? His it name looks is terrible. Zach the writing was bad. The image quality is terrible. Nothing is endearing or charming about this at all, and it's telling a story nobody's asking I'm for. Just, whenever I hear the "it's for kids" argument, I just convert it in my head to "it's shit on purpose." Okay. You're like, <laughs> oh. Why do you Always think the trailer excuse. was posted on Always the Disney YouTube channel and not the main Star Wars channel? I may not be a fan of Teen know. Titans Go, considering how big a fan I am of the original. Nobody but is. at least I can acknowledge that it's a harmless show aimed for its target audience. Children. Aimed for its target audience, no way. <laughs> Little children who want to be entertained. I'm not gonna go and dislike their clips. Wait, like what about the original Teen Titans? Stood. That was marketed well, he towards He disliked kids, the prequels. They meant for kids. The original Teen Titans was awesome. I think people just they they just want to have this shitty animation quality they could just pump out. Well, like, again, look, look at all when the people love so children's content, you don't hear this argument being rolled out. It's like, what do you mean you love it? It's for kids. I'm sure, Jurassic World Two was for kids. Okay, mm -hmm. so you are not allowed to hate on it. Okay, uh, there was a lot of children. In the audience, therefore, yeah. you cannot hate it. So still, yeah, he criticized the kids fucking don't prequels, dude. Quality films or shows, kids don't deserve good things. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. <kids. laughs> Fuck kids. On YouTube and comment. Fuck this show. Fuck this show. Fuck this show. I just don't watch it. Rebels may not look appealing to me in the slightest, and neither does Resistance. Sure and Forces of them. Destiny is clearly what a is web this? series made for little kids. Oh Jesus. Oh. Uh, I'm not gonna waste my energy writing pointless comments against Disney. No, you'll just make a pointless, meandering, insane video instead. <laughs> Reviewing everything. <laughs> this is the thing. It's never like, happened. What is he covering? You go, everything, stuff. There's no through line. It's always available for kids to watch on Disney XD and Disney Channel. Mm -hmm. It's for them to enjoy. At least we'll all have Clone Wars again. The fact that you'll go out of your way to shit on the trailer for a kid's show proves that maybe you are its target audience. But... Wait, what? Wait, what? what? Wait, what? That what? doesn't help your argument at all. No, everything's uh... confused. What are these things? I guess he's it's trying to call... Like the other. He's trying to call us children, I guess? Yeah, but the, it's like... Can't even do but that as a meme. But it's made for us, then. Because yeah, by your own logic, for... they're allowed to criticize it then, so... Uh... <laughs> What an unusual video. That's my video. question for this guy. Are children allowed to criticize it? What if a kid what says if, it looks like shit? Yeah, what if a kid's like... Daddy, show looks like shit. I raised what you if... well, young Samantha. You want to go what far if Young go? Samantha. Yeah, it's like, what if the kid's like, this sucks? And he's like, you're just part of the toxic <laughs> fandom. <laughs> I will slay brood. you where you stand. <laughs> You shall die. You've been watching that EFAP shit, haven't you? <laughs> what about I told you about EFAP? <laughs> but Daddy, the doggy man and the I guy to make this mask, video tell me about this amount name. of hatred needs to stop. Or at the very least, calm the fuck down. Not mm -hmm. just the hate for The Last Jedi, but Star hate, Wars in general. Justify all, all you're doing is tearing about. down this franchise with your harassment, harassment. and complaining. <laughs> our verbal oh terrorism. God, our verbal terrorism. <laughs> your theory-dependent mindsets, and your hateful mindsets. A franchise that does not deserve it at all. There are- No, oh, you just God. dealt a lot of hatred to the prequels and the changes yeah, you man. made to the OT. Uh, I thought this, this, this series didn't deserve it. This is it. one of the most hypocritical videos we've ever seen. Uh, I don't know, man. Thanks for inviting Wait, me on. Why are we showing Alien Covenant now? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna review Very Alien important. Covenant. Here's my review of Alien Covenant. <laughs> Are far don't worse. Don't talk about Alien. Far Wait, worse Kingsman franchise. Two. What? What? Christ. Why does he always go to Justice League? Eating like proof. <laughs> <laughs> you see, guys, it gets worse. Come up and give me the money, and it's ridiculous. But a Star Wars movie that doesn't live up to your expectations. Fuck this! I'm boycotting this series. Sure you I'm are. actually. Is that wrong now? Excited for episode nine, and I'm also hoping the best that for Ryan Johnson's buddy. upcoming trilogy. This trilogy is something I'm looking forward to after the Skywalker saga ends. It will tell I'm tired a of them calling it the Skywalker story. saga. I'm so fucking tired of that shit. It's fucking Star yeah. Wars, and I'm just so tired of that. And it's them trying to create that, the, like, they're basically just... yeah. They're yes. trying to compartmentalize it. Yep. Yeah, the OT, the and prequels, so and these movies. All one thing, you're like, no, 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 no. 
<laughs> no. Entirely new setting, and I'm hoping it gets the attention it deserves. And yeah, it's still happening. I'm really glad it's not getting canceled. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of you it's out there like he's talking directly to us. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you hated one movie, and you really well, we ridicule those your who reasons actually like it for why they think it's a good film. Can't believe that this is what the fan base has become. Oh, toxic! At least Ding. the toxic side. Toxic. Thank goodness, I thought we've, that he wasn't going to say it though. again. We've, we've Count. I think he said several times that we've been lost in this nonsense. <laughs> I'm glad we're. I'm just glad we're not taking shots every time he says it or reviews something. <laughs> we have to review something every time he says talk. <laughs> we have to take a drink every time he reviews something. Oh god! <laughs> I kind of enjoy that there are conventions like Star Wars Celebration. Okay. Okay. Because it's a place where Star Wars fans can be Star Wars fans. Opinions. <laughs> what if the toxic brood anywhere? go to the Star Wars Celebration? <laughs> what happens? Oh, now? Uh, We'll be there, Jeremy. How toxic oh, are we gonna be? Damn right. Damn right. You guys are gonna brood up the place. You know, I was, and I was, I was, and I was there in twenty fifteen or twenty seventeen in Orlando, but I wasn't toxic then. I guess I don't. Wasn't toxic when I get, went on a personal tour of Lucasfilm. I wasn't toxic then. Just toxic now. Mm -hmm. Once you, yeah, it's now, once you wrong be... thought. Once you did that. Right. Right. Yep. And uh, they they've been trying to get me banned. <laughs> um, they've been uh, somebody signed a petition to have all of us banned, and even you guys were included. Mahler and Wolf, you were all banned. Uh, you know, the petition named me, world class EVS, uh, Anna, Ivan, everybody. Mahler was in there, so um, that is a huge compliment, by the way. <laughs> hmm. We have the power to destroy the franchise. You know this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've got a list. Of, I've got a list of Disney movies anyone. that are coming out that are we're all going to destroy. Uh, oh, yeah. So we have we have all the power. All Lights the power. Set. We destroyed Captain Marvel happened. recently. It's not making money. That's literally made zero dollars. Thank. I haven't released. It. <laughs> like anything. Just in the series. threat of Mahler releasing a video. <laughs> <laughs> Put out a tweet. I will a make a video. Wait. <laughs> Let me do it. Without being ridiculed for it. I wish the fan base could be as much. I wonder if the origin place. of this video he is just said safe place. <laughs> safe place. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> uh, I, w I want to believe place. that he will. He, he was like happy go lucky, and he said, "I saw Last Jedi. I thought it was awesome." And like one guy on Twitter said, "You're an idiot." And he went, <gasps> "Just made this whole video." <laughs> it's like the <this> no response. <laughs> Jay's here. Jay. Uh -oh. Jay. I heard something just in time. A, yeah, just heard a dead. thing about about a about a thing you said on Twitter about an Elijah Wood movie or an Elijah Wood trilogy, and it wasn't the Lord of the Rings. You wanna explain yourself, Jay? Poor man. Is this about Poor Spy man. Kids 3? <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Poor man. Funny when you search the video up, the EFAP comes up before the actual video. Yeah, boy. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. That's the power. That's the kind of influence that we command. Again, be nice to this man. <laughs> Please don't swap. Look how don't he... be part of the toxic fan base. Like, the, he clearly does not like criticism when it's even directed at people he doesn't even know. So, oh, Watch Together doesn't allow you to just click on the video and go directly to the video page. Yeah, no, he they doesn't go... do that anymore. Yeah, I, I can't figure out the easy way to do that anymore. I have to actually. <sighs> now I gotta actually look it up and leave my dislike that way. Well, can you, um... No, you can. Yeah. Wait, how? <laughs> I've, uh, <laughs> One I've, of I the top to comments right now is, the only reason Solo bombed was because of their lackluster boycott. I guess you didn't think too much about this before saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading the top comments, too. Toxic Brood Unite. Toxic Brood Unite. <laughs> Toxic Brood Unite. Yeah. Embrace the brood. Embrace. <laughs> 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 Egg hope. Oh my god. You are so preoccupied with whether or not he can spell that weather. Even <laughs> <laughs> at the apostrophe. <laughs> Uh, hashtag toxic brood. Hashtag embrace the brood. <laughs> uh, a lot of I've seen a lot of I disagree. 
just embrace the brood. I love that one. <laughs> Someone like just get a top comment that's like, I think this video is fantastic. Hashtag toxic brood, just <laughs> so that we know. <laughs> The toxic I am so not your fight against the toxic brood. <laughs> Comment. There we go. What a... uh, I'm commenting now, and I'm gonna say yeah, my wife's actually... boyfriend agree. I'm gonna say my wife's boyfriend agrees with this video. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Got it. <laughs> that was a journey. Oh, that was. That was, that was I feel like that one. I feel like it changed, doggo. So <laughs> so many twists and turns, and never quite where knew where it would go. You never knew what he was going to review. Let's be fair. Did you oh, see what I'm still disappointed. Ago? Huh? Talk about Mauler five months ago or six months ago. It says, "Eh, this video is okay, but it wasn't a five-hour series of you rambling about what you didn't like." So I didn't like it. Unsub zero out of five Maulers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, God, but yeah, I guess, I guess it's, it makes sense for, uh, I should probably start reading the super chats, otherwise we actually might not survive, um, getting out of here in time. So, Look, if you're gonna, if you're gonna start reading the super chats, I gotta get ready for my podcast, I'm gonna go 30 well, minutes late. Yeah, I, I was gonna cut say, out. if you want to, um, well, tell, tell the chat about your channel and why, why they should subscribe to you. Go. All right, folks, well, uh, sorry about my connection at times. It sounded like I was talking over people, but there's a weird lag. So I host the World Class Bullshitters channel. We're about 107,000 subscribers. But uh, as Jeremy knows, we get a bunch of views on our videos. We talk about Star Wars, Marvel, the culture war that we call it. So if you like Mahler's content, mauler has been on our channel, what, twice, right? I think so, Or yeah. three times. I think it's three, yeah. Wolf's been on, so... I get along with these guys great. So if you like this content, you'll like us. Uh, we have a podcast every Thursday night with me and my buddies. And uh, we'll have some you know, Captain Marvel videos coming out on Monday and a bunch of stuff getting ready for a Star Wars celebration. So uh, thanks for having me on, man. I appreciate it. I thought this was crazy. I'll tell you, I was drunk about to pass out when Jeremy sent me the message. So I agreed in this, <laughs> agreed to this very drunk. But, I, could uh, tell, I could tell you weren't, you weren't firing on all cylinders when I said you're like, Yo, man, I'm about to pass out. What's up? And uh, I was yeah, like, that doesn't sound like I, well, Jeff normally. You're kind of like a little more sharp. <laughs> well, I was at a I, we had a convention this weekend. We we went to and uh, we went out with some fans and got annihilated. So I got back to the house barely. So I'm glad I made it. I'm glad I made it here. So I got. I'm gonna cut out now. But I want to tell you guys thanks again. And Mauler, uh, after Avengers, you want to come on our channel? Oh, totally. We'll talk the shit about that. Well, uh, it could Wolf, be horrible. Yeah. Uh, Wolf rags, you guys are always welcome to come on over too. So I'll uh, I'll see you guys later. Oh, uh, how about tomorrow? <laughs> sure. What am I doing? <laughs> we'll play PlayStation. <laughs> All right. See you later, All right, Jeremy. Jeff. See you, All right, man. See you later. later. And yeah, of course, it's completely up to you if you'd like to stay or if you want to um, pop out. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna hang around. I'll probably I have to go feed my dogs here soon, but um, I'll, I'll I'm here, so I'm having a Sweet. I'm having a blast. This has been this has been fun. <laughs> It's been a lot of fun. And, and for I was everyone... gonna say, like, I apologize for the video we covered. No, <laughs> no, 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 dude. I, uh, I, I am loving it. So uh, that that was uh, probably the perfect video because of uh, it subverted our expectations. It really did. So... <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't expect to get a review of every single Star Wars movie. <laughs> now that is dedication. There's a there's a there's a video. I, I'll I'll just send it to you. Someone sent me like. It's it's just you, anybody who's played Dark Souls, uh, if the it's a it's a cutscene where there's like a boss, it's like a spider, and uh, if you just click that, you get right to the oh. end of the the cutscene. And uh, oh dear, <laughs> I'll just post that in chat for people to appreciate. As well. <laughs> people are asking uh, the the name of the video that we watched is Star Wars: The Phantom Menace. Um, yeah. it was posted about six months ago. It'll probably be the second result. And see. he's gonna get. He only had four thousand views on this thing when we first covered it, so his his whole thing is gonna get. Just be nice to him. God damn it, we're gonna have to deal with another the person. The fandom telling menace us, found my video. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with all the we're evil. <laughs> yep. Oh We've my had god, it it's gonna be him. It's gonna be yes, yes, <laughs> <laughs> Sean Adams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And everyone stick around after the Super Chats, because I got a story to tell everyone. Yay! It'll be fun.
This is a cute picture that I'm going to send immediately. So, on screen for you guys. <laughs> retarded me in the Higgs. Retarded me in the Higgs. Oh, that's good. Both is like, the fuck? Retarded me into hiccups. Uh, okay, so uh, the first super chat of the day, going all the way back, is can Wolf, Rags, and Mola do the uh, Geeks and Gamers intro? How would that work? Quang <laughs> Huang. Nailed it. That's first of all, that's I'll best. do it. I'll do it, and I'll let them try it. So it's what's up, Geeks and Gamers. It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. Oh, that's I thought it was like the here. sound effect over the like glasses. Oh, you thought, oh, that's what Wing Wong. I was, I thought you were making fun of. Never mind, I'm not gonna say. No, it. No, I, I was like literally <laughs> trying to. <laughs> the Wing Wong. Yeah, I was trying to replicate the sound effect from like the actual <laughs> intro. <laughs> I thought that was clear, and I was like, it's a good attempt. <laughs> What else oh, have you been shit. retarded into? That, was, that was, gets retarded into a lot of that things. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. Good uh, stuff. So, from Ethan Francisco, <laughs> Wolf, your book arrived yesterday. It's fucking good. Cool. Thanks. Well, he doesn't care, like Ethan. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is it better or worse than Joseph Anderson's video? Oh, you mean or books? Book. His book, yeah. Oh, well. Well, a, a, it's, it's a, book definitely is just, a, a book is just a movie you direct in your. Uh, I, I was gonna say it was a weird grape. That would have been. Yeah, it was like a weird grape. Yeah. Um, hello, <laughs> hello, fellow N words. <laughs> 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 it's a consistent meme now. You guys are eventually gonna do the School of Movies Last Jedi video, possibly. This one we just covered. Honestly, I remember getting this requested. What was like? What feels like a century ago? Like so. We get around to this stuff eventually, you know, we promise. Totally. Um, book Milk. Let's take my money. Thank you, Chip Chipley. Uh, mm, book Milk. If you've been pulpy. deaf your entire life, what voice do you hear in your head? Does your brain process reading or language in a different spot without the audio input? Oh my god, don't you know make what? me think about this. I'm glad this. that you... I, I think we, are, we were definitely the ones to ask that kind of question oh, wow, what, what voice would you hear? Oh my I god. Think it's like a, I think it's like a subtle... <laughs> like, 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 genuinely, I'm... This... Having an existential oh crisis. <laughs> yeah, because now I'm like trying. I've never thought of that before. I don't know. If you're if you're deaf and you don't know what anything I... sounds like, how would you hear your own voice in your head? Oh my um, god! Right there. It feels horrible. I'm not sure. That's something that uh, that's something that you should Google. Uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I I don't have any experience being deaf. Though after this video, I kind of wish I did. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't even ask someone that. Like, I mean, <laughs> if you go up to, you go up to a deaf person, it's like, what does it sound? Well, there's got to be somebody who'd been deaf since <laughs> deaf, deaf since birth, and then gain like fix their hearing. That's got to have happened at some point. Somewhere. And if they enjoy our streams anyway, then we are f rocking it. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <clears throat> okay, well, if you figure that one out, well, <laughs> <I can tell laughs> <you. laughs> um, at work can't listen, but I know the content will be gold as it always is. As a psychologist and a gamer, I love what you guys all contribute to the YouTube community. We need more people to put passion into the videos. Well, thank you, Candle. We like to think that we founded the intellectual gaming, gaming community. <laughs> oh yes, dude. We're... As such, we have a reputation well, to keep. We're primary members, legacy members, if you will. Like the founder mm -hmm. is Tonal Loke. There's no taking that away. <laughs> we follow the we t we follow the Loke school of video game uh, man. All my all my previous streams, I just put up the tonal Loke picture, and I just call it the <laughs> official intellectual gaming. <laughs> oh, I have a closing shift. Love y'all. You hear Outer Worlds is epic, exclusive. Also, Giorno Giovanna could beat Thanos with Golden Experience Requiem. Is that a reference. Epic games needs to die. Yeah, as for Outer, Outer Worlds, that's a, that's a shame. I will not, yeah. I will be purchasing Outer Worlds 12 months later at a huge discount. Um, same with any game that comes out on the Epic Game Store. Fuck Epic Game Store. Uh, I, if a game comes out on it, I just won't buy it. I have enough games to play that I will never, ever be bored. So I mean, if it's exclusive, then I won't buy it. But if it's, like, on there, but it's also on, like, every other store, that's, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I miss playing video games. As long as it's on Steam.
Don't play them on the Epic Store. <laughs> I, just so, don't have, I just, I, I don't have time. So I mean, I, I the, just, the Epic Store know. like literally steals your info and shit. So people aren't happy about it. Mm -hmm. well, they shouldn't be. Yep. Will the Avengers stop Thanos by going back in time to take away his N word pass? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> It would be a. You guys be... really, you guys really need to see that video I sent you, Mauler. I don't know if you want to. You can play it on here if you want. It's got like five million views on YouTube. It's it's like three minutes long. It's fucking hilarious. Well, you all will love it. I'm telling you, it's the uh, it's the uh, <laughs> it's the Mrs. Obama get down because somebody said the N word. Oh, it's oh, the big meme that goes oh around, I've, so. I've seen that meme. Good man, it's I love so that damn meme. good. <laughs> Mrs. Obama get down. Yes, it's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna I have say the racism. Word. Yeah, <laughs> I have stopped the racism. <laughs> and then you can't I'll say the other word that's racist. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Oh, I love that meme. I mean, I'll definitely check it out. If maybe we can pull it on at the end once I get uh, I get through these. Uh, bought your book, Moller. So far, it's great. Wolf, you should consider giving it a try. Oh, thank you, Wolf. You gonna check out my book? Some. It's the one with the penguins. That's the one I'm talking about, guys. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, also, penguins are just penguins are just weird. Oh, you, you didn't mm, you didn't do a weird Oreos. weird Oreo. There you go. Penguins weird are just Oreo. weird Oreos. Also, swig of rhino milk for the working man. Beautiful. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we got I got some geeks and gamers viewers. Uh, if they're talking like that, dual gay men dueling is not dull. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I'm curious if you've seen the film Cloud Atlas, and if so, are you? And if so, are your thoughts? I think. No, I, thought Tr Cloud Atlas. I tried to watch Cloud Atlas, and I just, I, I, I think I watched like a 30, 45 minutes of it, and it was just every fuck. It was, it was more over the, it was more confusing than that video we just watched. Why do I so, feel like um, I've heard of that before? It's from a Tom Hanks, um, right? Tom Hanks. Yeah, it's got Tom Hanks Atlas. and Halle Berry. It's from my the, dad said he really liked it, and he says I should watch he it. He likes TLJ. That's all I know. He does like TLJ. He likes everything. <laughs> it's from the uh, the guys that did the Matrix, I believe, that made it. Oh, I've never the, seen that. The Wachowski um, it was, sisters, sister brothers, whatever they are now. Yeah. Why is Tom to... Hanks in like a weird string suit? It makes it's sense if you... all types of time traveling because that's the plot. Yeah. Okay. Wolf just <laughs> racist. Uh, glad to see I'm not the only one who likes Troy. Did you think you were the only one who liked Troy? <laughs> <laughs> Said he's just glad to see that he's not. Jeez. Rags and Wolf arguing is the best. That's no, it isn't. your opinion. I bought your book, Rags, and so far it's entertaining. Keep up the good work, dude. Didn't know you had such a talent. Wolf, do something with your fucking life, please. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> Instead of just sitting there eating your fucking pizza. Yeah, your four pizzas. Did you hear about the three it's movies four. being set on the Old Republic era? Well, uh, according our guest today that it's being done by the the guys who do game of thrones right could that's be the rumor that's the rumor, the rumor yeah so we you know it spice this scene up a little rape <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what why rags do we need to put new batteries in <laughs> like, this is... all right gotta crack out the double a's no don't ask don't ask me where you put them Looking forward to this EFAP, folks. Just wanted to plug the episode Backlash channel and ask for help on Craig's behalf. He's been diagnosed with a third tumor, inoperable. Prayers and donations if anyone cares. Can to reviews for you. Well, that sounds rough. Um, I said his name wrong. It's Craig. Not Craig. You're all it's wrong. It's Craig. 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 When you pronounce it wrong, you hurt Jesus. You mean Jesus? Jesus, yes. Hey, hey, Zeus is a hard-working man. He came from the border illegally. I work hard to feed my family, senor. <laughs> Mola, don't forget to buy your 24-hour porn card in April at your local convenience store in front of everyone. Uh, you got a license for that, wank. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't really do that now. <laughs> it's against the law. Come on. Hi, Chris. Oh. Uh, also, Mola, do you speak Welsh? Asking out of curiosity. I only know a couple of things in Welsh, but no, not, not even remotely fluent. Hey guys, I was the one who suggested the putting spoilers in post, but only as a compromise to this dude. I agree with you guys that it's way past spoiler time. Oh yeah, do we give do we give like a thing on that as like a, f a conclusion, an actual serious one? Like it's not, it's probably not going to happen, and it's unfortunate, but uh, 
The only th the, the only time I can imagine is like say for example Endgame comes out. Uh, we'll probably we we might even have like a podcast centered around it to talk about it. But then maybe in future ones we'd be like we'll try not to mention it until enough weeks have passed, sort of thing. But uh, I don't know. I, uh, it's just complicated. Like there's no set specific line of time where you're supposed to be like okay, spoilers are okay no. But I feel like 2016 is a uh, long gone sort of thing. TV is tough. I mean, I get it. TV's a, TV and movies are tough. I mean, if a, if a movie's released in 2016, you, you pretty much expect it. If, if you're going to watch it, you're going to watch it. But when you have a television show, you know, for, you know, five, six, seven, eight seasons, it is hard to determine, like, when are spoilers appropriate versus when they're not. But and from what I could see, it was just really unlucky. Like, the guy was watching the show. Like, so he's, like, right next to it. It's just like, ah, oh, rip bumped into a spoiler at the worst timing, and it's just like, you should have spoiler tags for everything, it's just like, it's not gonna happen. It's not realistic. I don't know how many things we've spoiled today, just in this stream, how many spoiler <laughs> tags I would have to put up, you know? I mean, I will say, as someone that, um, that loves the Clone Wars, and, uh, the, and again, it's, it's been years, but the, the, the Ahsoka moment is extremely powerful, and I'm glad I didn't know about it, you know? Um, but, um, it still doesn't, it won't ruin it for you, but it definitely can take away some of the emotional impact if you're yeah. watching it without knowing it. There's an element of like it's in you're in it for the journey, not just the payoff itself, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um hey guys, oh wait. Uh Thim Scissor Punch dies. Oh no. Best character in solo. Uh <laughs> big of you all, big fan of you all, maybe? I don't know. I loved your stream Yay. against Jim Sterling's STEM video, Steam video, I think that means. Yeah, that went really good. That uh, that stream went really well. Mm -hmm. uh, will you do a list of games that you will recommend to play on EFAP? Uh, maybe at some point uh, we can, we can tool with around list, with yeah. something like that. At some, yeah. <laughs> uh, so how bad do you think Lando's daughter slash niece will be in Episode Nine? No spoilers, please. Wait, is that what? Is that, is that a confirmed? Thing? I don't know. It just says how bad do you think Lando's daughter slash niece will be in Episode Nine? His daughter I niece. His I don't want to. Uh -oh. I don't want to. I don't want to think about the implications of that. Oh, not the daughter niece. Yeah, I got, I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know anything about that. Uh, stuck at work, but much love to everyone here. Thank you very much. Spoiler alert: Reach falls. Um, Eve Irwin can control fish. I mean, could did you except ever for that stingray? Yeah, there's just the one he couldn't control. Unfortunately, <laughs> he couldn't. He couldn't tame the stingray. Break free of the conditioning. Rest in peace, Steve Irwin. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Uh, cheers for the reminders over the last few episodes. Wolf just rewatched the extended Lord of the Rings in marathon last week. Best films. So oh, you're yes. due for another rewatch, then, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, Ralph Bakshi did it better. Ralph Bakshi, cool. the animator. Yeah. Ed, Ralph Bakshi is an animator. He did a lot of stuff in the '70s. He did Fritz the Cat and hmm. Lord of the Rings and uh, Allegro non Troppo and uh, Wizards. Those are all really trippy, awesome animated films. Wait, he did the Lord of the Rings where Aragorn, like an Indian dude who didn't wear pants. Correct. Oh no! <laughs> I love it. So, His animation so is so weird. good. I mean, the it was, it, it, the animation itself was really smooth, but those movies have not aged very well. Oh, you're just a bigot. I guess I am. Yeah, don't even don't even try and argue against it. It is a fool's errand. <laughs> uh, I pretend that they recast Aquaman as Brendan Fraser, sick of the mummy, and the movie became much better. I, I mean, I'd watch it. <laughs> what happened to Brendan Fraser? Disappeared. His wife ruined his life. Like that literally, what happened? Like literally, if you look into his life, it's it's really sad. Like he had a wife, and she left him, and he's been paying, um. Not child support, because I don't think they had any kids. But he's been paying her for, like, ever since The Mummy 3. And paying, like, an absurd amount of money that he doesn't have, which is why he takes on all these shitty roles, just to keep making money. And his life has really gone down the shitter because of it. Yeah, women suck. It's really sad. I'll take all your shit. We ban yeah. women from this stream, I think? Yeah. This yeah, yeah. Women. yeah, sorry, Star Wars girl. We... We're banning you. <laughs> Just from this one. She can go on the next one. For Brendan. 
for uh, Brendan. For Brendan. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> can you can you imagine instead of Aragorn saying for Frodo, he's like <laughs> for, Brendan. For, 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 for Brendan, and then everyone just runs forward to to save Brendan Fraser. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a fucking mount doom. <laughs> oh, oh my god. We need a Lord of the Rings remake, but with Brendan Fraser instead of Elijah Wood. Brendan Fraser just casts as every character. <laughs> 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 it's all just on CGI backdrops and everyone everyone's Brendan. Is Waterman wet? Um the yeah, rags. Is Aquaman wet? Is the... Um he makes me wet. There you go. Are you familiar with Salty Crackers channel, possible EFAP guest? I have not heard of that channel. Else? Nope. You cannot judge a cracker on its salt. Words of wisdom. What about a salt by its cracker? Uh, obviously not. Because okay. you have sea salt. And sea salt doesn't come from crackers. Man of Steel is the room of superhero movies, or Superman movies. Hmm. 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 I've never seen the room. What? Really? It. Yeah. <laughs> That's a masterpiece. He has That's what I hear. <laughs> I love that That's movie. I I'm going to have to watch it just because so many people have the same reaction as you when I say Oh, that. man. I, I saw it in theaters last year because um, it came out uh, with the whole disaster artist thing. And everyone had spoons. And every time it showed a picture of spoons in the movie, everyone just screamed spoon and threw their spoons in the air. It was really fun. <laughs> Um, hello, Moller. I really liked your Starship Troopers video. Can you please say, Tim Sneak, your birthday is implied? Thank you, Dad. <laughs> okay. Tim Sneak, oh, your what? birthday is implied. Thank you, Dad. Did you know that the official video, Princess Leia the Rescue Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures, is blocked in Russia by publisher Disney? Look into it. We can't <laughs> watch it. Are they afraid of bots? Apparently, dude. I mean, dude. Oh, wow. <laughs> they blocked it in the Russia. You'd question that. I mean, there's nobody oh. disliked TLJ outside of Russia and the Russian bots that subsequently come from Russia. So I can't believe they would actually do. No, I can't say that. I do absolutely believe they would do that. There but is it, sub sub space to believe it. It, yes. it disappoints me nonetheless. Uh, any thoughts on Brightburn? I don't know. Um, I've heard yeah. of that. What is Brightburn? Oh yeah, Bright Brightburn is the uh, the the uh, evil Superman take from James Gunn. Um, oh. It's actually looks looks really fucking good too. Um, it sounds like an STD you get from clowns. <laughs> <laughs> but, clowns. Uh, yeah, it actually it actually looks really good. I would recommend you guys check out the. Uh, I've only seen the first trailer. I try not to watch a lot of trailers at, at this point because I know if I'm somewhat interested in a movie at this point, trailers they just whore everything into the trailers and show you every fucking thing. So I try not to watch them anymore. But um, but Brightburn is um looks pretty good to me. You uh, I saw your reaction to the Toy Story Four trailer. That was um. Oof. Yeah, mm, that's the trailer yeah. that even I was like, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, Just something fucking love Toy Story, but Toy Story 4 feels so weird. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen it, the trailer. Just, what do you mean? Um, there was, it, it didn't have any of the Toy Story magic. It felt like it was rehashing some of the elements from the previous uh, films, and it, it didn't feel like they had an original story to tell. It felt like they needed to throw some shit into a movie with the Toy Story characters to... Are you trying to imply that Disney is a soulless mega corporation that sells <laughs> yes. well, like, money? To give you a quick rundown, Wolf, so like it starts out with the kid they're with as of the end of Toy Story 3 makes a toy out of sticking some stuff together out of a spork, and then it comes alive and has like an existential Hello, crisis. Hello, everybody! Yeah. Oh my and, god, it's retarded! And then it runs away, and Woody and Buzz have to go and bring it back. And then he ends up in like a carnival, and Bo Peep. Bo is Peep, there. Well, yeah. Bo Peep, Ray, Ray shows up. I mean, Bo Peep shows up with her staff. Uh, yeah, it looks. She's she's been yeah, through. Yeah. yeah, she's been through ninja training apparently for the past twenty years, because um, now she's a ninja. Apparently, this sounds horrible. You just you just raise an eyebrow for the whole video. You're like, what? Okay. And just. And again, there, I want to like I love the Toy Story trilogy. I love it unconditionally. So I want to be excited for this movie, but that trailer just felt, and and it it almost felt like video version knockoff of Toy Story is what oh, yeah. it felt like. Would they go in for some kind of weird 
like like what is the true value of a toy what is a toy meant to do you know like and i was like well i think we've covered this several yes, times we've covered that one yep we have and they've Wasn't got they've like got the toys first movie yeah, and I mean, they've got the Toy Story Land in Anaheim and in Orlando that they clearly needed a movie to build it around. And so um, I just, based on what I'm seeing right now, and again, every movie technically is a cash grab. I understand that. Um, but at least most movies are created because someone had a, a, a creative idea that, 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 you know, initially started and go, okay, I have a story to tell. This feels like, hey, we have a theme park attraction we need to sell so let's make a movie based on it that's what it feels like to me mm. pointing to because toy story 3 was the perfect ending yeah no i didn't even seen. know they were making a toy story 4 until like i stumbled apart like across the first trailer and i was like wait you're you're making a fourth one the, really the third jumpy one was trailer like the as last well. one it felt like a rushed trailer almost like it was like boom 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 story beat story beat story beat and you're like oh he goes there and then he then he meets up with that like they even show that the spork character like wants to go back where he came from and i was like oh i guess we know that character arc <laughs> ends up that to, way he wants to go back to the garbage can no like <laughs> the girl who made it it was a simpler time wolf oh very confusing i'm sure it'll be great great okay Great. Uh, anyway. Actions and characters. <laughs> the comment on your take of Man of Steel, Maul, is Zack Snyder took his... Oh, yeah, we did read that one out. The, um... mm. Yep. Good old... Bars for Man of Steel. I, I, I do, because I, I, I... It's kind of like... You know, I made, this, I made this point about calling everything SJW. Like, we can't call everything SJW or everything is SJW at that point. You know, we have to... So we have to make sure, like, Man of Steel sucked, and it was not a good Superman movie quite to the level of what happened to The Last Jedi because we don't need to start comparing everything to The Last Jedi because it was fucking horrible to a different level. You know what I mean? Like, Man of Steel sucked, but not not to that level. Like, that's a whole different level of what uh, of what Ryan Johnson did to Luke Skywalker. A whole different level. Uh, Rogue One was actually watchable and the action in the end was really well done. Actually watchable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's uh, that's I, the level we're at now. It's like, well, <laughs> you can watch it. Watchable. I don't stuff. like. Yeah, I've I've been down on Rogue One since since I saw it. I mean, don't get me wrong. The last forty five minutes with the, everything on Scarif, the space battles, um, the Vader, Vader scene, the the Leia scene, leading us into a New Hope, I, all wonderfully done, no doubt about that. But to me, it felt like the uh, the it felt like from the moment they started casting the movie, it was like let's not cast a white male on the rebellion side you know let's get diversity and when you when that's when that's your goal you're already screwed up i didn't think what's her name felicity jones i think was the lead actress yeah. name i thought she was cringe um i, I didn't just like really I, any of the characters at all they yeah. were so uninteresting the robot dull. was the best one he was absolutely was one, k2so yeah. easily the best one and like when you have a star wars movie with no interesting characters that's a problem. Now, Ben Mendelsohn was awesome because Ben Mendelsohn wakes up awesome. I mean, I love Ben Mendelsohn. I think he's a fantastic actor. I thought he was really – I thought he was underused as Krennic, but he was, he was, he was awesome. Mads but, Mikkelsen was in it, right? Yeah, he actually which is totally it? wasted, Mads Mikkelsen. Plays, Massively wasted. He plays a father, and it's like when you've seen what he's done, you're like, why did you cast him as nameless dude who worked on Death Star who complains and then gets shot? You're like, cool. What was the point? <laughs> He's the guy who could have been like a. There's so many things he could have been. Why did they make him him? Whatever. Um. Shout out to the most moist man on the internet, Jeff from Will Class Bullshit. Hello. Is. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Rags. Also, friends don't let friends get a gun. What is this? <laughs> I don't get it. I uh, do. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Hashtag trash can burger. Okay. I'm so lost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at um, least it keeps in the theme of the video that we were watching so long. <laughs> uh, Man of Steel was missing Henry Cavill's iconic melting face. Oh yeah, that's true. You need you need to get him to get that mustache 
Imagine they actually ask him to grow a mustache for the next Superman movie <laughs> to remain consistent. <laughs> we have to CGI well, it out it, again. This shows how this how much I hated Man of Steel and BVS. I actually enjoyed Justice League because Superman, in theory, was done better in Justice League. Not uh, obviously the disaster with his face aside. <laughs> you talking about because he wasn't droopy and dark but the, the right act. yes yeah he, he was somewhat heroic uh in that movie and that's really all i cared about with justice league i'm like i know everything's gonna like you can't bring snyder's vision and fucking josh wheaton's vision together and make a coherent movie get the fuck out of here are you implying uh, that you want your superheroes to be superheroes Oh, it's it's a strange thing, you know. Um, I I would rather them uh be somewhat hopeful. Um, and I mean busy. Superman. Yeah, I know it's a very it's a lot of toxicity in my comment mm -hmm. just now, and I apologize. Yeah, I um, so, <laughs> but yeah, the thing about Superman is, you know, Superman has to inspire. He he has to make people feel like everything's going to be okay, even if it's not going to be okay. Superman is supposed to make you believe that everything is going to be okay, and he has the power to do that. But he doesn't do that in BVS or in Man of Steel. Um, and again, the cringe factor on Lois Lane and him and their cringe kiss while there's fucking people less than 50 yards away in yeah. collapsed buildings that are dying. And yet you retcon that shit in BVS where fucking Bruce Wayne's running into the buildings. But, but Superman's making out with a chick he has no chemistry with. Dude, like, I'm pretty sure uh, that's a reaction to people saying, like, why why is this portrayed heroically when there's so much death and destruction? And I think Zack Snyder was like, no, 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 that's, that's on purpose. You're like, huh? He's like, look, 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 and, Bruce wins it. He's going to get pissed I'd, about it. You're like, oh. uh, and I like Zack Snyder. I like Zack Snyder. I like, uh, I, I love Watchmen. I, I love, never met him. Uh, huh? <laughs> 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 I love Watchmen. I love uh, Dawn of the Dead. I don't like 300, but I appreciate 300 for, for, represents i guess um so i have no problem with Zack snyder but his dcu is shit it just is there's a quote from john shit. adams apparently following the death of his wife where it says the bitterness of death is past the grim spider so terrible to human nature has no sting <laughs> left for me <laughs> no, <laughs> no are you kidding i just picked like literally when i was thinking of the founding fathers thinking of like uh <laughs> john mean, adams you probably find at least one quote from every founding father oh that involves a spider. God. Oh, I had baby. That's insane. It was by total accident. Wow. Fate. <laughs> new. Fate. John Adams new. John Adams really was an oracle spider. Uh, hey Wolf, watched Lord of the Rings trilogy recently. Saw some flaw, maybe. In Two Towers, usual orcs met Urukai pack with Pippin and Merry, but it was during day. Isn't usual orcs can't walk during daylight? Love your content, guys, by the way. I'm pretty sure that there's a line in there about... I don't know if it's in the Two Towers or not, but I'm pretty sure they even like make mention of the fact that it's not normal for them to be walking around in daylight, but that they are. That does sound familiar, yeah. I know they expanded upon that in the Hobbit reference to that movie and things, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not technically supposed to generally, but by the time the Lord of the Rings is happening, they are noticing it and mm -hmm. it's an oddity, Rise but evil and they're getting evil's getting more powerful and stronger. Yeah. Around, maybe. Uh, what do you guys think of Jamie Costa's Star Wars film on YouTube? He's very convincingly pulled off a solo story and is now working on a Kenobi one. I'm not aware. I do not yeah. know this. Anyone? Not, no, not aware. I haven't heard of it. I've never been too big on fan films. I mean, obviously, I, I watched the Vader fan film from Star Wars Theory because I was there on set, but um, I know that Josiah for my channel just uh, did a, a, a quick shout out to. Uh, this other one, I can't even remember. It takes place, I think, during Return of the Jedi or right after it. Uh, a monster, Birth of a Monster, I think is the name of it. Um, but I, I really don't watch a lot of these films. Huh? Birth of <laughs> um, but I don't watch a lot of... Um, somebody said to skip my super chat. I was trying to... I, I thought I was doing a live stream again just for a second. But I don't watch a lot of these fan films. Um, but I may might start because that's about the only place to get good Star Wars anymore. Yeah, I mean, you know, episode nine that food is gonna be really good. So, yeah, it's gonna be great, guys. It's gonna fix all the issues. Not that there are issues, ah, but we're gonna. 
Vex him uh, anyway. Ha-ha. Jeremy, I'm so glad you've made it to EFAP. I messaged both of you guys to come together. Dream come true. Please do it again when episode 9 comes out. It's from uh, uh-huh. William Aguila. Uh, yeah, man. It was always going to happen yeah, eventually. Man, that's... And it's, it's been quite possible. Brought up so m- yeah. It's been brought <laughs> up so much in my live streams for, for the, the people who wanted me to join. And I didn't even know if you guys knew who I was or whatever. So, um, who you is? Well, Wolf but, had but one of his videos, were... so it was a great little celebration. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very endearing part of the video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it is fun getting uh, like it, it, there's. You can always tell by you know, like I'm sure you guys know I had a, a mix up with Star Wars Explained uh, a while back. Did you know about that? No, I no. YouTube channel. Oh God, that that I'm gonna try not to call him names. Um, <laughs> But, uh, you know, he's got a big YouTube channel, like 500,000 subs. And this is when I had like fucking less than 20,000 subs. And um, I made a video, a response video. But I don't know if you remember when the solo posters came out and they took the guns out of Son- Han Solo's hands and some of the posters. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And I responded to that news. And um, then it, I guess it came out that those were foreign posters. They weren't United States posters, yada, yada, yada. But I responded to the initial news that – um. You know, it was bullshit, you know, that they're taking the guns out of their hands. What the fuck? It's goddamn Star Wars. You know what I mean? Like, why aren't we taking the fucking guns out of their hands? Star Wars in the name. Exactly. And um, so he, th- again, I, I'm, I'm a nobody at this point. I got like 15,000 subs, you know? I'm just trying. I'm just happy to have gotten some, some success on my channel. And um, a couple days later, uh, people are like, yo, Star Wars Explained called you out. And I'm like, what? I am. Um, and he basically kind of chopped up some of the my video to kind of misrepresent what I was saying. And oh. he also included Star Wars Theory in this same video because Star Wars Theory covered the same topic. Star Wars Theory's got like a, over a million subs. Um, what was his problem? Me. He basically was saying it's part of this uh, this anti Star Wars Lucasfilm culture where they're just overreacting to everything. Oh. And then the reality was the reality was was that it was only for it was only Brazilian posters. Um, that was so? the story. That was the spin they were putting on it. But in reality, that's not what happened. Um, it, they actually did have United States posters that removed the fucking guns from the posters. Um, so I responded in kind. I was a little overwhelmed. I was like a big ass channel. I've been watching for a long time. It's kind of put me on blast, but I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to handle it like a, like a man. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to take, take my lumps, you know, cause I wasn't sure what the story was. You know, we were trying to see how all the news was breaking. Well, he, uh, th- he, that was him beginning this little show of his, he was calling it last week in clickbait. And it was a playoff of the John Oliver last week tonight. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was like, I'm so, the, the first show he did, he was like, I'm so sorry. I have to do this show, guys. I wish clickbait didn't exist on the internet. Fuck you. Every, fuck you with the clickbait shit. God damn it. That's what YouTube wants. Um, so he said he hopes he never has to do this show again. I hope I never have to do another last week in clickbait. And I was the first show he ever did. My, my video was what he built his first show around. Um, three weeks later, he made another episode week in clickbait t-shirts after saying he hoped he hadn't doesn't never have to do another show i never hope i have to do this show guys but hey why don't you buy my merch why don't you buy my merch on a show i hope i never have to do because he's so disgusted by clickbait so i made a fucking video and i went the fuck off on him (laughs) and basically was like hey man i know you got five hundred thousand subs that's cool i know i'm a little guy i'm a little guy but one of these days one of these days you and me we're gonna come face to face at a convention and you're not going to be able to hide behind your 500,000 subs. And you're going to have to look me in the eye and explain yourself as to why you are misrepresenting my videos on your channel, sending a false narrative out there. He sent – I'm not going to name the YouTuber, but he sent another big YouTuber to kind of talk to me. You're like, hey, man, he's really sorry about that. Fuck really? off. Tell you me yourself. Message me yourself. Tell really? your goddamn self. So ev- eventually he and I talked. Eventually he and I talked. I won't go into too too many details here. I'll tell you guys off air, but we talked and kind of put it behind us. But his he I constantly hear the the accusations that he initially put against me from people, and it just drives me crazy. So, um, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot more to it, but ultimately, yeah, um, 
you know, that was uh, that was the first time I ever got called out by somebody. But when I got called out by Wolf and I responded <laughs> and then he responded, he responded like a fucking man. You know what I mean? I mean, didn't take no time at all. You know, it's not like he like sent like it would have been t- the equivalent of what happened with explain would have been the equivalent of Mahler going messaging me. Hey, hey, Jeremy. Hey, Wolf is really sorry. He's really <laughs> sorry. You know, and he's and I would have been like, fuck. Wolf's a bitch then, you know, that's what I would have thought, but you know, like you, you just recruit, you Wolf confronted me He's and you're like, it, okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, yeah, um, um, yeah, like, like I said in my comment to you, um, the way I met Mahler is, um, he, yeah. he shouted, like shouted me, he called me out on Thor Ragnarok because I don't like that movie. Call out shout out because, yeah, because he said my last Jedi video was great, but that my Thor Ragnarok video. And people were like, Mauler's talking shit. And I was like, hey, who's Mauler? <laughs> and so I, I go through the video. It's at one hour and eight minutes that he mentions me. And I'm like, is this the right video? I'm not mentioned anywhere in this. And he starts talking about Ragnarok. And I was like, oh, now I know where this is going. And I, I just commented. I didn't even think he'd notice it. I just said, thems are fighting words, boy. And then we talked. And I was, I was like, I was reassured right, by that comment. So I was like, oh, thank God he's not taking it too seriously. He's yeah. not like, excuse me, sir. <laughs> like, I, have, I have a grievance. And now a year later, we have a podcast, make videos and stuff together. That's how it. That's how it should go. I mean, there's too many people that are fucking just so sensitive about shit. Like confrontations are good for people. Arguments are good for people. Like it's, it, it you just have some balls, you know. Um, that's why I I like to respond to people because it tells you a lot about somebody. How like people. A lot of these people love to throw the first punch, but they can't stand. And they run and they cry and they play the fucking victim. And it tells you a lot about a person, you know, when that happens. Yeah. And so, um, but like I said, when I first heard, I was like, when I saw it was you, I'm like, God damn it. I really don't, <laughs> I really don't want to fight with these guys. I don't want them roasting me on EFAP or some shit. But I was like, <laughs> we've got I was the like, best I got to respond. Here. Yeah, I was like, I gotta fucking respond because that's what I do. So I got to, and uh, so I just turned the camera on and went full sarcastic asshole, Jeremy. And I even said, "What did I say in the video, Wolf?" I was like, "I'm so sorry, my your feelings are hurt." <laughs> 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 so yeah, man, good shit. Yeah, though. I I was I thought it was funny the same way I thought with <laughs> comment that Mauler. I thought it was funny. I I just I feel like too many people that we should hang out. I was gonna. It's yeah. funny because like we're talking about this, <laughs> and it's like. You know the amount of people on Twitter who call out me or previously Rags and Wolf or EFAP in general will be like, oh, hey, you know, do you want to have a chat about it? And they're just like, fuck off. Like, um, okay. Like, what was the latest one? The King K guy who, like, they, they said that I, I d- I'm paraphrasing, but I'm pretty sure they said something along the lines of, like, I'm the most toxic element of film criticism that's ever arisen from YouTube or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, Hello, I've never heard of you before. Hello there. <laughs> like, but if you, you know, a little bit interesting to refer to me that way when you just like fucking shit on me publicly when I have no idea who you even are. And the guy was like doubled down, then he ended up, um, he didn't do well because I did a quote tweet and a lot of people saw his tweet and a lot of people were very disappointed because apparently liked him out, uh, liked him. And then he deleted like everything and blocked me and everyone to do with anything. And then like after a few days, he undid it all. Was he this was now? a guy called King K, and then he and then he put out a tweet saying like, "Okay, I may have overreacted." <laughs> like his... oh, this this isn't the guy you talked about in your Force Awakens video recently, is it? No, this was this was after that. There's so many of them. Like me and oh, Wolf I know. I know. Uh, and and Rice have to keep track of like an enemy's list. Like we're like, oh yeah, you know, people someone's we've never like, talked oh, to people we've never interacted with. It's in like any check way. out this video. It's like, oh, is that someone that hates us? Let's check. <laughs> it's like I can't remember. <laughs> We've made a lot I've of got enemies. This, I've got this Reddit, this Reddit thread that was made about me, and it was basically <laughs> talking about how I created or uh, my uh, how I my hypocritical ways of of how I have manipulated and indoctrinated all of these white kids into building geeks and gamers. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> we got the same thing with you know the Dude, Reddit. Reddit <laughs> hates me and uh, Rags and Wolf definitely. <laughs> There's some Almost colorful hours- stuff on there to it because they were talking about like my channel i've had my channel for about four years now and i didn't run it for the first 
I didn't run the channel. I had other people on my team running my channel and it was really buttoned up, really politically correct because I was, you know, I've talked about this plenty of times on my channel, but I was really adamant about being a leader and not rocking the boat, not taking a public stance, not telling people I'm a Trump supporter, you know, cause that would be bad for geeks and gamers, you know, and, but all my team, they were, I let them say whatever they wanted. And so, um, before I saw the last Jedi, I told my team that that December, in the beginning of that December, I said, guys, look, the channel's got 800 fucking subs. You know, the website's not getting the traction. I've rode the fence for too long. I, I have to be myself, and I'm going to piss a lot of people off, but I'm going to I'm going to just go full Jeremy and be myself, and that's going to piss a lot of you off, so you gotta, you got to understand it. And so I did, and you know, that's what happened. took off, and the channel went from 800 subs after three years to 100,000 in a year just by being honest and not worrying about who I'm pissing off. Yeah, got to be interesting. Got to be yourself. I told that Reddit. Up, can't put up a face. You know, you just got to be you. You have to let your – you got to be honest with people. And if people don't uh, – that's one of the big things is like you traffic in – uh, what essentially is your reputation is is like your brand is your reputation your name's your reputation and it means so much and you can't you can't be dishonest you can't be a shill you can't be fakey well it, it no. works for some people <laughs> it works for well yeah it works for some people but those people don't have my respect someone in the chat said jeremy is the only one who right man jeremy you're my only hope <laughs> <laughs> and uh it's it is it's it's i didn't know what was going to happen i mean when i started speaking out about star wars because i was a star wars celebration and this was before i was like you know i was telling my personal friends i'm like this is fucking bullshit what they're doing but i was standing there at the battlefront panel when they announced battlefront 2 and before the panel started they, they some some person some woman got on the microphone she goes how many girl gamers are in here and you heard like three fucking girls scream <laughs> you know out of like hundreds of people like, and i'm stop just like, making me feel so awkward like you, so you just hear the distance stop pointing yeah. it out <laughs> like, i'm just here was... for fucking games i just want to play <laughs> games leave me alone that was so cringe that was so cringe like what and then of course we get the reveal of aiden who is the main character in battlefront 2 and i'm like god damn man like another female lead like i get it but shit like, are we going to keep doing this? And, you know, I just, all of that stuff was, was building up in me. And so uh, January, man, I was just like, fuck it, you know, and it was good. It was a good decision, but I didn't know what was going to happen, but clearly it was the right decision. Um, Cosby was himself. <laughs> he kept Cosby it real. Was himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> just be yourself, Adolf. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> um, Batman Begins remains the best modern superhero film because it took the subject seriously, not literally. Man of Steel was a gut punch disappointment. Um, I think we'd all probably have a different take on what we think is the best modern superhero film. What's, what's everyone? What's everyone's pick? Okay. I I will say that Batman Begins is a better Batman film than The Dark Knight, but The Dark Knight is a better film overall, and I say The Dark Knight is still the best superhero film. I would actually agree with that completely. I would agree I think with Rags. That Batman Begins is actually pretty underrated. It is I very underrated. Watch it again. Actually, I kind of want to watch it again. Set it up. Yeah. But, um, Batman. But, yeah, go Batman. Batman Begins. Batman <laughs> Begins. <laughs> um, Batman Begin. Batman Begins. Yeah, C C Civil War is uh is, is a controversial one to pick. So it's going to upset people in chat probably, but yeah, it's, it's my favorite. Oh wait, are you picking Civil War? Yes. I am. Yeah, absolutely, I am. I, I now don't, don't get me wrong. I love Civil War. Civil War. I'm just shocked that you're picking Civil War. That's all. So I'm I'm happy about that because I love that fucking movie and it gets a lot of criticism. It gets a lot of hate and uh, I don't know, man. Like this may sound a bit arrogant, but all the bigger reviewer people who do not like the film, their criticisms don't fucking survive scrutiny very long. And I really want to make a video on that film, try and talk about what I think people misunderstand. One of the biggest ones being. Fucking Iron Man should be against the government, and Cap should be for the government. They got it backwards. Oh, I can't believe people would say that. Fucking hell. It, it makes me my um, head it when people makes, say I, that. I, I get, really, it, per, it perturbs I, me, my soul. Just ignore all the other films, and yeah, that totally makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I would really love to hear your take on that. I would love for you to make that video. Well, uh, there's a, I believe there's a 
don't remember what the name of the guy is, but this is someone who's people asking to have as a guest on uh, EFAP. He made a video that, like, slaughters Civil War. Like, he just hates it. And um, I remember being like, do I have him on as a guest, or do we do his, cover his video first, or do we do it at the same time? I was like, I don't know what the proper, like, <laughs> like what are we supposed to do there? <laughs> Is it rude to now, kill? Let... I don't know. Now, do you prefer Civil War over Infinity War? Yes. I Close, do, yeah. but yes. Wow. No, I don't. I, I, I have Infinity War over Civil War, but I, I love them both. I love them both. But Infinity War, to me, like, um, yeah, Infinity War is just, again, I hope, you guys might be better. Uh, you you guys might can answer this better than I can. I mean, we're going to find out in a few weeks. But can in game affect the, the greatness of Infinity War if it's not good or if it has problems? They need to account for Doctor Strange's decisions. They need to make it so that Doctor Strange, what Doctor Strange did, makes sense in Infinity War. That's one problem. You know, like his choice to be like yeah mm -hmm. the idea of it, basically my my biggest question with that is. Why wouldn't he have just told him, hey, this whole plan's gonna work, except Peter's gonna go nuts at one point, so, uh, Tony, if you can just blast him away, he'll be fine. Yeah. He's, he's part god or whatever the fuck. <laughs> just, just get him out of there. <laughs> I mean, ultimately, you could have just had Doctor Strange portal him out, and I, I'm curious what would have happened. Would, would they have won? Would it be over? And then, mm, so you need true. to make it so that the doing the time travel thing needs to happen. They had to do that for some other important thing, so that'll be interesting. But, um... Yeah, the other problem with Infinity War is that the it's really unclear how ex what exactly the Gauntlet can do, um, and why Thanos seems to choose to do certain things at certain times. It's pretty hard to rationalize all of it as correct decisions. Like when he's battling them all on Titan, it's an amazing fight scene. Why is he not just poofing them all into string like he did in? Yeah, like the Reality mm -hmm. Stone. I it's I want to know what the rules are with that. So there's yeah, there's a couple of things while. And and this is by the way, like the the moment with between Spider Man and Iron Man is amazing in Infinity War as well as all the fight payoffs and stuff. But for me, Civil War has probably the most raw humanity moment in the entire MCU when when Tony wants to kill the guy who killed his mum. To me, that's just like oh, that's just so yeah. basic as a, as an exact. Exa it's so human. It's so sad, but it's so well set up. So yeah, it's just like a personal preference thing. Sure. Infinity War comes close, but I love Civil War. Um, anyway, did I break a rule? Looks like my comments are removed. Uh, possible. I, I, my moderators control what comments get through, so, uh, but I think there's a spam filter on there as well. Um, I was on Louis Laveau's stream a few days ago and subscribed to PewDiePie was censored in chat and moderators had to approve it manually. Because of course it is. Because of course it is. Because of course it is. Just wanted to say I love how much you guys encourage conversation. That's sorely lacking in current society. Keep on drinking that rhino milk. But yeah, we're yeah, at, boy. We're at five and a half hours, and there's probably at least an hour left. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, a swig of party boob milk for the work and lurking man. That's, that's a new one. <laughs> I literally thought TFA would have flopped if it did not have the word Star Wars in front of it. It's possible. Oh, so like, you know, subscribe to PewDiePie. Is working in the chat now. Good, good, good. Um, I think he should... uploaded a video about Shane Dawson fucking his cat, so I need, I'm gonna have to watch that video. Wait, you guys right. hear about that? I've, I've heard, yeah, I've heard some weird things about that. Something Wait. like, or, so I was I follow Keemstar on Twitter. Right so, claim. Um, so okay, so there was some audio of Shane Dawson, and I don't know any. I've never seen a Shane Dawson video. Uh, okay, so, um, so there's some audio of Shane Dawson talking on a podcast. If I have all this wrong, I apologize, but this is just what, what I heard and what I saw through Keemstar. Uh, he was talking on a podcast, and he was making these comments about how he jerked off on his cat. Why? Um, yeah, and then he went <laughs> – I guess it started blowing up all over Twitter, and um, then he – directly tweeted and said i didn't fuck my cat i didn't stick my dick in my cat yada 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 um just went all in detail about it i'm like what the fuck why would yeah i remember, detail, I remember that tweet. he like so then... he like counters all the individual claims instead of yes. just being like i didn't fuck my cat yes yeah, yeah, so, so, is... so then this channel memeology 101 i don't know if you guys are familiar with memeology 101 but um yeah. he talked about how the next day shane dawson i guess um you know he announced a you know uh his 
he's getting married to his boyfriend or something, kind of like a Kevin Spacey thing, you know? He's gay. Um, yeah. And so he's to kind of divert all of the stuff that was going on, but, but it was already public knowledge oh. that he was gay, apparently. Okay. So at the end of Memology's video, great videos, Memology shows this clip of him holding, I think, his dog. And he's like, come to daddy. And he puts his face in between yeah, his I've dog's legs. I saw it's that. fucked what up. It's fuck? fucked up. So dude. when I heard that he's made a joke, that's what he covered it. I was like, okay, that's this room. But when I saw that clip, I was like, what the hell? That's weird. That's what, yeah. When I saw that clip, I'm like, okay. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's disgusting. Just, but I mean. Mm, yawn disgusting. Pretty nasty. Yeah, I don't know. I don't um, know what, what's been done. What, what's going on there? Like, how do you even get away with that? Like that's nah, like I a, don't know, a public it's video. Stuff. Well, this is the thing. It looks like he's streaming when he does it. So it's like, what are you doing? Why I don't know where. Do I don't. That? Yeah, I don't know where memeology got the clip from. But when I saw that clip, I'm like, whoa, whoa. I mean, Ugh. again, man, I've already gotten in trouble for my whole all, all the stuff I said about James Gunn. I piss people off no matter what. So I'm not trying to be joke police here, but I'm just saying, man, when you're talking about fucking raping a cat or something, and then there's video evidence you put your face in between a dog's legs. I'm, it's a problem, man. It's a problem. So uh, did the dog consent? I could I'm pretty sure joke. that's self-explanatory. But... <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, why are people so weird? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. that yeah. that actually like turns my stomach. That's uh, uh, just go watch me, Mama. Go watch me, Mama's video on. I, I don't think I want to. I think your description <laughs> no, yeah. is more. <laughs> yeah, more yeah than I heard I that. Take frankly. Uh, hey Wolf, I finished your book. Besides a thing or two, I really enjoyed it. I can't wait for your next one. Rags, I couldn't. Oh wait, we'll we'll do this one at a time then. Um, so yeah, he enjoyed your book. That's from James Moore. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, James, you're gonna go broke eventually, buddy. <laughs> James Moore, holy shit! Yeah. He gave me a crap ton of money during our Dude, stream. Dude, he Jeez. gave me like a hundred fifty bucks like the day before your stream, and and I was even then I was like, James, James, we're concerned. Don't, don't <laughs> James, we we need to have a come to Jesus meeting. This is an intervention. <laughs> I mean, thank you for the money, James, but don't thank yourself. But anyway, um, yeah, I wrote it a couple of years ago, and I have problems with it now. But, you know, things, I just got to keep trying to be better with all the things I do, and glad you liked it. Uh, and then he followed up with saying, Rags, I couldn't find your email, but I think I found a PC, something called an Acer Predator Orion oh. 9000. Thoughts? I, oh, my, my I, I, I can actually... Email is very it's actually it's on my youtube page um one eight zero zero get rags i can actually i can actually answer the question about the computer because i saw the super chat earlier in the stream and i looked it up and it looks good it's got a really good power supply really good uh cpu gpu uh plenty of ram the only thing is that it has like a 500 some odd gigabyte s uh, sdd which is good but it doesn't have an HDD, from what I can tell. You're gonna want to invest in like a good like two terabyte HDD drive. Yeah, just to put all your stuff on. Yeah, because files you, and things. You'll yeah. want to you'll want to put like your OS on the SDD so that it boots up really SSD. quick. SSD. Solid what are they call drive. it? SSD. What are they, you yeah, said what SDD. Are they call it? Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. SSD. Yeah, you know, like me, you, you got put... too much too much D in your life. Yeah, <laughs> not enough. Um. Yeah, you know, you want to put the OS on the SSD, but you want to get an HDD to put like your games and stuff on. But otherwise, it looks like a good build. It just doesn't have the HDD. Well, so. Games are for your solid state drive. All of your files and your downloads and stuff that just accumulates on your computer over time, you put those on your hard drive. But your games, you want in your SSD, so they load up. I, well, my my solid state drive it can't really hold all my games so i put it on my hdd that's especially why you since... get another solid state drive i don't want to do that i just put yeah, all my i mean wolf I, spends I mean, money I... on pizza I mean, look i i, I put like yeah, steam and pizza. all my i put all my application stuff on the ssd but i put my games and files on hdd since i don't really need it to boot up like within three seconds like everything else but yeah, invest in like a one or two terabyte hard drive, and then that computer is otherwise really good looking. Um, my love you for can always add to it whenever you want. My love for Star Wars at this point is only kept together by the OT, and my head canon with the EU is still canon, and Disney Star Wars is not. Oh, that's the way a lot of people go. 
Wolf, I'm happy you're putting new content on dog bites. Rags, can't wait for TFA part <laughs> 3. Jeff, your witcher synopsis video is awesome. Jeremy, keep on preaching for the PC master race. And then it just ends with Mola. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what to say for that. Uh, one big difference between the new and old styles is that whenever you see the Empire, there is no levity or wisecracks. They are treated as a serious threat at all times. In the new movies, they're a joke. Yep. Yeah. Let's just break into the enemy ship. I mean, let's they make it overt in TLJ. Yeah. Let's slap them around. You're like, oh, all right. You wanna? Like these people want to kill you. Uh, I know it won't ever happen, but to fix Disney Star Wars, they need to kick and then v i i the Roman numerals, but... <laughs> Beautiful. I just, don't think that, <laughs> I, I just don't believe it can be fixed, at least not... not Like, Episode Nine cannot fix the sequel trilogy. It can't. It needs to be accepted, you know? Um, I think Episode Nine can maybe be entertaining in isolation. Yeah, possibly. Fixed. Uh, who's gonna play Sekiro? Hero, I forget how it's pronounced. And I'm gonna wait for uh, my uh, my fucking loads of my friends are buying it. I'll just be like, is it good? And then when they all go yes, I'll be like, okay, I'll consider buying it. <laughs> I'm still waiting on the next Ori game. Uh, I'm dead serious. Avatar: The Last Airbender season one is objectively bad. Care for a debate? Go contact ER. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him it on Twitter. I, I mean, I would be up for it, but I want to want. I guess I've been looking for an excuse to watch the series again anyway. It's been a long time. Oh, yeah, we're but... supposed to do that, right? Yeah, but you won't do it. That is, that's not a thing that's happened. Yeah. Racist. We asked you like Everyone. seven times. If seven is spelt what? one, and I agreed. Uh oh. Oh, it's just, what if everyone just dies in episode nine? That's the best right. way. It <laughs> I've already said. I've already said how, how I think it should begin. Kill it should begin. It should care. begin several years uh, beyond the Last Jedi. Um, it should start out on a obscure planet. Kylo Ren has his mask back. Um, he's got the Knights of Ren with him. It opens with him hunting someone. He finds uh, Poe and Finn, and he murders them without them saying a fucking word. And you're like. I'm, 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 in. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. You know, episode and nine <laughs> opens with well, Luke waking up. He's on indoor. He's drinking too much um, <laughs> Ewok wine. He's Ewok partying milk. a little too hard. Too much Ewok milk. He's been getting crazy with the ladies. Um, and he's like, "Well, what happened?" Said, well, that was crazy. And then young Lando and young Han and young Leia are there. They're like, "Oh yeah, you passed out. You're drinking too much of that spiked Ewok milk." Uh, we just uh, blew up the Death Star. And, and Luke is like, man, I, I had a nightmare. There's a lot of things like, shh, 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 everything <laughs> is fine. And they look at the screen. Yeah. Everything, everything is fine. Is fine. Yeah, is, the worst I, part I, was I, that everybody liked it. And they're like, ugh. I'm, I'm pretty sure that it's already been confirmed that it's taking place a year after TJ. It, it has. It, it, it has. It's yeah, 20 it, people okay. on a ship. <laughs> I, honestly, I, I think about that. Think about that. The fucking whole entire trilogy takes place, what, two years? Two years? Is that all? Really? Or is it yeah. even a, a year? It's a year. Well, a year and a week. Well, I was about to say, yeah, TFA and TL TLJ are over two days. Is that correct? Three days? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it starts like the next day, you know? So it's like, what, three days total? So this entire trilogy is going to last a year and a few days. Holy fuck. It's so bad. Yeah, I felt like they were lowballing with that. I was like, you're gonna need more than a year. I don't like, oh, what am I talking about? In one year, they'll have a whole army. They'll be like, it makes sense. Just don't think about yeah. it. Yeah, we have even an army now. The, uh... Even with the OT, it was like, all right, there's a two year gap between uh, A New Hope and Empire, and then there was a three year between Empire. Was it a three year or was that a one year, actually? I think the. So I, I mentioned this I the other day on one of my live streams, and someone corrected me. Um, I think it. I can't remember. It, it's it's it was not as long as I thought it was though, so it was a shorter time. I think I'd said oh, four years initially. I think I think three years was between episode two and three. Then there was ten years between one and two, but we don't need to talk about. It. I think it might have been one year, but I don't I don't remember. It's been a long time. Um, but either way, it's it's this the sequel trilogy is going to suck. So. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, sorry, I, I just got a notification on Twitter. So you know Beowin's uh, drawing 
Someone who's a fan of the show just went, I haven't seen the episode yet, but I cannot wait to find out the context. Of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yep, yeah, makes sense. Oh my god, yeah. John Adams as a spider looking into an oracle that says, hate mongers of the toxic brood <laughs> as he's writing on the Declaration of Independence that you're allowed to like The Last Jedi. <laughs> like, in what context could that possibly make sense? <laughs> uh, Disney won't be satisfied until they've made you hate everything you used to love. They have to buy all of it first, but I guess they're on their way. Well, yeah, they're doing a pretty good job of doing that. Uh, Rags right. and Wolf, what are your thoughts on Obsidian moving the Outer Worlds to the Epic Store? Yes. I will be buying it 12 months later at a huge discount on Steam. Mm. I don't even know what the game is, but if I hear Epic Store, I immediately like kind of throw up a little bit in my mouth. So uh, there we go. This is a weird one to read. Uh, does anyone else picture Mola as just the smartest, sexiest, most intriguing nerd fan? <laughs> I literally... are, are you sure? Hold on. Before you finish this, are you sure? Are you... Did you write this? I, I would never do that. I literally picture sure? a sex pot with an accent behind a computer. Don't tell me any different if he's not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you anyway. Yeah, uh, you can look at his old streams. Waller's shown his face already. Yeah, and I'm he's not like man. I'm not hideous. You know, there's there's worse things out there. I'm not going to name them, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for Wolf and Rags to take the opportunity, but oh, he's apparently a fat he's man. Fat man. <sighs> It's pronounced Largeman, sir. Capitalism ho. Best version, the best version of Captain Marvel is Jennifer Hale from Avengers: Earth Mightiest Heroes. Gonna change your mind on the Incredible Hulk, Mola, someday. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> like the Incredible Hulk? Who I don't, I don't hate it. I just, Hulk. just meh, like. I enjoy the credit the Incredible Hulk. Um, I, I mainly I'm a big Ed, Edward Norton fan. I think he's a great actor. I think anybody would agree with that. But um, I I like the Incredible Hulk. I, I don't. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's the greatest movie ever, but I did enjoy it. I do get to vote twice, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the Incredible Hulk. Like it just I don't know. I don't think it, it, I thought it was like unanimously understood that it's just it's a, it's okay at best. It's not like. It's like one of the most under-referenced movies by both the actual MCU and by people in general. But, I think um, that's pr mainly because Ed Norton's in it, and now they have Ruffalo. Um, that's yeah. one reason. But and and I think that plays into why people in general don't really reference it either. But I think that a lot of people probably think back to Ang Lee's Hulk, and that's why it's probably uh, the, the Incredible Hulk is kind of looked at in a positive light, somewhat. You know, because Ang Lee's Hulk was not. I don't know how you guys feel about that one, but I have to watch it again. But I remember movie. that one being strange. It was very strange. Uh, I don't feel anymore. By the way, hey, world class bullshitters, how are you? Only heard geeks and gamers on one or two streams. Still, will show all my love equally. Art, mm -hmm. that is all. Thank yeah, you. sorry, he's I, not. Well, probably nobody knows I'm here unless they start listening for a while because uh, my avatar has my Alabama thing. I don't know why it didn't update because on Discord it updated. Well, so. as long as they eventually figure it out, <laughs> like wait, no, they will. They was. will. There's been enough people in the chat that hear me. So, uh, hey there, love the shit you do. If you're ever gonna cover some anime cringe, I suggest having Cody Bayer from Anime Outsiders as a guest. Uh, I don't know. The, the problem with us ever covering anime stuff is that me, Wolf, and Rise would need to have seen it, which is gonna be unlikely. Because, because Rags, have you ever, have you seen any anime? Seen any what? Animu. <laughs> like anim animation? Uh, Anime. An Animoi. Oh, I've heard of that. Uh, I haven't seen much of it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, the scrolls. <laughs> Japanese cartoons. That's the wood. I've seen a few. Get ER. We try to. We do try. We really yeah. try to. You yeah. guys have to understand. You never understand how hard it is to get in contact. People want it as if it's just something we can do. We can't just summon people. These people are people, okay? Treat them like people, not like... Don't objectify these people. Hard. Look, ER is really busy feelings. building the next Reich. He can't yeah. just be on any podcast. 
But no, he's actually like extremely difficult to get in contact with. Um, he's protected by an army of crones. Scrolls are a race of peace, you guys. Gee, well, they, they they are. They are according to the movie. So. I'll stay for long, but wanted to send some Monopoly money. I've been working on a thick critique of Halo 4 since January. 40 pages now. I've been wow. wondering. Any tips for Good keeping Lord. visuals interesting? Um, Have some things. Try and keep them relevant, no I scopes. suppose. Kind of hard I to... Mean, yeah. you, usually gameplay footage is pretty easy to get down. As long as I'm you're not using the asking, same clip forever. I'm assuming he's asking for something beyond that. Like, if we could... But he make it interesting. Well, like, like don't it. don't use the same clip. Like, if if your clip is going like well over five minutes, then it's gonna get pretty dull looking. Yeah, it's just just if ever you like were recording your video game, and then you fucking go to the toilet and come back, don't let that part be in the video where you stand still. <laughs> it's like really awkward. Have you done that before? No, I'm just saying this the, the only obvious advice I could give because I'm trying to think of like, yeah, just irrelevant. As long as it's relevant, you should be fine. Michael Sierra yeah. shall star in the new film about a man with a gas mask and his crazy dog rags called Moeller and Me. Why would Yay. Michael why Michael Sierra though? Why? Because Kylo me. Ben. And me. I mean, he can star as Kylo Ben, but not not the guy in the skull and, and <laughs> gas mask. That just seems wrong to me. Speaking of which, Jeremy, when we say Kylo Ben, there was a point quite a while ago where we accidentally uh, mispronounced Kylo Ben as Kyle Ben. That was rad. And we, <laughs> called him Kyle. Yeah. And we, um, we started theorizing what a Kyle Ben would look like, and we came to the conclusion that it would be Michael Cera as Kylo Ren. <laughs> and and Beowin, the the crazy good artist in our community, he drew an, a ridiculously lifelike image of Michael Cera as Kylo Ren, just grinning out from the hood. And it's nightmarish <laughs> and amazing at the same time. So we just <clears throat> always call out Kyle Ben when it's necessary. You should post it if you I have it on hand. Oh, I, I don't. Uh, you, my, my favorite. You, it's my in favorite. Discord, isn't it? Yeah, it should be in the EFAP memes if you go have a look. I don't. I'm not in your Discord, though. God damn it! <laughs> uh, my favorite meme from uh, the sequel trilogy was uh, when, um, or from the Last Jedi, is when it's uh, the scene from the Last Jedi or the Force Awakens where he says, "Take off that mask. You don't need it." And uh, they they switch it to, uh, "Take off that shirt. You don't need it." And uh, <laughs> Ben Swallow says, "What do you think you'll see if I do?" And Han Solo says, "The gains of my son." And so he takes it off, and it's got a picture of Ben Swallow <laughs> with his shirt off. It's like, Dear God Lord. damn it! Hey, um, I got added on Twitter with an article that says Obsidian wasn't aware of Outer Worlds being Epic exclusive. What? What? Like I haven't read the article, but that's Oosh. quite a title. Uh, can you link me to that? I can indeed. So was that like a publisher, like a backdoor publisher move or something? Rags the researcher. I... Uh, can jump. Um. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Jump right into this. Just got here. Been waiting for this. Mm. The sad part is that ultra powerful beings can be dramatic. Common Rider Kuga has the main character slowly becoming physically a world-ending force while struggling to maintain his humanity. I mean, uh, I reference One Punch Man. Having an ultra powerful being does not mean the story ends. It's just, god damn, they didn't even try with Captain Marvel. Uh, thoughts on Frank Oz defending TLJ's portrayal of Yoda? Uh, I have not seen ex exact comments, but I mean, I'm sure he had loads of fun on set, and he was like, "Stop being mean to this film." Yoda was fine. He uh, he he said some stupid shit. So, um, yeah. let me let me see if I. Yeah, I was curious. Is, it up, is I there did a video like on super it. Super stupid. <laughs> when Apparently, I uh, yeah, go ahead. No, when I was told about it on my stream, I was like, all I saw was was his um. He said, "Hey, you know, I have pretty good knowledge of Yoda, and I thought it was consistent with the character." And I was like, "There's no big deal with that." And people were like, "No, no, no, no." He said, "He said fans were uh fans were upset because uh they had expectations, and it's not the filmmaker's job to meet fan expectations." <laughs> What? Uh, what? How the fuck do you come to that conclusion? 
Like it's crazy. I, that's not the exact quote, but that's that's pretty much what he said. Um, and I'm just like, oh my god, because he's like, I'm tired of this Jedi thing, is what he said. I mean, he meant like the last Jedi. He's tired of people criticizing it. Um, people just didn't have their expectations met. Uh, it's not the filmmaker's job to meet fan expectations. That's what he said. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, this is what's happening at Lucasfilm right now. This is this is what they think like. So the fact that all this keeps getting brought up just makes you think like. Yeah, yeah, everything's running great, huh? All the fans are really happy. Yeah. How much must I donate to see Wolf's bald head? Wolf, why would put you... a price on that? <laughs> <laughs> why would like, you be which... interested in seeing my head? <laughs> which bald head are we talking about here? Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, please specify. The plot, the plot thickens. Uh, since we're talking about superheroes, have any of you watched My Hero Academia? It's one of the best superhero stories out there. I have not. Nope. And I'll take the two silences as no's as well. Nope. <laughs> Rags, RE2 remake review when? Maybe when I get around to finishing it. <laughs> uh, Gonna do it on a higher difficulty so the chat doesn't like go crazy on you again? I generally... Um, whenever I play a game, I always do like the default difficulty because that's sort of like what is set as the the normal difficulty. Yeah, but you said so, the game was easy. Yeah, it was inconsistent. How so? When you shoot zombies, their behavior is different. Like sometimes How you shoot so? them and nothing. Like you shoot a zombie, and the, like the head sometimes, and like they just don't nothing happens. And sometimes you shoot them and they recoil back, like they've been shot in the head, and you, you know go around them and stuff. Well, real quick, what is y'all's okay. favorite uh, Resident Evil game? Four. 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 I needed to know. Perfect <laughs> answer. <laughs> the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> the correct. I do still have a lot of uh, nostalgia for the first one, especially the the, the GameCube remake. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, four just changed the game completely. Like four was just incredible. I just don't like tank controls in really any game, so four was like, oh, I like this. Four is tank controls. Uh, it's not the same as like. It's not Resident the same, Evil but it is. Well, the yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, one, two, and three aren't tank controls. They, the, I don't even know how you describe the weird. Because I know weird. what you're saying. I agree with you. I'm not sure if I'd call it tank it's, controls. It's clunky as well, fuck. It, yeah, because <laughs> like you'll be going like you'll have your thumbstick pressed to like the yeah, left no, and right. the camera. Go it's completely different. It's the combo of tank controls plus the awkward placements of cameras, which. I know there's a, there's an argument floating out there. It's like, yeah, but the uh, the that creates atmosphere, and they can frame things deliberately to give you blah blah. blah. And I'm just like, yeah, I know. I no, just no. found it really irritating. I find it really irritating too when you you know there's a zombie around the corner, but you, the stupid fucking camera means that now I have to like bob in and out and wait for it to come around the corner to see it, which is just just tedious to me. <laughs> and people yeah. are like, it's scary, and I'm like, eh. yeah, tank controls was the wrong way to frame it but I, I preferred the gameplay of four as opposed to one and i don't even i'd never played three and i only played like a bit of two a very long time ago so i don't even really remember it yeah i love four. enjoy two but then three was really i was kind of getting tired of the series when i played three and six is four, objectively the worst though <laughs> well i've heard that they're remaking three which means we're very close to a remake of four guys oh. Very close. Uh, with, uh, yeah, now that that excites me. Yeah, that could be pretty good. Uh, Jeremy, love your channel, but not just any racist can join EFAP. You have to be really <laughs> racist, sexist, be a super toxic. racist. <laughs> really, really racist, sexist, toxic old writer, man, baby, to join. Sorry. <laughs> just look at so look at look at my Twitter. Look at my Twitter mentions. I I definitely qualify. So. Uh. <laughs> I wrote this line for my Legend of Korra book 2 critique. Tell me what you think. I don't remember Korra opening her chakras like Aang. Maybe banging Mako opened her chakras wider than her vagina. Wolf's the only person that can really judge that. I've only watched, like, the first season of Korra a long time ago, and I really hated it, <laughs> so... <laughs> then I watched like a couple of the episodes in two, and I was like, "Well, it's still garbage. I'm not doing it anymore." Yes, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe apply a little bit more s subtlety to the to the joke to imply the payoff, but then also anything that goes against Legend of Korra is probably deserved. So I mean, I don't... man, I was so excited for Korra because 
airbender and they're finally gonna do more stuff in this universe and then like the whole i'm you the avatar and you're gonna deal, deal with it <laughs> i even like as a kid because when did that come out that was a long time ago i remember even as a kid i was like there's something very wrong with this ang would not do that <laughs> Cora season one release. If date. only this wasn't made for kids and I could criticize it. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> 2012. So I was really? I was 15 then. Huh. Well, um, actually, it is 9 p.m. here and I am super hungry. Um, I need to go and I need to eat something. So you guys do your thing. Go ahead. Enjoy your whatnots. I will. I will keep this on and playing uh, with the speakers and everything, but I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna make me something to eat because I'm very I'm famished. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was good to meet you, man. It was great. It, I do not doubt that for a single second. <laughs> yeah, Th thanks for being thanks for being a guest on our show again, Rob. I'm yeah. I'm always glad to be invited back. <laughs> Every once in a while, I I'll go places and I worry uh, I'll probably not getting invited back to this place. So I steal like the toothpicks and the mm -hmm. lighters and some of the you know, shampoos. So until then, I will catch you guys later on the flip side. Toodle pip cheeriosa. Toodle pip cheeriosa. <laughs> Goodbye, Raggers. No, bye bye. All right. Uh, so all crusades are just Iraq deserved it, Uzalu. <laughs> uh, I wish we could take every son of a bitch who said everything is political, put them all on an island and nuke it till the whole thing turned into a landmass of irradiated glass. I just wanted Jesus to watch Christ. I just wanted to watch movies and play video games. <laughs> <laughs> and they say that we're the violent ones. No, uh, it's just the chat. Yeah, it's just the chat. All aboard the brood cruise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can name a guy. The dude you had a debate with Muller on your channel, the not so great debate. Uh, oh, they, that's probably in reference to when we were like, who says X? That was, that was a good man. He, that was a good debate, right, Wolf? Just have a... No, right. <laughs> uh, oh, God, the hiccups again. Hey, my wife's boyfriend's wife's boyfriend <laughs> likes this film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Kiwiland Massacre was just a live reenactment of Anakin slaughtering not just the men, but the women and the children, too. <laughs> The words of the Undertaker bring me a body bag. I'm not sure who they're referring to with that comment, but yes, the Undertaker would would say such thing. My granddad calls Luke Skyjacker. Right. Hey. <laughs> it's a little off there, but close enough. This guy is calling okay. for jihad against logic and objectivism, so uh, we have to call a rebellion and crusade against relativism, determinism, postmodernism. I don't like. I can't even summarize the video we covered today. Like, it's not. What did we learn? Um. Holy shit! What did we learn? Uh, <laughs> wait, what did we learn? <laughs> like, like my mind is drawing a blank, and it's like, well, he all of the Star Wars movies, including the show that he didn't watch. So. <laughs> I know the Undertaker we didn't even, is a we, wrestler. We, I didn't know why they would make that comment. <laughs> like, that's well, what that. I want to know. I want to know. Like the the only thing we wanted him to review, The Force Unleashed, he didn't review. <laughs> 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 you know, like damn, I was looking forward to that. It'll be the next I don't know video, if I I'm would sure. want to review that. I know. I know. Wolf actually has a, a a retrospective on. Wolf, you should plug yeah. plug it. Go plug it inside. <laughs> People got mad at me for that video for asking a rhetorical question at the beginning because the whole point of my retrospective <laughs> reviews is to be like, okay, here's what I used to think about it. Now I'm going to the same way or if my opinion has changed. So I asked the question at the beginning of that video, was The Force Unleashed one of, if not the best Star Wars games ever made? And despite at the end of the video coming to the conclusion that it's really more like a six out of ten it's good but it hasn't aged very well people took the quote at the beginning of the video which is a totally rhetorical question that i answered and said no to and they're like wolf thinks this is the best video the best game the best star wars game ever made unsub it's like no, <laughs> you, you, oh my god no, watch, the the no, about... watch the video first EFAP Gaming Gay World When? 
<laughs> post to this if we if it's like multiplayer and <laughs> gay world could, oh. could totally work oh my god gay world that'd be <laughs> Kylo ran more like toxic brood yeah every frame a toxic brood why do people keep that why do people keep on thinking i'm a nazi i'm not a nazi i'm japanese i'm part of the riken siu kai aka the party responsible for Na nanking and Bataan death march hashtag Hirohito did nothing wrong. Um, what in the world is that supposed to mean? You're supposed to be my <laughs> translator, Wolf. Like, like, like I genuinely... I, I don't know. What do you, you mean? you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Tragedy the Toxic Brood? <laughs> uh, Deadpool and Captain Marvel are kind of similar. Both their character personalities are poor with bad stories, except Deadpool has some decent stories too, and actual character arcs while she doesn't. Is that a, are you referring to the comics or the movies? Because goddamn, Deadpool's better than Deadpool, Captain Marvel's uh, movies. De Deadpool has an actual fan base and a following. Captain Marvel doesn't. This this like this one guy, maybe two guys who like Captain Marvel. Something. <laughs> <laughs> guys. Uh, In quotations. <laughs> destroy Star Wars. Kill it if you have to. Toxic brood. Yeah, that's something they'd say. Hey Wolf, can you say the sentence "you mincy little queer"? What? Am I supposed to say that in a specific way, or? Yeah, I th you'd think they'd request an accent or something. I don't know. Is it is it the Lyle one? Is that what they want from me? I don't know. That's usually the one they want from me. You mincy little queer. <laughs> I'll end up in an EFAP <laughs> meme one day. Uh, nice to see you two on EFAP. Enjoy everyone's channels. With the, will the High Council do a watch party of the Old Republic cinematic trailers? We can do that. I would actually be interested to do that. I'll talk oh, to the guys. Man. Those cinematic trailers look so cool back in the day. Uh, and what's then the up game my, came out. What's up, my brooders? Let's take down the biggest meteor empire in history. One seven-hour YouTube stream at a time, just like our fascist <laughs> forefathers wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, sub party animals and lovable a holes. Um, destroy the franchise, corrupt it all. <laughs> Alex Jones. Destroy the franchise, corrupt it all. <laughs> he needs to narrate everything. Oh God, Jeremy, did you ever see? Did you see the uh, uh, the second Joe Rogan show with Alex on there? Uh, with Jones? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, man, that was, that was <laughs> like, a meme machine of a of a oh screen. My, my God, it was awesome. Yeah. I I love when I was, uh, uh, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I I just love that part where he like loses his mind and he's like, the aliens are coming from the other dimension <laughs> trying to steal the children, and I'm not gonna deal with it. And, and I I was just <laughs> laughing so hard. And then um, Eddie Bravo comes in and he's like, Eddie, I, I want you to put me in a chokehold. And Joe's like, no, don't do not do it. <laughs> oh, that was a great show. Love it. Dude, uh, the fact that they are trying to take this type of entertainment from us uh, shows what type of people they are. The Mahler, fact you want to take <laughs> Alex Jones from us, he is so entertaining. Yeah. God Mahler, damn. Do, you, do you think we can get Alex Jones on the show? Oh I don't know. God. Can we? <laughs> I do you think, fucking love do you I will, think can, can I just say I want to come back for that show if that happens? <laughs> do you want to do dude, this? We wouldn't even need a video, but we, <laughs> we want could, one. Dude, would there even be any controversy? Like, can we just get Alex Jones? I don't have to. I, like, I don't even know how to contact. <laughs> I don't know why you would come on Eva. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, find a way for us to contact Alex Jones, and we will get him on the show. Oh, that would be great. Could you guys, and somebody just said, uh, get a, do a car video with him. Oh, man, if I could do a car video with Alex Jones, that would be the greatest thing ever. I would have him <laughs> just screaming at people uh, as we drive down the road. If we could just get Alex to say some crazy shit for five hours, that would be... I just what his crazy. opinion on lizard people is. Go for it. <laughs> um, oh, man. John Adams was my favorite Spider-Man. That's... Yeah, he was he was good in the Amazing Spider-Man too. You can only like three fifths of the Last Jedi. I think that's fair. Oh we no! We refuse to allow you to like anymore. Spider Verse Two stars John Adams. Wouldn't tell <laughs> these guys are amazing. Keep being awesome. Honor. I demand the Sudenton Land. I wish I had chat inside my brain so I could get every single reference instead of being <laughs> a bumbling idiot when reading some of these. 
least, at least you're not the. Uh, at least I don't feel alone now because they kill me for all of my misspelling and mis uh, misspeaking on um you know my streams on super chats. I'm just like blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. so. You do your best, you know, and then they're like, you're it ever you're it terrible. happens to all like, of us. Oh. Yeah, it happens to all of us. So I hate everything. Is cinema toxic? Toxic brood, maybe, but. You have the right to like The Last Jedi and to accept my shackles. Accept you, Wolf. Fuck you, Wolf. Wolf is waifu. Oh. Um. Wait. Impressive. Isn't. Wait. Fuck Wolf, but Wolf is waifu. Mm -hmm. that, that's a. That's. Those it's are hard to keep track of how that works. <sighs> so, any standards are now absurd demands. That explains about modern media, actually. No, all they say, they just turn your standard or request or demand or whatever into the most ridiculous version of it, and then they say it's an absurd demand. The best way to win an argument. The toxic brood mantra, that's how we're gonna win, not saving what we love, fighting what we hate. Oh yes. Beautiful message, really. Oh, imagine like, you know, Star Wars Down the Line was given to someone who wanted to make up for Episode Eight, and they had a character have that, like, theme throughout the movie not about saving what you love, it's about fighting what you hate. Prevent them from <laughs> ever getting it. You're just like, oh, guys, that's... <laughs> you must have hated The Last Jedi. Is it too much to make Legends canon again? They wiped it in one sentence. I think they could bring it back with just one. Is that what... Uh, is that what he means? They wanted the actual good stuff back, or is that toxic? I, I would assume anything that the guy doesn't agree with is toxic, so... It seems like he was in favor of any decision Disney have made. And it's it's these people that, that talk about toxicity and the internet and how bad everything is. It's like, oh my god, I, I pity you if you ever join like an Xbox Live Call of Duty, you know, chat back in 2011 or some shit. You would have never survived. You know what I mean? Like, God, this is nothing. What we deal with on the internet is nothing compared to online video games and the shit talking and the amount of times my mother has been fucked. <laughs> like. You know what I mean? Like, these it's people around. just don't, don't live in the real world. Apparently, Xbox Live people had, had their way with her. But uh, <laughs> I just I just wonder what utopia these people for all these years, you know what I mean? The, the same just... place where every single person on Xbox Live, all their dads and their uncles worked at Microsoft. <laughs> That's right. I oh, can get yeah. you banned. I can get you banned. <laughs> it's like, God. They had a lot of confirmed kills, you know? I found oh, oh, oh god, that old meme. The beautiful meme. <laughs> Dude, I remember I was like, I must have been like 11 or 12 when I first saw that meme. And it was a dude replying to me in like the YouTube comments section. And I was like, I didn't realize it was a meme at that point. Because it was like really new. And I was like, oh man, why is he so mad at me? <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever guys ever seen that message on Xbox Live about the dinosaur egg? No, what's that? Never. No, what's that? Somebody sent somebody was mad at somebody in an online game for killing them or something, and I just had to pull it up because I just remembered it and it said, uh, "I'm going." <laughs> God damn it! I love Xbox Live bullshit. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> I don't know if I can say this without laughing. All right, I'm going to travel back in time, find a dinosaur egg, bring it back oh, to I the know future, sit on it till it hatches, raise it, love it, and then watch it mangle your lifeless, helpless carcass while I touch myself inappropriately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, fair enough. You're going to go to those legs, you know? <laughs> oh, but we're toxic because we don't like The Last Jedi. Like these people, like please join Xbox Live for just just five minutes. <laughs> oh God, so good. Imagine this Steam game, Gay Rape Day World. Yeah, <laughs> if you combine them, it's just that becomes the ultimate. Imagine we had an EFAP gaming title that said Gay Rape Day World. <laughs> 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 it's the test of how long do we have before we're booted? Let's find well, out. You'd have to put it GRDP. <laughs> yeah, people would know. People would know. <laughs> People would know. Love all your work. Here's some beer money, guys. Watch. Enjoy your poo, rags. Oh, that's <laughs> that's where we're at in the super chats right now. <laughs> oh boy. Um, bring on Louis. Le no. Oh wait, yeah, that was still earlier, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Bring so. on Louis Levi or Vey. I'm still not 100 percent on that. I think it's Le Levi. The, the rags said it earlier. I should have remembered that. I think it's Levi. Bring on Louis. There you go. I solved it. I'll just say Louis. 
have a long man off. I mean, Rags has said he's interested in coming on, so we probably will. Um, I just love this community. We love you as well, James. You're an extremely generous person. We're starting to assume <laughs> might be like a millionaire or something. <laughs> he he uh, put in another super chat, um, like maybe 15 or so minutes ago, and he was like, don't worry, guys, this is my pay. This for his what, sorry? From his Broke paycheck, up. not his tax returns. Oh. <laughs> Explode like, oh, when man. I speak. Uh, words can't melt steel, the toxic brood, whole my rhino milk. See, the, eventually, EFAP will have its own language because of all the memes, and it'll just be constant. We'll never know what anyone's ever saying. He spelled <laughs> harassment like Tommy Wiseau. Um, <laughs> spelled a lot of things like that. <laughs> Knowing the Star Wars chick likes you guys, I must insist you have her on. One, so we can look slash listen to women. That's a good meme. Because, And two, because she's pretty damn good also. Again, yeah, we're on board with it. Uh, it's just a matter of... I mean, fucking hell. Jeff took way too long to be able to come on here. And that's not his fault, it's our fault. Okay? Getting guests in order. Because we usually do an EFAB once per week at most. And then... Uh, times two guests, one guest, returning guests. Just guests, 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 guests. So it's like... Yes, basically. We're we're on board with pretty much having everybody. We we had Major Lee, so I think it's at the point now where we can say we'd have everybody. She put the expressionless face <laughs> in the chat. Is that bad? She's, she's not impressed with you, Mahler. Is she, is she aware of, she must be aware of the Major Lee meme for the women thing. Uh, did you guys have Major Lee on? Well didn't she say mention oh, something Sorry. to that effect? It like is Major Lee, right? That's his name. Yeah. yeah, no, you had you yeah. guys had him on. You know him? <laughs> How'd that go? I mean, I, I know of his video. Oh, you know of his video. Yeah, you should check it out. It's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't I think there. I, I, yeah, I had uh, to work that night. It uh, turns out actually, it was a really good thing. Because Anna did tell me that he 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 was on here, and I guess it just I forgot about to mention it, but she did tell me about that. I need to watch that video because yeah. he 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 has me in his in his video uh, among everybody else. So. Yeah, we covered his video. It's sad that we didn't make it in, me or Wolf. Like, what the hell, you know? We deserve a little bit of, a little bit of appreciation for helping everybody hate, you know? I heard that. I, and I already said it. I know, I know, before you made that comment that I remembered you told me. Oh. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have to check that one out. Yeah, though. he was a friendly dude. He was just, he said a lot of funny things. Like, he, he was like... The, oh, we, I can't remember some of the best quotes. A lot of his quotes are in my April Fool's Day video, so it'll be fun for people who've seen it. He said a lot of funny shit. Uh, let's just put it that way. Good guy. We, we totally have him on again. Just ra no. rags, rags might have to take a leave of absence <laughs> Wolf can put up with it this time around. <laughs> Slice and dice, my brother. Slice and dice, brothers. Uh, verbal terror is... Veritable... Verbal terrorism is melting steel beams. <laughs> I think so. Rax, to you all defending SJWs, they're not a brood, you're a brood, they're a clan. If you had to choose between them, I'd go with brood. I think it's cooler, you know? It's like a, like a hive mind sort of situation going on where we feed haters regularly with our videos. Beautiful system. Um, am I the only one who thinks the video game donkey's content isn't as good as it used to be and that his game reviews are just kind of bad now? I don't watch him. Don't think Wolf does. Either. Yeah. We'll see what chat thinks. They can review. Uh, I could give a fuck. Rags. Rag is... That's probably in reference to him explaining the grammar behind uh, I couldn't give a shit or I could give a shit. Uh, spider butts. Before I... Was able to pick up on this stream because I'm down with the sickness. In other news, I've beaten <laughs> DMC5. It's a great game. Go play it if you can. I've pretty much only heard good things outside of Tonal Loke saying it's a repetitive button match. I so hope that Fringy comes back for that video. Well, if we, the thing is, like, I don't know if we can even cover that video because none of us have played it. No, 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 no. On his channel. Oh, dude. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Fringy, him. come back. Froggy. I feel like... Uh, Froggy. Every time we have him on and poke him about it, he gets closer and closer to being like, mm, maybe. Fringy just needs to make videos again because he makes good videos. Gotta poke him. Uh, these memes are amazing. Laugh my ass off. True. 
Yeah. Unbelievably amazing. Fucking... But I think John Adams would be proud <laughs> of his legacy. Uh, the Toxic Brew is the best Cronenberg film. Remember, guys, what is that? Spider Web Oracle, I think. Yeah. We might need a Trump counter at this rate. We we managed to survive with just the Toxic <laughs> one. As a poli sci major, I appreciate any celeb who doesn't talk about politics. Usually, they have no idea what they're talking about on either side. Yeah. Uh. I was going to say, like, when we got to that point, it's like, it's just preferable. That's all. When you, like, follow an account, something very overtly obvious, and then they do a different thing. I guess in the same way that if I followed my account and then I started talking about sports all the time, it would probably be weird. Be like, why are they talking about movies? <laughs> like, why is he talking about video games? Which was sport? Okay. Especially if I started getting everything wrong. I found out. I find out every time I do a live stream and I start talking sports, my viewers start going down. So they're like, "We don't come here for this bullshit." I'm like, Sorry. What's a gay man? Go talk about Star Wars. <laughs> That's where the cool guys talk about it. <laughs> um, That's right. But yeah, and it's not that they can't talk about any of these things. It's just that I don't know. You see the politics talking, you're like, "Oh no, I go to you to get away from this." Mm. Uh, they need to be like Mike. When asked in an interview why he doesn't discuss politics, Michael Jordan replied, because Republicans buy shoes too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, M, where is the 90s... 90% 90 of TLJ is first draft from? Hell. <laughs> Umri Ambeev. That person, Mike Welsh. I was born into the toxic brood as well. I mean, we all were, let's be honest. Even before two years old, Wolf was already indoctrinated in time. Apparently I was down with the brood. Apparently my two-year-old self was responsible for Jake Lloyd's harassment. Yes. Yeah, makes sense, right? Simon Pegg has fault for some prequel hate too. I think he actually uh, admitted to that, right? He said he has regrets about it or whatever. Which is interesting. Yeah, finally. Because it's kind of like, Pegg. I wonder if so. that's brought on only by the fact that he was a part of the production that got a shit ton of hate or whatever, yep. or he knew the people involved. And just... No, I think, well, I think you know, Simon Pegg's all over the place. He's been shitting all over the prequels for as long as I can remember. Um, Force Awakens. And then um, I guess now he says that now he misses George Lucas's touch in Star Wars, and you can see that the, the something's missing from Star Wars. He's recently said that. Well, like, so I... I TLJ and TFA oh, God, will not right. survive time. The more time goes on, the worse. The more people are just going to look back like, oh yeah, it wasn't... Uh. 100%. 100%. And, and I, as one of the few people probably still in this you know, fandom menace thing and, and all that, that, that still claims to have, you know, that I like TFA, um, it just gets worse every day, man. I, honestly, I haven't watched it, though. I, I think we watched it once on the hike catching so obviously i didn't pay a lot of attention to it because it was on my channel so i had to manage the super chats in the chat but i have not watched the force awakens since the fucking last jedi because i don't want to watch it that's that speaks volumes you know what i mean i don't want to watch that goddamn movie i have no desire to see it so that's that says a lot you know what i mean it's really god damn it's just it's so aggravating to see where we're at with everything but you're right and why are we putting fucking all of the other problems in the last jedi the whole dust off your shoulder bullshit like like that's gonna age well you know yeah. like that's such a contemporary thing like you're putting memes in fucking star wars movies now you know like it just it doesn't make any sense you know when you said see around kid um i'm a skeptic yep. thought that was an anime reference and I was, I remember being like, it just had solo, and, he, and then like even Shu, because they were doing their review. It's still up, I think you can find it. They like ranting about how dumb it is that they have anime in Star Wars, and it's like, <laughs> um, <laughs> <sighs> sure. gotta go watch the quite frankly podcast. See you guys. Well, go have fun with it. I've never heard of that one. Do you know what that is? Quite frankly podcast. Mm. Hmm. Okay, with them. Uh, this guy is a hypocrite. Oh, you just said never hear of it. Uh, this guy's a hypocrite attacking Papa George. The whole video is confusing. It's like, don't be mean to cast the crew members just because you don't like a film. Also, fuck George Lucas, he ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. 
Oh, that was that was a doozy right there, man. Holy shit. I, I thought based on the title, based in and, and you watched what the first few minutes and you're like, okay, this is a good one, you know, for us to pick apart, you know. And so I'm thinking he's going to lay into the fandom menace and toxic he really didn't. You know what I mean? He didn't really we thought he would do. <laughs> mm. It's a bigger expectations. Like we... Um Incredibly strong and incredibly weak. First order. Thumbs him up. Weekend at Alderon. Oh yeah, you did read that out. Uh I'm sick of a you people that bring big government and sex into everything. It's just politics, sex, more politics, more sex, all the goddamn time. Right on, dude. So, bringing sex into everything, is that a problem? I don't know. AK Honey dicked the fans and George. I think these are all about when he was going on his rant about prequels or something. <laughs> what, are the, what are the two? Uh, Strawman is my favorite superhero. That could be a funny, uh, funny superhero story. Straw Man. Could make some, some good commentary there. Social commentary with Straw Man. <laughs> uh, since Leia is a Disney princess, would her castle just be a pile of ashes? It's, they're all immortalized. They'll get to, have you, have you heard, like, Wolf, the idea is like, oh, Alien gets to be a Disney princess. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know if you Oh, dear. Away. I, I haven't heard that, but man. Uh we need Ray and Captain Marvel to fight. There's no that doesn't Universe explodes. Nothing nothing can happen there. It's gonna be awful. Everyone dies. I heard about the toxicity bell ringing across Philadelphia when John Adams, the spider sage, praise be, and Thomas Jefferson <laughs> chugs some rhino milk and helps sign the declaration of Phantom Menace. Yeah, it's all in the law, like the direct quote, I think. Love you Gull Wolf don't know what that is. And toxic rhino milk equals toxic. Yeah, that guy needs to get laid. I'm sure he did. Look, he likes The Last Jedi. There's a lot of, uh, <laughs> that's, you know, that gets you right in. Thank you all for calling out these idiots and their stupidity. I must, go, must ask, do you think with the Disney deal owning Fox, will things get worse? Potentially. Depends what they're oh, up boy. to. Who knows what they? I'm really they, interested they, to see what they do with all this these franchises. Like, do they have plans? Well, I've said, man, like the the success of Captain Marvel is a bad sign, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of them pushing more, you know, politically driven identity politics into films. So I think Solo was a wake up call for them, but not like a big wake up call, but just like a, like oh man, you know, maybe people are tired of our bullshit, but. Because you had Ghostbusters 2016 that kind of fell apart, obviously failed, and then you had Solo that was basically a failure, mainly because of The Last Jedi and the fact that it was just a movie that a lot of people just didn't want to see. But Captain Marvel making over a billion dollars, that's going to give them a lot of confidence moving forward just continue to just focus on their agenda-driven storytelling I think, and not just focusing on good storytelling. I think everyone's like, as long as Endgame can just squeak out, just get it out of there nice and intact, and then... At least we have that. But we'll see. Um, the kiss Luke and Leia did in Empire isn't incest because they said no chromo afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> no chromo. This guy uh, should have damn well noticed that she's literally only a producer and that entirely deals with money. I'm sorry, he's literally retarded. Some producers can force decisions that can ruin films and vice versa. There are things that producers can do can improve films. The problem is we'll it's never true. know exactly what Kathleen Kennedy did for any of those movies. Most Our assume... Producers have... I was just going to say most assume that it's not much. I mean, a producer is a very uh, a vague term. Like, mm -hmm. if you look at Man of Steel, Christopher Nolan was the producer. Um, Zack Snyder and Goyer had to go to Christopher Nolan to convince him to let them uh, kill Zod the way they wanted to Chris Nolan had to sign off on that. And at first he was against it and apparently they sold him on it. So producer can mean something as little as money and they can't have major creative input. It really depends on who the producer is. Um, and so, and then a Christopher Nolan was the executive producer on Batman v Superman and he had 
literally nothing to do with it from everything that that you know we've heard i mean he had nothing to do with it it's just his name attached to it because of whatever so it's it's a vague term and nobody really knows um you know what these people do on a movie by movie basis yeah it's really hard to to call but the idea that it's like you can blame her for all those great movies like uh hesitate <laughs> Um, oh. no, Tara Strong is your childhood. She did the voice of who is it again? Well, if you'd know this, you watch loads of children's we, cartoons. We, we, yeah, yeah, we did. What? We did an we did an interview with her for Geeks and Gamers. Not me. My team did. Um, what, what are we talking about? Here? Tara Strong. Strong. Who did she voice most famously? Who? What? Tara Strong. She's like a voice actress. Tara I forget Strong? who she. Oh, is Bubbles. She in, She's one of the Powerpuff like, Girls, I guess. I, yeah, I've never heard Probably that done name. a bunch of work on Cartoon Network. Yeah, I, I know the name, but not... Oh, Raven as well? And Ahsoka? Was she Ahsoka? Oh, no, she's not Ahsoka. Uh, oh. No, Ahsoka's Ashley Eckstein. Uh, Kennedy Milk? Part of the Toxic, part of the Crew? <laughs> That's a fucking... Pirates of the Caribbean 2 reference. Well, 3. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my it's God, where Wolf. it all went downhill. Oh my god, Wolf, she's literally a witch from your book, but she can't do her disguise right. She changes a bit in every clip. The hell? I think he's talking about Kathleen Kennedy. <laughs> Is there witches in your book? Yeah. <laughs> Elaboration. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard's guts, boy. I am the president of the United States of America, clothed in immense power. You will procure me these votes. I don't know what you're voting for, but I agree with it. I like Jurassic World 2 more than TLJ because Chris Pratt didn't try to kill Blue in his sleep. That's a plus. I'll give you that. <laughs> That's a plus. Oh, it's, it, I'll, I'll definitely take Jurassic World 2 over Jurassic, or, uh, Last Jedi. Yeah, I would too. Even though it's not like... Know. You're literally dealing with like one good Jurassic movie, and then two is like, oof. Three is like, oof. Four is... Oof. Five is... Oof. <laughs> it's just like, what's going I'm on? It's like, I don't know how they did it, but they managed to get worse with every single sequel. I will say, I do like Jurassic World 3, or Jurassic Park 3. What about 2? Oh, I didn't like 2 at all. It's, I thought 2 was interesting. really bad. There is, there is a know, discussion on whether or not 2 or 3 is worse. You know, I, I gotta be honest, I, I hate 2 and 3, but I thought there was more to like in 3 than 2. I think I'd agree with that. Something, something about... Dumb. Yeah, something about Alan Grant I, coming back. I, I and... feel like, I don't know, I feel like the tone of 3, I liked it more than 2. 2 seemed way too silly. Hmm. Especially with, like, taking... Where'd they go? Like, San Francisco with the dinosaur? San Diego. I think it was San they, Diego. she defeats San Diego. them with gymnastics. Did you love that? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I, I felt like it was the silliness of 3 that, or 2 that killed it for me, and 3 was like, okay, this is terrible but i like it a little bit more did you like it when yeah. they horrifically murder the innocent man who tries to save everyone's lives by tearing him in two yeah. i just oh that'll, god that'll yeah. never sit well with me it was so cool that was, yeah that was like the jurassic was... world kill on the babysitter where it's just like fuck movie <laughs> yeah <laughs> Very simple. We don't want to see characters who are, have done nothing wrong suffer immensely. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Why is this happening? Do it to evilmans. That's how you do it. Uh, it's okay to keep roasting and hating on Zack Snyder and Colin Trevorrow, but not Ryan Johnson. He's a good boy. Well, did you not get the impression from the video? It, it seemed to be, it's from a movie I like, then leave them alone. <laughs> You're like, yes. All right, then. Yes. <laughs> that's Mel Brooks should direct episode nine. It would make it so much better. It would just be, it would just be space bulls again, and it would be amazing. Uh, right. Don't share it with any one Mauler, but yourself a tall glass of redacted and keep on making the contact. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's Rhino. Milk. People are clamping down on the Rhino milk. Uh, the difference between Trevoro and Kennedy is that Trevoro didn't tank a franchise in two sittings. Uh, it depends how you define tank, right? It's like, they're still making money. I guess Solo didn't make money, so... Jurassic have that over... Star Wars right now. There's no, not well, a single thing. I, I don't know. We, we'll have to see with the third one, because I don't think anyone liked the second one aside from Shinobi. Uh, I think you might be underestimating 
the average people they just watch it they see the dinosaurs it's cool it's fun i'm pretty but sure it, it made a lot so of money bad. it really was but they've all been pretty bad <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 that is going. true. Jurassic Park is a pretty long running franchise. Not had a good movie since the first one. It's a shame. Yeah, I, I, I am going to be interested to see how this third one play, uh, turns out because the second one was really bad. And the first one I thought really played. Uh, I, I feel like there was a lot of uh, the Force Awakens elements to the first one with the nostalgia aspect and the fact that Chris Pratt is just such a big time star. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, he's fun. You know what's weird is they confirmed already that there's no cities, and it's like, well, why do you have them on the mainland then if you're not going to do anything with them? Who knows, like, what um, they're actually planning. Like, if it's called Jurassic World, colon, like, you know, something, something, it's like, oh, God, they could do, like, Mission Impossible. They could literally just go infinitely with, with this. Jurassic World Annihilation, Jurassic World Reloaded, Jurassic World... Oh, it, no. Jurassic World Endgame. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey Don't Rag, love your TFA series, but could you release them a bit closer together? Thanks, champ. Rag has told me that he's working on them extensively and that they cannot come out at the same time. So that that, that is the answer. Rampage was the best Star Wars movie of that May. Did you see that one? <laughs> I laughed at it. Yeah, I think we've mentioned it's just like it's it is so so dumb. stupid. Come on, Rampage with the Rock. Yeah, the film yeah. knows. Oh, it's I thought dumb. it was. <laughs> stupid and painfully self-aware of its stupidity, therefore making it hilarious and entertaining as fuck. Did, I did loved you, it. Did you see the new Jumanji? Uh, you know, I did not like it. Really? I was surprised by how much I, I actually no, liked it. Exit. I did like seeing Karen Gillian in her shorts. I really appreciated that. <laughs> I respect <laughs> Whammon a lot. Um, I like but... seeing Jack Black in his shorts. I, really that. <laughs> I didn't hate. I didn't hate the new, new Jumanji, but I. I guess. Um, I guess I just had different expectations for it. I've only seen it once, and I know everybody loves that fucking movie, but me. So yeah, I, I went into it was and was like, man, this is gonna suck. And then I came out and was like. That was kind of good. I think that's why I liked it was because I was expecting it to be awful. So um, I'm gonna have to watch it again. Yeah, it was it was fun. Hail the high E fab. This is awesome. L three lived on in the OT movies as she lived in Solo as a slave. <laughs> it <just> reminds <laughs> me that throughout the entire OT that she's actually there. That's like oh no. Solo was like a tutorial level in a video game. I'm not sure what that means exactly. <laughs> it's like I don't really know what that means. Something that's like, like a horror. It... Oh my god! I'm thinking worst... I know what they mean by that. I think they mean because it was really hollow, bland, and there wasn't a lot to it. Because that's kind of what a tutorial level is. Mm. I'm At thinking least that... like a Halo One tutorial has the effect to only last like a minute and a half before it's finally over. True. That's true. Hey, real quick before I don't want to drag us out too long because I'm actually gonna have to go here in a minute. But uh, Halo, you're a big Halo fan. Um, yeah. Tell me your tell me your evolution with Halo because uh, I find Halo fascinating in terms of the fandom and what happened with it. So obviously oh, yeah. you were a big fan of one and two. There's no doubt about that. I know that for a fact because you're a Halo fan. Where <laughs> take me take me from three on. Man, I so many. I'm I'm controversial in the Halo crowd because there's some people that really like me. Some people really, really don't. Um, Halo 1, I love it. Halo 2, I love it. Halo 3, I love it. Halo 3 ODST, I like it a lot, um, but it was falsely advertised and overpriced. Um, Reach, I really didn't like because of what it did to the gameplay and lore. There were good parts to it, but that was like the first one I actually didn't like. Wars, I was okay with. I never felt very passionately about it. Four sucked. Its story was good. Had issues though, but for the most part, four was definitely the worst. Um, Wars two is eh. It, it's a really nothing game. Spartan Assault eh. Spartan Strike also eh. Halo five great forge. Good multiplayer, but it feels nothing like Halo. And the worst story in the entire series. And there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not too that's not too far uh, off of a lot of people. I mean, I was never big into the multiplayer aspect of Halo. Um, only oh, because yeah, I, 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 I care I, far more about the story. 
I, I love Halo 1, 2, and 3. And um, But the, the funny thing is, is I really didn't get into the multiplayer aspect of Halo until Reach. I enjoyed the multiplayer aspect of Reach, whereas a lot of my friends that were Halo like, fuck you, Jeremy, you fucking piece of shit. This game sucks. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I didn't yeah. play the rest of them on multiplayer. Um, four and five, though, um, I, I enjoyed them. But um, it, the general consensus is kind of, you're kind of not far off from what most people say from, from my perspective. From well, there's a it. lot of people that really like Reach, um, which, I mean, there, there is stuff to like about it. But it's the stuff that it contradicts about the original story that I really just can't forgive it for. And then the gameplay changes like armor abilities and bloom and the really lazy map design since they pretty much just uh, cut and pasted uh, locations from the campaign into multiplayer, which is pretty lazy from my point of view. Um I, I thought it was a really weak game. I don't think Bungie has really put any heart into their game since like 2007 or eight. So. See, this is why I've got such a, like I'm a Nintendo guy. I don't know if you guys know that I'm a Nintendo guy and I always have been. And I'll, I'll criticize them when, when it's valid. Um, but looking at what happened with Halo, like Halo was the king. Halo one and two, Halo was the king. And, and it was still the king with three. And I felt like Halo was going to be like that relevant game franchise for the foreseeable future. You know what I mean? Um, along with, you know, Mario. But it, they didn't maintain it. You know, a lot of different, you know, things happened that obviously led them down that road. But, you know, it makes me appreciate, you know, you know Mario, the fact that Nintendo has just always stayed consistent and maintained their fan base over the years. They've had some ups and downs, clearly. But it makes me sad that Halo has fallen so far from the the height that it won't once was with the first three. Yeah. Cause I, I really love the first three. Three is like personally my favorite two would have been my favorite if it wasn't so buggy, but three is really great. But I mean, I, I still stick with halo just cause I want, I want it to improve, but I'm harshly critical of like all of them. So yeah. Good. Yeah, when you mentioned that, I knew I wanted to ask you about that before I bounced off here. I'm gonna be here for a little bit longer though. I gotta go. I gotta go feed my dogs and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, but I'm gonna yeah. hang for a little bit longer. There's another two pages, so we're, we're getting <laughs> closer to it. Um, <laughs> so from the rookie critic, he said, "Doing research. Can you guys help? How do movie theaters collect profit besides concessions? As a movie, say a movie plays at a theater and makes ten thousand dollars in one day, how much would the theater itself collect?" I, I think no that idea. depends on the theater. I think it's different. I mean, honestly, rookie. I mean, you know, I'm you do a lot of good stuff for 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 geeks and gamers and everything, and all your videos um, and shout outs you give. So, I have a I have a theater contact here in, in uh, Florida where I'm at, so I can get some information and see if that applies. And they're part of a bigger brand. Um, I can see if that applies to all theaters. I can get that info for you, but I don't have it. Yeah, I'm no theater expert, yeah, but I, I thought of. I thought it was kind of like it. De it depends on like the size of the theater and maybe the area, or at least that's what I would assume. And part two, I am curious if theaters will still be around in a few decades from now, but I'm not sure how else they can improve or make more profit. Uh, there's a good I chance they'll they be killed. Like the theater. I'm done. As someone that grew up loving going to the movies, um, it was my escape. I fucking hate going to the movies now. People can't get off their fucking phones. They can't shut the fuck up. They can't quit kicking my seat. I can't quit getting into confrontations at the theater because some jackass won't shut up. Um, I just would rather just be at home, man. Um, and you know about the showbox idea, right? No, what's that? Some kind of idea that and this has been happening for over a year now, but it's some kind of idea where like big Hollywood uh, directors are involved when they like Spielberg and and all these other people within that wheelhouse. They've they're trying to push forward this idea to have movies also release within a, a home style theater. I think you have to pay like uh, it's like a box. You have to pay like a lot of money for for the year or something, and you get access to all of the big budget releases when they release in mm -hmm. theaters. And people like Christopher Nolan and, and Quentin Tarantino are one thousand percent against it like they are very against it because you know clearly they 
they make movies that are supposed to be seen on the big screen and that's how they're looking at it because they're they're more uh, old school from that perspective so i haven't heard a lot about it though that that story was mentioned over a year ago um i haven't heard a lot out of it since then but it, it was something that was in the rumblings i personally hope something like that happens i just i just don't like going to the theaters anymore yeah um, I, I look at it like kind of like a, an event, like going to a concert, like, well, maybe not quite like going to a concert, but I, I just like to go to the theater. I like the experience. I mean, that's how it used to be. I just, people just piss me off now, but I don't like, I've, I've kind of just, um, I don't know. I don't like crowds anymore, really, which I never did, but I, I always enjoyed going for, for uh, big releases, but now it just aggravates me now. Yeah, I just find the in my time going to the cinema like there's less and less people are showing up uh and like it, it does worry me because i'm just like when is the bubble gonna pop and like it, we'd start getting mass shutdowns of different theaters everywhere that's gonna be sad like every single movie is gonna be like a direct to dvd release or, or it's gonna to be a streaming service like disney's yeah like it's gonna be like oh you gotta get the disney app to watch any disney movie or you gotta get stuff through netflix and you mm. gotta pay for all these different subscriptions to see the movies you want to see they'll probably end up being cheaper uh. though because <laughs> like movies are expensive these days it really is man it's like more than three times the price when i was a kid i feel like such an old man saying that <laughs> how it goes uh oh shit look out it's hand sad bro if you haven't watched Oral Noughts videos on Jedi Party, you can't call yourself a memer. The Super Predator is going to come and get his powers. Oh, that's actually a clever joke if you think about it. You can say that about anyone without referring to them as being Tismic, you know? It's, it's, it's... <laughs> give, me a, give me a few and I'm, I'm going to go feed my dogs and I'll, I'll be back. So give me about five or ten. Yeah, man. Had cool. chat with mate about Captain Marvel. In short, rather, her be the reason Thanos is stopped. Don't care about character growth. Also thinks Captain Mar Marvel is stronger than Thor. He might be. He can't travel at the speed of light. Maybe with the Bifrost he can. I don't know. He's gonna puncture Thanos. It's gonna be really gay. Uh, you either die a hero or live long enough to be join the toxic brood. <sighs> Kylo Ren parodies from a chap called Oral Noughts. He's a at least when Maul dies in Rebels, it's a callback to the Phantom Menace and has some weight to it, and with Clone Wars series, it has more story. You saying that has more weight than him standing up and activating his lightsaber? Come on, James. Yeah, he murdered them, but she gave him a salad fork. Oh yeah, that's one. <laughs> Ray versus Carol Danvers, who wins and how? We'll keep asking these questions. How could we possibly answer that? Unstoppable force, unstoppable force meets immovable object. Oh. Thing we can do. A great crossover has arrived. Good to see you all together. Love you guys' content. Keep up the good work. Hail the toxic brood. May it reconvene again in the near future. Anyone else excited for the Tolkien movie? Oh. No. Uh, they're gonna real. They're already disrespecting him. I. Uh, I might watch it just to make a video on why people shouldn't watch it. Yeah, that's always the way to sort of recover. Because uh... I, I really feel like that just disrespectful to him. Because the instant you make a movie conflating his World War One experiences with the Lord of the Rings, which he has explicitly said numerous times was not the case, then you clearly don't care about him, his creation, or the history behind it. It's just really disrespectful. I don't like it. Sir, this is an Arby's. Uh, uh, are they saying that would be the case if he tried to kill the waitress or whatever? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, it had the name on the screen. Sorry, I'm not sure what that's a reference to. Thanks, Wolf. Your talk of Lord of the Rings has meant that I've gone and bought the extended edition and love it. Seems to be a lot of people that have been doing that thanks to that. That's good news, Wolf. Around good, good news. Good. Uh, but he made our childhood. He couldn't destroy it. Exactly. Makes sense. <laughs> Fairies don't care about your feelings. Loud is funny. Don't you find it funny? Ha 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 ha. I know what that's ref. Wolf now has to watch everything he missed. Not Jay. Got a midget in it. Rags. Now if I make a movie, I'll just add a shitload of them for you. You sound very excited. No, Rags does like midgets. 
Yeah, I do. I do midgets. I like to Whoa. do them. I like to do them hard. Uh, I like to do them upside down, mm -hmm. right side up. I like to spin them around um, while they um, straddle me as I lay on my back. You're they here. Get them worked out <laughs> fast enough, and their legs will stick out uh, just because centrifugal force. I thought you left. There's and all then, of that stuff, and you just go, "Oh, you're here." <laughs> there's, there's, um, you like one of those toys where you'd pull the zip line thingy? It's like an opposite Beyblade, where, you, where you'd hold it. And they would be shaped like fairies or some other fag shit. And you'd pull the zip line and it would spin the fairy up in the air. Yeah, I'm like that, but with midgets. Mm -hmm. I they just spin around, spin around on my massive red rocket. And then they just lift off when their little legs just, you know, and they spin and I come and it just erupts and they blast off. Uh, <laughs> most are never found again. That, that whole thing you just said could be animated. It's not actually. It's not actually true. We do find all of them again because they're ceilings, typically, typically, unless we're you know, unless we're out dogging somewhere. Uh, I prefer. Mahler knows knob. what that is. Mahler, uh, Mahler knows what that is. I don't know if Wolf would. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. No, he wouldn't know that. He wouldn't know about that. The dog in life. No. Green That's hums. really the origin of the shades. Uh, I wear. I wear the shades so people don't recognize me while I'm out. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. They always know it's me, though. Green yeah. Han Solo a would cock have been, like that anywhere. Green Han Solo would have been fringy representation. <laughs> Who's the Green Han Solo? Oh, I, I think I mentioned how originally wanted Han Solo to be like a green space oh, alien. Yeah, that would be fringy representation. That's fair. George yeah. is a rich, creative storyteller and a savvy businessman, but he's half as good a filmmaker without the right team. Yeah, I think that's yep. probably true. Hey, Mola, I remember catching a stream in which you said you'd played Jurassic World Evolution. I was wondering if you had any praise such criticism of the game. I really liked the animation, the variety, but I got really bored with how it was like, hey, you got to choose between pursuing entertainment aspects of your park versus science versus security. I was like, oh, that's such a cool trade-off because I can imagine, like, some of them get you more money, some of them get you more happiness from yeah. the guests, and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But you end up yeah. just shoving all points into all of them, and your park oh. becomes OP. And I was just like, eh. Oh, so it's like Thrillville, but with dinosaurs. And it's just I, like, um... maybe it wouldn't have been a problem if the game wasn't like, you need to focus one of these. I remember, I remember distinctly getting a message like that. I was like, that's interesting. And it was like, no, it's just all of them. I think it would have been better for that. And yeah, the game... Yeah. Maybe there was harder difficulties. I, d I don't remember there being, but like, man, it was mostly easy. I think I tried to get all of like the, the parks up to full stars as well. And I nearly did, and then I realized I was really bored. But I still kind of liked it. Maybe I'm just a sucker for dinosaurs. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll play it again. Uh, hopefully that's helpful. Rags is our killmonger. I don't know why. Are you saying Rags is black? Is that, is that what this is? Rags, are you a black man? I am not a black man. Hmm. Y'all think a, the prequels a, are the worst? Have you seen the I'm holiday special? Can... Nobody considers the holiday special one of the mainline movies. <laughs> but yes, the holiday special is the best. <laughs> Hello, Room Muller. I'm sending your video rants about movies I hate to a friend of mine. This chat should totally go to the direction of Mr. Plinkett. I hope that friend isn't... Like... <laughs> I think you just keep throwing my videos and I'm like, watch them. M. Knight should direct Star Wars Episode Nine because he'll subvert our expectations. We need more of that, though. I feel like we've had enough of it. He gave Anakin a salad fork. Reminder that the yelling and cutting yourself off style of video essays can be tracked back to Ego Raptor. Yeah, that's actually a fair point. it will be interesting to see where he got it from. Oh, Sekiro uh, launches in an hour. That's kind of cool. Better get this done, oh, otherwise everyone's going to be like... No, end, actually, please. you thought you were going to finish, but somebody linked me something that I think you need to see. Hmm. Yeah. Prequels are objectively good. Great, in my opinion. Fight me. Wolf, do you want to fight this guy? I'll Wait, refer what? you to the review. Wait, uh, what did he say? I wasn't paying. Prequels are objectively good. Great, in my opinion. Fight me. Um, you're wrong. You're pooped. Hey everybody, I'm here to say you need a point where you make a video essay, a structure, a plan, anyone can do it, so surely you can. He couldn't, so not everyone can. Be reasonable. Would you guys have preferred George Lucas continuing the sequel trilogy? Had some wild ideas uh, about the wills? Uh, what are your thoughts? Even with the insane ideas I've heard that he had, I would have taken that over the sequel trilogy. 
Yeah. Um, I don't even call it Star Wars stuff. We forgot about the Jurassic Park section on Strange Magic. <sighs> Let's just call the video. The video title should have been stuff. <laughs> it's just <laughs> stuff. You're like, okay. Colin apologized to the fans for Jurassic Park 2 and promises to do better for 3. Did he? <laughs> he apologized for making one of the movies of last year. Like, I would never expect that. Did he really? Uh, That'd be funny. JJ and especially Ryan insulted the fanbase for their criticisms. Yeah, I want Colin on episode 9 because he actually takes criticism. I mean, you absolutely... Keep Ryan away from Star Wars. <laughs> like Just because he takes criticism doesn't make him any better of a filmmaker, though. No, but I'd still uh, take him over Ryan. Even oh, though I really sure. don't want to, though. <laughs> like, can we have someone else? I just want Star Wars to end. Just end it. You please. drive a hard bargain. It's time for the Star Wars. Like, what? literally. It's been time for, like, 30 years now. <laughs> What drives a man to create such nonsense? A lust for gold, power, or were they born with a heart of nonsense? Love you guys' content. Let's, we'll, we'll not speculate. I'm sure the guy has his reason. His name is Zack Weather. Oh, that's mm. a reference to the, the sack guy that Peg's created. Oh, no. Sackman? Oh, yeah, Weather, because of the, yep. the ram. <laughs> Please stop this. Disney thinks we're idiots, slapping us and expecting a thank you. It's a show about space wizards intended for children. Just keep saying that, and eventually criticism will disappear. It's great. This guy has two modes for his voice. Standard Hayden Christensen monotone dialogue and autistically loud yelling slash screaming. This is too funny. Have some spider milk. Spider butt milk money, boys. I feel bad for ye. We did it. We defeated his video. We only skipped a little bit of it. It counts. I saw two episodes of Teen Titans. I think the show is the best ever, though. He memeing. <laughs> like yeah, I, I don't know. Mein Kampf was made for Germans to enjoy. I don't know what. Where the super chats start getting weird. What if they gave the kids <laughs> a salad fork? This is where the fun begins. You'll know when a kid what? doesn't like a movie at the theaters. Oh yeah, they'll make noises. It's really annoying. I remember when we watched Solo, I'm pretty sure there was someone um, in the back that was like, That's Darth Maul! <laughs> <laughs> oh? Is it? Oh, yeah, there he is. I didn't see him there. Yeah. Skywalker Saga. We'll take care of Luke. Loads gun. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing is, Star Wars fans have been pretty damn divisive long before Disney got involved. Been in many heated debates over the decades. Oh, yeah. The prequels, man. Loads of arguing on that one. Don't know if it's been asked, but is anyone looking forward to Sekiro? Yeah. I've heard it. I've heard I, I've seen it. I think it looks pretty interesting. I'm, I hope I it's good, and I hope my friends love it, it, and then I love it. I hope we all just get along. Yeah, I hope everything is great forever. Fuck movies. Mola, great to see you having Jeremy on. Can't wait to see the Captain Marvel vid. Love all you guys. P.S. Wolf, educate yourself before running your mouth on the prequels. Yeah, Wolf. <laughs> what did I say about the prequels aside from what I don't what like didn't you say? What didn't you say? What did I say? What didn't you say? Like, what really? Fucking asshole. What didn't you say? E educate myself before running my mouth on these three bad movies? Sorry? Well, that now you said a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they are bad. Are, are we really going to entertain the idea that... Oh, I well, I, I, I'm not sure. Right? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, the best. How could you? Sure. Yeah, right, get him. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, there. You guys should Jack get Armored movie. Skeptic to come on. I don't know that he would ever want to, but I don't think we'd be against it. Yeah, if he wanted to come on, that'd be fine. Sure. We can absolutely. ask him about that anime thing. Yeah. Amony. Amony. Ornamorn. The animes. Hello, fellow r -words. You can't say the r -words. The discipline of desire is the background of character, Jonald Luke. <laughs> Jonald. Donald, I think it is. I don't know. <laughs> this EFAP fangirl needs her Z's. Love you, boy. Stay toxic. Thank you, Christy. Bye Very bye. Kind. Don't get shot oh, or stabbed. Oh, yeah. Sleep. Don't go down an alley after you gave somebody the wrong. What was it? The wrong order? Was the wrong uh, knife? knife? Yeah. The wrong knife? Yeah. Yeah. Steak knife. Give I you think? the right knife. Mm. Yeah. Uh, play and discuss KOTOR 2 already. Kraya is the most interesting and unique Star Wars character. Everyone tells me this. I will get to it one 
I'm not gonna say day. One century. No, it's Rose Tico. Yeah, she's the best. She's so interesting. Fun fact: octopuses have arms, not tentacles. Rags, can you confirm or deny that? Uh, I they. I've had arms and tentacles, and they feel different, so... Alright. I don't know, maybe, maybe there's something I just haven't discovered yet. You guys see the Alex Trebek video where he talks about his pancreatic cancer? I had a little cry, he was part of my childhood, possibly the only good Canadian. I am <laughs> the <not>. only Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Those from Precious Sorry, Crystal but... Fox Boy, by the, the way. The oh, only what is good Canadian news? is a dead Canadian. <laughs> Jesus. Just saying. I don't even think I'd say that. That seems a little too much for even yeah, Mr. me. Yeah, Mr. Disrespectful in the Mission Impossible video. Wolf. Hey, you can't disrespect a Canadian. They're not human. That's well, right. they literally can't hear you. That's if you why we're disrespectful. This they that, they won't be able to pick it up. Look, we we call them Canadians because well, they're not like the rest of us. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Brett, I just want to say respect to Brett the Hitman Heart. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> huh? mm -hmm. You guys don't know anything about wrestling, probably. I'm no. afraid not. Um, I've heard of wrestling. It's uh, the video game, right? It's on. I've wrestled with men before. <laughs> they have a, It's called wrestling. There's like loads of white people on it. I've heard of that. I'm up on this stuff. I know the things. Uh, Star Wars time travel equals joke. Marvel time travel equals question mark. Um, thing that like. It would be a joke to do it in Star Wars, but they're doing it in Marvel. So, man, do you think Marvel could time travel into Star Wars and fix it all? Endgame? That could be the big twist. <laughs> Imagine they did. <laughs> like Cap and I, a bad go to like fucking travel universes. They fix everything. Which like this is uh, this is a very risky move. I like it. Avengers Endgame spoilers: Ant Man crawls up Thanos's ass and expands. I've seen that joke everywhere. <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. Good thing it wasn't fighting yet. me, because I'd be able to take it. See you guys, I'm going to overdose on toothpaste. All right. Have fun! Maybe this guy will do a video on Toy Story 4 reaction, so we can finally have a good review of Toy Story, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, the Kingdom Hearts games, and Monsters, Inc. Uh, yeah. I guess you wouldn't... You know, the, the EFAP could do that, maybe. It's possible. Thoughts on the Doom Annihilation trailer? Universal is making another oh. Doom movie, and ID id Software treated that treated that they are not involved with it. Um, when I heard everyone say the trailer looked awful, I was like, oh, it's probably not that bad. And then I watched it, and I was like, it is, oh, it actually is that bad. Like it it's really so much worse than you could have ever imagined. It. it makes me want to watch The Rock one and be like, better, <laughs> <laughs> comparatively better. Uh, you ever hear the tragedy of John Adams the Spoda? Oh yes. <laughs> Murder turns Superman on, obviously. That's you can't. Actually can't. Do not EFAP guy. You should check out Rags, a zombie shopping spree. Great comic. Oh, I know about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently <laughs> they recommend that. Normal orcs can move in daylight, it just weakens them and makes them sick. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Sup guys, love you. Jeff, Jarby, Mola, yeah, Rags, and Wolf. Oh, man. Uh, it is impossible to have an objective. It is impossible to have an objective opinion in the German language because the German definition of opinion doesn't allow it. Kind of hilarious, to be honest. Well, the English one what? does. <laughs> German structure doesn't allow people to have opinions. Color <laughs> me fucking surprised. It started because of what you guys are talking about, and my channel has just now become what it is because I discovered myself. Excellent. I'm assuming you're referring to either all of us or some of us, but either way, good stuff. Glass was my favorite. I wonder if they're referring to the movie and favorite movie of the year or not. No, they're referring to the material. I think they were talking because um, I think that came up when we were talking about what superhero movie is. Oh, so yeah, I guess that counts. Uh, I don't know why you would pick that over Unbreakable if you were going to go that yeah. direction. Unbreakable. I like Unbreakable. It's very Each simple. of you, favorite villain in the EFAP Rogues Gallery? People you've responded to. Also, Wolf and Rags, Triss or Yennefer? Um, Yennefer. Yennefer. All right. And back to the. So, Triss who's our favorite of... villain in the EFAP's Rogues Gallery? Triss is too good. Like, I like Yennefer's attitude. 
I know. I like Yennefer. Yeah. We'd get along. Also, we'd get like, along magically. She's also really, really hot. Just saying. Yeah. I think she, I mean, <laughs> important not, nothing against Triss. Triss <laughs> great character, but Yennefer is just more interesting to me. Yeah. It's yeah. Like you, you look at her and it's like, wow. Did it? A lot to be interested in here. But what about the EFAP Rogues Gallery? Ah, <sighs> our favorite. When we when he says favorite, tonal, this tonal, tonal I was gonna say I thought it was easy. <laughs> yeah. I mean the yeah. there's been a lot of great ones, but tonal just brings a smile to my face. He tonal doesn't make is, he doesn't make me yeah. angry. But is he really a villain? Uh, well, if the if the villain role is defined by people we don't like, then why would we want to pick? I don't know. I don't think it's fair. Total totally counts. Well, Total. what would the choice be if he was disqualified? Oh, I don't want to make that decision. Let's just go with Tonal. <laughs> we copped out Tonal, it is. Thanos doesn't just kill everyone. He is arrogant. He is arrogant. Arrogance is your weakness. Correct your faith in your friends is yours. Wrong. That's why when they assemble, they will win. Everything in Star Wars. Everything is Star Wars. I'm sorry, my brain's getting slower and slower. I'm starting to get confused by words. Uh-oh. What do you think about the Google Stadia? Oh, isn't that like the their attempt at a console or something? Yeah, the controller was just um. Because really... doesn't it like require internet connection? Isn't it like a streaming service I rather than I haven't actual? Done, I haven't done that much research into it. I mean, um, it hasn't interested me at all. But the controller is ugly as fuck. If that's I'll just the same thing. take my PC. <laughs> Dig it. I guess I am. Uh, to the bisexual canines, do you prefer men or women sexually and or in personality? I generally tend to prefer men for personality. However, generally, I prefer women sexually. Yeah, I'd say pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then how nuanced are your preferences when finding a partner? That's a strange Immensely, question. In insanely nuanced. It's one of the most nuanced things you could probably ever... Ask someone. I mean, like, I don't do partners or deep relationships, but oh, getting yeah, to know people. You know, I mean, I just not. It's I'm just not really not my thing. But <sighs> people are very complex. Uh, Poe met Ray at the end of TLJ. Like such crap. It was an amazing meeting. Weren't you guys on the edge of your seat for what was going to happen when Poe met Ray? Oh, I couldn't. Yeah, it was so exciting. Edge of my seat. Like when, because I was about to get up and leave. When he said, like, hi, I'm Poe, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, he said his name. He said his name. It was amazing. It is just a uh, spider. From toe. Ryan J. Smith. Hi, Rags. Hello. <laughs> uh, Kay, thanks for the PC advice. Don't worry. The money's from my paycheck, not my tax refund. I gave the money to the Great British Podcast after that, too. Jesus. Jeez. James. Where did, how did we deserve such incredible James, I honesty? hope, I really, really sincerely hope that there doesn't come a day when, like, your mom is dying of cancer and you need to pull together, like, a little bit of money and then you're like, man, if then only we'll I didn't donate him. it all. Then to we will be that. here for you. <laughs> we'll do a live stream. Just as you were here for us, Marine. we'll be there for you. <laughs> no, no, not again. <laughs> Ohana means family. He's like, he's like the only way we can raise enough money is if you guys play Aliens Colonial Marines. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess your mom's fucking died of cancer now, didn't she? <laughs> James, James, don't don't bankrupt yourself, buddy. We love you. Just don't do it. Uh, we Mola, do immensely appreciate it, though. Mola and Star Wars fans versus Ryan Johnson and the Last Jedi, a Disney Star Wars versus Scrubs meme parody. Look it up, lol. That's a thing that exists. That sounds, um, I'm going to copy and paste it for later. That does not. St. James the of the Blessed Coin. <laughs> <laughs> Mola, congratulations on being a thick boy. I mean, there's benefits, dude. I have more control. You a thick boy? Over the voting system than someone like Rags or Wolf do. I only get to vote once. Yeah. yeah, you guys have to work together just to get the same votes as me. That's right. Oh, I spent too much time taking care of myself. Looking Ob good. Obsidian are as pissed as us. Their publisher made the deal behind their back. Sources from Obsidian are saying they won't work with them again. 
Ooh. Yeah, because I, I I read through that article skimming around a bit, and apparently, like four hours before the announcement, the devs were putting in like Steam achievements and stuff. Oh. So they got the announcement because I guess they just assumed it would be on Steam, and they were putting Steam stuff in because that's what you do to sell games on PC. He's like, of course, it's going on Steam. That's where everyone goes. Apparently not. So, yeah, they're probably pretty fucking pissed because they're gamers like us. Well, that's uh, really shitty. That is really shitty. Jeremy, you can't hide behind that avatar. I know what it is. Mola, when is Captain Marvel and Unbridled Rage coming? I need it. I'm going to need at least a week, possibly more, which is awkward because it's like, imagine I get it finished on April Fool's Day. <laughs> like, well, I better delay it by a day at that point. Um, but yeah, it's on the way. It's just, uh, it's really long. Longer than any of my other Rage slash Rage videos. Referencing the is comics... It? Go ahead. It's longer than any of them? Yes, but it's not longer than any of the critique videos. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Um, it's an hour and a half as it stands. Shouldn't be any longer or shorter than that. But visual editing. Uh, all and time. I was gonna say both at the same time. That's what not... gets you. That's what gets you. Referencing the comics, Deadpool, like another commenter said, went the way of Harley Quinn. They were good, then became a meme. Our video. Have Alex Jones on to talk about the prequels. Oh, dude. I will gladly have Alex Jones on. Alex, yes. anytime you want to come on, you are absolutely more Alex, than welcome. Alex, be like the official fourth member of EFAP, please. <laughs> we would we would pay you. <laughs> 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 James would probably sell his house and car for you. <laughs> R-rated dark side movies, bounty hunters, soldiers. That's that's the message. I... Right, R-rated dark enough. side movies, bounty. I mean, yeah, I'm on board with that idea if that's what that's suggesting. Hundred percent. Sure. Uh, the Sud Sudetenland is what Hitler demanded from Czechoslovakia in 1938 because Germans that lived there were being re repressed. All right. Got to spend money to buy things. Twice. Uh, quick question, Ooh. completely unrelated to anything. Are clowns and mimes racist? Yes. Hundred um, percent. Absolutely. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, a lot of them do participate in whiteface, uh, yeah. but I think that's a cultural thing. Very racist. I don't think very it's, racist. Uh, no, I think the intention is very important. <laughs> um, They're trying to I'm celebrate sure. whitehood, so. Yeah, but I yeah, but there's yeah, but celebrating whitehood is one thing. It's, as long as you're not denigrating blackhood, then that's uh, that's its own thing. Well, you can't celebrate whitehood without denigrating. So anyway, marry my marry my <laughs> Lena Dunham butter pie. <laughs> what? Okay. Wolf, why don't you like Spice and Wolf? A lot of people claim Holo is their waifu. Most people tell me it's a good anime that tricks you into learning about economics. <laughs> Uh, I found it really boring. I didn't like the main characters. Holo was, she's attractive, and that's been alright. I, I mean, I, I watched the whole thing. I don't know. There's something about it where I was like, I don't like this, but I got to keep watching it until the end. Did I couldn't, like I couldn't tell you why. But yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Yes, the Last Jedi disrupts enjoyment of Star Wars. Just realized, Celeborn said, seldom do orcs move in daylight under the sun. Oh. I knew, I knew there was a line. I thought it might be from Gandalf, but I think Gandalf actually explained that in the Hobbit movies, but I knew there was an explanation for it in the Lord of the Rings. Cool. Wolf knew it. Who's Celeborn, by the way? He's, um, yeah, I think it's Celeborn. He's oh. the dude that comes in with, oh god, is he the elf that comes in with Galadriel, or is he the one that meets them at Lothlorien when they first get captured? I can't remember. Going to Google it. Oh, he's, <sighs> yeah, he's like Galadriel's, I don't know. Okay, that, that's what I thought. I oh, just it is his remember. husband, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. I knew there was an explanation for it. Old children grow up, they are monopolizing Sweet childhoods, and then... Lunch. Acting like they are better than the literal children that have grown up. Make a studio for Logan slash Deadpool and more type stuff. I'm on board with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, we mm -hmm. unironically need less constant media talking about politics and sex when this stuff is getting tacked onto 
Star Wars and everything else under the sun. I don't know what's wrong. Why what is what's what's with the hate for sex? What's wrong with yeah? I like sex. Sex is fine. Yeah. <laughs> sex is fucking phenomenal. It's neat. It is super neat. Well, you said you don't like John Wick too. Any chance you could elaborate on that? Um. I feel like I'll do it a disservice if I if I try and just sum it up quickly, but the easiest way to put it is that I feel like it suffers immensely from sequelitis, where it tries its hardest to just recreate the first film, and it fails miserably in so many ways. While still being... Like, I can completely understand why someone would love the movie. It's fine, but... I hated it. Because it made me feel like it was just trying to be the first one again really forced how they recreate the scenario of him having to kill loads of people. I'm assuming everyone else here liked it. Probably the I liked it a lot. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I didn't really care one way or the other. I'm good enough. <laughs> I, 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 I guess I am the little centrist bilge. Uh, Rags, when is part three of the TFA critique coming? Tomorrow. You keep saying that, aren't you? They're going to take you seriously one day. <laughs> Ask this on the High Council. What character interactions are you hoping for in Endgame? That, what was that question now? What character interactions are you hoping for in Endgame? I, I heard... Uh, oh, yeah, they, they said they asked that on the High Council. So, okay. um, yeah. I, I, I just said that... Infinity War... Yeah, I really wanted to... I wanted interactions between Tony and Star-Lord. I thought that would be great. And they had interactions in Infinity War, but... The best was Thor and Star Lord, which I never even imagined. You know that being uh, the most, uh, the, the most entertaining to mm -hmm. me. The characters so meshed together. So I well. would have never believed yeah. that Thor and Rocket would work so well together. Uh, exactly, and so and Rabbit. It's, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and so, <laughs> <laughs> and so with, with Endgame, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just waiting to see what happens because I don't really have any. I don't have anything set in mind of what I want to see because I was so pleasantly surprised with some of the interactions in Infinity War. Yeah, I loved uh, uh, Tony and Doctor Strange. Loved yeah. Mostly yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm really like uh, the Russos, man. I'm just uh, those those guys are awesome. So I'm 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 really excited for it. Um, he also said, "How long do you expect the dusted characters to stay dead?" I feel like all the dusted characters are coming back. I do, but I don't think they're going to be in it that much. No, I don't think they'll be in the film that much. They'll probably be saved at the end of it. Do you think Gamora will come back since she's, like, she wasn't going to do some, some magical shit with the stone, like she's inside Hope the stone so. or whatever. I hope so. They go More back to the time is always good. Or... I'd oh, like to man, discuss Halo with Wolf on EFAP. It was from Kel of Scots. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> If you want to elaborate, I'm curious if it is it is it because Wolf is is wrong man bad on something of Halo. I wonder. Uh, seems like the future of the MCU will require, to a certain extent, a Disney Plus subscription to consume the canon TV shows. Do you all plan to subscribe? Not really. No. I'll, if I probably I probably will subscribe. Like not it, for that particular reason, but I mean, there's going to be a lot of content on there. I'm going to be interested in. That's true. The you know, like they're doing a Scarlet Witch and a Loki TV show, that's what, from what I hear. If I hear, like, they're amazing, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll check them out. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We'll see what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Theaters make 10% from movies. They rely on concessions for profit, which is why their food costs so damn much. An AMC employee told me, thought I'd help. Uh, Yeah, hopefully that helps. Got a bit more sense. Um, and then from the rookie critic, he said, "Thanks for the answers, guys. I'll be making some movie theater history slash future videos as well as streaming versus discs and difference between film and stage." Molly, you have a, good people. Molly, you have a nice voice. I want you to whisper how object, how objectionably good Civil War is while you take a cold spoon to rub dollops of chocolate chip cookie dough on my nipples. Okay, mm. <laughs> that's reasonable. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> EFAP on my mom's credit card. Name a better combo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, your mom's a nice lady. You're all still streaming? Well, this is turning out to be one of the longer length ones. We're, I'm one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven super chats away from the end. We've nearly made it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, seven hours and ten minutes is how long this has been. 
Uh, first time watching Neither EFAP. I'll be watching from now on. This is great. Oh, you've got a yeah. backlog, Sue. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, good, like, we got one. We a got good, got like, you. month of content. <laughs> In what way do you believe all the MCU can improve in the future? Do you think SJW LGBT politics will lose its power through the fans speaking up? Um, I hey, right now, I mean... It's so oh, uncertain sorry, go where they're going exactly. How much all this is going to affect. How things will turn out. Because like, I think Far From Home looks like it's going to be pretty good. That's coming I out, did right? not like that trailer. You didn't, I, but I, I, I didn't, but and I, I didn't really like Homecoming. Um, I do think Tom Holland is great as Peter Parker and Spider Man. I don't like the world he inhabits. Wait, he's both. So, well, you, you have to always separate because everybody says, oh, well, Andrew Garfield was a good, you know, yeah. Spider Man, but a terrible Peter Parker. People say Toby was a great, you know, you know, they always break it down. So, I think Tom Holland is the best, uh, for both, but I still prefer Toby because of his movies. I, yeah, no, well, yeah, yeah just, like, the good shit. Because, uh, like, me and Wolf got to talk to Jeff a bit about, like, he really doesn't like Homecoming, right? Yeah, yeah and, and he, or, he or I don't. I can't. And he's a bigger Spider-Man guy than I am, but mm -hmm. I just don't like that world. Um, But I, I'm looking forward to Far From Home, but the trailer just did not look good to me at all. So, but the future of the MCU, I just, I am worried about it in terms of the uh, the identity politics and stuff that, that, bleed over into it after end game and right now i'm treating end game no no pun intended i guess or intended but that will be the end for me right now for, for what i'm looking forward to with the mcu i'm not trying to think about what comes next because i don't really care based on the marketing and the build-up to with with captain marvel and how they've shoehorned this character into this world that has been so delicately built over the last 10 years and it just feels like they're just trying to shove this character in there to push forward an agenda, which pisses me off. So, Yeah, and I'm pretty much at the point where I'm just like, I'll wait and see, but I'm happy to sign off with uh, the MCU once Endgame's done and once Cap and Iron Man stories are done. Because I'm <laughs> concerned about how they're going to maintain my interest with characters like Captain Marvel at the helm. That's so... <laughs> just... <laughs> yeah. Why you know watch? I mean? Like, really, just why watch? What's the point watching these characters who are barely characters? Uh, if my mom dies of cancer, this is James Moore, by the way, that'll be a good day. What? <laughs> Speaking of death. Uh, Speak wow, is she a bitch? Jesus Christ, okay. I don't know, maybe she's a terrible, maybe she's a terrible person. Yeah, that was, that was abusive. A, yeah. That was not at all the, what I was expecting. <laughs> you subverted my expectations, James. Jesus Christ. Speaking of death, you jinxed it, Rags. My grandpa died, learned on Saturday, so yeah, good times. Oh, jeez. Jesus. Jeez. I'm so sorry, James. Well, I didn't really jinx it if it already happened. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean... I mean, it's it's kind of a settled issue. Oh my god, I feel like a bad person, though. You should. I mean, just for every all the other reasons I anyway. I do but... it. No, not yeah. you, Rags. Wolf. You I should definitely don't bad. approve. Unless he was an asshole and you wanted him dead. Like, <laughs> James's mom. Um, Jesus. I'm sorry, James. <laughs> I had a scary thought. What if episode 9 pulls a Terminator Genesis and erases all previous movies? Oh, good Ooh, lord. So it erases TFA and TLJ, but it also takes the OT as well? Um... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, didn't, but then you lose didn't, the good and the bad. Yeah, we're, at we're back to square zero at that point. I mean, the last shot, I, the last shot, I kind of already erased the original trilogy. Yeah, like certainly <laughs> thematically, it did. It's kind of that's the ongoing argument about Terminator Genesis. Is it worse to have erased the films, or is it worse to carry them on and just depressingly degenerate all of the awesome characters, like? Yeah, but maybe it is with better to just. I've never seen Terminator Genesis, by the way. Don't, ever Don't. watch it. I I well, showed I, that movie I, to a friend who is like in love with Terminator. Like he, when he knocks on your front door, he does it in the tune of the T two theme. You know that da 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 da. da, da, da. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I showed him that movie after I watched it with Mahler, and Build as we watched it, 
yeah i like literally watched his soul wither up and die as we were watching it and i felt like such a bad friend <laughs> like I'm a um, very I mean, long I'm a term big... Terminator fan, and that film is horrendous. It's the TLG of Terminator. I, we we literally came of... to the conclusion that we think Genesis is worse than The Last Jedi. Really? Yeah. Really? It, it, it's awful. It's incredible, dude. Watch, You'd be surprised I to watch, watch it. it. I want to watch it from. I want to watch it just because that's they uh, obliterate that's a huge all statement. of the iconic characters. They erase the 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 fucking classic movies. Literally erase them from the timeline. And then they even now, make fun of them in the movie. They like mock the old Terminator films. And Cameron involved with this? He promoted it, which is a sh fucking insult. <laughs> <laughs> what Hopefully the fuck? he got paid. Now, I, I'm a fan of Terminator Salvation, and I don't know. I'm sure most. I'm sure you guys don't like it. I'm I mean, happy I, 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 someone I, to be a fan of that. That's fine with me. I I liked it more than three. Oh yeah, I mean that's like, a like Terminator person. One, really good. Terminator Two, really incredible. Three sucked. Salvation, there was stuff to like, but it was just so weird. Good film, and it screws a little with the timelines and the progress, and it's like. And I thought that Christian Bale was a really bad casting for John Connor. I don't really get it. Yeah, I don't know why. They I'm, cast a, him. you know, well, Bale is my favorite actor. Uh, it was not his strongest uh, performance. By oh yeah, him. I mean, I, so... I like him as an actor. I think he, he put a lot of effort in, but I just don't get it. I don't know. He seemed he just seemed really robotic to me. Uh, I mean, he his, had like a lot of his screaming. It's like no. Then <laughs> Sam Worthington the being hey, you know, but Sam we did get we did get the the fuck are you doing? Oh yeah, you know the whole the whole breakdown, classic. which is one of the greatest moments ever. I was just um, looking at the lights. <laughs> the pull back. <laughs> I love that. I love that rant. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't consider Terminator Salvation a great movie or anything, but uh, I, I enjoy it. So yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I enjoyed watching it because um, I binge watched all the movies and that was watching Genesis. But um, yeah, Genesis is definitely like one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And somebody said in the chat, he didn't ask who has the trigger in Salvation. He, where's a trigger? That's true. Where's a trigger? <laughs> Missed opportunity of it. Uh, E.M. Dubois said, you guys missed my first super chat. I, I've got him in a big list. I don't think I would have missed it, but I will have a control F look. Um. Sometimes that screen jumps around on me. Uh, so I guess he said, a kid's movie with a sex slave who was sentenced to a humiliating death because she didn't want to be raped by her monstrous master. Is he referring to Solo with that? I have no idea. I'm not sure, but okay. Uh, that was that was the other one. I think, I think that's like a more grim look at how you could consider Solo. I'm not sure. Wanted Wolf to know that I finally watched The Grey thanks to his recommendation and loved it. Also started Soma thanks to Mauler and I like it so far. Rag is nothing life changing yet, but I still. <laughs> oh well, you know we'll get around to it. I'm glad you like the gray. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Well... And if you don't like Soma, you're a bad person. That's true. Uh, Rags, quick question as a fellow Eagle, what do you think about the BSA becoming the Scouts of America? I think that depends on the execution and fixing logistical issues. Yeah, honestly, watch PSA Stitches video on it, and it'll clear up a lot of things. I agree with Wolf in many ways, but I would argue the Halo 4 story is overrated by the Halo community and is bad and has lore breaks in its own right. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to hear me defending a lot of Halo 4. It retcons the Forerunners, which is really fucking stupid. There's some weird plot shit it does in that mo movie game that is just... I can't even imagine what drugs they were on when writing it. I still think it's, like, largely good, but... We're talking like seven out of ten at the that absolute best. It was a best. jolly good first attempt. Yeah, and then Halo Five came around and like, oh my and god! And then you saw the you... second attempt. Yeah, <laughs> and then I was like, what happened? What is your? Have you played Half Life Two? I, have, I played like yeah, a have... little bit of it a long time ago. It's fine. Oh, it's my favorite game. My favorite game. I love Half Life Two. Half Life One is okay, but Half Life Two just takes it to another level. It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's like considered one of the most classic games in existence, right? Get into the little Hall of Fame along with stuff like Doom and Quake and other things. Yeah, Half Life, Half Life Three will never happen, unfortunately. 
Yeah. It's now it's now more of a meme than anything. Like at this oh, point, like, if you they, if you make a Half Life three, you're destroying a meme, and so uh, it's and you, we don't want to do that. So. It'd be crazy if they did actually Half Life three confirmed. Though. Everybody say Half Life three confirmed just because I brought up Half Life two. Man, at least Gaben's giving us Halo. He redeemed himself a little bit, I guess. Uh, you missed my faction select meme on Twitter. If you resend it, I will look at it. I might have missed it. Uh, the stream is dying. We need 12 cc of super chat stat. Oh, we're, 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 <laughs> don't we're, do that. Don't oh, do that. We're fucking die. Tell the stream. The hosts are about to fucking nod off. <laughs> I still haven't told my story yet. Man. Uh, well, how long have you been streaming? Because it cuts off after eight hours. We're close to that. <laughs> it's 7.21, so I'll try and speed this okay. up. There's, there's four left right now. <laughs> well, I listened to y'all since four at work, and thanks for the stream. I've been wanting to do a kind of open discussion thing, but eh, I don't know. Like on your own channel? Obviously, pursue that shit. Great stuff. Uh, I opened Save my, the dream! I opened my drawer and found an old can of cashews. Today is a good day. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. That was from James Moore. Uh, yeah, my mom is a bad. Don't feel bad. I've taken a lot better than most of my family, probably because of the podcast, so thanks for helping. All I'm right, glad man. we were able to help out, man. Hope you're, hope you're doing okay, because it sounds, sounds sad to me. Ah, uh, guys, I don't know if you addressed this already, but have you or will you do a response to Just Right's video on objectivity? We will. Uh, it, we're just saving the video, I guess, for a, for a guest that it sort of suits. Um, because we're in no rush. It's a pretty hilarious video. It would be useful if we had a guest who knew the works of Kant and Hume, I think, of the two people he covers. Um, Manuel Kant and David Hume? What, what, about, what about Theo? The concept. The Theo reads history. Maybe Theo knows the work. Possible. Theo, who was on EFA. Um, and then the final one from Titus Mola. To all, which one EFAB episode is your favorite? I'm gonna have to say this one because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Fair choice. Um, mine. Oh, oof. I don't know. Mine. I really like the um, seven hour one we did with Voxes. I think, but then yeah. uh, a couple of awkward choices now because of what. Yeah, happened. because of yeah. I, ah, the ones that I would have chosen, I don't know if I can choose anymore. Is that? This is actually a difficult question because, like, well, someone who used to regularly sort of feature became a crazy person. He lost his mind and threatened to murder people, and we had to distance Shit. ourselves from him. So, yeah, that off, 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 off camp or off, <laughs> offline. <laughs> yeah, and and this is the thing. Like, there was so many funny memes that came out of it. So it's just kind of like, oh well. So are they are they yeah. as funny now? It's like I don't know. They're kind of awkward now. Looking back, isn't it? Yeah. So sad. Oh, it's like it's like watching the Cosby Show now. Yeah, <laughs> you're like <laughs> he was raping people. Um, I really did like the one we did with with Doomcock covering Major League. That was a lot of fun, from what I remember. Hmm. Old Doomcock. He was he, he was having fun with Major League. He was, <laughs> as you can imagine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's tough. I really do like pretty much all the episodes. I know it's like cheesy response, but it's just like uh, I have fun with all these things. I have yeah, fun they're with all, all the kind guests. of special yeah. in their own way, much like us. Oh, I really like the aliens colonial. Mar yeah, it's it was yeah. pretty good parts in there. <laughs> <laughs> like the part where I got shat out of the machine. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking funny. Where Rags like tried to tilt on your flashlight, you fired a grenade launcher. <laughs> <laughs> the first ten seconds of the game, and someone's down. <laughs> I haven't even fought an enemy. Oh, it's yet. so dark in here. <laughs> Jesus, guys, I'm still ten hours behind. You guys have another eight hour one. I'll never catch up at this point. That's a good thing. <laughs> then we. So that's the last one of them. And just before Wolf, I uh, can continue with his story. I'm just gonna bring up a couple more things I have on Twitter. For people to see, and then we'll be nearing the completion. Don't know why you stayed this long, Jeremy, but good for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it, and uh, so I was I was happy to uh, to appear. I appreciate the invite. So I've had a lot of fun. No, you're just like the rest of us. 
No life. Trying to get back. Well, I have literally. I told Mueller this the other day on private messages. I was like, I, I don't remember what we were talking about. I basically said I have no time to play video games. We we're talking about how much YouTube takes away from our our day to day life. Oh man. So yeah, I have no life. So it's so hard for me to like make videos and play. Throw Exodus, but I gotta replay the whole game again, and uh, and then I wanted to do all the other stuff I do. It's real tough to like space it all out. It is it is the true fans Quinto <laughs> the toxic, <laughs> brute. toxic brute uh, overwhelmed CLJ defenders, hordes <laughs> of verbal terrorists, special unit longmen, racial ability. <laughs> Racial ability, rhino milk artillery. <laughs> Mysterious race of the ability to change facts to support their arguments. <laughs> <laughs> Special unit, soy boy, racial ability, Trump brands. <laughs> <laughs> the true facts and the logic to prove once and for all the quality of TLJ. Special unit, tax on the shirtless, <laughs> <laughs> racial ability, long man. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, and then this one I caught it early on the Twitter, but I meant to put it on earlier. So this is when, right at the beginning, when Rags said about dumb, someone actually drew that and cut it out. I know what I know what you mean by I know what dumb means. Oh. <laughs> it's actually oh, hard no. to read. This. I know what you mean. Dumb means it's like wait what? But he did draw an upside down <laughs> question box. So I think I think it captures the confusion. <laughs> and then this is oh. a this is a high detail imagination of Wolf coming after Jay. Found out about Spy. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> 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 this is pretty cool. <laughs> Toxic brute. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Toxic brood new unite bark. I'm seriously thinking about getting some t-shirts made. The toxic brood. <laughs> sure, go for toxic it. Toxic brood. <laughs> uh, this is the last one, which is sort of like a executive, executive producer. producer the last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's from The Witcher Three. Yeah. Oh, like or, a, or, a, or something. Or a Skyrim. Is that a? I don't know. Actually, mm, it's hard, hard to I... tell. Is it not one of the crone craven? I, I thought it was one of the crones from The Witcher Three, but I don't know. It doesn't look like the swamp. No, it's either. it's one of the harpies, isn't it? Isn't that a harpy from Skyrim? I don't know. Hag raven. It's a hag raven. Is that from Skyrim? Hag yeah, Skyrim. They're got hag ravens. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I haven't played that game in years, so. I haven't played it in a while. Um, no, Jeremy Osteen. I've lost. All faith in the fandom menace. <laughs> uh, Jeremy Osteen. Joel Osteen is this uh, this uh, Christian preacher. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, he's uh, he he's very very uh, charismatic, and he makes a lot of money. So whenever I get a lot of super chats, I start uh, I start doing my Jeremy Osteen, and I'm like, praise Jesus, praise <laughs> Jesus, bring the money down. All of your sins will go away. You just got to keep throwing the super chats. While I'm in. Pay for my so next I, I yacht my in hell. <laughs> so Pagan God X, and I'm I'm just surprised Pagan God X didn't say something. Uh, I'm actually upset you didn't say something offensive towards me, um, because that's usually how we roll. But that's fine. Go fuck yourself if you can't, if you, can't <laughs> you know, do that. So, <laughs> Wolf, would you like to tell Pagan your story? Oh yes, it's a it's a fun story. So I have a friend who I've been trying to get into more movies. And we watch movies every now and again. And uh, to put this into perspective, his family was like really super religious, like even more than mine. So they wouldn't let him watch things like Harry Potter because of witchcraft and all that. So I've been trying to like reacquaint him with the rest of the world. And we started getting into Westerns and he really likes them. And I wanted I didn't think it would work. But I found out the good way that it did. I wanted to know if he knew what Brokeback Mountain was. <laughs> and uh, I asked him, like, 
So have you ever heard of Brokeback Mountain? And he was like, no, what's that? And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's a movie about cowboys. And he was like, oh, it's, <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's another Western. And I was like, yeah, it sure yeah. is. <laughs> so we watched it. And at first he was like, all right, this is kind of uh, interesting. And then we go through the movie and it keeps going on. And he's like, oh. Oh, <laughs> and uh, we finished the movie, and he's like, "That wasn't what I was expecting." And I was like, "I bet, I bet it wasn't." <laughs> but he enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know. He didn't talk to me for a few days after that. <laughs> he had to re-examine his sexuality. Yeah. <laughs> funny enough. Uh, that was it. Was funny. I didn't expect that would work, but as soon as I had the chance, I took it. <laughs> um but yeah we're pretty much at the position of being able to wrap up but i think first of all I'd like to go ahead and give chat a little little brief view of what your channel is and why they should subscribe um well i'm a arrogant asshole and i do like to fight and i will respond to you in the comments if you talk shit to me so if you're sensitive don't worry about it but uh if you're not if you're if you're like these guys uh no but seriously I yeah i mean um uh, unlike Wolf, uh, I'm going to educate you guys on my channel because he didn't know anything about it, apparently. But uh, it's not just me. <laughs> uh, Geeks and Gamers is, uh, you know, basically a spinoff of my website, geeksandgamers.com. And uh, we, we, we're kind of covering just a lot of the – basically, I clickbait the fuck out of YouTube is what I do. Um, I go for clickbait topics. Uh, I'm a whore for your views. And um, – I'll do anything besides take my clothes off, but if you pay enough money, I'll do that too. Um, but really, we we are we are moving into more of a. Yes, I, I've got a I've got a couple of video game uh, guys that have brought onto the team that we're going to start focusing on a lot of more of the topical video game news. We cover Star Wars, um, and we focus on uh, like the identity politics and the controversy. Uh, the entertainment industry right now and uh, that's what we do we have some really good live streams we have a really good team over there so if you're interested please subscribe to geeks and gamers and um, if you can deal with my sarcasm that is and check out geeksandgamers.com which is my website which i have a full team i have an editor editorial staff uh, we're working on putting some forums on the website as of right now and uh, we have a lot of moving parts to geeks and gamers though so um yeah i appreciate you guys having me on yeah i'm um I'm impressed you survived. Is this like, uh, <laughs> like what we've just done is like the length of three podcasts, uh, pretty much. <laughs> typically, no. Well, I was pre I prepared myself. I mean, like I said, um, hell, I did a 24 hour live stream on January 1st of this year, um, and it was fucking tough. But we raised a lot of money for charity. Uh, don't tell anybody about that because I am a misogynistic asshole and oh, it, I hate everybody count. according to the internet. So <laughs> anyway, what well, they'll say is you did that to try and prevent people from calling me that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, but, but yeah. So I, I was prepared for to at least go at least four or five hours but i mean hell we made it almost eight so but it's been a lot of fun i've had a lot of fun with you guys um so objectively this wasn't very good but it was a lot of fun so <laughs> <laughs> through the roof subjectively that's a little bad we'll take it well i'm glad everything turned out well between us jeremy I'm, i am too i'm, I'm glad too. we could explore that video with you because that was a really Not substantive video that I'm allowed us to learn a lot about our toxicity and our toxic brood I think we can all really evolve from it, you know. Again, be nice to that um. guy. <laughs> what I'm saying sounds like, it's like, yeah, it's like, no, 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 seriously, be nice. I'm expecting him no. to contact me on Twitter, like, why did you attack me? <laughs> oh yeah, it will, and it will be, it will be uh, presented in that way. You attacked me. Um, Imagine he said but... like you guys fell for it. It was a joke video. I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> oh greatest yeah thing ever that would be the greatest thing ever um so real quick though yeah I, I do i do sincerely mean it though like i said i i get called out just like you guys i get called out from pe by people all the fucking time whether i don't care how big their channel is how small it doesn't matter to me but, but when it was when it was wolf i was like fuck 
<laughs> I really don't want to respond to him and get mixed up with him and Mahler. Fuck. And uh, I'm, I am glad it turned out OK. And But I definitely had to respond. And uh, I'm glad that it, that it all worked out because, um, you know, you it just seems like you guys have the same type of mentality as me. You're not super fucking sensitive. You like people that talk shit. You like sarcastic assholes. That's me. So it's all nice. in good fun, buddy. <laughs> Jay just said you guys right. fell for my Black Panther video. Oh man! Oh, a yeah, AJ got us. Um, AJ disabled the likes and dislikes on that video. Oh well, he's gonna be mad at me, isn't he? <laughs> oh, well, I guess we can. Uh, and before wait he starts to deleting our... comments, yeah, comments are gonna be nice. I hope I'm the sure. one about your wife's boyfriend stays up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, fixing, I'm fixing to go look and see it was still there <laughs> what's this the star brood. wars the star wars the fandom menace is that what it was yeah uh yeah be nice to him guys be well nice. i mean of course it's going to show for me because it's my comment uh so i don't know if it's oh still well there, i just refreshed and it's still there so okay Let's yeah it's, it's still there. there but um yeah uh anybody anybody want to say anything before we I will, um, I'll save it for, I'll save the thing I was going to show you for next EFAP, because I think it's quality stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, cool. Um, there are, oh, there's, there's, there's two more super chats. Uh, bitch, you will end the stream when I say you can end the stream, All right? <laughs> and <laughs> the following one is, you're still going? <laughs> <laughs> These two seem conflicting. Um... Yeah, uh, we're, we're good to go. Like I said, if anyone else wants to say anything other than, um, of course, thank you to both Jeff and Jeremy. Wonderful. I think it's been Jeremy's better fun. because he stayed longer. <laughs> <laughs> stamina. I think, uh, I, think uh, Je I, I don't know if World Class is still live streaming, but uh, when we end, hop on over to World Class Bullshitters. Yeah, oh my on. god, if, if we outstreamed even them. <laughs> <laughs> It's like you know that we need to stop. <laughs> it's like guys, people have lives. So you're like, oh no, yeah, it's Josh. Okay, yeah, uh, that's about it. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for the extremely kind donations, the incredibly creative memes, and uh, just for for keeping track and watching our channels and the stream. It's all really good stuff. Really appreciate it. And uh, we will be back at some point. I will never promise a date because we will never stick to. You fab will the toxic return. Brood the toxic brood. Toxic brood. Every frame a toxic brood. John Adams foresaw it in the Palantir long ago. <laughs> the episode thirty of EFAP will come next week. That's super chat. No, don't go. This is all I have. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody, and uh, goodbye. We'll good see luck. you next time. Ciao.